bit more, but I can do another layer after. And then let's emboss it. Now remember, this is your beautiful translucent brand new embossing powders. The embossing powders are amazing. And over the same color, these look absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's just such a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I'm making sure I'm not uh, too close to my car because I'm, I'm a terrible at actually burning this. I'm going from top now because it's easier for me. There we go. I like to be able to. It does give you more. It's a smoother finish if you do it from behind. There we go. There, beautiful. Some of it's a bit, but look at that colour. I'd play with that. It needs a lot of work on it yet, but but isn't that colour just fabulous? Absolutely fabulous. Oh, I just want to, I just want to carry on playing, but we've only got 30 seconds. Um, I tell you what, I've only 30 seconds, but look, look, look. So where I've got that ink there, put a bit more ink. I'll be real quick. And then look, spritz onto that. Put it onto there. Bit of paper. Ba, 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 ba. Boom! You Ray. get a gorgeous print. See you tomorrow morning. 8 a.m. is the next live show on Friday morning. Be there. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows. I'm Emma, I work with Cricut to help you get the best out of your machines. Cricut is a range of tools, machines and accessories that allow you to work with hundreds of materials. You can customise and personalise your paper craft projects, your home decor, clothing, you can work with iron on vinyl, paper, card, wood, fabrics, the possibilities are endless. On the shows, I hope I can inspire you with ideas to help you become your creative best with Cricut. So make sure you don't miss the Cricut shows. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. Good morning, everybody, and a very warm welcome. We are kicking off the live proceedings in style with a fantastic hour from Tando Creative. And I'm joined by the lovely guy who I've not worked with in ages. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. How are you? I'm very well. We're hearing about your little puppy. Yeah, well, she's 18 months old now, but she was a puppy just before the lockdown. So. I know we were saying it was hard because Diana and I were talking about 
socialising her. She didn't get to go out as much as she would meet other people. But what a nice time to really bond during lockdown. Have That's her. very true, actually. Yeah. yeah, we've spent a lot of time with her, bless her. Yeah. So. And what breed? I didn't ask what Golden breed. Golden Retriever. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a, that's a lovely dog. Uh, okay, now, we have got some lovely things for you. Uh, actually, there is something for everyone. Di has got another show later on at 11, and we've got more new todays as well. So uh, please tune back in at 11 or get ahead on our website. We're going to start with the stencils. There's an interesting story behind these because you've got a bit of a collaboration as well with a good friend of yours, Leslie, who's also in today, Leslie Chocolate Brock. Yes, um, these stencils were designed by Fiona Randall, mm -hmm. who's on our design team. She's a very, very talented yeah. girl. Um, and they're of a, like a celestial kind of yeah. theme. I, lo I love that. Yeah. yeah. Well, she's also designed a range of rubber stamps, okay. which uh, Leslie is showcasing at one o'clock today. Excellent. So the, the, the whole theme is all around this celestial and, and all designed by Fiona Randall. Well, now, let's just think about this, because looking at the designs, they are beautiful. So imagine being able to work with these in stencil form, fantastic. And then please tune back in at 1 o'clock for Chocolate Brock and Leslie's show, where you get to see mm. some stamps inspired by the same designs. Already busy for these, twenty four ninety nine is your price. Just looking at the designs and the possibilities I mean, that is stunning. Each one, actually, but there, there yeah. is, you described it, a sort of celestial feel yeah. to this. And um, the symbolism, it's, it's timeless in the sense. These are yeah. never going to go out of fashion. No, never. And, and mm -hmm. to me, they're just new and different, you know. Yeah. And when, I, when she sent over the designs, I just literally sat there and went, wow. You uh, know, they're just amazing. They are lovely. And yeah. Yeah, I like the aspect you can just pick off some of the imagery like with the symbols here yeah what i'd be tempted to do is create a border by picking off one then finding another one yeah um let me just show you i think where you can see all of that so there's your symbols but then down here if we just scroll down there i mean that for backgrounds amazing yeah yeah definitely yeah oh, perfect yeah, for backgrounds wonderful shooting stuff Get that, I think, with a metallic um, structure paste would look incredible. Yeah. Um, oh, interesting. I mean, it, Charlotte, my producer, and she's a good crafter, and she was saying um, glow in the dark. If you had any glow yes, in the dark, yes, perfect, paste, absolutely cool. perfect. Like that idea, Charlotte. Yeah. Um, that's beautiful too. That's Top my of the favourite box, one, actually. Yeah, that is my favourite yeah. one. I mean, they're all lovely, but that one I, I was really like. I've, I've used that a lot actually since since we've got that. So and they're beautifully designed. Remind me again, it was who designed them? Fiona Randall. Fiona. Fiona's very good. Yes, very she is. good. Yes. Yeah, I should, actually, Fiona, Fiona's name's on the screen. I should, I should have to ask you. It's there. Uh, so yeah, and that's a really nice one too. So you see the phases of uh, the moon. Or it could be the sun, you know, you've got the eclipse. Uh, yeah. Let me just show you some finished examples because, I mean, look at that. For designs on a box. There you go. I know, incredible. But strong, strong designs yeah. from Fiona. And designs you're going to want to use. But you do not have to... With the and by the way, we have got these boxes coming up as well, so do stay tuned. Um, you can just use a small part of it. You don't need to, that's the larger sort of circle there, but just taking small little aspects from that. If I pop that down for a moment, and then I'm just going to show you this last one. Uh, these match boxes are really cool. They are, aren't I like they? Yeah. Say <laughs> so we have got these coming up on the show. I mean, come on. And that's just with your uh, Think Mix Media for your makes. I mean, this is cool. But then when you start going on to uh, journals, scrapbooking, yep. card making, yep. yeah, I'm going to drop that down. So there's an awful lot of scope with these stencils. And what I like about these, a bit different. Yes. I'm always fine. As a crafter, my key thing is I try not to duplicate. Sometimes it's hard because there's certain themes that we gravitate towards, but I try not to duplicate what I have in my stash. Yeah. Very original here. They are very original, yeah. aren't they? This is what struck me when I saw them, and I thought, yeah. oh, yeah, I just haven't seen anything like that. Yeah. And, and to be honest, when you see the stamps, the two working together, oh. you're just going to be blown away, to be honest. Wow, Absolutely that's, that's, amazing. You're getting me excited for one o'clock. <laughs> I'm doing that hour as well. Uh, I've got to tell you, we are five minutes into the show. We've only just started looking at these. 
10% of the stock's already oh, gone. Brilliant. We're busy, darling. Yeah. All right, and we should be. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's our first offering, 465-893, your item number there. We're going to move on. These are cool. I, I always find, and I think you'll probably relate to this, Di, as a crafter, sometimes the hardest part as a crafter is starting a project. Yeah. You kind of think, well, what am I going to do next? And mm. you're kind of looking. I get excited to find that next project. These are great. They're, they're, they're brilliant. They're really funky, actually, because they're, they're tall and not very wide. They're yeah. a different kind of shape. Um, they've already got the drill holes if you want to do your sewing on them. Um, or they've also got the little notches top and bottom of the spine if you just want to wrap elastic round yeah. if you're not into your sewing. So they're really easy to use and put your signatures in and however you like. Uh, the examples are stunning that the girls have done. Really, really yeah. good. Yeah. Um, so this is, look into your stash. This is your blank canvas. So what you're creating, and it's very clever because the actual um, cut work in the uh, journals allow it's that uh, accordion, that movement that you're getting for t to obviously close it up. Yeah. But it's such a lovely project to do. So your blank canvas, we can use our papers on here, we can use our stamps, our stencils, our sprays, everything you have in your stash. And the beauty is, and actually this is an important bit, adding your signatures, as Di was saying, really easy to add your papers. And then if I just show you, let me just lift this up here. Oh, um, oh there's, there's traps. <laughs> <laughs> Presenter traps. <laughs> All right, there we go. Um, see. It, go any direction you like. It is totally up to you where you go with this. So we can use uh, our little, uh, if we've got MDF pieces, I think you're going to be talked to there, Di. Uh, I'll, I'll let you on a little secret. We're just coming out of shop for a second. I'll, I'll tell you why. <laughs> Sometimes when we're very busy, we need to talk to guests. So if you see a presenter waffling on, normally it's because we're told, carry on talking, we need to speak to Di. Uh, <laughs> so that's why we just had to chat to Di. Um, but there, again, here Di, it's, this is a reflection, it's a blank canvas, so we yep. can go grungy, we yep. can go, I love the words here, it can be bright, it can be vibrant, it can be vintage, it can be gritty, we can get rust effects on here, Yes. anything that we like. Absolutely, I mean the, the board oh, is, is 2.25 millimetres thick, so it's yeah. really chunky board, um, so it's, and certainly with some of our elements, I mean you wouldn't actually necessarily run the whole journal through an embossing folder, but yeah. you can run our elements through an embossing folder to decorate the journals with, yeah. and it will take all your heat embossing and all those kind of mediums. Beautifully done. Can I just take this moment, and I know you've already said it, your design team. <laughs> they're, no, they're, 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 are they're incredible, aren't they? Excellent, yeah. excellent, really yeah. are. I mean, all the inspirations that I've picked up has been absolutely phenomenal, really. And seeing the difference uh, that you get here, oh, going to, last, I know we've got to move on. Let me just show you this, and there's some more that I'll show next time around. I mean, the personality. Yeah. And it's interesting, because each of the journals, I think, really reflect the di uh, design team's own sort of unique quirks. God, yeah. This is cool. This, fantastic and it gives, this is so clever so here you're kind of mixing and matching the different heads bodies yeah that is genius that was Celia did that one absolutely incredible that's very good I mean that's got a big smile on my face they all have I, yeah. I genuinely love them all um, so look for 10.99 considering you're making three of these Journals, that's very good value for yeah. money, really yeah. is. Uh, now, I've got to tell you, this is on a slight extended delivery. It's going to be dispatched on the 13th of August, but worth the wait, really is. 612-556, uh, your item number. Kind of get a sense, though, if I'm excited about this, just showing it. Imagine yeah. when these arrive and yeah. everyone at home getting to craft with them. I mean, this is what we want. Speaking of which, yes. I mean, I'm... I'm racking my brains but I've been at the craft store for five years now mm. uh, or just shy of five years I can't think of a time when I feature chess pieces and I love chess right. I really like chess I think these are very cool so just as a, a decorative piece in a home and there uh, we've got some great finished examples too but I love the fact you've got your key pieces in here yeah the size is really cool yeah there was a well-known series that 
I think, breathe new life into Not that chess was never not popular. Brilliant but, series. Oh, it was, wasn't it? It was so, absolutely brilliant, yeah. The Queen's Gambit, other shows are available, but there's a good chance you have seen The Queen's Gambit. If you haven't, it's well worth checking out. Charlotte, have you not seen The Queen's Gambit? Have you oh, Charlotte? you oh. should, yeah. Charlotte, you really need to. <laughs> Literally everyone in the studio was like, you need to, you need to. Uh, that's your homework. But, um, no, I think there's something very... There's, uh, with chess, we can all relate. Yeah. Everyone's aware of chess, whether you've played it or not. Yeah. The pieces just look really cool. Yeah, and I must yeah. admit, when I put them together, I, going back to the Queen's Gambit, I just had visions of sticking them up on the ceiling, upside <laughs> down, and, you know, but you could... Anyone who's seen the show will find that very funny. Yeah. You have to have seen the show, <laughs> yeah. but I, I appreciated that. <laughs> I don't know where you're coming from at that time. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, I mean, yeah. again, you could, you could get the whole set and you could use it as a large game of chess. You just make yourself a, a few squares for your chessboard and then you've got a large game of chess. Now, that would be really... That you could teach the kids how to play. and That, that would be really cool. And then they could decorate pieces and... Do you know, I love, I love that idea. <laughs> um, but seeing the decorated examples that you have here, and once again, the design team have absolutely excelled. So I'm going to lift the horse back here, because this, I think, is very... They're all great, by the way. It's only because it's in the background I just wanted to show you. Using the stencil on the horse, remember, you've got those beautiful stencils designed by Fiona. I mean, come on. How... I love... The main there as well, I think that's been embossed. Yeah, it looks like a... I'm actually embossed. going to demo that piece. Are you really? Yeah, so I'll be showing people how to do that. Did you do this one? Yeah. Well, I didn't know that before picking <laughs> it up, but Di, that is beautiful. <laughs> really nice. Okay, I'm so happy that we're getting to see how this is done, genuinely. So it will give you an idea of where you can go with these shapes. But it boils back to my point that as crafters, work with something different. So I'll... I'll challenge you and ask you, have you got anything like this in your stash right now? And I can say I haven't. I haven't even said... I cannot remember a time when we... And we feature look, a lot of MDF here at the craft store. I've never seen a chest design. I, I might be... It might have happened, I just wasn't presenting the show, but personally, my own experience, I've never presented a show with, um, with these. Now, they are on a pick and mix. So you're choosing any four, and this is where Di was saying, if you do want to create your own I love that idea. I genuinely love the idea of creating my own. For a larger chessboard, yeah. and that's achievable to do. Of course it is. So yeah. go through your pick and mix, build up your own chessboard, or just take a few of the key characters. For instance, how about this for an idea? If you wanted an original uh, gift, wedding gift, what about a king and queen? Yeah. Or it could be, look, I know loads of weddings out there. It could be a queen and queen. It could be a king and king. You've got, yeah. you've got choices uh, in there. You've also got your horse. You've got your bishop, your rook, your pawn. Everything there. I just think that's good. Just to craft with fantastic. What about crafting it, making it original, and then going on to play chess with it? Yeah. Game changer. Yeah. <laughs> got to do. You've got to do it. How many pieces are there? I should know this. How many pieces are there in a game of chess? Charlotte, if you, you've got to help me out. 32. Well done, Charlotte. Yeah. So you think with your pick and mix, you get four. Going through, do it eight times, but worth it when you consider how much you would pay for a chessboard, a unique yeah. chessboard that size. Yeah. Uh, and also, of course, if you do it that way, you'd be able to split the cost in half via our flexi payments. So you can spread the cost, I should say. We are getting busy for these, and I'm so pleased because I've got to thank you, Di. It's early in the morning. I have to say, I've just started. My, this is my run of early, so I've got right. a whole month of early. Oh, have you? Getting up at four in the morning can be painful. Yeah. But doing a show like this, it doesn't feel like work. You bring us so many beautiful things. Thank you. And so I'm, I'm enjoying just showing these to you, uh, and I can imagine the fun you're going to have with actually uh, playing with them. Nine ninety nine your price. Pick uh, any four. Have some fun. Could you do me a favour though, if? anybody does go on to make the larger chessboard please could you send uh, tag me in you can find me on social media and obviously the craft store and I know Di would you would love to see oh, it as always well. yes yeah. I love to see all, all everybody's artwork from anything that we produce I that always do would be incredible okay we have to move on uh, we've got now we gave you a little bit of a tease of these uh, just when we're looking at the stencils we've got these fantastic match boxes I like the range of styles as well. Uh, yeah. When I size, sorry. But yeah. you can see the different styles. I was thinking a lot of things in my head. You can see a lot of styles, <laughs> but the size, and also they're very well made. You yes. can feel, you know, they, when you pick them up. They're, they're chunky, aren't they? They are chunky. Yeah. They've got some substance to them. This is beautiful. 
That is, and uh, oh, do you know what really, I was looking uh, just behind this piece at the crackle. There is something now, most crafters, we know we love a crackle. This is a good crackle on here. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to do that crackle, is this, You're one as well? Yeah. Di, I, I tend to, I, it's not, I, I haven't rigged this. I didn't know that I'd made this one. But this is beautiful. Okay, so we will be showing this one here. Um, they're a nice size, and I keep going back to the size, because if you wanted to use these uh, as gifts, so you've got three different sizes, yeah. but lovely gift boxes or keepsakes if you want to put something in, even yeah. if you wanted to um, keep your jewellery in there, you could yeah. as well. Yeah. They would also, if you, if you had a few of them, they would make a really, really interesting advent calendar. Uh, that's interesting. Yeah. I like that. Just got to pick this one up here. Design team, and I, I'm sure you guys are watching, you are very good. Ther all the finished inspirations, I think, have absolutely been first rate. Look at this as a piece. I like, you can add your own additions in there as well. So we, and as crafters, we all have these, these yeah. little embellishments. If you want to add onto there, this is a cool one going back to our chessboard. I know, obviously, whoever made this one was inspired from maybe the large chess pieces there. <laughs> Beautiful. I love the gritty, sort of grungy effect there. Or how about taking a little bit of uh, inspiration from our stencils? It's kind of got that vibe with the imagery. You could use the stencils on there, which we showed starting off. But you can see the different sizes that you're getting with these. I always get a sense as a presenter when a design team have been really influenced by um, by a piece and yeah. I feel you can tell the design team have loved everything on the show yeah this here whoever made this one I think I'm picking up your design because I one of the tall journals the one with the words I think it's done by the same person I yeah could be, Carol I, Carol made that okay. one yeah I think I'll Carol was yeah made the other one I'm thinking I think of. so yes it's I think nice because so. you do get a sense of everyone's style as yeah. you show enough you do. examples yeah um, you guys are great. This is a great bundle as well. Fifteen ninety nine is your price, and ten percent of the stock has gone here as well. I'm pleased. I'm really pleased because I could see. I kind of gauge it from my own internal crafty barometer of how how likely I'm to use all these. And I would use everything on the show. I thought the stencils are fantastic. The journals are great. The chess pieces are fantastic. And then you've got the matchboxes as well. There is nothing on the show that I wouldn't love to craft with. We will be uh, starting to demonstrate these now. So any questions, please, as always, get in touch. Studio at thecraftstore.com. Uh, we're going to head to dine for our first demonstration. But first, let's jump onto our website and have a look at all the goodies. Now, we did mention... Um, uh, Dye's going to be back at 11 o'clock and we're going to have a different set of new today. So we've got more for you. It's going to be a busy hour. I've uh, got lots of fantastic storage. If you want to shop ahead, and you are, okay, we're already getting busy for everything. Uh, I don't blame you. It's going to be a great hour. What I would suggest, if there's something that you see that you really enjoy uh, and want to pop in your basket, do that, and then tune back in at 11, and we get to see Di having a bit of a play with it. Okay, enough from me. I think we're going to start having a play now uh, with Di and our first demonstration. Di, what are we going to do? I'm going to have a go at the, the night that um, mm -hmm. you, you held up, the horse. Yeah. It's called the night, isn't it? Is okay. It, it is a night, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that is a night, yeah. Yeah, right. So um, I've, I've done this kind of in stages because you do need a bit of drying time yeah. and I didn't want to um, keep on having to dry everything in okay. between. Um, so all I've got is just some black paint, uh, which I've painted on there. Um, and I'll just pop a little bit on the base as well. Okay. Um, this is... Um, Good quality chalk paint, yeah. Uh, but you... you don't have to pre gesso. Oh, okay. Good. It'll just go straight yeah. on. Um, it's got a good opaque finish. Lovely. So just in case anybody is wondering if they needed Sorry. to do any treatment um, to the, the pieces before, no. no, you don't. So okay. I'll pop that in there. Um, so I've done that with the black. The, this horse already. Um, so now I'm going to get some modelling paste. Mm -hmm. um, and what I want to do is I want to create some texture yeah. all over. So I'm going to start spreading on the modelling paste. Ah. Like this. Oh, that's interesting. There. And then you can um, use 
all sorts of things to, to create patterns. You could even slightly dry it and stamp into yeah. it. But what I'm going to do here is I'm literally just going to tap with... A crafty tap. Yeah. Just with... It gives a beautiful texture to finish. It does. Yeah, absolutely. And we can do that all over. Nice. Like that. I'll just do this very quickly because you've seen that. That's lo a lovely technique to show, Di. Uh, do you know what, it's just, because uh, I'm going to be doing some dry brushing, yeah. it's just, it, it gives a really good base it for, does, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> it's so simple to do, yeah. but once you've done it, incredibly effective. It is, yeah. it is. So that you obviously need to leave to dry, so uh -huh. I'll pop that to one side. I have got one here that I've already done, which nice. is dry, yeah. and that's got a nice texture to it. So now, because that's completely dry, I want to use my favourite stencil. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to just, this is where you were quite right when you said earlier, you don't have to use the whole stencil. No. You can just, just use some. Yeah. So I'm just going to lay that on there, and then again with the modelling paste, okay. I'm going to... So we're just building up the relief and the design and then obviously with your dry brushing then you'll bring it all out. Yeah. Okay. So. so a little bit more and then I think we'll be... And don't worry if you don't actually pick up every part of the stencil because sometimes when you leave bits, it gives it kind of a, a distressed yeah. look, which is, is very nice. Well, the piece is going to look like it's aged. You've discovered some yeah. special little um, magical piece. Uh, I've got to tell you, the stencils are very busy. We're approaching 20% of the stock with regard to our stencils. Incredible designs from Fiona Randall. And uh, I've got to just remind everybody that um, this is... A, and I love it when companies do this. And actually, um, Leslie came into studio setting up for a show later on and was wishing Di good luck. And obviously, they're, they're good friends. And it's nice to see. And so where I was going to go with that is the designs you're seeing from uh, Fiona here and the stencils are actually going to be on one o'clock in stamp form, so similar designs, same theme with Leslie and Chocolate Brock. And the two you were saying, Di, uh, the stencils and stamps work beautifully together. They do, yes, mm. absolutely. They're, they're just, and the stamps, incredible yeah. detail on the stamps. They are amazing. Nice. You don't want to miss them. Uh -huh. <laughs> right, so that is with the modelling paste on. So, oh, again, you would leave that to dry, so okay. I'll pop that over there, and then here is one that I've done already, Lovely. and that's with that same stencil. Beautiful. I'll just have a quick clean up there. Right, pop that away. So now, dry brushing. Hmm. I'm going to use a couple of colours. So you only need to pop a little bit yeah. on your mat there like that okay. now i know if you're watching at home bear with because once we do the dry brushing the design will cut because black on black is not the easiest on tv but watch what happens when dye starts using the color yeah so you want to the way the best way to do dry brushing is you you put some of the paint on your paintbrush yeah. and then you want to take it off so you haven't got much left on there and then you can start to run that over the top of your design. Yeah. It just picks up that detail. Let's try a little bit of this colour. Mm -hmm. And equally, we can use our gilding waxes on here. We've got a lot of uh, scope. Yes, definitely. So you can see that the design is gradually starting to emerge. Oh, yeah. It's looking good. Put a bit more on. Actually, like a really the 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 stencils and the um, chess pieces, I think, work incredibly well together. They do, don't they? I I really thought they were, you know, they they could work so yeah. well. I mean, there's something magical about them. Yeah. It's the kind of chess piece that you'd expect to see in a wizarding college. Yes. And you just keep building up your layers 
Um, the, the, the trick is to take the paint off again. Yeah. So you, you're, you, as, a, as, as the expression says, you are dry brushing it on. Mm. Less is more. Yeah. Don't slather it on. And go back to this colour. Nice. Oh, it is coming across very well. That's looking good. Okay, and now when we've done this, mm -hmm. what I'll do is I'll just give it a bit of a dry because I want to put a couple of sort of washes on it, but I don't want, if this is still a little bit wet, I don't want it to start to uh, make all the paint run. Yeah. So I'm just going to grab my heat gun. Give it a wafting. Yes. <laughs> And so while we're doing this, if you do have any questions for Di, we would love to hear from you, studio at thecraftstore.com. Equally, if you've made anything in the past from Tando Creative and you just want to send in your pictures, I know Di would love to see those. So uh, feel free to email in. That's the beauty of us being a live show. We always love hearing from you. Okay, so I'm now going to get... Um, this is a quinacridone gold, and I've got mm -hmm. a cob cobalt teal, so I'm going to just pop... Good colours. A little bit of that on the palette. So this is creating sort of a, a rusty film? Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah. And then what we can do with this, I'll just clean that brush out a little bit. So what we can do, if you've got a spray bottle to hand, mm. you can um, just pop some of your colour on in patches. Oh, nice. And then we can just give it a bit of a swoosh. Okay. And then we can add in a little bit of the blue mm -hmm. just in places. Yeah, this is looking good. And again, just give it a bit of a swoosh, mm -hmm. and you can just mix those colours in a little bit, yeah. like that. We'll pop a little bit of the blue down here, mm -hmm. a bit more of a swoosh, yeah. like that. That looks like a well-practiced and honed swoosh. <laughs> mm. I do like a good swoosh. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> Okay, and then we'll just do that on that last bit, and then we can just let that all run in together like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'll need to give that a bit of a dry. Okay. And then once I've done that, then I can show you just how to finish it. Perfect. Well, I'll let you dry that off as okay. we give a little recap, and uh, we've got to focus on the beautiful stencils. Uh, over 20% of the stock has gone. Looking at the designs, I think we can all appreciate how incredibly usable they are. So uh, what kind of projects have you got in your mind? Can you imagine uh, the, the, using the, maybe a whole motif at the front of a journal? Or it could be the basis of a card. Maybe you're creating a mixed media piece and you just want to use a portion of the design. I mean, going through all of these, the phases of the moon is fantastic. That would work so well in a journal, on a card. Uh, equally, this, can you imagine that on top of a box? Or maybe uh, if you've got some MDF, using that as a centre motif. Beautiful backgrounds with the shooting stars that are screaming to be used. I mean, that's just three of the designs. Then when we come up here, we've got this wonderful burst of light radiating out. And you've got the yin and yang. It's a very clever design here because you've got both the sun and the moon. So powerful imagery there. Uh, that is such a good design here. There's something mythical about it. It's got a vibe of... I'm kind of getting uh, Egyptian, you know, hieroglyphics coming through here as well. And speaking of which, those symbols, maybe that's where my mind's sort of drifting to the hieroglyphics. But everything about this is, to me, exciting to use. And you can imagine it in so many different guises, but stencils, uh, oh, and imagine on your jelly plates as well. 
having a go. So thinking about using your stencils, spritzing the spray, texture paste coming through as well that we're seeing in our demonstration with dye, there's an awful lot going on. And you're getting so much designs at your fingertips. $24.99 is your price, 465-893, your item number. Stencils, just looking at them here, I'd want to use them, and I can only imagine what you're thinking at home. These are a really nice collection of stencils. Uh, now, we have got our journals. So you've got your stencils, maybe you're looking for your next project. The journals, uh, I think, are great, really original. And it's the concept here in Tando Creative. They always bring us quite um, such innovative designs. So here is your, your substrate, your, your foundation. But do you see how the design cutting here allows the structure to bend and that creates your tall and thin. You've already got the holes uh, drilled out so you can just thread that up. Easy to put your skeins, uh, signature, sorry, of uh, paper in. How about this for a journal? This was the one I was reaching for earlier on. I said, oh, I'll show you uh, when we go down the counter again. So see at the back how easy it is to um, thread in your signatures and then inside, come on, this is beautiful. And I like the fact that um, whoever made this actually uh, handmade papers, um, so it made their own papers in there too. So you can really get imaginative with these. That is just one style. But equally, we can go from here to say something like that. Aren't they great? I have to say the design team. Now this is really interesting. Oh, genius, on the ninth, We've got Dai on um, Ho Chanda, the craft store. But then you can see, <laughs> you can see that's brilliant. I love that. To-do lists in there too. That is a very, very clever use of your tall and thin here uh, journal. So I'll pop that back. And your item number, if you do want to get a hold of these and you can imagine yourself using these, you are getting three. So that's three projects just waiting to be used. Uh, 612-556, your item number. Uh, and then we've got the chess pieces for you. Pick a mix, you're choosing any four. Absolutely love these. We're gonna see, uh, I mean, look, it's very easy to gravitate towards the king and queen, but equally you've got your bishop, you've got your knight in there as well, and the rook. Uh, the king is a favorite at the moment. Uh, for, oh, interesting. King followed by the knight. I would have thought king and queen would have topped the board. That's interesting. Uh, the knight, I mean, we're working with the knight at the moment. And this is the demonstration that Di, uh, Di is just sharing with us. Yeah, I can see why the knight is popular. But equally, I mean, all the chess pieces, and the thing with the chess piece, they are so iconic. So you can work on these and have them uh, as a design, some home decor, give them as a gift, and I think everybody will be able to appreciate them. $9.99 is your price, choosing any four, 520-759, your item number. So I think we have uh, dried our night. We're gonna head back to our demonstration. I do hope you enjoyed it, because that's the whole point of the craft store. We place uh, so much importance on the demonstration. Di, how are we getting on? Right, okay, so that's now as dry as I'm going to get it, I think. Okay. So now I want to add um, a little bit of the some embossing enamel. And this is nice, chunky stuff. Yeah. Um, so, whoops, I'm going to just get a Versamark pad. Okay. And I'm just going to roughly mm -hmm. tap that around the edge there. Oh, so this how you've got that beautiful mane. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to start off with that bit yeah. to start with. We'll pop that on there and then we're going to sprinkle on nice now obviously that doesn't look very many mm -hmm. if that's a word is no, that many we'll <laughs> <laughs> so so what you can do before you actually heat it is you can just brush bits ah. away and this will create a more many look so that is so good to show, especially uh, any craft. We've got new crafters joining us every day. Wouldn't necessarily feel you could do that, but obviously we can. It's very simple to do. Simple yeah. technique. Yeah. So you just brush bits away where where you yeah. don't want the powder to heat up. Get rid of that bit there, and then I'll just tip that in there, and then we'll heat that. Yeah. I better pop the lid on because I'm a bit rubbish at knocking things over. Okay. Okay. 
and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, I don't want to overheat it. Yeah. Um, so I want to try and keep some of the texture um, in the embossing crystals. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to keep moving the heat gun so it's not concentrating too much on one area. And then I'm going to angle it so I'm just going to try and catch the edge a little bit more. A little bit more on there. And then you can, once it's cooled, just give it a few seconds to cool down, you can just check to make sure that it's all um, melted onto the piece. Yeah. But it just proves that you don't have to completely over melt your yeah. embossing crystals. You can leave them so you've got a bit of texture there, which mm -hmm. can be quite interesting. Well. Rather than just heating it so it's all completely smooth. Yeah. You can, of course, do that if you want, but it's just different ways that you can use a product, really. It's, I mean, I'm kind of influenced by maybe the piece and the design we went down because obviously changing the papers and the, um, or if you use papers or different colour paints, you change the whole vibe. We talked about Queen's Gambit. I'm getting another popular show that was on TV not longer, Game of Thrones now. Oh, yes. As well. it's got yeah, a bit Game, of Game of Thrones. Thrones vibe yeah, coming definitely. through. Yeah. I just love everything about these. Yeah, I mean, the, you could just pick all sorts of themes, couldn't mm -hmm. you, really? You and, could. And Alice in Wonderland as yeah. a theme. There's all sorts of things you could pick. Um, mm -hmm. and, and you could just build up your collection and gradually mm -hmm. create your whole chess set. Nice. I love it. <laughs> uh, by the way, you'll like this one. Did you ever watch Game of Thrones? I did. Yeah, so uh, Hugh, our director, yeah. this was obviously before lockdown, fancy dress party. What character do you think he went as? No idea. Carl Drogo. Is it Carl Drogo? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah it's called Drogo. We'll oh. show, you the pi show you the pictures. Yeah, brilliant. Look just like him as well. Really? Yeah. Oh. oh, fascinating. Uh, okay, now, uh, I digress. So, uh, with the chess pieces, uh, we've got to show you some of the finished samples because this gives you a good indication of where you can go with this. And actually, beautiful effects. So, Di was showing you with the stencils, adding stencil, really effective. If you want to add texture, uh, love that with the emboss. That's very, very clever. But equally, over here, now this is a clever one too. So this is another use of, um, I don't know, I think that's papers added on there and then built up. Papers are such a great way with your MDF to get a good effect. And then think layered up with some MDF pieces and added a little embellishment there as well. A little, uh, it'll be a little rook. Is it a little rook or a little, I think so. There you go. Uh, and over here, that's another use with the stencils, the phases of the moon, different way. Clever, clever, clever. Uh, King at the moment is still in the lead. Castle's got to be popular too, right? I would imagine so, just showing you here. I mean, imagine that as, and I will just, um, uh, I, I always like to mention Alex when I say this, because Alex coined the term, but it's a mantle pleaser. So you imagine this in a craft room or giving it as a gift to somebody who likes chess. A castle's a strong piece. Well, they're all strong pieces, so there we go. Uh, you don't have to, and what I like about these, you do not have to be a fan of chess to enjoy the potential with them. You just have to be a fan of crafting, and I think if you're watching right now, we're all part of that same clan. We love our crafting. You're choosing any four, and the beauty of a pick and mix is you zero in on your favorite pieces. So what are you going to go for? The king, uh, see, I'd go for the king and queen, the castle and the horse, or the knight would be my choices. But then I'd probably double up. I would, I know at the moment I'm, I haven't got a lot of time for crafting with uh, the little one, but um, I would love at some point the idea of creating, if I had the time, if I wasn't so busy at the moment, if I had the time, I'd do the whole chessboard. That idea I think is just genius. I really would. Uh, 9.99 is your price, 520-759, your item number. I love these pieces. Uh, we have got the matchboxes as well. You, do you know, what I like about you, Di, and I'm so glad because we haven't worked together in ages, you bring us MDF, but it's, it's a really good quality, and I've got to stress, the quality is fantastic, but all the projects are so usable. Yeah. So you enjoy the actual process, but equally at the end of it, you will use these. This isn't a project where you do and then it's just put to the back of a craft room. Or I think you'd struggle to give them away as well. How about that as a matchbox? So now, with the matchboxes, you are getting six. You've got different sizes, so there's your large. So I would imagine we're getting two of each size. Uh, you're getting a deep 
one and a narrow one. Yeah. Size. Brilliant. So Lee. you've actually got six different matchboxes. Oh. But, yeah. So let me just show you. So there's. So that's the large, and yeah. that's your your narrow. And, Thank you, Di. Sorry, I should have made that clear the first time I went down the counter. So you're getting six individual sizes, really, um, and then you're getting the two of, uh, so one of the deep and one of the, um, the narrow yeah. going through. They're great. And when we're looking at here, and very easy to construct as well. They are, yes. You tend to, I just find with, with everything, you, you hear the... The, the quality of what you're working with, and I think it's so important because once you've made this up, it's it's got some substance to it. It will last. So if you do want to use this not only as a uh, decorative piece, but actually functionally to store something inside, we talked about jewellery or giving it as a gift box, you absolutely would. Yes, absolutely. Mm. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to show you some other examples because the design team being so creative. How about that? It now, come on, isn't that beautiful? So thinking about what stamps you have in your stash, this is beautifully done. But then, if I open this up, what? So then you've got more pieces inside. I've got to see these. That's fair. Oh, come on. That's so clever. Do we know who did this one? Uh, Celia did that one. Celia? Yeah. yeah. This Celia is Lowe. beautiful. This is really it, nice. it is, isn't it? It's gorgeous. What a gift. I'm interested to see where she got the stamps now. Uh, Celia, that's absolutely lovely. Fifteen ninety-nine is your price, and that's just one example of what you could do with these brilliant matchboxes. Uh, your item number there is 915732. Uh, we're going to head back to Di for our next demonstration. I can't wait to see what you have for us, Di. What are we going to look at? Okay, I want to look at one of the large matchboxes. Now, I've, I've obviously part done one um, because you wouldn't want to watch me painting every part of it. Mm -hmm. um, I do just want to show you um, something with a paint which is called interference paint. Oh. which is actually it will work really well with this celestial kind yeah. of feeling this vibe that we've got today um, so I'm just going to put this is on one of the matchbox pieces here as you were saying earlier they are very very easy to get that to put together everything just slots in nicely you just need mm. some decent PVA glue to stick it all together um, so I'm just going to get some black paint. I'm very black today, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's okay. <laughs> and I'll pop just a little bit on there. And this is how I actually did the inside of this this box here. So I'm going to pop some of the black Lovely. on there, like that. I won't do it all. And then very, very quick blast just to make sure it's dry. Okay. Literally take a few seconds. Now, as we're doing this, can we follow you on social media, Di? Sorry? Can we follow you on social media? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. We've, got, um, we've got a very good Facebook group called Tando's Creative Zone. I like that. Um, good name. Yeah. <laughs> Where a lot of people post up their creations. Brilliant. And we run a lot of free lives to make all sorts of things oh, in excellent. there. At the moment we're doing a 12 Houses of Christmas and we're doing cubbies and all sorts of things. It's all free. Brilliant. So, and we, we stream them all from there. So that's, that's a good place. So we've, Tando Creative Zone on Facebook. That's it. Yep. Um, we've also got uh, Pinterest and YouTube, which we're building up. So, Brilliant. Um, and yeah. Instagram, you're on Instagram? Yeah, um, I'm a, I'm a bit rubbish with Instagram. We've got an okay. Instagram account, but I need to get my head around how it all works. Okay. I'm a bit, a bit of an old brain, me. It's so like... Just post, post pictures <laughs> of uh, your makes and also let people know when you're coming on here. Right. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll have to sit down and study it and okay. see how I'll get on. <laughs> so this is interference paint. Now, this looks um, just white when you pour it out. Right. But if you tap some of this on with a sponge... Okay. you get this amazing shimmer. Yeah, and it, I'm like that. seeing different colours coming. Is it like purpley? Yeah, this, is, this one is actually the blue. Oh, okay. um, but they do a few different ones. But it's just perfect to go with this particular yeah. theme. If, Di, if you lift it a bit straighter, yeah. I think we'd be able to... Like, a bit more. There you ah, go. That's it. You can yep. see it. Perfect. Yeah. Well, now, come on. Because it's say it comes out white, but so do we have to put it on? Does it react 
better to darker colours like black? Definitely. I mean, you will you will see a difference over white, yeah. but the, the most striking is over the darker okay. colours. Definitely, without a doubt. That's awesome. Okay. So that's that's how I've actually done the the whole of the inside of the yeah. the matchbox. Right. So I'll pop that over there. So um, this crackle. Um, what I've done to create this crackle, let me just mop that up before I put my arm in it, um, <laughs> okay. is yeah. I start off with black again. Nice. Oh, because this is working, I'm glad you're showing us this, is because uh, I picked it up and I didn't know how good the crackle was. Yeah. You know, when we were going down the counter. Yeah. Um, so I, I will just... Um, just put half half on okay. because we don't need to see the whole the whole thing and I've got it sort of partly done anyway So okay. literally just a black chalk paint is fine Which we'll pop that on there like that mm -hmm. and then um, Once we dry that off. Yeah. we use um, dry that off Very quickly like that and then we use a product called weathered wood right um, which we can then pop between the layers okay. so I'll just put a little bit on there like that this again is clear yeah um, and then get a fresh brush and that you would paint on now you can heat dry that mm -hmm. I won't cover it all because I've done this side ready okay. um, and then when it's dry um, it's got a slightly shiny look to it, right. but can what we, we do can is we find we... that on our website with you guys or not? Um, we with... don't do it, but it has been on before, oh, okay. I think. Okay. Yeah, I know. I you know did... There are lots of crackles on our website. Yeah. yeah, I mean anything that you all you're using is any crackle that you use between two yeah. layers of paint, and it will do okay. exactly the same thing. Perfect. So, yeah. um, and then I'm going to just get a the cream. Mm -hmm. And I will just pop a little bit out on there. Yeah. And then with a sponge, we're just going to tap this on. Yeah. And you will see almost immediately as it dries, okay. it will start to crackle. Right. A little bit more out. Oh, you can see you can see that. Yeah, it's almost it's, as soon as it starts drying, yeah. it will crackle. So, going back to what you were saying, a, a lot of crackle products would would do this. Yeah. Um, but putting it on with a sponge. Now, this was this was Fiona's idea. The very talented Fiona. Yeah. She suggested that you, um, in a live that she did that you you put the top layer on with a sponge, and actually, it, it to me, it's a really brilliant effect and much Keeps better really than nice trying face. to do it with a brush. Um, but you can see as that's drying, that is yeah. already starting to crackle straight away. Perfect. Dye. If you can just tilt it to camera one. Yeah. Oh, there, perfect. Yeah. And then that crackle coming through. Yeah, you, you can already, see that all, just done it, yeah, yeah. coming through there. It's all starting to come through. Um, we can just heat dry it. Okay. Oh, and it's one we can heat dry. Some yeah. crackles you can't. Lovely. So we give that a bit of a blast. Yeah. And then it's not completely dry, but you can see now the areas where it's all starting to crackle there. Yes. That's all coming through. Oh, it's looking good. Now, I would be tempted to do this technique, but uh, having uh, more brown tones to it, but getting yeah. a crackle on the chest pieces. Yes. Think how incredible that would look. Yeah, yeah, it would be. Yeah, it'd be absolutely amazing. Um, by the way, I, I apologize, because I think we are having a slight issue on the pick and mix with the chest pieces. We are trying to get that sorted. So if you had trouble uh, picking the chess pieces that you want uh, at the moment, we'll let you know. I'm hoping we'll get it sorted sooner rather than later. But we have got another show at 11 o'clock with Dye, so we haven't been able to rectify it. It's just sometimes live TV, we can have a technical glitch. If we aren't able to rectify it this hour, I promise you at 11 o'clock, we will have sorted that out. So if uh, you are struggling right now, tune back in at 11 and I promise we'll get that sorted. 
Okay, how are we getting on? Okay, so um, I just want to decorate the top. Now, I've already pre-prepped something for okay. this, um, but what I have used is this amazing stamp, which is actually on Leslie's show um, coming up soon. If, and I didn't want to say, and that's a beautiful stamp, by the yeah. way. So uh, Leslie will be showcasing this at one o'clock, and I really hope you can tune in. The um, shall I held up here. I didn't want to say whether, but this to me looks like the kind of stamp that you would get with Leslie and Chocolate they, they're Bar. They're Leslie stamps. Are they? They are I'm Leslie so glad stamps. they are, because yeah. I would have felt terrible if they weren't. Yeah. I didn't want to say it just in case, but as I was showing it, I thought, this to me looks like it stamps from uh, Chocolate Baroque and Leslie. They're I stunning. must admit, Chocolate Baroque are my go-to stamps. Yeah. I have got loads of them. And so many people say the same yeah. thing. When you get results like this, yeah. how can you not love chocolate Exactly, yeah. exactly. Love that. Okay. So yeah, I think this, this one, I think this particular stamp is featuring on her first show this morning. Brilliant. Uh, which I've literally just coloured in with some distress inks. The, the other good thing about it is these stamps fit really well onto a size 9 tag. Yeah. And the size 9 tag fits really well on the top of the box. Uh, okay. So, um, I've just wrapped a little bit of ribbon around it and then you can glue this onto your box and it would make a perfect gift, Lovely. I think. Lovely. Oh, that would be a great gift. Yeah. Just say, so, let, and apologies, because I said one o'clock and it's only because I know we're featuring the stencil designs and stamps at, at one, but Leslie will be on, Leslie, when's your first show? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. So nine and one, you've got Chocolate Baroque. So tune in at nine if you want to see the flowers. Dai is going back at 11 and we've got clarification that we're not going to fix the issue with the pick and mix until 11. So I'm sorry for that. We're just, look, it's early in the morning. We have to wait for someone to get into work, basically. So um, we're going to sort that out. By 11, that will be sorted out. Okay. Okay. So that's, um, <clears throat> that's pretty much that. Um, what I've also done on the side, I'm just trying not to get goo everywhere. Yeah. I've also used... Um, stencil? Fiona's amazing stencil there on the side. So, nice. again, very easy. I'll just grab that stencil. Um, as you said right at the beginning, you don't need to use the whole yeah. stencil. Um, so you can literally just pop this on the side mm. like that. And then we can just get some paint. But isn't, I know, I'm just discovering Fiona as a designer. Uh, I'm blown away by her designs. Really clever. Now this one here, it's you got the sun, the burst of the sun, but also the moon as well yeah. in there. So it's it's a bit of both, that yin and yang. Yeah. It's very clever. It is very very clever. Yeah. So we can just um, pop that on there, and then you can just nice. use a brush or a sponge just to go through the stencil. Lovely. like this. I was always taught from when I, I joined the craft store, one of the first things I learnt was stencils are possibly the most cost-effective crafty thing we can buy. I mean, value for money, when you consider the amount of different things we can do yeah. and for the cost. Yeah. Because, of course, the other good thing about stencils, especially um, the ones that are made from the slightly thicker material, yeah, like this is 350 yeah. micron. You can actually, with your uh, a foam mat, you can run them through your embossing machine, emb embossing machine yeah. and emboss paper as well. So if anybody doesn't know emboss, about that. We can emboss, we can spray. Yeah. yeah, so many things. They are really, really versatile. And there you go, oh, you no, see. That looks fantastic. Genuinely fantastic. So. And I think these, you can just sort of soak them in nice hot yeah. water or, you know, they're, the they're fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they're absolutely fine. Stunning. Okay. If you could, and again, Di, sorry, if you can just whip that around and show that to camera one. Yeah. I love it. I just think the design is very clever. Having the moon set within the sun and that radiation uh, of light coming out, yeah. It's such a clever piece. Yeah. I'm just going to show you all the stencils that we are getting. Now, we are sadly coming towards the end of this hour, but as I say, uh, Dai will be back at 11. 
I promise the pick and mix with the um, with the chess pieces will be sorted. Then I'm so sorry. I know it's been frustrating, uh, but and it's such a good it's such a good bundle uh, and pick and mix. So please come back for that at 11 o'clock. But let's have a look at our stencil. So this was the stencil that I just used. I genuinely love all of these. So how strong is that a design? And I'm I'm seeing that I've got some metallic paints at home. Get a gold metallic paint on a black background or a black piece of MDF would look incredible. And actually, I'm saying that it's already been done. Look, passing it off as my own idea. It's already done there. <laughs> so you can see that there. Uh, equally, how about here? I mean, the intricacies of the design. Fiona is amazing as a designer. She's really tapped into something very special. It's mystical going through. Um, that's a really cool. There's so much detail going on here. So how are you, what are you going to be doing? Are you going to add some structure paste through it? Are you going to spray through it? Is it going to be a front of a, I think the top of a box would look incredible, but equally I could see it on the front of a journal, see it as a base of a card. Now this is clever. With the symbols, I would use that as a background as a whole, or equally, you can just cherry pick, uh, create a little design of hieroglyphics, just picking out a few and adding them to a piece. Imagine a border or a frame would look fantastic. And then down here, you've got such a clever design as just as a background and the illusion of movement from the shooting star. It's very yeah. well designed. Yeah. That's another strong piece to these. And I am getting a sense of, um, I keep going back to sort of Egypt. Yeah. But I think that's because they, they tapped, they did look to the stars and it was a big part of yeah. uh, the culture. But this, it's universal and it will never date. $24.99, you're getting all six of these, and the phase of the moon is a really strong image, too. Um, Di, I've enjoyed this show. I really have. It's Thank lovely you. to work with you again. It's been far too long. <laughs> uh, so do remember to follow Tando Creative on uh, social media, especially on Facebook, free group, Tando Creative Zone. Uh, I know you're doing a lot of uh, free videos on yep, there as yep. well, tutorials, so do have a yep. look. Uh, it's a great group. Di will be back at 11 o'clock. We've got plenty more new today's at 11 that we didn't feature this hour. Uh, so do make sure to tune 11. And I promise we will have that pick and mix sorted by 11 as well. And I can only apologize. Di, thank you. Thank really you. Enjoyed it. Thank and you. thank you. Don't go anywhere. Plenty more coming up. I mean, come on, look at this for a morning. We've got Ranger One Day Special uh, with the lovely Leone and Paola. After that, Leslie's going to be here, Chocolate Baroque. And then we've got Crafty Individuals Magical. Lee. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp. And uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full time. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Have you heard of freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away, or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888, and join Freedom today. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar, and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day, there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace. And so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia. And along the way, I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers. And that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. 
At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start, and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows. Well, good morning. Now, of course, 8 a.m. here at the craft store means one thing. And, of course, it's the first look of the day at the one-day special. And what a one-day special it is. Of course, it is Ranger. It is Distress Inks. And, of course, we are talking about that fabulous brand-new color, blue ribbon. Uh, well, actually, prized ribbon. Now, I'm not going to be then showing you all of it. No, no, no. We have got the absolute expert, the one that knows how to use it, how it, everything works, uh, to explain you everything that we have. Uh, so actually, I'm just going to introduce you to the wife, the telly wife, of course, Leonie Pujol. Hi. Come in. Hi. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Um, I don't know about knowing how to use everything. I think, whew. but anyway, I'll give it a good shot. Um, hello and welcome. It's lovely to have your company. Um, it has been a really busy one day special. Obviously, it's Tim Holtz, it's a brand new colour. You know, I mean, of course it's busy because um, if you're a Tim Holtz fan, if you love Distress, then when there's a new colour or, or basically just, just anything Distress, it just, it's a, it's a, we need it. It's a want. Um, and this is such a beautiful colour. Um, Prize Ribbon is the brand new ink pad. We've got that in Distress Oxide, which means, of course, not only have you got the dye in there but you've got the pigment so it gives it that opacity but it also means when it oxides it just looks so interesting now if i show you this look at it on craft card it just looks divine it's so cool um because when it oxides it splits you know you see the the especially on craft cards look it's really interesting because you can see the richness of the dye coming out but you can see the white um that comes out of it it looks chalky they don't contain any chalk but it looks chalky it gives you that beautiful finish it's a gorgeous gorgeous color and um, what um it's interesting actually because of course i'm watching tim and um, what he says is that he doesn't just think, oh, I'm just going to bring out a new blue. He looks at the whole collection that is now a uh, distress and he finds where there's gaps. And absolutely there were gaps here. So I've put on this swatch, I've put the, and I've forgotten again, I've used the faded jeans, I've used a blueprint sketch, and then in the centre is um, our brand, brand new prize ribbon. And it's a completely different blue. I mean, this is such a beautiful... Um, ocean blue it's just such a rich gorgeous blue so there was a gap you know it's really interesting when you actually look at it especially when it oxides when you look at the variations that you can achieve and i mean how beautiful is that that it's just direct to paper and it's such a good blue that one um uh, smoothed on of course blended on then spritzed over the top this one uh, mix it with your mica and you're going to get that beautiful shimmer if i hold this book up again just to show you a few more of the goodies that you can do with it now this is just direct to paper and you can see when it's direct to paper and then just blasted with water so you get the oxidation but you've got the gray undertones in there and i love that the color splits and it's the way the um the the actual ink wicks over the page that makes it look so effective i mean that is just ink and water and it's that easy to create backgrounds this i love that that is with the black soot and there's a bit of the i think um it's the flamingo i can't i always say kitsch wrong i keep saying quiche so i'm just saying flamingo i know right no, no, I get it wrong all the time. You don't want a flamingo quiche. Uh, but I keep saying the way wrong, so I'm just going flamingo. I know it, but it won't come out right from me, Ed. Um, you've then got with a stencil on the water, which is, again, ridiculously easy but beautiful. Of course, you can stamp with them, and I love that. It's such a beautiful dark blue. I love stamping with the same colour that you do the blend because it's the same. It's Obviously, it's the right tone because you're, you're using the same ink pad, but it's richer, so it 
just pops off the page. Um, picking up from the stencil, um, which looks absolutely beautiful. That's on watercolour and then on black. Because, of course, the Distress Oxide, because it's got that opacity, it's going to allow you to work on darker cards, um, which your, your normal Distress, because that's the dye, isn't going to do. Your oxides will pop. They'll be different. It won't be the same kind of colour that you'll get on your white cardstock, but it's absolutely worth playing with. Now, that's your brand new one. That's your beautiful prize ribbon. You've also got the black. Now, these are your regular distress. Definitely use regular distress with oxides. Um, that's a dye, so it's going to give you really gorgeous, rich colours. Um, and, of course, it's a distress, so it's still water reactive. It means as soon as you add that water, you're going to get that pop. Um, you're going to get that wicking, that fantastic movement. And it's all about the movement. I mean, it's just beautiful. Last night they were seeing, I can't see the poodle now, oh there you are, last night they were seeing poodles. Um, and that is of course our flamingo, yeah we can now see the poodle. Um, just a beautiful pink is that. And as, as we were saying with the, the, the prize ribbon, that pink, it absolutely had a place within the collection. You know, there wasn't a pink like that within the collection. So that's your Distress. You've also got uh, Snow Cap. Now, that is an alcohol link. We are going to be doing alcohol links um, 12 o'clock. It's probably going to be 12 and 4, actually, because there's a lot to say about alcohol links. So that's going to be 12 and 4 o'clock. And then you've got a Mister. That essential. I mean, I, I get through a lot of misters because I put them in safe places. Actually, I'll be dead honest. Yeah, it's water inside because I have to keep using it. In between home and here, I've managed to put my mister in a safe place. I thought I'd left it at home. Checks at home. It's not there. So I'm obviously just going to blame the dog. I don't think it's a dog, but I'm blaming the dog. It's obviously Lola. Yeah, that's why yours will be empty and it is just water. Um, yeah, it's just a mystery. It's only because I keep having to pinch it that it's got water inside. I really annoyed myself. It's like, what? How have I done that? Skills. Skills. Um, now, <laughs> backgrounds. I have created hundreds of backgrounds. Now, these are just quick backgrounds. These aren't uh, really getting into it. They're not actually really messing about, but it's all using prize ribbon. It's using prize ribbon with some of the other colours that they've got on the show. I love backgrounds. I love that one. That's with your vintage photograph. Uh, it goes so well with vintage photo. It's so dreamy. Obviously, the way Distress Oxide's layer is beautiful, you know, because you get that oxide, because you can get these wonderful, um, the, the pops of colour, which looks sensational. Uh, remember to dry between layers, and that's how you'll get all this fantastic, um, the detail in there. I've kept white space because I haven't done anything with these yet, but they are just delicious. I mean, look at that blue. It's fabulous. Now, the one day special is over 40%. If you'd love to go for this, the brand new colour from the fabulous Tim, um, you are saving £9, so £25 and £15. 936-564. It's really interesting because um, when you, you listen to Tim, and Tim is fabulous because he does have a huge uh, back catalogue on YouTube of, of instructions and help. His videos are so good. So, and I love that. I love that when you invest in distress, you've got someone who will really, really teach you how to use it. He's so good. And when you watch him, he's like, oh, I want to do that. I want to do that. And Len, it's like, I need all the stamps that he's just used. He's really good. But he knows what he's talking about. He uses really big words. <laughs> um, now, next, we have got for you. These are beautiful, and these have been really busy. Over half the stock has gone. So, embossing powders, but these are an embossing glaze. Um, so they're a translucent powder. There are other translucent powders on the market. Um, a lot of them are opaque, um, so it gives you a different finish. So essentially, these are embossed just using your clear embossing um, and onto white cardstock. So you see that beautiful, it's a backlit. Because of the white underneath, it's just the pure colour of the powder. So you've got in this one the brand new colour, of course, our prize ribbon, and then the gorgeous weathered wood. Weathered wood is beautiful. Um, so that's how it looks, regular. However, if you use your pad, so if you use your brand new uh, Distress uh, pad, and that with the Distress Oxide, look at the, yeah, that's 
absolutely exquisite, isn't it? So that's blue ribbon pad and then your embossing powder. That is your weathered wood pad and then the embossing powder. The richness is sensational. And look, I love it. I love how the tone absolutely changes. Because it's translucent, it's picking up the colour underneath. But then, so this is, um, is one of my favourites. It's your, I'm having a name blank. Yes. Thank you. Twister Citron. How could I forget that? Thank you, Miss P. So that's your Twister Citron. I love that name as well. One of my favourite names of my brain this morning. I haven't finished my coffee yet. So that's your Twister Citron, right? Just the ink pad. However, if you use Twister Citron with your weathered wood over the top, you get that. That's weathered wood. Look how it changes, both of them. How cool is that? Again, because you're working with translucent. Again, taking the Twister Citron, but this time putting our brand, brand new prize ribbon over the top. That's prize ribbon. So again, look at the colour variation. So it means you can change the colours. You know, you can create your own colours. You can create so many different looks just using your embossing powders. It makes it dead interesting. £11.98 is your price. Obviously, you can just stamp and emboss as regular as well. You've got that option. Uh, 595 495 is your item number. Now, our sprays, these were very busy as well yesterday, and they're just delicious. So it's that oxide, so it's your distress oxide, but in spray format. Now, don't think you can create, um, you can use your reinkers and create a spray. You ain't going to get it because obviously you need to get that oxidization. If you just use reinker and add water to it, that's it. It's, it's oxidized. Um, this hasn't. When you spray it, for instance, that, I've not added any water to that, so these haven't oxidised. They're literally just the um, the actual ink on black cardstock. However, however, if I add water to it, look how it starts to go. You get that beautiful, you get the different tones coming through, and you get the white coming through, that chalkiness coming through. So it really does make a difference. Now, the colour palette here is beautiful. Obviously, you get the brand new prize ribbon. I mean, look at that on black, and that is adding water. That, look at that, how beautiful is that colour? It's just gorgeous. But you've also got, and again, I haven't used your, uh, your antique linen enough. I really like antique linen. I've just bought myself loads, actually, um, stocking up on ones I'm missing. I really love that colour. And again, when you spritz it, so you can see this has been spritzed with water. The water splits it. It makes it oxidise. And that's where you start seeing your other colours coming through, which are absolutely stunning. Your Victorian velvet. Now, this is interesting. That is only Victorian velvet. That side's got water, that side hasn't. And again, you can see the oxidisation and you can see the different colours. You can see that rich, dark pink coming out, which looks lovely. And then one of my uber favourites, um, your dried marigold. That is so lovely. And again, when you've added water to it, that split, that oxide, it changes the colour palette and it's just, it makes it pop. Obviously, there's thousands and thousands of backgrounds you can create. Look at those. That's your, um, your marigold with your prize ribbon. Such a gorgeous combination. Look at these. Oh, I love doing backgrounds. They're just dreaming. That, that is just um, mopping up the ink that's left over. And that, I mean, how pretty is that? Now, if you do want to get hold of these, 70% of the stock has gone. What I love about your distress, that is so soft and pretty and gentle. It doesn't need to be intense. It doesn't need to be grungy. Do you know what I mean? You can get really, really beautiful backgrounds. Um, I mean, look at that. That is so pretty. Um, now, if you do want to get hold of this, just £22.46. That's for all four colours, including the brand new um, prize ribbon. Now, next, and these are lovely, actually. And it's interesting because, again, I've hardly used spun sugar. It's funny because, I mean, I've been using Distress for a long time now. Will it be 20 years? When did I work at Topaz? I love that I'm asking Paula because I have no concept of time. 2006 or 2000, 2000. Yeah, it would have been, wouldn't it? Yeah, something. 2006, 2006 five, 
2005. And that's when I first got introduced to, yeah. to Distress because they were brand that they were brand new when yeah, I yeah. wrote them um, because it were when our Timmy used to do. Sorry, I'm reminiscing, <laughs> but they were brand new. So yeah, it's 2005, 2006, and I and I was obsessed with Distress. Absolutely loved them, and yet there's still colours I've not really used. Which is ridiculous. Um, like spun sugar. Be I'll tell you for why. Because because I was obsessed with distress, but I like the dark, you know. I like the the intense. I like the the really grungy and dirty colours. Um, so these I was like, meh. They're a bit light. They're a bit pretty. Now, oh my gosh, I love them. And this is what I love about distress. It changes with your mood. If you're very much like me, and tomorrow I might be something completely different, you've got something within the palette that will nail that mood. So you've got the spun sugar, the beautiful speckled egg, which is perfect, and then our flamingo. Yep, stunning, absolutely stunning. Look at that. I love the spun sugar. I just adore that now. I love how much I've, my palette's changed. It's ridiculous. And then look at your flamingo. Boom, gorgeous. Now, two thirds of the stock has gone. Again, they will go on black, and I find them so interesting on black cardstock. They give you a beautiful finish, and they almost feel chalky. You know, they give you that fantastic effect. I mean, just, oh, wait, look at them. Oh, isn't that just gorgeous? And uh, now, 22 pounds and foot, I mean, Oh, 22 pounds and 46 pence is your price. Uh, 467 523 is your item number. Now, I might use some of these because, um, I mean, um, for the last I don't know how long I've been making my own papers and blah, blah, blah. It's like, oh, that'd make a nice paper. Anyway, <laughs> two for one. Uh, so, next you've got um, your mica sprays. And again, absolutely beautiful. How much is going to be? Wow, over 40% of the stock has gone. Mica, they're just really handy. Um, you can use them, of course, on white. You can use them on black. The nice thing is because your, um, your distress range hasn't got any shine or shimmer in it, it means you can add shine and shimmer. Um, and, of course, you can use them on all sorts. The other thing is there ain't no shedding on this. Um, which is lovely. So it does mean that you're going to get that beautiful shimmer on your card, not your hands. Um, dead easy to use. All you need to do is give them a shake. And we always like shaking mica because it always looks good in the bottle when you shake mica. Always. Never gets boring. Oh, never gets boring. Um, £13.99 pence is your price. I've always said, you know, the um, what they call them 70s things that had the... They were like that and like the, the globby stuff whistled round in it. Lava lamp, thank you. I knew someone would know what that was. I, I want a lava lamp but with mica in it. Wouldn't that look amazing? Oh my gosh, if someone could invent that, that would be fine. Because every time, when you shake one of them up, you can watch it for hours. Sorry, longest counter ever just because I'm shaking my, mica bottles. But watch, I mean, isn't it? Imagine a lava lamp with that in it. Anyway, <laughs> now, we didn't show this last night, so brand new to the counter. Um, and this, I must admit, brand new to me as well, sort of. Uh, so, your custom blend um, ink pads. So, obviously, we've had ink pads in the past that, you know, you can, you can do your own. Um, it's part of the distress range. Your distress ink pads are felt ink pads. They're not foam. They're not squidgy. So it's a felt ink pad, which um, which means you can do lots of different techniques. So they're brilliant for applying direct to paper. Um, nice and easy for stamping up. And actually, because they're not foam, it's a bit easier not to over ink, to be honest, because it's not squidging as much. Because it's a felt ink pad, it's going to take your inks. Now, we've got within this two re-inkers. Um, there's a lot lot of reinkers obviously not all the distress outsides have got reinkers um but there's a lot in the range now now the reinkers these ones are for your normal ink pad. These aren't Distress Oxide. These are normal. Um, so you have got your um, your speckled egg and you have got your wilderness, your um, rustic wilderness. Beautiful, beautiful colours yet again. And again, they fit into the whole palette. Now, these are intense. So you're going to get darker, stronger ink than you've got in your spritzers. Um, then you've got 
in your if you're using them direct obviously then you've got in your your pad because when you put them in your pad it's dispersing the ink so you can paint with these you can do loads of effects we're going to play with shaving foam because you have to because otherwise it's rude not to right but you can use these on your um your uh, ink pad so you create your own ink pad which means you can create um, beautiful stripes but it doesn't have to be I mean you can just create beautiful blends um, it's your ink pad play with it I've done stripes with mine because it's easy but you can do anything with it um, the reinkers definitely collect your reinkers it's just really handy having reinkers for your ink pads I must admit there's a I need a lot of reinkers and I couldn't get hold of them and that and I find it is really quite frustrating because a lot of mine need reinking now so I would absolutely suggest when you can get older reinkers get them because no word of a lie I've literally just ordered myself loads of ink pads because I needed to to stock up and I wanted to get reinkers for my vintage Ford, so for loads of them, and I couldn't get any. It was really annoying. I got one colour. So if you do want to get them while you see them, uh, that's what I think. Five two five eight one six is your item number. Now, something we didn't put out last night as well were the distress cranes. Distress cranes they fit in with the colour palettes. So of course, the whole distress range and the the big deal about distress is that the colour palette will blend together perfectly same color tones but different techniques different textures within the whole family uh, what your distress crayons do so again they're a water reactive um, crayon so you'll be able to crayon with them which means you'll get that texture but as they are i mean look it, it ain't shifting you know and if you scrub on it it's not shifting got a bit of movement there but it ain't blending, you know, it's not. You can blend it gently with your finger, but you're not getting a proper blend. If you go with water, and I've only spritzed these, I haven't really worked them, but if you go over with water, then the reactive, then you get the blend. That one at the end is white, which is why I've mixed it with the black, because I thought, that's your black, so just to show that it is white, and that's why you can't see it. But it does mean you can obviously add it to other colours, to, uh, to reduce the, the colour, to obviously soften it. Not only have you got your normal distress um, crayons, you've also got your metallics. And your metallics are beautiful because obviously you can then water them down. You can paint with them. You can draw through your stencils with them. You can just add them um, as an overlay. You can create beautiful texture with them. Uh, 1790, I do like my distress crayons. There's tons of uses with those as well. Um, three pound saving there, zero five four nine double zero last but by no means least again part of the distress range and just absolutely gorgeous um and it, yeah it's another really good collection of colors you've got the beautiful weathered wood which is gorgeous worn lipstick i use that a lot that's absolutely in my big old range oh uh, twisted citron i love that green it's a proper pop of green is that and then another one i haven't used much the hedge edge mahogany now i haven't used this much but I'm going to, because look at that. You don't know when you play with them and go, oh, yeah, why haven't I used that much? That is stunning. That is beautiful. The way, when it oxides, so that's been hit with water, the way, look at that colour that comes on from underneath. It's just exquisite. I love how many colours are in one ink pad. It's amazing. And you've then got that beautiful weathered wood. Again, when it starts moving, when it wicks, when it's hit with water, it looks amazing. Look at your twisted citron. Oh, my gosh, that colour is phenomenal, isn't it? Oh, love that. And then, and then our beautiful flamingo, that perfect pink. Um, if I show you on your, because um, I love them on your, your craft card as well. Uh, craft card, you get a lot of different types of craft card. Please play with cardstock. It will make a difference. If something doesn't blend properly, you can blame your cardstock, not you. Um, because you will find, if you're working with a cardstock that, that's too porous, it just sinks, uh, your ink just sinks into it and you can't get a decent blend and you won't get decent background. So I have a play with cardstock. Um, all the cardstock I've been using here, the majority of it is super smooth. It's Pink Frog super smooth, but I've also been using Pink Frog watercolour as well. It's really weird how all of a sudden I've started using super smooth. I don't know why, but it's becoming a bit of an obsession. Um, and now, if you do want... To 
I don't know why. I have no excuses for that, but I like it. Uh, 721394 is your item number. It's a good price as well, is that? Because I think it works out at £6 some at per ink pad, and that is a good price. I know what I've just paid for mine trade. So I can tell you that's a good price. Um, now, if, uh, if you do want anything else, please get on the website. We have got um, one of your essentials. These are your little ink pads. Little ink pads, same. Uh, it's your normal distress, not oxide. It's your normal distress. Um, but again, thousands of things you can do with these. They're absolutely fabulous. Um, and the thing is, with, with something like that, the little ink pads, it's your essential colours. Now, because it is your essential colours, um, it does mean uh, you can do all sorts with it. And that is 955680, just 22 pounds and 97 pence. And you are saving five pounds there. Um, if there's anything you want, please check your baskets out. Obviously, if you have any questions or if you've got lovely backgrounds of finished projects that you've done with Distress, then email in. How long have you collected Distress? Did you, did you like discover it when I did, you know, when it first launched and, you know, and I tell you what, it was really cool because Tim, uh, when I used to work with Dawns in Ozzle Twistle and he did come and do a demonstration in the shop and it was just like uh, me, Dawn and like the staff, well excited. They were the old days, darlings. Oh, um, right then, let's get cracking. So something I did, and I'm gonna, I will obviously use the brand new ink pads, but I want to use this because I haven't used it yet, the custom blend pad. I'm having to pinch the one that's on the counter uh, because I've already done this and I wanna show you how to do it. So when you get the custom blend ink pad, it's a, as I said before, it's a plain ink pad. Now, using your re-inkers, it's really, really easy to do. All you need to do is load your ink on. Load it on however you want. So um, it's up to you. You might be doing stripes. I must admit, I might not do stripes on this. I'm kind of, no. You see, the thing is, it depends how you use it. If you're using it for swiping across your card, because I were tempted to do dots, right? But if you're using it to swipe across your card, then if you've got dots in there, one colour's going to bleed into the other. You're, you're going to end up sort of, you know, cross-contaminating your ink pad already. Um, and that's why stripes is easy to blend across your card. However, if you've decided with your custom ink pad, you're not going to be doing stripes, you're just going to be blotting it onto your card, then it doesn't really matter. You don't really need to worry about stripes. So it's how you're going to use it at the end of the day. This is yours. So it's whatever you want it to be. And I like that. I like that, you know, you can make it whatever. Um, now, the colours. When you're adding the colour, so I'm adding quite a bit. I'm letting it really sink into that ink pad. When you first use your ink pad, when you first do it, you need to leave it for about five minutes for those colours to, um, to really sink in. Otherwise, it'll be too juicy and wet. So don't use it straight away. Give it a good five minutes. Um, Obviously, you've got your re-inker, so when you need to re-ink it, you can do. The interesting thing about this, those colours aren't blending into each other. And I find that, again, I find that really interesting. So you don't... Cookery for halfway. I did take a long time going down that counter, didn't I? Um, so I find that really interesting because unless you want to cross-contaminate, you're going to get those beautiful, pure colours, which is incredible, really. And this was something as well, I mean, with the, the ink that I was, um, that I've learned that the ink, because um, I was always worried about storage, but it's actually suspended within that ink pad. So uh, it doesn't actually, on your normal ink pad, so it doesn't matter how you store it, which is interesting. But obviously, um, the air, um, weather can affect it, humidity, etc. So you need to put the lids back on. Oh, you definitely need to put your lids back on, yeah. But for storage, it, it's, you know, um, depending on your humidity, yeah. the storage can, mm. can... So if you know how we get worried about storing them flat or... Yeah. So, but normally it doesn't matter depending where you live. Exactly, yeah. If you live in Arizona, which is rather hot and yeah. dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it might make the, it move a little bit more than you expect. Yeah. So... I've got my stripes there, dead easy. Leave that for five minutes. What Tim does, and this is a very good idea, is then 
over the top and you'd normally let it rest for a while before you do it but then over the top of the ink pad you go over the top like so so you know what color it is i'm really quickly going to try and clean this off because this is the one that's on the pack shot oh. so <laughs> oh look oh, and look how fabulous and quick like, it stays yeah. <laughs> well i had to demonstrate it i only had one and obviously i've done that so that's how you actually load it you've then got an ink pad that's yours so with a custom blend ink pad um again cardstock so if i just get my cardstock and just streak this along I've got trip. that beautiful colour. Isn't that just lovely? That's beautiful. Spin it. Watch your fingers. I'm obviously going to get a bit of ink on my finger and also put a bit of, um, put my fingers in there. But again, how gorgeous is that? Such a beautiful colour. It's still reactive ink. So when I take my mister, which of course you're getting in, your, your um, one day special, when you spritz it, you're still able to get that beautiful reaction. So of course you can blend it. You can blend it as much as you want. Remember, this is the dye ink. Because it's the dye ink, you're not oxidizing it. There's no oxidization happening, but you're still gonna get the reaction because at the end of the day, it is reactive ink. So you can use it like that. Or of course, it is a custom blend, so it means you can actually stamp with it. So we've got these stamps actually on the show. So if I just take one of the stamps off here, and they're just sentiment stamps. So I've got thanks, I've got grateful, um, we've got thanks so much for you, thanks to you, thank you, you're the best. So you've got some really nice uh, sentiments on there. So if I just whack that on a block, like so. Now, because it's a custom blend, I can see where my colour is. It, colour is. So I'm just going to tap along here, like so. I'm then going to spin it. I could have done the full thing, so I don't know why I'm doing that. Now, this is obviously an acrylic stamp. Um, and you can see, because it's uh, an ink, a dye, can you see how it puddles mm -hmm. on yep. that stamp? Um, because I'm going on to an acrylic, so it just separates on there. A couple of ways of doing this. I'm actually going to spritz gently on there. I, a mister would be better for this. Do you know what? There is a difference as well. So, and this is really difficult to demonstrate. I wonder if you can see it on craft cardstock. Because what about on the glass mat? I tried that last night, oh, but it's actually quite shiny. difficult to see. So, look, if there's a mister, and we've got misters in that um, in the thingy one, the yeah, the set with the stencils. Now with the mister, I wonder. No, you still can't see it. It's funny. It's like how do I demonstrate misters? Because you want to be able to ah black. Now there you go. Can you see? It gives you a really nice fine mist. Like there is wet. All that is wet. It's, as it says on the, that is a proper, proper fine mister. It's finer than this one. You'll get more, um, you more splatters, <laughs> if you see what I mean. I like it because you do, yeah, you get your different variations. You'll use that. That is, that's one of those things that you'll actually, oh, what did I put my card? That's one of those things that every now and again it'll be like, oh yeah, I'll use that one. And obviously there's loads of ways you're going to be using your misters as well. And um, when we do the 12 o'clock hour, um, I'm going to use the, the different um, the different alcohol inks. So again, I'll be using the misters for that hour. Now, when I put that on, have a look at that. Now I like this. Um, it does, you can see because it pits, so on there, because the, the ink splits, you can see the kind of droplets, but I, I like that texture. For me, that's cool. If you don't want that, use red rubber stamps, or you can ink it first with. What do we ink it first with? Is it st uh, it's not stays uh, on? Uh, well, you can use a stays on, but also a Versamark. Versamark. And then you won't get that splitting. Um, but I quite like it. But can you see the different colours? So you've got the green and that beautiful blue because that's my custom blend. So it means I've got that two-tone effect really simple within that ink um, within that stamp so it looks really really pretty I have a, 
a kind of a question. So, if, for instance, if you had, a, you are doing a, like a wedding invitations or Christmas cards, they are all the same, or the kind of, could you ring, for instance, if it's a circle with a sentiment and a design inside, could you make a, yeah. an ink pad that is kind of yeah, design inside? Yeah, that will give you that perfect little circle. Circle in red, yeah, yeah, for yeah. instance, and then the other rest yeah, yeah, in green. Yeah, 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 you actually could. Because you're only, I mean, obviously, yeah, and... Because you're stamping, if you'd be inking, yeah. or, yeah, you'd be stamping exactly, like that, yeah. then, yeah, as long as you, yeah. You are careful, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, and that's yeah. it, with your custom ink pad. I've never really used custom ink pads, yeah. but there is. If you're doing something specific, there's tons of ways you can use it, isn't there? Now, look at this. It looks like I'm mainly getting green on this. I hope I haven't messed up my ink pad. No, I won't have. But with that one. It's because, now, it's interesting actually, because this is going on to watercolour cardstock. If I go on to my, if I go on to there, ah, I've lost my blue a bit on this one, How have I now? Is it, if you rotate the, start, the ink, is it? You what, love? I don't know, you are doing it right I now. I need, I think I just need to put more of more my blue of back blue. in again, because I've just not put as much blue on, or the green is just a, a more predominant colour. Yeah. Which it is. Yeah. The green is just a stronger colour, so I need to re-ink the blue. But what I was going to say is, um, you can still get it to move. Now, this is interesting. Look at the difference. Watercolour cardstock, and that isn't really moving. That should move. <laughs> Whereas that, that is that one should be moving more than that. Yeah. And it absolutely isn't. Um, but but that's cardstock. That's, and this is the thing. Your cardstock, different cardstocks will give you different things. Try a different watercolour cardstock because that hasn't that hasn't shifted. That's given me a lot of movement, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, so it's still reactive. You can still do loads and loads of things. One more thing I want to do before um, I pass over is just um, a little bit of shaving foam because it's rude not to do a bit of shaving foam, isn't it? Because let's face it, shaving foam technique is the is ace. <gasps> oh. It's just one of the best, isn't it? It's, it's, it's really bad. You, I want to lick it. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. <laughs> Do you see double cream? Is it like, oh, double cream? I, I don't know. That, I, I don't know. It's something so satisfying yeah. about that. And it smells so good. It does. It's one of the, oh, it's just delicious. So good old cheap, <laughs> and it's cheap shaving foam. I only ever buy cheap shaving foam. Mm -hmm. So got the good old shaving foam. And then, you re -inker. Now, remember, as I just said, the green is dominant. So the green, if I put more green in this, the weathered wood will just get, you won't see it. Um, so don't put as much green as your blue. Okay. So I'm only going to do a couple of green in there. And it's really, it's, it, look at that. It's <gasps> intense. I mean, that green straight away is intense. Oh, I love shaving foam technique. It's one of the best. So, if I just take my cardstock, squidge it in, and you could get a couple of prints off before you need to re-ink, lift that off, and then all you need to do is scrape it off. Come on, Leona. Just scrape that off. And it's so pretty because you just get that beautiful marbling, mm. which looks so effective. And look at the green coming through. I mean, and the beautiful blue. Have a look at that. See, doesn't that just look pretty? And you can get loads and loads of prints with it. You can also print through your stencils, which is really interesting. I'll just see if it'll work. I might not have... Um, we might not have had enough ink left, but we'll try it. So take your shaving foam... Go through your stencil. Like so. And then when you remove this, boom. And then all you need to do, let's get another one because that's really oh I'm faffing now. So I'll just shift that out my way. And then lift this off. And remember, this is now. Look at that. So you've got through your stencil, 
you've got that. And I should have left it a bit longer. Leave it a bit longer. Allow the ink to, to work its way into the cardstock. But how cool is that? So you can see the marbling through the stencil. It's a really cool way of working. And they're just beautiful. You can paint with them. You can do so much. I better shut up, though, because I've spent so much time just talking about re-inkers. Um, oh, lovely Paula. Oh, thank you so much. Well, I mean, you might have been talking a little bit for that, but they are so inspirational because there are so many things we can do with those reinkers but also the one day special of course the prize ribbon being the brand new color that team has launched and of course we have not only the uh, prize ribbon but you also are getting a uh, black suit and cage flamingo and you are getting the, the white mixative for alcohol inks as well now first of all you are getting the prize ribbon in distress oxide the other two are of course distress now that beautiful blue is we were talking about what colors are oh, also you're getting the minimus of course that the, the, the spray bottle which is of course very important but when we're looking at this blue uh, yesterday there was a little bit of a debate 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 yeah uh, about whether what sort of blue was it i would say from looking at it in there it's a I would say it's a cobalt blue because it has a tiny bit of, um, you know, that sort of purpley undertones with a little bit of a gray undertone as well. So that makes it a cobalt. But it's also a pure blue in the sense that you can then, whatever color you mix it up with, you can create other colors and other hues in there. You could even say that it's a little bit of an ultramarine. When you look at uh, with, I think, this is a faded jeans. So it has got faded jeans. It's definitely a little bit more purpley and grayish uh, and then you have the blueprint which is even more purple in there i know that maybe the camera doesn't quite or the monitor doesn't reflect it as well but so i would say it's a cobalt proper blue even azure blue if you wanted to if you are very pernickety about the names of the colors you might be have colored a different thing but the way how it is is how it sits within the family so if you are a blue lover, this is one for you. If you are somebody who likes to have as close as to the primary color, so in this case it would be cyan, this is a distress color that is the closest to a cyan. And therefore, if you have got this, you have got a pure yellow like master seed, and then you have, of course, a, I would say magenta, which would be probably the pig's raspberry would be the most closest to magenta. Then you can create all sorts of shades and you can create things like this with a primary colors in there and creating extraordinary effects the fact that they're water reactive the wa the way that of course you are getting the oxide so you have got that oxidization oxidization oxidis uh, i cannot pronounce That's it all. i can I spell it but i cannot say it <laughs> yeah. it oxidizes basically yeah. uh, and i love how i think it's twisted citron in here as well which the way that they mixes and colors and this is one of the things about the stress the distress family and how tame works really hard to bring up colors like leone was saying that said within the family they amplify the possibilities that are not just because he likes blue or he likes whatever color but because there is a need for that color because when you start looking at colors you're thinking well I have got a blue yeah you may have a blue which is blue uh, you know blueprint but it is a bit more I would say it's a bit more purple in tone. This is a more a, tr a more pure color. It is a more pure blue, and it has all those possibilities. Remember that the one day special is approaching half the stock. Now that means that if you want it now, is the time to check out your baskets. You have got a nine pound saving, twenty five pounds and fifteen pence is all you are paying for three beautiful colors in pads. Of course, we have talked about uh, black suit being one of those ones unsung heroes of the collection because it was with any uh, of the colors adding a little bit of shade but also adding those contrasts if you wanted to and the fabulous kitsch uh, flamingo and then of course the spritzer and the mixative 936-564 is your item number and I love that color family because also it gives you a taster if you have never had to go with oxides and distress this is perfect but also it's always good to have the latest and brightest now, talking about the latest, we have got also the amazing embossing glaze, which is approaching 60% of the stock. Now, you are getting both the prize ribbon and, of course, the weathered wood. I love, absolutely love that kind of when you put it, the glaze. And I love that description. It's kind of 
because it has got that translucentness, so you have got the color, the pure color, but then you have got the whiteness underneath. The light travels through and reflects back from the white. So you have got a luminosity coming through that you wouldn't have if it was opaque. And the same color is if you're using the prize ribbon ink pad and then the glaze, look at the intensity of that. It almost becomes like an ultramarine blue because then you have got that lapis lazuli kind of coming through in here as well. Imagine the speckles of gold embossing powder and it would give you that lapis lazuli uh, kind of effect in there. And then of course we have the weather wood, which is that beautiful kind of, you think, beach huts, you know, kind of the old beach hut with the paint in there, the wood is there, that sort of, oh, what is it called? Well, weather wood, you know, um, wood, no, sun drift, no, how, well, it's the driftwood, driftwood, that's, that's the one. Uh, that's kind of a really effect, that grayish. But look at that with the ink pad, matching ink pad. And then what about this one? with Twisted Street Tone. I mean, it's absolutely stunning. The fact that they are translucent, uh, of course, that means that you have got that reflectiveness. That means that, of course, you will have so many different uh, effects. And by the way, Leone was doing an amazing demonstration with them. I think it was on launch, so at 6 p.m. Uh, at towards the end with the embossing glazes over it. It's just, you need to watch it. Uh, 595, 495, of course, you can catch up on the craftstore.com and rewind. Then we have, of course, the re-inkers and the blank ink pad remember to check out your baskets this is very busy uh, you are saving three pounds and you know what the re-inkers also not only the ring like leona was saying but and all those techniques but it's just it's just good to have it because there are so many possibilities you can paint with it as well and it's such an intensity of color um, now five to five eight one four six now you can create i believe you can create your own sprays with them but of course if you refill them with water then they'll become water reactive because already the water will be mixed in so it will already react it. You know that chemical reaction will have happened in the bottle. So it will be a little bit different than a spray in, in a spray bottle, if you know what I mean. If you don't. Uh, now, if we also have got the uh, Distress Crayons, uh, which are absolutely, uh, there are lots of fun. This is one of the, I know apps, they say his favorite product from the Distress line is actually the crayons because they are just different from something, from everything else. 054900 is your item number. Again, you have got a three pounds saving, 17 pounds and 98 pence is your price. And I believe Leona is ready. I am very ready indeed. Good. Right, we better um, touch on the crayons we better touch on the embossing powders because okay. I know that um, time is getting away with us so with the uh, the beautiful crayons so there's loads you can do with the crayons so um, as we were saying with crayons they aren't initially they're they're not gonna move so for instance if I went in if I got uh, my uh, oh I didn't clean that um, so if I had uh, shaving foam everywhere um, if I went in with my crayon and just kind of made marks okay so I was just making good old marks on here like so um, initially that ain't gonna shift so if I then spritzed over the top of this, let's just move things, and I'm just going to get some card from underneath it because I like to catch my spritzer. Um, obviously, we've got the spritzers on the show. I do like catching the ink because um, I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. So if I take one of my spritzers, I am going to take uh, the brand new prize ribbon. I'm just going to pop it there, actually. So give it a shake. Because it's a distress oxide, um, the oxide will sit at the bottom there. Um, that means with the, um, if you don't give it a shake, then, of course, your, your ink isn't going to react properly because it's all at the bottom. Um, you can hear the ball bearing in there, and that will just help it move at the bottom. If you do shake it like that, watch it because the ink goes up here which means it can come out ah, here right. and a lot of times Tim he shakes it like that but he covers the top up and that means you're not going to get ink absolutely everywhere and um, the set of four that this is in now 80 percent of the stock has gone so say I spritzed on here can you see what's happening yeah it's yeah. resisting it so I'll just go on with my um 
Oh, I might go on with me beautiful, oh gosh, so my antique linen, I haven't used antique linen much at all. I'm trying to mix it up and do use different colours. Shake them every time. When you uh, you know you're using them, if you store them, um, store them uh, lying down. If you store them lying down, then it's easier to, to shake. And when you know you're not using them, then put them away but stand them up. Now, you can see, I can still see the distress marker under there. It's not shifting. However, if I then come in with, let's get... Um, Da, da, da. Let's get a water brush, actually. So if I then take my water brush, look, we can start shifting things. So can you see, I don't know if you can see underneath, it's actually moving the ink. You will see it in a bit, because when I dry it, you'll see that it's not as solid. Yeah, It's not all going to move. You're not going to get all the shift, because I've actually worked over the top of this. But you can see a little bit of movement and I'm just going to add a bit of water as well. Oh, sorry, I need to get the thing there. Sorry, the um, the Mr. Mine's lost in the con somewhere. somewhere. Have a little look now. When I dry this off, I find this so interesting because... It's like a Does it look cool? It's so cool. It's really cool because it's it's one of those products that you can do so many different techniques with. But look at the difference. So how that's resisted, and yet this one, because we've worked this into the card, it's kind of blended in to the card. Do you know what I mean? And you're not getting the same. Not all of it has blended in because obviously I've worked over the top of it. But you've still got more of a, that is different. More of a blend has occurred there. But I love that. Working under your ink looks really effective. So that's working under your ink. I love that top bit before it's blended. Absolutely adore it because it's different. It's really, really effective. So work under your ink, first of all. You can then obviously work over your ink so you know we were talking about like with your background so take in let's have a look at my backgrounds i had dug a background out and i don't know where i've gone and put it so let me just have a see i dug one out to work oh. on because ah right next to me because these are really good backgrounds so if you take one of your backgrounds for instance so the on these ones okay there's lots of white space on there and um, you can go in with your distress so with this something like this I could easily go in with my distress and actually add um, ink so I could easily just start going over blending it in so covering up that white space with my ink and I love this that that color that blue is divine so you can go in like so but you can do the same thing with your distress markers. The distress markers are going to give you a different look, a different sh a shade, a different tone. So I do, it's funny, vintage photo. This is one of my go-tos. And do you know what? Even without thinking about it, it's one of my go-tos. So I'm just scribbling this on like so. And then blending. But... With my finger, that's how much it blends, but watch. If we put a bit of water, so I'm gonna put a bit of water onto my craft mat, take my finger, and now watch it blend. How cool is that? And so it gives you such a good blend, and it's just so interesting, because you don't have to blend it all, so it means you can, if you want to leave some texture in there, you can create that texture. And look how now, look at the white space just disappearing. Obviously, with the, the blue, you don't want the blue to sit as it is because I've just popped that blue on and it looks like I've just stuck the blue on. So now, if you spritz over with water, it'll break it up. So I'm only doing little bits of spritzing, just little, you know, just getting splatters, not saturating it, and it'll just allow that, ink again and look at the red coming through man that's gorgeous <gasps> that that is yes. your age mahogany mm -hmm. that's a beaut is that but look now the blue has just dispersed into it it looks like it's part of it the brown 
That, that works. Absolutely yeah. works. It just fades into the car stock. You can really work it into the car stock. The other thing you can do, of course. That's, that's the one that I was talking yeah, about. I love, I this. love that demo so Isn't it much. nice? It's so gorgeous. last night I was doing this and let me just try and find the other half of that stencil. Oh man, I've just that got shaving foam everywhere. That uses the glazes and the spreads. Yeah, that's the yes. one. So last night I did this and yeah, it's your, it's your glaze. Um, right, okay, I'm going to be really quick because I'm running out of time. So if I go in now um, with this, the one ah, that's special. I'm going to use a different colour. Because last night, that's the prize ribbon, uh -huh. okay? What about trying this? What about trying aged mahogany? Okay, because underneath, so I'm going to do aged mahogany like so here. Okay, let's see what that does. But then, but then try your distress crayon. I know I haven't done this yet, I'm not going to lie. But let's see what it does. So I'm going to do a little bit of distress crayon. I'm only going to randomly do a circle. I'm not using the stencil. I would go through the stencil. I'm not though because I haven't cleaned it and it's full of shaving foam. And unfortunately I can't clean it because um, I'm here and my stencil is there. Full of shaving foam. So what I'm going to do is quickly put this over the top. So this is the embossing powder. Ah, the, remember, see. this is your glaze embossing powder. So it's a translucent powder. You're, obviously, that is, it's a sticky kind of ink, if you will. Yeah. So that, of course, my powder's going to stick to it. My powder's going to stick to the ink. Now, I know this is, um, it's just, it's a bit just chucking it on because I'm rushing. But look at that. So over that aged mahogany, you get a really beautiful, you can see the kind of red tone underneath it, which just looks divine. Mm, that's so that's under my aged mahogany, which is fabulous. Now, can you see there's patches on this, and I'll explain why, and that's quite interesting, actually. Now, look at this. So the distress crayon, because obviously it's got texture to this. So your Distress Crayon is going to emboss, but look at that colour. I mean, that has absolutely changed colour. Oh, look at that, yeah. Now, I'll tell you, right, can you see on this yeah. that it's not all shiny? Yeah. That's because I worked over the top with my Distress. Oh, with the, so yeah. that has got Distress over the top. So if you're thinking, oh, that's gone a bit dodgy, I did it on purpose, honest, governor. Mm -hmm. um, but look at the red. The red, that is the same glaze. But because that is over aged mahogany, that is over the prize ribbon, you've got a different tone. I can really see that. I hope yep. you can really see that. Yes, because, so. And then that, that is vintage photo. So again, you've got a completely different tone because of the, the way the embossing powder works. I mean, that is the weirdest piece. I don't know if there's any rescuing with that one, but you never know. Um, I've only got a minute. I've only got a minute. Oh, OK, minute. Look, 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 the metallics, you get metallics. So say you've got a background like that, you can, just as we were doing before, I'm gutted that my, my oh, I wish I'd clean my stencil. So you take this, yeah, and I'm going to do exactly the same, but look, I can now introduce some metallic into this. Look how fabulous oh, this is. Yeah. Oh, it's so nice. So, and it's subtle. It works with, can you see it isn't, can you see how it hasn't destroyed any of the colour underneath it? All it's done oh, is give me a metallic sheen. Yeah. Isn't that cool? That's beautiful. So it's not, it's not destroying anything underneath. It's not taking, it's not overpowering anything. It's just giving you a beautiful sheen. Right, that's enough. I'm back uh, at 12. Well, we'll, see, we'll be back at 12 o'clock. Do remember to check out your baskets and stay tuned here at the Craft Store. Well, next, Yanas is back with, of course, Leslie and Chocolate Baroque celebrating the 10th birthday. Then at, uh, of course, at 10, uh, crafty individuals uh, with magically, I don't know, magically Christmas, maybe. 
Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands, such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. Did you know you can watch the craft store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player on Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the craft store channel, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how you do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Craft Store app. Simply press your home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the Channel Store. At the top of the Channel Store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter the Craft Store into the search bar and this will take you to the Craft Store app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Scroll down to the Craft Store app and press the star button on your remote. You can use the arrow buttons to move the Craft Store to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it! You can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your favourite TV whenever you feel crafty. Well, hello everybody, the warmest of welcomes. I am so genuinely pleased to be doing this show. It has been forever since I've got to work with the lovely Leslie in Chocolate Baroque. Good morning, Leslie. Good morning. Nice Not only that, you. we are celebrating a milestone in Chocolate Baroque history because it is your 10th birthday anniversary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This year we're 10. Well, actually, we're 10 in April, but yeah, yeah this year we're 10. Birthday vibes. Yeah, Aww. it takes, I think in this day and age, to reach 10 years in a company, I think, is quite yeah, an achievement. Absolutely. And not only that, you... are proud of it. Well, you, you really should be, because so many people look at Chocolate Brock with, so highly, really, and um, I think you have, a hu you have such a loyal fan base. We have I a mean, very, very, we were very, very blessed with community. the people that support us. Well, it is, and I think it's more like a community, you see it, yeah. and yeah. you should be, because family business... You produce such. My husband and I. That's it. Yeah, that's it. And you produce such gorgeous stamps. Yeah. And the genuine. And look, I understand that we are um, we're shopping TV, and if you're just tuning in, like, of course the guy's going to be saying they're lovely stamps. Not all. And crafters know this. Not all stamps are made alike. No, so not all stamps are equal. No, no. no, they're not. No. And your stamps are held in such high regard yeah. for good reason. I mean, there. It was talking to Di, yeah. uh, Tando Creative, yes. and she was saying that she has a huge st stash of your stamps. Yeah. By the way, I know we're going to get into everything, but you guys doing a bit of a retreat? Yes, yeah, October. We started the first online retreat last year. We're very proud of that, Di and I. The name is great. By yeah, the way. it's called the Comfy Pajamas Retreat. Yeah. <laughs> Because you could stay at home and do it in your jammies. Oh. And we did we did thirteen workshops over yeah. two and a half days. Quick question, because we are getting busy and we need to get into everything. But comfy pajamas retreats, so you can yeah. wear your jammies. Uh, Chris would like to do it. He doesn't wear pajamas. 
That's okay. That's fine. Okay. We don't see you. We don't go you live can turn in the, off the camera. Yeah, it's fine. There Absolutely. We go. Yeah, no problem. You got in trouble last time, Chris. <laughs> uh, okay, now uh, we have got an amazing bundle for you. Let me just explain. Because it is Chocolate Brock's 10th birthday anniversary, what we're going to do to celebrate is one of three things. So items on the poll might be £10. They might have a £10 saving or they might have 10% off. Either way, you are absolutely winning on the show. And there are, I'm going to say this really quickly, the brushes, and I know so many people talk about Chocolate Brock brushes. We've got them on the show. They always uh, are popular whenever we bring them to you. But because they're on a show today, they will have a special price. So my advice, get hold of those while you can, because they are going to be busy, as is everything, actually. We're going to start here with a bundle. Stop it. £20... For all three? All three mounted. No, okay, no way. <laughs> yes. £20 yes. Pounds for yes. all three mounted is ridiculous. Uh, now, the saving's good. Can I just explain? The saving has been carried over from individual options as well. So your total saving on this bundle is $24.97. That is a way better than half price saving. Let's just think about this. Twenty-four ninety-seven saving. You're paying twenty pounds. Uh, I've got to tell you, <laughs> forget individuals. Don't go individual. <laughs> now I've got to point out the individuals are not mounted. The, yes, they can get them both mounted. Okay, yeah, okay. Sorry, sorry. All right, because well, so we, in the meeting we were saying the individual weren't mounted. Yeah. Uh, but with these, we do have both. So just to correct myself, but on uh, the uh, stamps we have right now that you're seeing, they are all mounted. They are all stunning. Um, you were just telling actually about. I'll read this out because you've got the story in. Let me just. Can I just show you something? <laughs> this is unmounted. All of these are mounted, but we're just. I'm just going to show you one of the unmounted. Um, look at the detail that you get with chocolate brock. Is that upside down? Thank you, Leslie. So the detail that you get, but also it's the feel of the rubber. You, and crafters, you will absolutely get this. You know when you feel beautiful rubber? Uh, and all that detail will be represented. They stamp like an absolute dream. Uh, I know you want me to just read out really quickly, because this tells... Actually, Chris, could we, if we just have a look at the story of the poinsettia. This is, you get a little stamp for this. I've got to apologise to my director, Chris, because that was directed from this floor. Sorry, buddy. So, uh, I'll just read this out. A, Mex a Mexican legend explains how the poinsettia came to be associated with Christmas. Apparently, a child who could not afford a gift to offer to, uh, oh, to offer to Christ on Christmas Eve picked some weeds from the side of a road. The child was told that a humble gift is given in love would be appreciated, uh, well, sorry, acceptable in God's eyes. When brought into the church, the weeds bloomed into red and green flowers and the congregation felt that they had witnessed a Christmas miracle. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. Isn't that lovely? Mm -hmm. And very much like Katie, our secret Santa, some of the gifts she gifts. She forgets, just picks up some weeds off the roadside and offers them. Really? Up. Is that, yes. Remind me not to wear your Christmas. Oh, I was her secret Santa last year. I'm only kidding. Uh, look, you are getting all uh, three of these lovely stamps, and I've got to tell yes. you. Yes. <laughs> you need to speak. <laughs> well, Leslie, your mic's on at the moment, but it's okay. <laughs> Sorry. They're asking me in my ear, you see. Sorry if there's more stuff. You didn't put my mic off to get me to reply. <laughs> So for anybody that heard that, they need to speak to my wife, <laughs> to speak to my so husband that, about making more stamps. So now, <laughs> now we know that, you know when I tell you that the presenter, if, I'm, if you see a presenter waffling, it's because we're asking the guest about stock. That's what normally happens, that's but it. she did it directly, uh, mate, yeah, didn't you, dear? That's okay. Uh, but look, it's I'm a good sign. I'm expecting me to respond. The fact that we are busy, um, <laughs> and we're only six minutes into the show, these are absolutely flying. They are grey rubber, they are foam mounted, and the actual stamps, I've got to show you. Before we move on, can I just show you some examples? Because you need to see these, and they're absolutely stunning, stunning. The detail that you get with the stamps. How about using a bit of a heat emboss? This is the poinsettia. What about, oh, look at this. So that's, that's just the poinsettia. And a small part of the poinsettia, because remember, you're getting so much more uh, on there. How about here, if I just move these along? Look. Look at that. 
I mean, the, we've got to applaud your design team. Oh, I've got an absolutely amazing team. I mean, I know everybody, Done. every company says that, but we do have an absolutely stunning yeah. team. I'm just trying to show different ones. Here we go. Look at this. And then, and I like, you're getting all that. So you see here, you've got the background with your main sort of focal stamp, then you've got the lovely little um, words there. And if I just put Can that I just down. say about our stamps, you've seen yep. quite a few of them are embossed. Now, to be able to emboss the words like that and still be able to read them clearly... You read my mind. ...gives an absolute, you know, yeah. how, a, how our stamps are so detailed and, and, and infinitely designed. Well, you see all the... I mean, that's background, and we're able to read that legibly. So there's the holly. That's a lovely little card too. set in there with, uh, you know, That's cards stunning. and... Got to move on. Um, look, this is the thing. I'm a huge fan of Chocolate Brock anyway. Forget the savings. At full price, I would be getting involved here. The fact, though, it is Chocolate Brock's 10th birthday anniversary. Uh, we are really going to celebrate in style. You are saving. I've just got to reiterate, because there are savings carried across from the individual options as well. And then you get your further £10 saving. So I want to put this into uh, context. If you were to buy these individually, uh, normally £14.99. Yes. But special price, they're £10. Okay, so that's already great. But then, so £15 saving here has already been carried across... On top of that, you're getting a further £10 saving. It's incredible. Uh, nine, so we've got to move on. She's so busy. Uh, 969062, <laughs> your item number. OK, so we're going to... Another new bundle. Everything is going to be busy today. Everything. Uh, OK, so having a look here, this is nice. Tell us a little bit about this one. OK, it? so this is kind of the, the, the fourth one in the series, if you like. Yeah. The Christmas Rose. Uh, but the Christmas rose tends to, you tend to associate Christmas more with your poinsettia, mm -hmm. your mistletoe and your holly, which is why yeah. those three are together. But this is a very sweet one that, to be honest with you, doesn't have to necessarily be Christmas. If you look at some of the things that the team have done, well, yes. you know, I mean, at the front of these, well, they, can be, they don't have to be Christmas, you that know? That is not Christmas. It's just Christmas. a beautiful stamp. That's you saw Di use that this morning. I did, yeah. Different colouring. Isn't that pretty? Now, I've got a point, and that... that Absolutely right. That's all year round. And again, here, all year round. But this next one's very pretty, and that's beautifully done. Isn't that... That's lovely. Now, that's one of the, what do we call the worker stamps. Yeah. So that's just a little part one that's said part of the set. But look, you, oh, you can use a worker stamp and create, you know, a that's focal point. Be, as, and they're obviously, this is more Christmas orientated. But that is beautiful. And giving the illusion with um, the effects there of the snow drifting in, the folk yeah. bleaching effect. OK, so we're getting... And let me just show you this. Now, remember, I'm showing you now m mounted, but these are mounted that you're getting. Um, there's the worker stamp that Leslie just mentioned. So you're getting two of those. You're getting the little uh, piece on earth, and this, I mean, that is a large, detailed design. So we're getting that, but we're not only getting that, we're getting characters in the form of the gnomes. The gnomes, I mean, that is, can I, I'm going to jump straight to the stamp set. That is huge. Look at the size that, and the amount of yeah. elements that these, you are getting here. I'm afraid these have been on before because they are, are probably one of our best sellers, Christmas sellers ever. God. They are just such, they're true Swedish Tomty gnomes. Tomty gnomes. All hand-drawn by our late Sue. They're just yeah. stunning. All right. Um, now, we are busy here. 20% of the stock's gone. Let me just show you some examples. Some great saving and on this one as well. <laughs> I mean, incredible. <laughs> now, there's savings carried over here as well. So you're getting the uh, Christmas rose and the Tomty gnomes for 17.99. That £9 saving has got other savings factored in. So your total savings is £15.79. Let me just show you the Tomty gnomes. Look at these. How can these not be popular? Yeah. I love these. They're such lovable characters. They really are. And remember, they're all hand-drawn. That's beautiful inspiration. Or if you wanted to create well, like this, put them together... Or how about this with the rain? So you are getting the reindeer in there. That is leading the reindeer and the movement. This is a great stamp set. Yeah. Or how about this? You can make wrapping paper with them. There's all sorts of things you can do. Well, Let's look at them. Aren't they? You can just, really. You know. You're building up a scene. Yeah. That in itself 
I would get the set just yeah. for that. Got to tell you, we're now a third of the <laughs> stock coming through. Yeah, and I like the fact that we've got the different sizes too. Yes, it's such a good set. I'll, I'll be honest, Leslie, for seventeen nineteen, for just the Tomty. I think you're winning. I would pay that just for the Tomty. Well, the normally it's seventeen ninety nine just for the Tomty mounted. Oh, okay. Right. So there <laughs> so you go. Exactly. Right. Yeah. yeah. I and I would. I would happily yeah. pay it for yeah. that. The fact that you're getting the Christmas rose in there as well, very busy here. Seventeen nineteen is your price. One three one for both and they're mounted grey yeah. rubber. The quality you get <laughs> with chocolate baroque is exceptional. These are stamps. As long as you look after them, they will last a lifetime. One three one six five four. Your item number. Now, I want to give you an indication of how busy we are this morning. We had a technical sellout on our first offering, so the set of three mounted stamps. Uh, they've sold out. That is just phenomenal. Oh. The, I mean, what we, we had, sold we out? Had, yeah, we had quite a lot of you know, stock. We sold out in 10 minutes. God, we had a lot of stock as well. Okay, I'm so, <laughs> uh, so, and you can see how much it means to Leslie. I'm really pleased because she's such an honest person. So I, I, I mean that. Uh, okay, we brought it back on extended delivery. It's going to be dispatched on the 16th of August. You're still getting the savings. Uh, oh, ooh, God. 20% of stock's already gone, so we're busy. We are busy. So 16th of August, dispatched, 20% of the stock's already gone there. 969062, and that's for our first offering. They are, foam, uh, they are mounted, sorry. Okay, now, uh, next is a new today. This is your Brea. This is a limited edition. 1214 is very good. Yeah. That is, that's a really good price. It is, so we're, yes. getting, we're getting our Brea. We're also getting the trio of water pots there too. Uh, and I would imagine, Leslie, if you're bringing it, you are really happy with this Brea. Well, I do. But I, I use, as everybody see on the desk, I mm -hmm. use the water pot. Always do. It's a triple yeah. one. Jean uses it as well. Yeah. Um, it takes apart. It all collapses into each other. It's great for carrying away. Oh, you know, it yeah, all yeah. takes apart. Yeah. This is not a braid. This is actually a roller. Oh, okay. And it's just, if you've been frightened or bothered about um, how you actually break, you know, getting marks with the brain and all yeah, the rest yeah. of it. People get quite hung up about that. This is designed to actually create those marks to give you that lovely arty feel. Nice. It's a difference. So I'll be using You'll that be, first demo. I'll be interested to see this and showing the difference between, say, a brain and, and a roller. So you're educating me. So great, thank you. Uh, Twelve fourteen is your price there, saving one pound thirty-five. This is a question being limited stock. Um, sorry, not limited stock. Limited edition. Once it's gone, it's gone. We will not bring in this back on extended. Uh, and we're already forty percent. Oh God. Let's see, uh, 815926, item number. Okay, now we're going to talk about uh, mixed media pack. This is a, okay. Mixed paper. Yeah, mixed paper pack. Uh, for the price as well, saving £10. 75 sheets. There's the good, what I call good old-fashioned mulberry paper in there, you know, that you have oh. that you can, you know, create Ray feathery. Board. There's parchment the in there too. Coloured parchment. There's a lot going on. More. And then we've got the, um, the mulberry papers in there as well. Look, I just keep on going through. Ha and that's beautiful handmade papers. There's your mulberry. I mean, playing around with these, this is a... This is a stash builder, Leslie. It is, and there's so much useful things in here. So say you've got mulberry paper, you've got, I will say contents will vary, because yeah. obviously it's a lovely mixed mix assortment. Um, these have been cut for especially. Um, and um, you've got pearlescent papers in there, you've got handmade, thicker, chunkier papers yeah. in there. It, it's just a lovely collection to have. And if you work out, I think they work out about 30, well, probably more than 30 pence a sheet. So I think what have we got? What I think it would have been full price would have been something like twenty-two pounds something, and it's got ten pound off it. Wow! It's, it's just the grey board, by the way, is just it's not in the pack. That's just to keep the pack straight because oh. it doesn't destroy the papers. Okay. Well, <laughs> I have me to say that's got somebody said I didn't get grey board in my pack. Yeah. All right. I apologise. That was just. Uh, I'll put that down there so we don't confuse it. That was just me showing no, the grey boards. Uh, uh, sorry, twelve seventy-five. Your price: seven ten pounds seven three three eight four one. Your item number. And I can only imagine how good these will look with the stamps that we have on the show. You put those two together. Uh, okay, we've got to move on. Uh, we've got some inky plates. I pretty. I think when I joined the craft store, 
you were one of the first guests I worked with, and I was blown away by your passion for demonstrating. And you, you love your techniques. I mean, you're very, very much wanting to share and educate. Oh, we have done, yeah. So this is something that I would imagine would be just a great one for techniques. It is, yeah. it is. Uh, we've actually brought the, we've had the A5 inky plate, and we yeah. introduced the A5 plate to start with. Mm -hmm. Then we've had an A4, but now we've got an A6. So again, a birthday show. Uh, put them both together at a re really great price, I think. Yeah. Um, they're, they're not to replace a jelly plate because the jelly plate, as you know, these work so well with ink. They do work with paint, okay. but because of the consistency, way, the paint tends to dry a lot quicker. Yeah. So I suggest with, all, with inks, it is yeah. just amazing what you can do with it. What, and pigment, dye-based inks, absolutely fine. Your re-inkers we can use as yes. well. Yeah. Uh, are we going to be playing with these as well? Yes. First, yeah. first, first um, Ooh, well, demo. demo. Oh, I'll tell you what. I'm not going to talk about this. I'm going to let you see it in our first demonstrations. Don't go anywhere. You get to see these in action. Twelve fifty nine, though, for both. That is such a good price. Uh, 306 743 item number. We need to speak about the brushes. Did we? Oh, God. We sold out these already. No. Uh, so we, we actually sold out of these before I even had a chance to get to them. Um, that, that is a silly price. Genuinely, a silly price. £10 uh, for all of these. I want to tell you that the amount of crafters I've spoken to that have used your brushes and love them, well, you don't need me to tell you this because they sell out time and time again. So and I'll explain to you now, I'm using the same brushes that I first tested, dem tested them to went to before Chocolate Brock took them on. Yeah. I've not replaced them. So are, that tells you how good they are. They are very, very uh, good uh, brushes. And they're white because you can't see the colour with, I mean, sabre brushes and all the rest are beautiful but you can't see the colour of paints and inks yeah. you're using. White, you can you see can. what colour you're using. Yeah. And I love the fact you've got the different ranges of sizes as well. Uh, saving 4 99 if you want to get a set of these, and look at all of them again. Now, they are on uh, extended dispatch for the 16th, but uh, you're getting your 0, your 2, your 4, your 6, your 8, and your 10 in sizes. 428 324, your item number. Uh, now, the pot and rollers. <laughs> they mentioned stock here as well. It's... When, <laughs> We haven't even got down the counter. Uh, at least we did get to mention it was limited before it sold out. So your roller and your uh, water pots, this is once it's gone, it's gone. So there is a sense of urgency. Uh, once I do sell out, we are not bringing these back on extended down there as well. Uh, 815926. Enough from me. We're going to jump onto the website and have a little look at everything that we have. Um, Chocolate Brock bring the most beautiful stamps. Can I just say, if you're new, and I know we have new viewers joining us, here at the craft store every day. If you are a new crafter or if you're a new viewer to the craft store and you've uh, never seen Chocolate Brock before, if there are any designs that really catch your fancy, and there are so many beautiful ones on the website, I can 100% endorse, and you know I'll never say anything for the sake of it, I can 100% endorse the quality that you get with Chocolate Brock. Give it a go. At these kind of prices, and it is a special show because we are celebrating uh, Chocolate Brock's 10th birthday anniversary, at these prices, it is worth giving it a go. For instance, you're getting all three of these. They sold out in a heartbeat, but they are back on extended delivery. All three of these, um, apologies, we've got the uh, different details on the screen. Just going to mention the roller. Is it gone? Okay, the roller has now sold out as well. So that, we're not bringing it back on extended. It's a technical sellout. If it is in your basket, please make sure to check out. But I was saying, with all three of these for £20, and you're saving, I think it's just shy of £25, it's incredible. So you're, you're saving, it's a way better than half price saving. For that, Give it a go. Try and see see what all the fuss is about Chocolate Brock, because I, I guarantee you when you get these home, you'll say, okay, now I get it. I understand why people fall in love with Chocolate Brock. Uh, okay, now, uh, we've had another technical <laughs> sellout. What is it? Oh, it's for the gnomes and the um, Christmas rose. Okay, so that's now sold out. That's now back on extended as well, and it will be dispatched on the 16th once again. So uh, I think enough from me. We need to get to Leslie and start having a play <laughs> while we still have stuff. And this is only your first hour. Well, uh, but can we just say, yeah. this is only this hour. I have got a completely different hour at one o'clock. I'm very pleased you're saying that because we wouldn't have anything left at one o'clock. <laughs> 
Okay. Can I just say thank you so yeah. much? I always say this oh, to people, but you. you don't know how much it means to David and I. We work so hard in our business. He's a good guy, David. Uh, well, yeah. He is. You've met David. You know yeah, my husband. Yeah, a lot of time, David. You know, we work so hard, in, mm -hmm. as we all do in difficult times. Yeah. Um, and thanks to the team for yeah. showcasing these stamps, because they just make... But do you know what I love about being a family business, just yourself and David running it, and it, it genuinely means the world to you. You Does can see how everything that you bring. Nothing is designed. We, you never do anything like, oh, we've got to, we've got to release a, uh, a new set of stamps, let's just knock something out. Everything is no. personal, and it, it shows what we're coming through. The counter, I always try and put things that work with the show that we're doing, yeah. so it's all focused and thought about. Because yeah, yeah. I think I'm a crafter. And I want to, we always try to give the best value and the best quality for what we hope are reasonable prices. That's, yeah. that's it, because we're very customer focused. You genuinely do, and that's yeah. not just, I yeah. know that can sound like a sales line, but yeah, it's no. not. It's, I think that's a fundamental to your yeah. business. Should we have a play? Let's play. Okay. Right, I've got the A6 stamp. Now, when you get your A6 plate, okay, mm -hmm. and your A5, they'll come between two pieces of sheets of silicon, okay. and that's to protect it. Okay. So when you put it away, keep it flat. There are instructions with this. Yeah. Keep it flat and keep it in the silicon. That stops it getting scratched. Brilliant. Uh, I've got to think about the silicon, and I'll tell you about that show, uh, okay. uh, later on if I get a chance. When you get it, it may have picked up some dust because they do, it does, it gravitates. Yeah. Use some hand soap, right. both sides, and run it under a lukewarm tap okay. till the water runs clear. Drip it off and then put it on a, on a lint free cloth. Yeah, so obviously lint, it will pick it all yeah. up again. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Leave, it that, leave it flat and let it dry naturally. Polish it and you're good to go. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So, here we go. So, it is a lovely, lovely, lovely thing. It feels good as well. So, I've got some dye-based inks here. Yeah. Now, you can do one thing. You can use your roller, which I'm going to, or you can put it directly onto your plate. It's entirely up to you. So, I'm actually going to... I've got three colours. You know me in threes. You do. The rule of three. The rule of three. So, let's start. So, I'm going to just... So this is very new to Chocolate Baroque. Yes, we, I, brought, I introduced it, yes it is, uh, because I wanted something that, I love the jelly plate, mm -hmm. but I wanted something that was just kind of ink focused, yeah. um, because not everybody wants to play with paint, yeah. and I think, I think the jelly plate comes into its own. With the paint. I'm so sorry. We uh, have you got time, or do you need to? Do no, you need that's to do fine. It? it won't go anywhere. Won't go? It's okay. fine. <laughs> I'll explain. We need to talk to Leslie again because we've had another sellout. So I, I, normally, I promise you, I wouldn't interrupt. I wouldn't want to interrupt uh, a guest during German Station at this point. Um, but we've had more sellouts. So this first bundle, we sold out. It was within a few minutes. And um, we brought it back on extended delivery. It was going to be dispatched on the 16th. I think I'm right in saying, have we sold out for a second time? We have, because the details have changed on the screen. Uh, it will now be on a further extended delivery. It will be uh, dispatched on the 20th of August. So for this first bundle, they are all mounted, beautiful gray rubber. Uh, you are saving 25 pounds there. Uh, because you're saving further, I think it's like 4.99 on each, or just shy of 29 pounds. So 4.99 on each individually. That saving is being carried across, uh, and then you've got uh, obviously your 10 pound saving on top of that. So a few pennies shy of 25 pounds saving, way better than half price saving. Four beautiful stamps, and I don't want to. Obviously, I need to stress because it's the 10th birthday anniversary. We're giving you great prices, but let's not detract from the fact. These stamps are stunning. The detail that you're getting, look at that beautiful poinsettia, the wonderful script behind it. Then you've got the actual story behind the poinsettia, which is just a beautiful thing in itself. Uh, you've got your mini poinsettia, you've got your happy Christmas. That is just one of the stamps. Just one of the set of, uh, in the trio. And when you see, I'll, I'm, I haven't got time because we, we only interrupted just to talk to Leslie, but can I just show you this? Look at that. And that's just one of the uh, elements that you are getting. How beautiful. Uh, 969062, item number. We have had another sellout. The, uh, this has gone the brushes. Uh, so we're just going to show you here the brushes. I'm afraid they have sold out. Uh, is that it for the brushes? 
that's it. We can't get any hold of any more brushes. So. At the moment, I'm afraid. My manufacturer oh. is having to go to the supplies. Yeah. Okay. So, make well, them. well done to everyone who got a hold of the brushes. It's a cautionary note. If you see something you like, don't leave it to chance. Get it into your basket sooner rather than later. Something else that's proving uh, very popular is the inky plates. Uh, the inky plates sold out as well. That means everything on the counter, borrowing the papers, which are busy, but everything on the counter is sold out. Uh, so the inky plates did sell out. They're back on extended delivery, and they're going to be dispatched on the 16th. Okay, and we're going to play with Inky. I apologise for interrupting <laughs> it's the right, demonstration. Don't worry. I'm it's so okay. sorry. Fortunately, okay. your ink doesn't dry on the plate. Oh, I'm, okay. using ink, I'm using a dye-based ink, so it just sits there. Brilliant. You know? Okay, mm -hmm. so... I'm just going to blend it a little bit with no, the rash. No, it has actually it has dried a little bit. Mm -hmm. So just bear with me. I'll just refresh. Do you know? I think the difference being because of the lights in the studio. Yes, it's very. Home. It's actually very hot in here. I don't yeah. know if we've got air conditioning on today, but it's very hot yeah. in here today. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is on. It is on. It's yeah. a bit. Oh, gosh. Right. Okay. The team will say. Thank you, everybody. Gonna, <laughs> now we can relax a bit. It's <laughs> God. It's been a busy start, but we always knew it was going to be a busy yeah. show. Okay, I'm actually going to spritz it with water. I haven't spritzed it once. So you can spritz it with water, so I'm just going to help it uh, a little spritzy. Just a little bit away, mm -hmm. okay. And then I've got our, um, which isn't on the show, mm -hmm. uh, our uh, glossy uh, silk gloss paper. We do okay. silk gloss card yep. and matte silk gloss, so uh, matte silk, but yep. we now we do it in paper as well. But uh, I'm... Uh, Okay, so here we go. So I'm using it like a stamp now, and oh, I'm laying it straight down. Look. Okay. And just pressing in. Lovely. And then, don't worry if you've got any air bubbles in it. It's good because that forms patterns and things. Because again, yeah. like a jelly plate, you'll never get a repeat. Of course. It's always, you know. Wait for twelve fifty nine for. Yeah. Both so this the is A5 the A6. this is the dinky A six size. Yeah. I mean, that's good value for money. And I've only just got this in, so I haven't had a chance to play with it much myself. Okay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. The now that's stuck to that, and the here. reason that's stuck to that mm -hmm. is unfortunately because I did leave it. I, I, would, I do need to wipe it down. Excuse me, folks. No, that's okay. I need to wipe it off because if I don't, it's. Uh, but, I mean, great backgrounds. You're already seeing that there. So imagine this as an idea. We've just used that as a background, and then we could stamp on using any of the stamps we have on the show, the Christmas rose, the gnomes, uh, the poinsettia, the ivy, the holly, any of those images on top of those would look stunning. And as a crafter, even if you're brand new to crafting, today could be your very first day crafting, we've shown how easy it is to use the inky plates. Done. Just a little bit of ink, pigment dye based, it doesn't matter. We've got our background. Then we're just using the stamps on the show. And I have to say, working with good stamps, especially Chocolate Baroque, make it very easy. They stamp out like a dream because of the quality, the depth of the etching that you were getting. Okay. It's, it's taken the, slightly the layer off of the top oh. um, because it did stand and it's the heat under yeah. here. So, But look here, you got, there's your background done and it's almost dry. That's nice. You know? So, onto that, I'm going to take our stamp. So this is the mistletoe stamp I'm using, the mistletoe script out of the available on its own, mounted or in the set, yeah. which seems to be doing okay. pretty well. And uh, I'm going to use a VersaFine <coughs> Claire because that stays a bit open, a bit longer than the VersaFine, um, normal VersaFine, because I want to emboss. So even there... I think, can you see on camera there how clear that is, just even inked up before I even get it to, uh, got a bit enthusiastic there, Leslie, you did. <laughs> so, there we go. There we go. So, right, this is... Can I just waft this off? I can just see a little bit where you, it's just you, slightly damp. And the one wafting. thing that you don't do is you don't stamp into damp. No. Well, that's, no, that's important. Yeah. Because it doesn't do your ink any good no. to stamp into it. It won't yeah. set. It's, no, you know. no. Right. So, a long stamp, as people know by now, I always, but always, 
do it landscape. Yeah. It just gives you a little bit more control. Exactly. You, you taught me that technique <laughs> very, I mean, years ago, and I always use it now in my large snaps, genuinely. Yeah. 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 I think of you when I do it. Yeah, because it, you, can't, you can't work from top to bottom, but you yeah. can work from side to side. Yeah. And even though you've got ink, you've got um, ink on this to create the background, you need to allow the ink mm. to settle in. Don't press too heavily on the edges, otherwise you'll what's okay. known as break the shoulders. So that's where you get double. Uh, okay. It's the centre where you need to. So I've used your stamps before. Yes. Uh, I love your stamps, and I find I because sometimes I will use a stamp platform. I'm, yeah. I'm nervous that way. Yes. But I don't have to. I know genuinely, in my experience yeah. with chocolate brock. Whether I use a stamp platform or acrylic block, I always get great results. There you go. How's that? And it would it, that's down to the quality of the stamps, really. There would you go. You, would you agree? Oh, yes. I have yeah. to say, uh, we guarantee our stamps for life. Now, yeah. that's a big, big thing to stand here on front yeah, TV stunning. and say, if you yeah. look after them, we guarantee them for life. That's, can you just hold that to camera one, Leslie? We'll yes. just straighten it up. Now, come on. Look. Look at that. The deep. See, this is now we are. We could not get any closer there. Every last scrap of detail. But where I have to applaud you on this design, Leslie, and the quality of the stamps. If you're looking for any example of the quality, the fact that the script in the background, mm -hmm. that's a fine script, is so legible. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. I think that's awesome. If that's still wet, I'm going to try and emboss it now. Okay. <laughs> we can't guarantee because it's, it's. Is it me or is it very warm in here? We have got the aircon on, Leslie. Are you okay? It's, it's okay. just. Yeah. I think it's my kind of. I think because we had such a. I think the, the show was such a busy start, we all got flustered. Well, yes, definitely. Thank you. I just. It's just. Say. It means set, an awful lot to apparently, us. Apparently, uh, Molly, our floor manager, say the aircon's set to Arctic at the moment. Okay. Yeah. My blood obviously isn't Molly. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to try and do this on camera, actually. Put the lid on that, Leslie, because otherwise you know what happens. Right. I'm doing this from underneath there, uh, look, this time, so you can actually see it change. Can you see that change? And it just does yeah, sharpen nice. it a bit. That's nice. There you go, look. Got that lovely Ooh. gloss on it now. Look at that. Can you see that? Sorry, which way around do you want it? Chris, is that all right? That's beautiful. Now, when you consider that. how achievable that would be, and it's a compliment to the stamp, it's a compliment to the inky plates, mm -hmm. put those two together, you've already created, if that's the front of a card, done. Yeah, just done. like that. Now, I have to make sure that I've got the right... No, I haven't. I knew I'd done that wrong. I put the wrong lid on the wrong thing. You know how you sometimes yeah. think, I'm sure that's not the right colour. And it isn't. That's the colour I want, yeah. the green. <laughs> OK. So, I'm going to do a little bit of painting. I've already got one that I've finished. Yeah. Thank goodness. <laughs> and I'm using the brushes that have sold out. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, uh, OK. So, just introducing. And all I'm doing is, I'm just actually going over... Yeah. To highlight now because we need to now pick out because we've got this multicolor background, uh -huh. but that's a quick way of doing, it, especially if you're going to be doing batch making for Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Do your backgrounds and then stamp and then just add the highlights that you want to. Well, the the stamps that we have here, so the trio uh, with your holly mistletoe and the poinsettia, this could be your Christmas done. Yeah, yeah. that is because I know a lot of crafters you like to use different stamps, different collections each year. You imagine how cost effective that is. Twenty pounds, you're getting a set of three beautiful stamps, uh, stamp, and it's better than half price deal here. You're actually saving just shy of twenty five pounds, all three sets. So you've got your holly, your mistletoe, your ivy, your main sort of feature stamp with the beautiful background. Then you you describe it as your worker stamp, your little script as well. Or, um, your words going through, so the story of uh, the poinsettia, and then you've got the holly and the ivy, and you've got the sentiment too. I mean, there's an awful lot going on each set. Well, I've just worked out while I've actually been painting here. You could buy this and the Tom T and the Christmas Rose set, so you'd yeah. have all four, and the Tom T Christmas for a really good collection for less than forty pounds. What? Thirty-seven pounds nineteen pence. You get the lot. Well, considering full price, these would be, uh, what, it's fourteen ninety nine each. For the, so they, for the DLs? But yeah, for the DLs. So yes. when you consider 
the, it would be £45 just at full price for all three of these. You can get both this and the Tom T and the Christmas Rose together for under 40 quid is amazing. Sorry, somebody's talking me, you're talking, and I've suddenly lost the plot. Please. It's a hard thing. No, I was just reiterating what you're saying, that you could get both this and the Tom T and the Christmas Rose together under £40 when you consider the full price would be. And anyone knows, yeah. Chocolate Baroque, standard retail price uh, is £14.99 for a DL. And that's a very good price when you consider that. Uh, now, we've got uh, a great saving on this. The Tomty Christmas, well, don't forget, I will just show you the Tomty Christmas because we're mentioning it. You're getting these phenomenal, and we'll bring the details on the screen. Let me show you this. So that is your Tomty Christmas. Your little gnomes. Let me just say, I mean, that in itself, that should be $17.99. And then you're also getting here your Christmas rose. Now, I would imagine there's a saving on the Christmas rose uh, right now. That's why we're saying uh, there's a £9 saving. No, sorry, there's a, a, an, another saving carried across, and you've got your £9 saving as well. But look, that's your Christmas rose. So you get not only that, and you can get the complete collection that we're showing here of the Christmas, so the poinsettia, the holly, and the ivy, for under £40, if you were to get both sets. Okay, oh, now we've had another technical sellout. I feel I've talked far too much this hour, I apologize. Uh, the Inky Plate Duo has sold out again, and we cannot bring, hold, uh, bring on any more. So, uh, the Inky Not at Plate, this time. It'll yeah. come on in later in time, yeah, but at the moment we're just... Today, today. It's, yeah. uh, I'm afraid it has sold out. So, I mean, I'm just trying to toss out how many sellouts we've had. This has sold out twice. We, the, the rollers sold out, the Inky Plate sold out, the brushes sold out. We've had like five sellouts. Yeah, we've just got the papers left. And they are beautiful papers, people. Yeah. yeah. They are beautiful papers. Okay. Now, oh, the half the stock of the papers okay. has gone. So the paper... And I'm that's be... saving. Like, we need to appreciate the saving. When you consider mulberry paper in there, you've got beautiful handmade papers as yeah. well. These are papers that you would pay an absolute premium for. Yeah. I don't know how much it's working out, actually, to be at a single sheet. I didn't work that out myself, I must admit. So oh, I'm sure our lovely Katie... I will do, I'll do the math for you. Okay, I'll just okay. top that up in my head. You're just taking your shoes and socks off, folks, while he counts. Divide it by that, coming through, carry the one. Do you know it's it's 17 pence per sheet? Wow. <laughs> Go. Yeah. You, didn't, you couldn't buy Mildred sheets for 17 pence 10 years ago, never mind no. now. <laughs> right, this is white ink. Now, this is Dr. Martin's white ink. It's one of the best white inks you can ever buy. Okay. So I'm just going to do the mistletoe berries here, look. Right. And again, tantamount to... I can tap that over the top, look, and because it's been um, embossed, yeah. it resists, so you're just taping, painting the berries where they need to be. Yeah. Lovely. And that is that done. Now, what I would do is trim that up, mm -hmm. but in true Blue Peter style, uh, other children's shows are, are available. available. Yeah, there you go. There's, uh, Here's the one I did earlier. Paw Patrol you see, same colours, Daddy. look, but it just depends how the colours fall, look. Yeah. Wow, look at that. You know, so that's that's the one I've just done. Nice. And that's the one I did before. That's so again, beautiful. you see, same thing, but you never get the same background twice. Oh, wow. Oh, come on. I love it. So now, okay. we'll do this. I probably won't get a chance to stick it down, but I will show you how where I was going with this. Mm -hmm. So look at this. Look at this. This is one of the papers you I mean, may get in your pack. Isn't that ooh, just ooh. stunning? Hey, now that's a little bit special. So what is that? It's like a... It's like a pearlescent or iridescent parchment. Yeah. You've got, I think, some under the counter, haven't you, to play with? You've got all sorts of... Uh, there's a lot under the counter. <laughs> I'll just I'll show you. This is the, the paper pack. Still got a lot of samples under the counter as well, bless. Getting. I will try and pull I out know. as many. It's just been such a busy show, getting, everybody. I'm look, I'm, I tell you what, this looks messy, but you're getting, because obviously we've opened up our pack. But the amount of speciality papers, I mean, that's one. There you go. That iridescence that you are getting. So you stamp onto there it would look incredible. All right, enough from me, Leslie. We'll carry on with your demo. So plain piece of white card, and what I do is I'm not going to I'm not going to do that because I'm just going to lay it out. I wouldn't actually stick this down at all. I would just put a little bit of glue in various places here and just allow it what I call floating. Okay. So that you get the effect of it. I would then put this piece of black card over the top there. Look, and then. There, my, oops, of course, if you didn't, uh, take it off there, Leslie, you can see it now. Right, try again. 
So there we go, look. And then I'd lay that over the top like so. That would be your card, look. There Stunning. you go, how's that? Stunning. And that paper's just, and, says, and remember you're getting 75 different ones. Well. I don't think, there might be a few repeats in there, but so what, you'll probably find one that you really love and think, I wish I had another one. So here's just an example of when that's you get... That's the pack you would get, that yeah, size. So this is, yeah, obviously contents vary in the sense you might not get these precise papers that we're showing. But I just wanted to give you, I mean, there's that iridescence coming through. There's a lot of these ones with the... Uh, how would you describe that? I'm, I'm saying iridescence. How would you describe it? They're that? very pearlescent. pearlescent. like a star-like okay, yeah. paper, very star-like paper. Look at, Look at them. Oh. They're just... Some are double-sided, some are single-sided. Lovely. Oh, 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 look. look at that. And, then, of course, as I say, the true mulberry paper, yeah. which you can feather out with... You know, use the brushes, feather it out with water, but and you get that lovely... mulberry paper you pay a premium for. Yes. Yes. So that as a paper pack for twelve seventy five, and they get, and they get all that incredible. nice thick paper behind the, yeah. the handmade one at the back. So it's, that does vary that at yeah. the back because obviously it's hand dyed. So great, that genuinely is a great pack. Uh, so if you do want to get hold of it, twelve seventy five is your price there, saving ten pounds. We're now sixty percent of the stock. This there, oh good. I could never show that like that in my hand, but you see it beautifully fanned out. Uh, saving ten pounds, seven three three eight four one. Your item number. What time have we got, folks? Have I time for... You've got, you've got 14 minutes. Right, okie doke. Um, what am I going to do then? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll show you this one. Now, in your pack with your uh, A5 and A4, uh, A6 plates, yeah. it comes with silicon. Uh -huh. Well, there's going to be a little bonus in that as well. My husband has very kindly cut some sheets of silicon paper mm -hmm. to go in with it uh, for you to play with. Well, that's very nice. So, um... You're going to get sheets, I think, I think they're about that size, actually. I think you're going to get sheets this size, I think. Yeah. For no extra charge, they're just going to be put in. Perfect. Maybe it's about half a dozen, I don't, I'm not okay. sure. But you can do wonderful things with it. Yeah. Okay, so you can actually do what I'm about to do, which is get some acrylic paint. Shall we have, yeah, we'll have this nice blue. Acrylic paint, you don't need a lot of it either. On silicon paper, oops, too much there, but hey, what? <laughs> um, because it's silicon paper, it spreads very well. Yeah. Because obviously it's a slippy surface. So I'm just going to, and I'm just going to do like that, random. Okay. It doesn't have to be. That'll do me. Right. That's it. That's all I'm doing. See, I've got to mean. I've got, yeah. you know. And this, this breaks my heart, but I haven't time, unfortunately, to do anything oh, about it. Okay. Katie's going, no, in my ear, my director. I'm not quite sure what Chris said there, but, you know. Right. So, there we go. So, I've d that's probably a bit... I wanted yeah. it long and narrow, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to okay. waft it off again. Get a wafting. Yes. So. Okay. Now, just while we're giving it a wafting, uh, I know that you're great <laughs> on social media, so yes. if anybody wants to follow yourself in Chocolate Baroque, how do we We do have it? got a Chocolate Baroque Facebook group, mm -hmm. which you, anybody can apply to join. Yeah. We have Chocolate Baroque itself, and then I have my own page as well. Brilliant. And if you want to follow the Facebook group name? The Facebook group is just Chocolate Baroque Facebook group, Brilliant. so just literally log in to find it, and your membership, because it is a private group, we've yeah. had to, unfortunately, in this well, day and age, okay. make it private. But there's lots of lovely things on. For example, um, I'm doing a shade along. A shade along. Yes, where we've sent out everybody a little mini kit yeah. of um, some stamped images, yeah. and we've sent them out some uh, pencils and some papers and stuff. Yeah. And we're going to live work together, and we're going to use show them how to just shade in pencils. That's only. amazing. So, so it's just, well worth following the group. That's yeah. incredible. Okay. Look cool. to see Right. That. So, change of stamp. And this time I'm We're using the it. lovely Christmas rolls, which is on the other page, hasn't it? Okay. We look at the quality of the stamps that you get with Chocolate Baroque. And remember, the bundle, the set of three that we it were showing... It comes on the cling mount as I have mine on. Yeah. You're saying they are mounted? They are. These, yeah. Yes, these are mounted. Yeah, no, I'm just saying with the, the bundle. Oh, I beg your pardon, yeah, sorry. Okay. I do apologise. No, that's OK. <laughs> Blame it on old age. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to be using here... Um, yeah. I'm using a VersaClair again, uh, yes, a VersaClair again on here. Mm -hmm. uh, did I use a... Yeah, I actually, because it's silicon paper, you have to be careful what you use. 
um, because Versa are, are, are oil based. Okay. So you have to be careful. Paula did such a good show. Yeah. Uh, well, I did in school ex. about yeah. two years ago. I started oh, okay. in school. Did two you years start in school? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ask Alex. Alex will tell you. Oh. So I'm just going to stamp this across here onto the paper. Uh -huh. Okay. And this again, this is onto paint, onto, yeah. onto silicon, but hopefully. I have full faith in you, Leslie. Look at that. It just stamps like an absolute dream. Yeah, and again, because it's silicon, I'm going to heat it uh -huh. um, because I want it to set. Yeah. Um, but there's there's a couple of other things you could do with it. You could dry it off mm -hmm. and then rub off any excess if you wanted to because with it being silicon. But what I like about this is it's, it's, it's lovely stuff. Mm -hmm. um, um, it's not stiff like, you know, like vellum is stiff. Yeah. And parchment is stiff. This is very supple. Yeah. So you get a totally different feel if you stamp on mm -hmm. it. And it's good for scrunching up and using in your mixed media and stuff. Lovely. So, again, quickly. And this embosses amazingly on this paper. And remember, this is over the top of acrylic paint as well. Yeah. The detail in your... And it I would say that is something a lot of your fans will, if you ask them how would you sum up chocolate rock stamps, the first thing they'll say is detail. Yes. Because the detail you give in your stamps is incredible. Yeah. So, peel that down. And then mm -hmm. what you can do is... This is looking good. Yeah. And then what you can do is, I couldn't get any more of these to show. I did try. These are the, uh, the shimmer paints mm -hmm. that we bring. Well, hopefully in the future. Yes, and I'm going to use, again, they're beautiful colours, yeah. so I'm going to use, I think I'll use that bluey colour and highlight. Oh, lovely brushes that unfortunately start <laughs> Yeah, sorry. We will be bringing them back again. Yeah. And then I'm just going to paint over the top. Now, you're not going to see this, you can think, well, you're putting tone on tone, Leslie, mm. but it will become very apparent. I'm not going to do the centre one, because okay. I'm looking at time. That's okay. More technique. Share the technique. Yeah. Yeah, we've got, got time, so don't feel you have to rush. You've got about eight minutes. Oh, OK. Yeah, it just feels if it's been such a frantic show, I kind of feel I've got to keep, you know... Yeah, no, don't you worry. Race through don't, everything. Don't you worry. So... Now, I've got to tell you, the, the bundle you're seeing on your screen has sold out twice. We've brought it back for a third time, and that's rare. We don't often do this, but it was so unprecedentedly popular, and uh, we kind of harangued poor Leslie and said, please, can we get hold of more stock? Did I harangue so my husband, I got, think? Yeah, poor David. <laughs> um, we've got, and I've got to show you, actually, because the design team has been incredible, so I'm going to just spend a couple of moments there uh, showing off beautiful Oh, please do, because the girls have worked they so really hard, have. bless them. So let me just... I'm going to I'm, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to rifle through and just show as many as I can. So here's the poinsettia. So you've got really beautiful got gold with poinsettia. Absolutely works. If you wanted to go for more vintage tones, how nice is that? That is stunning. This is all the poinsettia. If you want to be a bit more modern and contemporary, whoo, lovely. Okay, that's the poinsettia. Then we've got our uh, mistletoe. Come on. That is stunning, and what a compliment to the quality of the stamp that this is just with an emboss, and you see all that detail coming through. Imagine this for your cards. How lovely is it? I love the contrast with the blue behind there. Again, if you wanted to go more vintage, this is another stunning, stunning inspiration. Turn those around. Uh, I love using the little verse there as a tag. Genius. And uh, let me just show you this. Whoa, look at this. So that, as a box frame, stunning. And I will show you very quickly, we've got the mistletoe as well. This is just, I'm, Leslie was very keen for me to show as many of the, uh, the design team's inspirations as possible. They have put in so much hard course, work. They I just, totally agree. And they're all volunteers, remember. They don't yeah. get any money for this. They get stamps, but they don't get anything else. And this they're is, just a crazy, they crazy are bunch. They're this, is a, this is a really interesting one, because this has just been done, uh, Sandra's done this, using the worker stamps, as we say. So not even your main focal image, but creating something beautiful. If you do want to use the focal image, how about something like this? 
Or how about something like that? Border fall. It might be, might be that way. Um, equally, last one I'll share with you. Oh, can I show you one more? Sorry, I've got to show you. I've got to show you one more. That <laughs> is stunning, and you do get the little verse with each stamp set, as long as, as well as your words, your focal image, and your worker stamp. Okay, that's a few of the samples. Over two thirds of the stock's gone. They are mounted. They're grey rubber. You're actually saving ten pounds on top of the savings you would have had individually. So your total saving is twenty four ninety seven. 24.97 considering the regular retail price of these individually is 14.99 so this bundle should be um, just shy of 45 pounds it's a great bundle it's and, just it's it's, yeah. it's nuts isn't it but wow. do you know what we have such wonderful followers we have such wonderful supportive customers mm. that the 10th birthday I thought do you know what we need to do something that's really geared to people I appreciate at moment money's tight yeah so you know well, you give us absolute Come bonkers on. on the show. Right, so, so can you see this now, what I've looked? Yeah, oh, So yes. I've done, you there you go. turn it around to camera one, yeah, yeah. and we'll just and lift it up a bit more. There you go. So that I've done with a shimmer, I've done blue flowers and silver leaves look. Ooh. Leslie, and then, that is stunning. again, to put it together, yeah. this is, look at this, this is the some of the paper out again. Uh -huh. Paper Look at this. Pack. Now it's textured on one side. This piece. Yeah. I don't know if you can see the texture. I mean, Chris is very good. I know, but that's textured oh. there. Look. If anyone can get that texture, it's our Chris. Yeah. And the other side's flat. Look. But it's got all this. Look, you know, it's kind oh, of it's blotchy because it's good all handmade stuff. Mm -hmm. So, best way to do this: black card, that on the top. Look. Mm -hmm. And then this, again, you would only just down the centre, so you don't. Yeah. And then, because it's that type of paper look, and that just, there you go. Now that is a breathtakingly beautiful card. Imagine giving, if that is your Christmas cards for this year, your designs, you cannot go wrong. No. Imagine, as a, ooh, as a crafter, receiving a card like that. Think about your friends and family gifting those cards to them, stunning. But this is what I want to stress, it is so achievable. Yeah. So everything here, you're going to have, uh, you've got the tools, Leslie and the Chocolate Brock are giving you the tools to make these. You do not need, there's not a steep learning curve, anybody can achieve those results. Uh, we've got to talk about this okay. bundle, we've only got three minutes remaining. Okay, I wasn't going to do a demo, but what yeah. I was going to do was kind of just talk you through what I was going to Go do so it. you can Go see, is that alright? Yeah. yeah, of course. Of course. Okay, so craft, ca craft card and craft paper is something, again, I think is very underrated, and you've seen yeah. quite a lot of our girls have used yeah, yeah. the craft. I think it tends, the Christmas tends to work really well. Totally agree. So what I've done is, there's, there's the point set here, look at that, that's, that's in gold embossed look on the craft card. Oh. Look at that. That's incredible. Then what I did was, my new favourite passion, pastels. Yeah. Koei Knoll, my favourite company, yeah, yeah. I've got some soft pastel pencils. So I coloured this. I mean, that's lovely. With the, new, with the soft pastels. Do you know, that would be lovely just to put on a gift wrap present, if yeah. you want to put it as a tag. So I've obviously, and then I fussy cut it from the yeah. thing. So, cream card look, mm -hmm. lay down, because you, I know you will. That, that's over there. There, that look goes on the top, like so. And again, I'd only stick it in the middle. I've probably curved the petals a bit, look yeah. to give it a little bit of depth. Uh -huh. And there's that lovely Mexican legend. Yeah, I think that's a lovely story. Just fits. Really nice story. On the bottom, like, whoops. Yeah. Sorry, folks. The, the card wants to bounce about, but that how is that? Can you is that all right, Chris? Is that in the right place? Yeah. There you go. Oh, look, that, that's stunning. So we've seen them, and I do like the fact with all these sets, if I just show you this, the stamps, and we've got the details right now here. So each, you're getting three sets, but they, they've got the same formula on each in the sense that you have your main image with your background. Then you have that little uh, verse in there as well. Here it's talking about, so each, obviously, the mistletoe and the ivy have their own unique verse in there. You have your worker stamp and then you'll have your sentiment. That's for each. I'm just showing you the poinsettia. These are foam mounted stamps. They are grey rubber, Ooh, just dropping it, but showing you the quality of the grey rubber that you'll be receiving as well. Um, Chocolate Baroque is held in such high esteem. 
any crafter that's worked with it will know the quality of the stamps. Unfortunately, time has beaten us this hour. Can I say a huge thank you uh, to Leslie? We are celebrating Chocolate Brock's 10th birthday mm -hmm. anniversary, and we are doing it in style. Uh, one o'clock, totally different focus? Yes, by, I think we all know now, Fiona Randall's stamps, yeah. and she's a brand, brand new design. First time we're so proud to be representing Incredible her. Incredible designer. Uh, yeah. By the way, the papers sold out this hour as well, so everything <laughs> that we had thank on you. the show this hour sold out. Oh. We're going to have incredible savings at one as well, so I really hope you can join us. And I want to say a big thank you to you, Leslie. Thank you, Yanis. Thanks to everybody. Hour. And thank you to Craft Star for having I, us. Well, it's been our, it's our pleasure, and I've missed working with you. So thank okay. you so much. Thank you. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Do make sure to tune back in at one o'clock. Totally different focus with, total, uh, with uh, Chocolate Brock. So we've got crafty individuals, magically. You're going to have to wait to find out the rest of that. Afterwards, we've got Tando Creative and then Ranger One Day Special. Lots to enjoy here at the craft store. Hi, I'm Donna, and this is my brother Simon, and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just a water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays, and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. Our pearl sprays and our pearly winks are loaded with mica, so they give you amazing results on your projects. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light shows. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Well, good morning. We have a magically or magical mystical hour ahead because we have an amazing, amazing brand new stamps from a company that I have been admiring. I've been a customer as well for many, many years, decades even. And of course, that is crafty individuals with the gorgeous uh, gene and talented and inspirational. And also, uh, we were trying to figure out when was the first time that we saw each other, probably about 18 years, years ago. ago. Yes, yeah. We We've been around at least 18 yeah. years now. So. Yeah. It is because I, you know, um, craft individuals, the first time I remember seeing them, uh, well, or the first stamp that I own was actually with an, came with a magazine when it was when you were yeah. starting. Yeah. And I remember I said, this company is amazing. This style is amazing. It's timeless. And I still have got that stamp. And I can never get rid of any crafty individual stamps because <laughs> your designs are timeless. Yes, well, hopefully they are. And people seem to 
well, and they're guaranteed for life, so they should last yeah. a lifetime. Well, I mean, I, as, as, I, as I said, I have got um, some that are 17, 19, uh, 18 years old or something like that, and they still stand beautifully. And now, we also are giving you not only quality, not only timeless designs, but also we are giving you options. Now, the first option is a pick a mix of two. So you can see here the eight beautiful options. Now, I have to say that five of them are brand new, and of course, the options that you can see, they are the ones with the color, the magically mystical, and of course, uh, they, you are choosing two for 14 pounds and 99 pence. Or if you want, of course, go for four, then you have a bigger saving there because you're saving four pounds. So that would be 25 pounds and 98 pence for four of them. You can choose, for instance, four of the brand new ones, or you could go for the Phoenix and maybe going for the gorgeous, maybe kind of going for the um, dragon kind of coming out of the egg. And of course, remember that four pounds saving. 877 is a pick and mix of choosing any four now but we know we know we want the whole lot don't we we want all eight of them so three backgrounds and of course those five magically mystical focal point images now if you go for all uh, for the whole set of eight that means that if you were doing a pick and mix you would be doing two sets and therefore you would have four pounds saving in one of them and four pounds saving in the other set therefore you would have eight pounds saving now that carries forward for the complete collection and additionally you have got a three pound savings bringing your saving to 11 pounds if you go for the bundle. However, if you are a Freedom member, you have got a further 10% uh, discount, which means that your saving is 15 pounds and 90 pence. And that is the deliver cost, of course it is, because as a Freedom member, you do not pay P and P. So your saving is phenomenal. And of course you are getting those five stunning, magical, mystical elements, uh, stamps, red rubber, cling foam mounting with that beautiful detail. Look at the detail. Uh, that's absolutely stunning. And also, they can't cling for mounted, which I believe that's a treat to us. Yes, it's just we only do that for the craft store, and uh, we don't sell them mounted ourselves either. So, so yes, it's just a little. It's a little thing to make it a bit different. It does, and of course, it gives us that cushioning, so we yeah. can just attach you it can, to. Well, yes, most of them are just attached straight to your acrylic block. Yeah. A few of them need a little trimming, okay. but um, mostly be they'll just. Perfect. Yeah. And also, away. I believe they are exclusive to the craft store for 10 days, is it? Yes, yes, yeah. It'll be uh, just available from the craft store, all, all those new ones for Fabulous. 10 days. Yeah. So that is even more reasons uh, to go for this. And look at the creations, though. I love that background stamp as well, how well it kind of creates that story in the background as well. Yes, and D, it's the, the designs have all been done by uh, one of our team ladies called Dina. And um, these are some of her makes. That, that one you're wow. holding up there, she's, she's made that one with her own stamps. That's so she's gorgeous. very excited today. Oh, Dina, <laughs> so, hi, Dina. congratulations. <laughs> it's a fabulous uh, stamps, fabulous uh, cards as well. Look at that, that's how beautiful. Our little fairy on her swing there, yeah, she's very sweet. And <laughs> I think that's a Sandra one. A Sandra, yes. yes. And then we have got Dina again here. I love the mixing and matching with other stamps that yes. you may have already. The, the toadstool was on our last shows here. And uh, Dina's magically, in fact, managed to sit the little fairy yeah, that's normally gorgeous. on a swing. Because of course, under this, the is, this yeah. is a stamp. Uh, of course, you can see it here, like I see would be. And then, of course, you can see the image there, how it has been fussy cut. 10% has already gone off the bundle. Remember the savings from the pick and mixes are, are carried forward. So your saving is way bigger than what appears on the screen. But look at this. This is by Helen Chilton, and it's just absolutely adorable. <laughs> Helen Chilton is another of, um, can oh, I say it, old school, yeah, old she is, yes, yes, she's, yeah. she's our oldest team, design team member. Helen. I remember her Not article. in age, of course. No, no, but, of course uh, Just in we are years. Old, <laughs> we are ageless, <laughs> timeless, like, like the, your Rather stamps. Rather than old timeless. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, like, yeah. uh, look, I have to say the Phoenix is just it's extraordinary. It's a beautiful one, yes, yeah. 
love that. Because That's Sally's. Uh, she's got a really nice background effect on these it as does. well. You can't see it on the TV, but there's gold flashing. Oh, yeah. In if the I background. tilt it, there so, you can yeah, see it. There yeah, it is. So it yeah. really sets sets off Mindful those phoenixes. I didn't tilt it. Yes. Yeah, look at that. That's much. But I, when I'm looking at it, yes, it's obviously a phoenix, but also I was thinking if you color it with birds of paradise kind of yes, colors, yeah. then suddenly it becomes like a tropical, yes, you know. Yeah, and I discovered that. I masked one out and I was going to colour it as a sort of phoenix colour, which I would imagine yeah. would be the yellow and reds. Yeah. Um, but when I took the masking fluid off, it looked lovely and white as well. You know, Ooh. it makes a really nice dove almost if you, if you uh, have it well, in white. So. I have to show more of this one because I just adore it. But look, the difference of look. Yes, they're, diff they're totally different to look at, aren't they? Absolutely. And one more, one more, one more, because this is just... Look at these colours. This is what I mean about birds yeah. of paradise colouring. Yes, you, absolutely. You know. yeah. And they are mythical creatures, therefore nobody has seen one. Therefore, uh, therefore nobody uh, knows what they look like. So you choose, <laughs> you know, like if you want to make it neon pink, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, absolutely. You can go mad with these and they're great for glitter. Yeah. If you like a bit of glitter and yes. you're not at Christmas, you can use them on dragons of and trees course. and... Would it be nice? Phoenixes. You know, uh, uh, I was thinking, I mean, obviously we are uh, moving on to the next thing, image, but the phoenix with um, for Christmas uh, in a Christmas tree. Yes, it would be lovely. Yes. yes. Absolutely. It would look good. Look nice. It's the top kind of, of the tree. 20% uh, of the stock has gone oh, already, uh, so make sure for the complete collection, make sure to check out oh. your baskets. I'm trying to show as many samples because I think the design team has excelled showing the different coloring ways, the different designs that you can do. I'm kind of, I love them when I saw them, but now the more I see more samples, the more I'm like, wow, yeah, and you can do the, this. The design team we've got are just absolutely brilliant. Um, I can't fault them at all, and they come up trumps every time. I and, love, uh, love them. Make the most amazing things. Look yeah. at that the case for the oh, mobile. Oh, your phone case. Yes. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. And I have to say, I love this one as well. A kind of stamp into very textured um, cards. So you, the pencils, it gives that kind of almost a scale it look. Does, yes. the, yeah, that's another one that's by gorgeous. Sally, and it's using one of the uh, new background papers, that one as well. L yeah, absolutely um, love it. And if you're wondering about those beautiful papers, well, we have them as well, so we're coming up next. Now, of course, if you wanted to go for the complete collection, a quarter of the stock has gone really busy for it. Please make sure to check out your baskets. As I have mentioned, the savings are carried forward from the pick and mix, so that would carry forward an additional Eight pounds so then you have got a uh, saving of three pounds if you're not a freedom member at uh, seven pounds um, 990 if you are a freedom member and that's of course the delivered cost will be 44 pounds and six pence eight four three seven seven zero is your item number I adore them is one of those ones that you know or at least personally think we like these ones are gonna stay in my stash for a long time like I'm talking about you know decades now we have got limited editions, um, beautiful uh, papers uh, here. Uh, we have got the uh, weathered and well, weathered and more beautiful papers in here. Now uh, you are getting 108 papers. You are getting four A5 paper packs in there. And of course, uh, let's have a look at the brand news because um, Jean, they are absolutely phenomenal. Yes, they're my uh, latest addition to it all, and uh, they come from the what we're calling wonderfully weathered, but I've added uh, numbers and uh, text. The text I'm calling dragon speak because it's uh, it's medieval really, but um, yeah. I think it's rather dragon-like. So Yeah, it is. Yeah, so we've been playing around with those and uh, having great fun, yes. It's, it's, you know, one of the things I love about, for instance, this one, I kind of realized that maybe it's upside down, but still it yes, was like... Yes, you can turn it most ways. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah. That's what I love. I love that medieval kind of handwriting, but also the numbers coming yes. through. Look at hints of blue coming through here. I love the numbers highlighted there as well. And I love that you have, you have mixed the coolness colors and the warm colors. Yeah, yeah. I play around and then I suddenly think, oh, I like that. So uh, then we go with that. <laughs> I love that you have got it's also fun. more, yeah, light tones. So yes, so, that's again. useful to stamp on top of as well. So yeah. oh, some yeah. of them you can use 
for your stamping and it takes stamping really well that it paper does. and i love these proper weathered wood effect in here with hints of color i mean you can see the years passing by and kind of the go oh the rust yes rust I love, I love with rust that. at the moment. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit of a, a patina there as well. And then you have got some flowers as well, which, you know, again, yes, you can just stamp Just to give on. you another, just yes. another variation. I adore that. flowers in. I also love the fact that the vibrancy of the colours. Is that because of the way that they have been printed? That yes, and we chose them? that paper particularly because it's true. It's true to yeah. what um, I saw when I designed them. And we get a really, I mean, it's perfectly, absolutely pure to the to the designs themselves. So that, I love it for that, that reason. I love that because uh, as somebody who, like, there's nothing worse than receiving something that you have designed and the colour not being the yeah. one that you wanted. That's right, you yes. know, and, and that, that I kind of relate to very well. Now, of course, uh, if you want to go for this bundle, you are getting 108 need, uh, A5 papers there. A third of the stock has already gone. It is a limited edition. Uh, it's the limited, uh, can, uh, the, the latest of uh, Jean's papers. 552240 is your item number. 13 pounds and 99 pence for 108 uh, papers in total. You can stamp on it. And also the, the thickness, what's the thickness? Um, I think it's about 170 GSM. So perfect paper with a little very, you know, thick paper in yeah, a way. Yeah. Oh, perfect. And yet it's not so thick that it's bulky. I know, you know exactly it, what you it, mean. It's fine, yeah. so yeah. that's what I like about it. Lots of possibilities. We have got another limited edition. This is a bundle that features washi, stamps, and of course, car stock. Now, uh, already approaching 20% of the stock. Now, um, of course, we are getting one of those have what I think signature styles of firm crafting individual stamps that you are that's one of those ones that never leaves the table right no that's right and I thought we'd bring it because it literally doesn't ever leave my table at the moment <laughs> and it's I love I can because I can see um the idea of making a mini album or something like that a memory book and highlighting words yes it's great to just bring one word out of it you don't need to use the whole thing you can yeah. just use odd words a few words one word whatever you like oh, no, I I had but it, it works uh, equally well as a background <laughs> I think I had it now. Now it is right. Now it is. I love that because you have got words like family, love, kisses, smile, delight, perfect, hold. You know, like you were saying, highlighting words, but also um, I was thinking just for backgrounds, just adding. Yes, texture. yeah, just a bit here and there uh, works really yeah, well as well. Indeed. Yeah. And then we are have. Can we say? See, look, have a look at those washies because they are. They're absolutely gorgeous, and they are, they are so useful. Those thin ones. Yeah. I love washi tapes anyway, but I find those particularly useful because they just fit at the edge of something. So you've stamped something and you can put it right around the edge or you can just put a little bit across a certain area or just yeah. a little bit at the top with a three gems on it or something like that. Yeah, they are absolutely gorgeous. And now, of course, um, I, I love the way that you are, you know, it's not so f easy to find these fine ones. And of course, with that kind of gold color as well, I love them. And of course, remember, if you want them, uh, you, it's a limited edition bundle. So if you want it, make sure to check out your baskets. 20% of the stock has gone. And can we mention as well the car stock? Because this stamping card feels different for from, for, uh, from many other cards. Yes, it's a satin sort of, but very smooth finish and uh, I tend to use it for just about everything that I stamp now yes. um, so it's perfect that we, we can sell it as well you know yeah. and it's made for printers so printing companies use it so it stands to reason it would be good for stamping it on is. as well really. It, so. Will it give you it, you know one of the things sometimes you want that crisp contrast yes, yeah. that high contrast and that's what it will yeah, give you. Yeah and yet things still dry on it yeah. you know but it's, it's not smooth, so. like you describe it satin yes, rather than yeah, glossy yeah, you know it has right. got that satin yeah. finish. Uh, yeah of course it is white car so it kind of feels boring but uh, but it is not for us <laughs> crafters and the stampers we were like oh, this is different this is uh, now of course you are getting 24 of the A5 uh, of course uh, stamping cards from crafting individuals and remember you are getting the washi tape six of them and of course you are getting the uplifting words stamps remember that is red rubber clink foam mounted ready to use but a quarter of the stock has gone remember this is a limited edition bundle if you want yours do check out your baskets now 742305 is your item number now 
when you go to check out, uh, there is something we call uh, end of uh, end of cold offer. Or how about now? These are perfect partners that you're not paying any PMP for it, even if you are not a Freedom member ever. And what it does is also uh, gives you an opportunity to grab a bargain. Now this one is a Crafty Individuals mystery bundle of three amounted rubber stamps. I believe that, of course, you are just paying eight ninety nine. But I believe, Jean, these ones are um, some that they have been discontinued. Yeah, as recently well. discontinued ones. Um, so we thought we'd just bring a treat, and uh, you can have it, the contents will vary. Yeah. But they'll all, they'll all be nice, whatever uh, well, they are. It couldn't be otherwise, ever, <laughs> of course, from crafty individuals. Uh, now, of course, if you were going, like the price originally would have been £15.99. Uh, so you have got, uh, you know, that price, almost half price. So make sure to check those ones out on the website when you they're go to check out. They're not mounted, mind. It's worth just saying they're not, they won't be mounted. Uh, they are, sorry. Yeah, sorry, they won't be mounted. such a good price. So, Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Right, of course, uh, do check them out. And, of course, do check your baskets out because we are very busy across the board. Right, Jean. Yes. How are, we, how are you going to start the day then? Yes, I'm going to uh, do a, a long, thin card today. Um, but first of all, I'm just going to read a couple of things out. Um, one of our ladies, Doreen Simpson, I asked them on a Facebook Live if they could think of Because dragon, I mean, these are mythical creatures. But I, I know there's a lot of quotes about them from people. So she'd found a quote by S.A. Sachs. And hope rises like a phoenix from the ashes of shattered dreams. Oh. And I just think that's a lovely one for that phoenix. It it's is. a perfect, it's a perfect thing. And, yeah. and this is a little bit about um, Malcolm said oh. uh, before we came away. Yeah. Uh, just to say a little bit about Dina's designs because she's so talented and she's done so well with these. So he said, growing up, I'm sure we all enjoyed the world of mythical creatures and mysterious lands in books or film. Merlin, Robin of Sherwood and Game of Thrones come to mind. Let these wonderful designs by Dina take you back there and escape the sometimes madness of today's world. Oh. And they do. They're taking you back to, to your childhood yeah. and to a world that isn't full of pandemics yeah. and... Yeah oceans rising and yeah, all the rest of it you know it takes shall you to another a couple world more of mythicals uh, shall we throw the lord of the rings as yeah, well as exactly. uh, you know, yes, um, uh, yeah, you know kind exactly. of harry potter for that <laughs> mythical so yeah we have named three that we yeah. have why now <laughs> <laughs> right that's wonderful yes it, it, it's just you know sometimes things move me a bit and that the shattered dreams one made me go all funny all over Aww. when Dor and i read that out of doreen's Aww, that's so <laughs> um the sort of card i'm doing today is a long thin one Mm. Um, you can, these are quite fun to do because they're just half an A4 sheet. So you literally turn your piece of A4 card over and you can get, amazingly, envelopes to fit them as well. So um, I quite like that because you've got loads of playroom there to play with your papers and to play with your images um, and pop your washi tapes I on like, here and yeah. there. So I did one with the dragon and the tree. And now I want to do one with the baby dragon. Okay. So um, I'm starting with him. Now, I did have an accident on the way here. Oh, no, it's not this one. There's another one. Some, some of the distressing came out on the way over, but that's another one. So well, the, this oh, one's clean. Yeah, but also <laughs> that could be the first, uh, you know, the first layer of the it magic. It could, yes, absolutely yeah. it could. And uh, happy accidents. Uh, I'm going to use it later because yeah. I've already sorted it I'll out. Call them now, so you'll see it yeah, later. I call them creative YouTubers. Yes, yes. Oh, very good. Yes, yeah. I like that. <laughs> You can't beat a good happy accident. No, I do. So I'm going to start with um, stamping our lovely baby dragon here. And I do absolutely adore him. He's just wonderful. It is. So with a little bit of trimming, you will probably have to do a little bit of trimming with him just to make sure you don't get any shadows where you don't want them. And then uh, he should just go straight on an acrylic block. So what I'm going to do now is use the Versafine Claire Nocturne. Oh, which, which is, is. Uh, one of my new favourites at the moment. Um, I have them all. We do, <laughs> don't we? <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's um, yeah, they're very, rather collectible. Let's yes, say, absolutely. Uh, so I'm just inking up, just tapping him all over a little bit. 
And, and I then, suppose for your stamps that are so rich in detail, um, Bursa Fine Clay will be the perfect ink it to is, capture it's it all. It is, it's yes. They work pretty well with other... I'm, I'm quite back into stays on again at the moment oh, as well because I'm it so goes cool. on everything. I love, I love, yeah. I love the stays on, so yeah, I'm glad that great, you do. Yeah. It's a great pad. Right, I've cut this to size because I want it to go on my card, so it's yeah. going somewhere about in the middle in the there. Middle, yeah. So... I'm going to just try and get him because I didn't want you to have to watch me yeah. um, cutting things out. So I thought we'll just get straight into the stamping here. Perfect, yeah. I'm just trying not to move it there. When you are at home, do you have a bigger piece of card and then trim it down? I would tend to when I first start, start thinking about what yeah. I'm going to do. Um, but I thought just for the speed this yeah. time, it's easier to cut it out ready. Uh, but yes, just cut it to suit your to suit your particular card, right? And then, and so he stamps really well. That's so cute. As hopefully all our all our um, stamps do. I love the detail between like the cracks of the egg. You know, yes. there's so so much detail and, in there. And Dina and her mum Janine have um, done some of them 3D, so the. The egg actually lifts away from the um, background, which really looks, which looks really cool. Yeah. By the um, way, thirty percent of the uh, stock of the complete collection has gone. If you want yours, uh, please make sure to check out your baskets. Incredibly busy for it. Oh, that's great! Thank you, folks. <laughs> so I'm going to just give this a blast. I've put embossing clear embossing powder on it, and uh, I want to play around with colour on him. Um, when I've got him dry, so I thought I'd uh, emboss it as well so that nothing moves around. You know, you can be sure you can colour without any problems at all, even if it's uh, just a fresh one, it's freshly stamped. I'm wiggling this around, I know you don't need to really, but... It's hey -ho, funny because I always wiggle it. So. I'm, I'm, you know, it's funny because... Um, I, am, I do the same. Yeah. It's so refreshing. Already we have agreed on two things that yes. not every stamper will agree on. And I do the wiggle thing with the yeah, embossing. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I feel as though I have to, but I know there's no need, really. I think for me it's because I, 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 have, I need to be careful about overheating the paper because yes. that's kind of my main concern. Yes. Um, so maybe it's that, that kind of I feel that if I kind of wiggle over it. That's it. Mm. You feel as though you'll get yeah. it all done. I think it's about cooked yeah. there actually. I'll just turn it to the side. You can tell better that it's all uh, it's all in place. So that's that bit done. Now what my intention is, which I won't do all of it because I've got a few stages ready prepared okay, because good. otherwise you'd be watching all day while the paint dried sort of thing. But I'm using a, a masking fluid. I think this is a, a PBO one. Right. Um, and I'm just going to go over him. Yeah. It's like li liquid rubber, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. I'm just going to go over him and then um, I'm going to add colour in the background. So I won't do all of this. I'll move on to the one. But just so you can see how will... I'm sorting it out is just going in with a paintbrush and just putting a thin coat on. Or you could use uh, masking sheets. Oh, yeah. Um, or anything that you, you find the best thing uh -huh. to do. You could even use a, a piece of card that you've stamped and cut out and uh, just plop it on with a tiny bit of blue tack or something to keep it clean is what I'm, ask, what I'm yeah. looking for. So that's him. So imagine that was fully done and I have one here in true blue Peter fashion that's already been um, masked out and dries completely. So now I can play with that and the, the image itself should certainly stay white underneath, which is the joy of it all. So I'm going to use Distress Inks here and just spray a little bit here and there just to give the background a bit of colour. This is the one that leaked all over oh. the place on the way here, so I'm just it created a bit concerned. The first layer. Yeah. I'll just, uh, before I get it everywhere, I'll just dab that off. <laughs> so I'm just going to sort of do it in about three places, a little bit of orange. Yeah. In fact, that'll do. I think we'll leave yeah. it at that. 
And of course, we have got the one-day special, which features um, uh, this dress, oxides, and sprays. Well, not in the one-day special, but in the one-day special. Uh, spe a special, I would say. Yes. A special or a, a special? A special, oh. yeah. See, so it's, oh, my English, it doesn't oh. get better after Your English years. is loads better than my Spanish, I can tell you. But you haven't been living in Spain for 19 <laughs> years, that's what I say. It's like, it doesn't, uh, it's frustrating that, you know, it never gets better. <laughs> I'll just mop that up a bit, and then I'll go on with my next colour, which is... Oh, is that... Uh, this is the new speckled egg oh, one, speckled which is really egg. rather lovely, so... That's gorgeous. I'm just going to spray that on as well in just they all come out a little bit differently yeah. so so we'll go for that oh, that works then I've got a bit of a vintage one here which is I know you have them on oh, as well pretty gets gritty oh. so it's great to mix them up isn't it oh it is that well that, yeah and there's so many that you can get just about every color you can yeah. think of nowadays and it, with every finish you like matte every, finish yeah. or less finish. Yeah. oh that works so I'm just going to dab a bit off, otherwise it will take forever to dry. But wow. your your uh, your dragon's egg himself stays pretty clean under there. So now I'm going to add um, a little bit of brushes. Yes. So I'm just going to tap it just on that edge. And there. Brushes? Are they crystallised dyes? I think there's something like that. Yes, they're because uh, you can mix them with water. Yeah. And you can make a watercolour, but intense watercolour for yourself. Um, they've been around a long time now, yeah, brushes, yeah. but they are good fun. So oh, there's something that. like yeah. that. You see, it's perfect. You maybe couldn't do this on everything, but you can on these yeah. mythical... That's a good point. ...mythical that... creatures, because you can just go mad with your colour. Exactly. Yeah. And, and the kind of... I was thinking also, the other, the other movie I was thinking of is Excalibur. Uh, you know, from the 1980s. Oh, right, yes, know, yeah. You know, and it was like kind of the, that sort of mythical elements as well. The kind of those colours were very much like this. They kind of a strong, vibrant Strong, colors. interesting colours. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I love that little bit of ultramarine there. So I'm just drying it off a little bit. And then my magic ingredients are turmeric and paprika. Oh! <laughs> I said there's going to be a little bit of magical ingredients magical. going on here. Yeah. So, are, like our producer just said in my ears, like, oh, Jean, you're adding some spice. <laughs> yes. Literally. <laughs> Definitely adding a bit of spice here. Oh. So what I'm going to do, because it makes great rust. Now, this is an oh. idea that uh, Helen Chilton, uh, want, the, oh. the one that's been yes, uh, on our team for a long time, that yeah. she came up with a while back for something that was under the sea. Oh. But it works awfully well for these little creatures yeah. as well. So I'm just going to put a little bit of wet glue on. Yeah. I mean, it will not be edible afterwards. <laughs> oh, no, we won't eat it. In fact, I, once I've messed about with it, I don't think we'll be using it for cooking at all yeah. after this. But uh, they're not expensive, particularly yeah. these days. So and you can always just have a little bit of fun. Yeah. yeah. So just where your glue is, just That's give great. it a little sprinkle. Yeah. And then you just press it in a little bit with your finger. Of course, turmeric is one of those ones that has been used as a colorant for, and as a dye for some well, yeah, millennia even, a, I it's think. It's just a brilliant color. Yeah. I love it. So That's I'm going to put it in there idea. as well. So just push it in and it'll all dry. It's quite patchy, but that's good. That's perfect again with this sort of thing. Yeah. So then you can add um, a little bit more glue somewhere else just for a bit of interest add a little bit more here this is his sort of ground area yeah. and then I'm going to add some of the paprika okay you could make a bit of a curry after this yeah. I think with what the, uh, <laughs> the yeah. bits that I'm putting on here so it'll just stick where you've put your uh, gluey yeah your gluey bits so and then just tap it off and then um, when we go back to the um, to rub this off I've got another one as well because otherwise this won't be dry for a little while so let's add just a little bit more I think I keep disappearing down towards me I know it's better if uh, you can all see what I'm doing 
Um, so add a bit more, or you can use a bit of this as well. I love, I love. And by the way, it's that, it smells good as well, doesn't it? Well, exactly, yes. Yeah. You can't beat something that's quite fragrant too. Yeah. So. Now I'm thinking, are you going to go home and raid a spice cupboard? And, you know, <laughs> well, it does, make very, it does make extremely yeah. good rust. Well, I was thinking as well, I mean, obviously, it's, it does, it's not cheap, but saffron also would be amazing because it kind oh, of it has would, the filaments yes. and then it's yeah. some water. That's one would. of the most expensive ones, it I is, think. It is, actually. It? More expensive by grams than gold, actually. Yes. Yeah. Next oh, that's thing. right. Yes, I think I uh, saw that as well. Yeah. So there we are, something like that. Now, I have got one I've already done. Don't spill that everywhere, Jean. Um, I've already got to that stage. Oh, look at um, that. Which is there. So, again, each time you'll get a completely different look uh, with it. And this one's now dry because you want it bone dry before you start rubbing, the, right. yeah. rubbing this away. So now you can go in and take your masking fluid off. Look at oh. So that's kept him nice and clean. That's perfect. And then you can go in with your coloured your coloured um, pens and things and make him yeah. nice and colourful. Or even or just leave him white there, if yeah. you want. And what sort of would you be thinking of colouring it with maybe watercolour pencils? Yes, anything or, that you, yeah. you like in your life. I've got some yeah. uh, watercolour pens here that I'm going to use to colour him in. But yes, anything that, uh, that you like to use yeah. to colour with. So it makes a little bit of a mess, but okay. it's easy enough tidied up. Uh, Just okay. take that onto there. Right, so my idea is now to give him some colour. Right. So... We'll go in for a little bit of little bit of green. Just okay. tend to pop it on the surface here, and then just move those out of the way because I'll spill them and they'll go everywhere. Okay. Now, can I sorry interrupt you? Yes, you carry one second, on and because I'll just... I need to tell everybody yeah. we are approaching forty percent for the full collection. Now, of course, the full collection includes the five brand new, beautiful, magically mystical com uh, collection in there. You are getting eight stamps, cling foam mounted. Which actually, the fact that you are getting them cling foam mounted is actually because it's a kind of a special treat for us here at the craft store because Jim sells them uh, without the. Uh, the clean foam out. Now you may have to trim it a little bit, maybe. Maybe if you are using a stamp playing platform, you don't need to. I love the fact that ready to go and they will work on your um, stamping platform or, or acryl acrylic block. Also worth mentioning that these stamps, uh, the brand new stamps, the five beautiful, magically mystical collection are of course exclusive to the craft store for 10 days. So you can grab them, you can have them before anywhere, anywhere, anyone else. Now uh, remember that you need to be quick to check out the other baskets because approaching 40 and remember the savings are actually bigger than they appear. As a freedom member, I think is it uh, 15 pounds and 90 pence as a saving and that's the delivery cost. 843-770 is your item number. Back to you, Jen. Yes, I'm just giving him a little bit of colour here. Oh. And uh, it just then brings him just to life a little bit. Lovely. And his eggs are... I've got a green colour because yeah. a dragon's egg can be any colour you like, you know. Indeed. I have never seen one <laughs> in real life, I mean. You know. But it, it, I was looking at the dragon itself, and it does have both the fierceness of the dragon, but also the tenderness yes. of, of a kind of a baby she's, dragon. She's done, Dina's done some lovely designs in that they're, they're not ferocious, any of these. Yeah. They're all gentle, yeah. like it's the gentle dragon. and I, The I like protective dragon. Yes, yes. So yes. none of them are, yes. are scary dragons. They are they're, not offensive, uh, they are defensive. Yes. <laughs> So they will defend you if they, you are a tiger. They will, not, yes. Because you, know, yeah. you wouldn't want a dragon that didn't have a, <laughs> a little bit of defensiveness, you know, that kind Indeed. of thing. You know, yes. Defend you from... So I'm just giving him a little bit of colour there. 
And I love even the detail of the tail coming down from the bottom of the um, the egg. It is just beautifully just, drawn. This yeah. just totally, very elegant. Totally love it. Yeah. Uh, it has got like the S kind of quality to yes. it. The, you know, the eye travel. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll just colour in his tail there. Yeah. And then just keep working on him till you feel he's getting to the to the right stages for you. And then you could go in with, never be afraid to um, go in with a black pen. Okay, so yeah. say you've, um, you want something to stand out a little bit more like this edge here. Just, just go in with your black yeah. pen and make it, you know, more of a, a statement. Yeah. Um, so you can always pop a little bit more black on his oh, eye. Oh, that makes a difference. It makes a, a big difference, just little bits like that. And then your white pens right. are absolutely marvellous to to add some detail to him as well. So you can add some. I need to get it a little bit thicker. It's just that adds that kind of light, where the light hits that. Um, it just Yeah, it just makes yeah. it stand out a little bit. Three-dimensionality, yeah. you know. So you can give his eye a little bit of white there. Yeah. And then long here. It just makes it stand out a little bit more. And then maybe pull some, some of the white down his wings here. And a little bit on his tail. You could add little bits of um, metallic would be nice. You know, a little bit Ooh, of gold yeah. paint would be nice popped in amongst these as well. There would be. And then a little bit on this part of him here. So it just goes to make it all stand out a little bit more. It does. That's so then gorgeous. what I want to do is put him onto a card. So I've cut out the bits again here, um, and I can then assemble the card. And it's made with um, some of the the papers that are in the the kit. So just so I don't get that absolutely filthy, I'll just clean that up a little bit. And then there's my card. Yeah. And I've cut these bits out because I'm just cutting them out. So I've just cut them to fit. So that then goes on to that one there. So I've got my little spray booth here so I don't get spray everywhere. I just find it very quick and easy to spray something. Uh, it's funny, isn't it, how we have our favourite ways favorites, of Our favourites, yes. Yeah. 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 I think all methods of glue have their place. Yeah. Um, but you can use your tape or whatever is your favourite glue. It's quite a personal thing, glue, I think, isn't it? It is. And I also think that this, um, like, I, I have got so many different dyes, but there is, like, this is my favourite for this project, my favourite for, for this that time. one, that's right, right. Yeah. yes, absolutely. And then there are days when I can just be bothered and I would use the same glue for everything. <laughs> <laughs> there are days like that. Do you have those days, Jean? Oh, you do, yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. And it yeah. comes to, did you, have you ever had like a project that you were doing and you couldn't find the right colour as well? Oh, all the time. <laughs> yeah, you run out of colours. Yeah. And you think, you can't because there's every colour. Yeah. But yes, I often run out of a colour and yeah. I think, what am I going to put there? There isn't the right colour. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it's very odd that. I find that quite disturbing. And then you think, oh, I have got the full... I've full, got everything yeah, colour -wise. Everything. Yeah, I couldn't have. <laughs> but no. I still can't find quite the right colour to go with this. Yeah. Or cards as well, with cards, I remember. I mean, I have got pretty much all the colours under the sun. And then I was like, no, it's not quite. It's not I quite. need a blue that is a little bit more... It's not quite there. You know, yeah. More pure blue, more vibrant, radiant blue. And just, yeah. yeah, oh no, it's a, a strange thing, the colour thing. Yeah. I've always had that problem, running out of the... Right you can tool. tell that you love colour and you're very particular about colour oh, because I of the papers, colour. Yeah. 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 fact, I did a fine art degree years ago and my was... thesis was on colour. Wow. That's what I'd, I chose as a subject. It's actually far more complicated than you'd think it is. Oh, I know it is. <laughs> I, so what was the theme of, like, so the theme was the colour, but what was the specific... Um, well, it was a, just researching into the background of colour and... Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, colour's just, it's, it's all a figment of 
of light exactly. anyway, isn't it? It yeah. isn't, it isn't right. real. Yeah. I remember going to a thing when I was a child and it shattered all my dreams of yeah. colour because they said colour's just, it isn't, it isn't really real. It's yeah. caused by light falling yeah. onto things yeah. and I couldn't cope with that at all when <laughs> I was young. I thought, no, I can't, I can't deal with this. Colour's great. Yeah, I just need great, it to yeah. be. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little bit of magical thing. It it's is a magical. Myth, uh, you know, it's yes. a mystical, magical thing. It is, you absolutely. Know? Yeah. Yes. Hence why it goes so well with this collection, that you can experiment, experiment with Experiment with colors. your colour, absolutely. So I'm just lining this all up like this. And then it just about fits in there. And again, it doesn't matter if they're not absolutely perfect. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of dragon speak here. Oh, love that. So then you can just add little bits here and there to your papers. Or you could have done it before you stuck them down as and well. It's the Versa nice Magic to... will dry on those It will dry, papers, yes. Right? Yep. So just a little bit like that just makes all the difference. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Even a little bit just next to your... Maybe next to your uh, dragon there, dragon's egg there, just brings it out. Maybe another little bit there. You could use um, oh, you could that. use it without um, being on acrylic block. You know, just go for it with the the stamp as it is. Let's put a little bit over there and a little bit there. And then your washi tapes that you've got in one of those kits come in very handy now because you can just take a little bit of your washi tape and the colours are all really good and they seem to go with all of these papers. Because washi, also, washi tapes are not completely opaque so a little bit of what is underneath it, That's a right, tiny bit, through. a hint of yes, it yeah. will be shown. So it's just really nice to just add a bit more, I mean that's still a bit wet so I shouldn't really have stuck it on there but it will dry off. Yeah. And then maybe another little bit somewhere else, maybe like that. And then just either tear it at the end or cut okay, it. Yeah. I like those bushes. Of course, they are part of the limited edition bundle that details on the left hand side of the screen. That's right. So he's about there. And then what I've done yeah. is also stamp this. Oh, this because one. the stamp that comes, the Onto uplifting the, words. Yes, yeah. and then you can add a little word here and there to him. So I'm looking for enchanted, that's it. Ooh, so that's, that's right at the top. Perfect words for uh, that card. It's, it goes very well. I thought that's why yeah. we'll put that in the extra kit, just because it's very useful for this. It's very useful for all sorts of things, but... It's come into its own, particularly with the dragons and things, because the words like enchanted and believe and dream and all that sort of thing it goes is. really well with it. It is. So I might just use a little bit of wet glue here. Yeah. And is it great that one single stamp it gives you all this, you know, like it looks like you know, hundreds of words, well not hundreds, but maybe, you know, tens and tens of words that you yes, can then highlight. Yes, you've got loads it. to play with yeah. there, so yeah, just cut them out. Just, so there we are, I think, uh, I think that's, that's, about, that's gorgeous. about ready there. Yeah, yeah. About thank cooked. you so much for Jane for that <laughs> demo. I love, I love how you created the first, you know, the first image, a stamp head uh, with the beautiful dragon egg and then build it up and then build those kind of scenes in there. Uh, now, of course, you are getting, if you're going for the complete collection, you are getting all eight. Now, remember that you are getting the fabulous Magical Mystical, which are five beautiful brand, brand new stamps and they all come clean foam mounted special a treat especially for you the, the craft store customer because of course crafty individuals usually come unmounted so there you have got the element that you have got the clean foam mount ready to use on your uh, on your uh, uh, many stamping platforms or maybe acrylic blocks now we are approaching half the stock so if you want to go for the complete collection please make sure to check out your baskets i want to show you a couple of samples that we, are let, we haven't seen yet and look at that this is what we were saying about color and how gorgeous it is to experiment with color with this collection because all these designs allow you to be kind of whimsical with the use of color the, the fact that you have got this kind of 
How I mean, kind of almost like, is she a little girl that has pretty little wings and now she's looking into the secret horizon there? Is she imagining things? Or is she a real fairy? Is those imaginations, is those stories that you tell, the mix of the tree with a weeping willow, uh, with the kind of, you can see the green man inside it, and the uh, kind of the dragon coming out of the egg. But look, you can use the size because the sizes will allow you to use with tags. Think about your mica, your texture, your crackle. Imagine your crackle paste and crackle paint on there in the background to create that kind of dragon texture as well. But if you want to do the traditional clean and simple cards with a little bit of touch of the magic mica, you can. If you want to use your pencils just to do a very monochromatic uh, kind of coloring, you also can do that. And I want to show as well the phoenix. The phoenix, look at this. Imagine stamping into acetate and then using your magical colors in here to create. Think about also using your, your backgrounds that you have created with a brand new one day special from Ranger. That would be a perfect way to add some dimension, some focal point, because there is no you know, this is what I love about this collection. Experiment with color and texture because they are magical creatures, they are mystical, they are kind of mythical as well. So therefore you can um, do create those kind of whatever random colors you want to create. Remember that as uh, the complete collection you have got, um, you know, of course that extra saving because of the smaller bigger mixes, those savings are carried forward and additionally you have got more savings. Now we are approaching half the stock which means do check out your baskets. 48 pounds and 96 pence is what you are paying. If you're not a freedom member, if you're Freedom member, forty-four pounds and six pence is your price. Eight four three seven seven zero is your item number. You also have got Flexi Buy, which means as a Freedom member, you only pay twenty-two pounds and three pence, and of course that is the delivery cost, and that's the, your first payment. The second payment, of course, interest-free next month. Moving on to the limited edition paper, 108 beautiful A5 papers. In here, you are getting absolutely stunning backgrounds created by the good, talented Jean. And I love the layering. I love the collages. I mean, I'm showing just some of them. There is 108. Some of them, you will get three of them. Some of them, you will get a different number, but you will get multiple of each designs, which means that you will have you will be able to use them without saying, oh, I need to one to keep one for, you know, to serve. No, you can use this ones. You can stamp on them because you have got multiples of age. We are two thirds of the stock has gone. Look at the weather wood. Look at the gorgeous crackles in there. Look at the florals. And remember, do check out your baskets. Why? Because two thirds of the stock has gone. You do want them. And of course, what happens is that once they're gone, they're gone. They're a limited edition bundle. Five, five, two, two, Four zero is your item number. Talking about limited editions, we have another bundle which is a limited edition, which is of course that stamping card and of course that rubber stamps in there as well. Half the stock has gone for that. Now, this is an incredible, gorgeous, beautiful uh, car stock that allows you to get crisp impressions, but also you are getting the rubber stamps as well that you can have in here, the uplifting words as well included in here. Now, you also are getting the six washi tapes in there. Now, of course, that means that you can, you can see them here that has the oil, each of them has a different color, a different pattern, a star, well, kind of silk screen in gold. I love, can we have a look, the moons in Saik here as well, absolutely stunning. Now, remember, you are getting the uh, cling foam mounted, a cling foam mounted, yeah, you said right, I doubt it myself, um, a stamp as well with that as a lifting board so that you can then kind of trim and select whichever one you want. And it's only eleven ninety nine, and you are getting that 24 of those beautiful stamping cards, which has that satin finish. I know it looks rather boring, doesn't it? But trust me, it is that satin, satin a smooth finish, which is quite rare to find. And I think, like Jean was saying, the fact that it's used in the printing industry tells you all about how well will react to ink and how well the colors will stay in there. 742305 is your item number, but do check out your baskets, limited edition. And of course, it is now over. I have the stock gone. Eleven ninety nine is all your pain, right, Jean? We have got seven minutes, yes, so, so this will be a very, very quick demo. Fabulous. I don't think I'll get done everything, so I'll show you the uh, 
the actual card I'm intending to make okay. or something similar. Obviously, every time you make a card, it's slightly different to the other time if you play, mm -hmm. isn't it? It so, is. So um, this is a little um, demo using... A lot of us have things that we've bought and yeah. not actually used, and I think a lot of people might have bought Yupo paper in the oh, past, indeed. which is the uh, plastic equivalent of yeah. paper. Synthetic. I yes, mean, that's the one. I mean, it's a... It, it, for me, it's more descriptive, plasticky, because it that's, is plastic. that's plastic. It is basically. I think yeah. it is basically yeah, plastic. It is. I think, it's, I think it it's, is. Uh, but it's it's quite useful for certain yeah. things. So yeah. I'm a bit of a fan at the moment of alcohol inks. Which, by so, the way, uh, Leon is going to be doing them at, um, no, at 12 oh, o'clock. Oh, so right. oh, well, that's perfect. Then. Perfectly planned. Excellent. Good, good well, choice you, then. Yeah. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is use some of the lighter alcohol inks. I've yeah. got a, an aqua here. Uh, a lemonade and a pink sherbet. Ooh, nice. I don't want it to end up too bright. Um, this, you can get brighter than this, but this is one of the bright ones. And that's great, and you could use that for lots of things. But if you want to stamp directly on top, it's probably better to go a bit lighter, which is like this one. This one's a, a second print take uh, that I'll you. show you. And then that one is a first one, but it's light right. colours. So you can go very dark with this technique, but I'm just going to pop. So what this does onto the Yuppo paper is just sort of spread out. Yeah. So I'm just putting some of that on there. And then I'll go for a bit of the lemonade. And I, again, it's another of those techniques that we, you know, like when you start with alcohol inks, it's just so amazing. But Absolutely. It's perfect. And sometimes with alcohol inks, I find it difficult in, in certain, what images will go, we'll go naturally with it. blend. That's it. And this yeah. is perfect. But the, uh, the, the dragons and the things go very well yeah, with I these think. sort of bubbles of colour. Yeah. So, yes, it's, uh, and then you can pop them inside each other if you want and uh, just have a bit of fun with it until it's all covered over. You can add a little bit of the, the blending solution as well, but uh, I, I don't know whether I brought that, but I decided to do it without that today because um, it does make it really yeah, spread. It does, yeah. So I'm trying to just keep the colours uh, reasonably intense so you get a bit of an interesting pattern with them. So let's call that done right. and I'll just give it a quick dry and then I'm going to use the, this is um, something that I've sort of got here from Tim Holtz but also from uh, Lavinia who yes, comes on here yeah, too because she yeah. does a lot of techniques. Yeah, she does. So it's a bit of a mix of the two this time. Okay. Um, so dry it off. It dries very quickly, alcohol yeah. ink anyway. And then... You can get these lift, oh, lift the inks yeah. um, in the alcohol inks. So if you then just put a bit of this onto your yuppo paper yes. and That's then it. just take your roller down. Oh. And you don't want to do it too many times because it starts lifting it off. Too much. But you want the whole, the whole yeah. paper covered. Wow. And then you take, this is our card again that's yeah. in, the, in the kits. And then you can sort of play, if you cut that, the up or slightly smaller, right. you can end up with a white line around the edge, which is quite nice sometimes. Um, and you might want oh. to use a bit of tissue to just encourage it to take onto the, yeah. to be the satin card. Onto the satin card. Yeah. So I, love it. Oh, I love it. I love yeah. it. I mean, I'm, so I'm, I'm intrigued how it's going to look. <laughs> yeah, let's see the finished results. And hopefully it'll have worked. So then you just lift this off. <gasps> oh, and you've I got a pattern that. there. Now, there's a bit missed out there, so I can go back in with it and just press into that okay. area. Maybe that and there wasn't then. quite enough lifting on in that area. But you can go back in and... and uh, could you do... More. Add a little bit more. Oh, I like that. Sometimes more is more, isn't it? It is. So yeah. just put a bit of that on there. Normally I would do it in one go, but for some reason I haven't okay. added quite enough there, which often happens on live TV and things, doesn't it? Okay. 
So yeah. there we are. We'll just finish off those edges. So okay. that's pretty, pretty good, I think, there. And then, right. uh, and then you can go in and do your stamping. But you can also do that again. So you can get another print off it. Another one? Another one off the same we one. We have got about a minute and a half, yeah, I think. Yeah, I probably can't do that then. But then I would go in. Uh, it, it, sometimes it's even nice the second one because that was the second one. You can okay. get a few off it and it makes the stamping really yeah. stand out when it's a bit lighter. Yeah. So, and this will still keep moving and changing a little bit. And I that's one I did and I've yeah. coloured the um, Phoenix there as well. And I've put the little thin washi tape around there that's and perfect. used the papers in the background. So. That's, that's fabulous. Thank you so much, Jean. Uh, when are you back? Uh, two o'clock. Two o'clock. Uh, right. So, of course, uh, thank you so much, Jean, for your amazing thank demonstrations. You. But remember to tune in back at uh, uh, two o'clock. Uh, remember, though, to check out your baskets. Uh, half the stock of the complete collection has gone. And remember, it features the beautiful Phoenix, the Weeping Willow, the kind of the, the dragon, the dragon coming out of the egg. And of course, also those three essentials, gorgeous, beautiful backgrounds, the, the story of the dragon, the story, like the, the, that crackle as well. It, they are incredible stamps. And you can play with color and texture. And of course, you can create your own stories. Remember to check out your baskets, the details on the screen. Remember, the saving is bigger than the year peers because, of course, those individual savings fraud and the pick and mix are carried over, over. So you have got an additional £8 saving. Don't forget that we have got two limited editions, the papers, 108 papers there, uh, and as well as a limited bundle uh, with the stamp and the stamping cards and, of course, that washi tape. Do check out your baskets and, of course, stay tuned because the inspiration continues here at the craft store with Tando after the break. Goes after the break, Tanda Creative, amazing stances that work so well with these stamps as well. Then Ranger One Day Special at 12 with Leone and myself, and then Chocolate Rocks, uh, Jen Anniversary. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. We aim to inspire you, to be educational, and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show, so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. I hope you enjoy watching us and crafting with La Blanche.
Well, hello, everybody, and a warm welcome. If you did miss our earlier show with the incredible Tando Creative, we're doing it all again. We've got actually new items on the show as well that you wouldn't have seen earlier on, but I'm not alone. I am joined by the wonderfully talented Di. Hello, Di. Hello. I really enjoyed our show earlier on. It was good, wasn't yeah. it? I really enjoyed it as well, actually. And one yeah. thing I didn't comment on is your new TV uh, jacket that you brought. Uh, yes, especially Very for today. Nice. Yeah. As seen on the craft show. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Is it Jake? We will say because you bought that. Uh, yeah. You bought that for sure. Uh, now we've got some great stencils. Got to talk about someone very special. Yeah. So she came in. Yeah. And. Um, I know that she's watching right now. She's driving back home. She's going to be watching right now. So she we're going is. to talk about uh, the wonderful Fiona who designed these. She. She's good. She's, I mean, she's very, really, very, really good. Very talented. Yeah. Very talented. And we've been on her for a long time yeah. to bring out her own things, her own stamps, her own stencils. And finally, she oh. has actually done it. And I think she's just going to go from strength to strength, to be Worth honest. the way. Yeah, definitely. There is... Um just very quick, I'm going to give a backstory. I know you're good friends with Leslie. Yeah. Uh, Chocolate Barat. Yeah. It's their 10th birthday uh, anniversary shows today. Yeah. Now, you, you've done a retreat with Leslie, and you've got another one in the planning. And it reminds me of the... Um, Comfy Pyjamas. <laughs> Comfy Pyjamas retreat. Yeah. Because it's all online. You can do it in your PJs. But the first one... Immensely popular. It was very, very, very popular, yeah. yeah. And we had a great time. We had 13 classes. Um, wow. Yeah, and it, it was brilliant. Everybody got little kits and stamps, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it was just fantastic. We had a really, really good time. So if you would like to uh, join the Comfy Pajamas gang, uh, do have a look. Social media, I know you've got all your details there. Uh, we're going to talk about the stencils. They were busy. We are approaching half the stock, and that's in one hour. Uh, and we had an awful lot of stock. Look at the design that you've, you're getting, you're afforded by Fiona. That lovely burst, sunburst with the moon and crescent inside. The detail here, the little symbols. We said there's a bit of an Egyptian vibe going on, but there is something quite uh, mystical and magical about this. Love, love, love. That is a background, the shooting stars. This is beautifully lavish in detail. And then you've got the, um, the, the phases of the moon going yeah. through, which yeah. is just very symbolic as well. It is, definitely. I'm thinking for a journal, how about this? You could just put in the corner like the different phases of the moon going through. Wow, that's a good idea. Yes. Build up yeah. for the month. Yeah, that's brilliant. Saying ideas. Yeah. But it's a compliment I always find to good designs stimulate yeah. inspiration. Yes. Yeah, and I, I've totally won over by Fiona. I think she's fantastic. <laughs> uh, Twenty-four ninety-nine is your price here. I'm going to show you just a couple of examples. Now, check. Yeah, all I'm going to say is yes. This is one of the matchboxes that you can find on the show using this with some structure paste on. This is beautiful. It is, isn't it? It's so rich. I love, I love the detail here. So the moon nestled within the sun, and then you've even got some stars in there too. That as a an image is so strong. Yeah, yeah really it is. like that. And that's just one of the images that you're going to be getting to play with here. Uh, got to move on because we have got lots to show you. But my goodness, this is a great collection of stencils. It's different, and we were saying in our previous hour diet, I like to invest and I like to build up my stash with like, so stencils that I don't. I don't want to duplicate. I want to get something that's totally different. Yeah. So original. They are very original. So original. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking of original, <laughs> now I want to give you a little backstory here. Can I just apologize to a lot of you? Well, everyone who watched the earlier show that were trying to go for our pick and mix, we had technical issues and we just couldn't resolve it at seven in the morning. Uh, we have now resolved it. It's a totally different item number. So please don't use, if you've logged or stored the previous item number, that was where, that was the problem basically. We had to create a whole new item number here. This is the new item number. It is working. You get to pick and mix four of these fantastic chess pieces. I'm going to put my hand into shot just to give you a sense of scale. These are big. They are big. Yeah. They're huge. Yep. Um, just, I love them. I, ab I absolutely love this. And can, can we just applaud again the design team? Look at this with the queen um, using some Alice... I would imagine that's Alice Papers yeah. in there. The Queen's very popular. Yes, I mean, they're all, they're, I just, I love all the, the designs, obviously. The yeah. chess pieces are timeless, aren't they? But but what um, what the girls have done with some of the samples, stunning. just stunning. 
This inspiration here with the knight, the horse, um, we actually featured at 7 o'clock. So if you go onto our website or the Craft Store app, you'll be able to rewind. We've got the last 60 days on there. So just uh, put in today's date, 7 o'clock, and you'll be able to see the lovely die demonstrating using the stencil. Oh, it's great. I mean, come on. Those stencils are incredible. And they work very well with the, um, the theme with the um, chess pieces. Uh, busy for this. One thing I also want to show you, I'm, I am getting ahead. Wait, have you got the box? I, probably not. We haven't got, you know the box with the crackle that again we showed at seven? Um, have we got that anyway? That is up here. Okay. If we just, we have to nab that off you. Yeah. Shouldn't we do that? I apologise. Now have a look at, you've got to try this. Look at this crackle. Now what I would do is that crackle with either a black or a brown on a chest piece, uh, chest piece. So imagine that. Getting that crackle, well actually there's a bit of crackle going on there, but that would look incredible. So it yeah. looks like an authentic sort yeah. of aged chess piece, I yeah. think it would look amazing. Um, we're really busy here. Di had a phenomenal idea, she was saying earlier on, you could go on and make, because we were talking about, I'm going to say other shows are available of course, but The Queen's Gambit, and if you haven't seen it, check it out, it's an incredible show, other shows are available. But imagine creating your own yeah. large chess piece to play with. Yes. I think, that would, that, I think that would just be so much fun. I really do. I can't tell you how much I want to do that. <laughs> Seriously, Di, I, I am desperate to do that because I love chess. And I just think playing with pieces at this size, is, uh, I, uh, I blow, the prospect of it excites me. Nine ninety nine is your price. Choosing any four here, 606, 426, your item number. It's the quality that you get. Uh, with everything that Di brings. And I've, got, I've really got to commend you because not only do you bring quality, but you bring stuff you're going to want to use, display. You know, this, uh, these aren't projects that we do and then they go to the back of a drawer somewhere and get mm. lost. You want everyone to see them. Yeah. For instance, <laughs> so good. The Mega Bundle, $33.99. But considering it's not only a piece of art, but a functional piece of art because we've got the drawers in there. Yeah. We've got a little book, so you're going to get six little books. You're also going to get the drawers, so it's four of the little ones and uh, two of the larger ones? Yes, yeah? that's it, yep. Yeah. Uh, actually, Diane, I know you've got them in front, so this is what we're going to be playing with, is that right? Yeah, I'm going to actually show all the different combinations yeah. of the different bundles so everybody Perfect. will know what, what they can get. What you're seeing on your screen right now, right here, is what you get. So this is the permutations, what you get. And obviously, we can go in any direction we like. Because it's MDF, think about the stencils, the mediums that you're going to be using, or papers. Uh, we've got our drawers, so we will be working with the drawers. There we go. And you can pull those out and you can use those. So you've got the drawers in there. Uh, now, you can see, by the way, that looks great. But I've got to draw your attention to something that is equally impressive. Well, actually, this is this blew my mind when I saw this. <laughs> Wait till oh, there. Actually, that's good that we're showing that. If I just, what's blocking it? Let's see. This, this, this. Oh, it's, okay. Sorry, I won't move that. But you can see all the elements that you get in this bundle. Um, let me. Have I ruined everything? I'm sorry. Look at this. Who made this? Fiona. <laughs> I mean, that is there. Nothing this woman can't do. <laughs> Look. At this. Now I've got to stress, to make this, you do need to add a few more books and a few more drawers and then obviously the little pulls in there as well to dip into your own stash. But that is breathtaking. Absolutely incredible. Are these the stamps that are coming up They're as well? They're the stamps that are going to be on the one o'clock show. Wow. I am genuinely, and I, I, I hope, I would never put it on, but um, I'm genuinely blown away by that. Yeah. I think that is a piece, decorative piece. Imagine that in your craft room. Well, not even in a craft room, this could be anywhere. Oh, it could be anywhere, yeah. It doesn't need to be in a craft room uh, at all. So I, you know, you'd want it pride of place, wouldn't you, really? I've got to stress, what Fiona's done here is added a few more drawers and a few more of the books. We will get to that. I um, just want to show with the books, can I pull one of these out? Is that okay? Yep, sure. Let me just... Oh, she's, she's even... Oh, Fiona. <laughs> Because I know you are watching this right now. I love the fact that she's even decorated the little books. Are you kidding me? And then added the little signature within there. So you're getting uh, six of the books. You're also getting the drawers, so the smaller drawers and the larger drawers in there. You can go on, and I've got, we've got another bundle that you can get a few more if you want to create 
uh, the inspiration that Fiona I've just shared with you. $33.99 is your price here. We are talking Tando Creative box storage. Um, I think it was the 20% of the stock or I made that up? I think I might have made that up. Sorry, apologies. 10% of the stock. But considering we've only just seen it, <laughs> it's busy. $33.99 your price there. Six nine one two eight nine. dollars uh, We will progress down. So we've got the storage outer box. If you just wanted to create the storage outer box, details are there, $14.99. So that's just the, um, without the drawers uh, or the books. Well, you, yeah, that's right. You get the outer box and you get four of the large squares. Oh, okay. So what you can then do is well, add, you can add on the other bundles yeah. to just make up exactly what you want. Because for instance, you might have a passion for books. Yeah. So you could buy that and then just add books in there. So you could have a whole bookcase oh, nice or recipes recipes anything you like you know it just depends what what your passion is and yeah. what you want in there you might not want to have as many drawers you might want to have you know other mm -hmm. other elements in there and and you can as i say you can add in more books if you want to because yeah. there's a bundle just for books yeah. so it's a real that kind nice. of uh, make up your own design great idea from chris our director one of his hobbies he was saying collect stamps so yeah. to house stamps yes yeah nice absolutely yeah. and what what we were saying earlier with mm -hmm. um where fiona has put the the yeah. um pages in if you're mm -hmm. using it for your craft um stuff you could put your little um, swatches in there so you know what coloured inks you've got, what colour paint you've oh, got. That's a good idea. And it's just sitting there on your craft desk so yeah. you can just pull the book out and have a look. That's so cool. there's so many different uses. A uh, fourteen ninety nine is your price here for uh, nine four six five eight one your item number. So within this we we've got four of the large drawers. Just and the outer box. It's four of the large, large squares, uh, squares, squares without sorry. the drawers. With, uh, apologies. But I'll, I'll go through every bundle yeah. oh, and we'll, show, we'll everybody. Show, yeah. show everybody. Yeah, show everybody. Sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. Now uh, another permutation for you. If you just wanted to go for the uh, the boxes in themselves, we've got that here, and you're going to be able to make eight small grey board boxes. Ten ninety nine is your price. The whole point with this, and we are going to be quick because I think you have to see it, and I know Di is going to talk you through the different permutations. So I'll just give you the details. Ten ninety nine is your price. Nine nine eight two four four your item number. And I also want to just share with you this is one example of what you can create. Come on, and I, I turned to Di when I walked in the studio and saw this for the first time. So I think every crafter at home will see a place for this in their craft room. It's just so handy, but not only in your craft room. Imagine this in an office or, or a kid's bedroom if they want to yeah. put their, um, their school stuff in there. It's just cool, but you can personalize. So that's the thing. We can color coordinate. It can be any color you like. You can use any papers you like. We can spritz it. We can use all our mediums. That is the beauty of Greyboard. Uh, 998-244, your item number there. Okay. So uh, we have got a lot on the show. Feel free to go onto our uh, website. Now we've got the half boxes for you. Um, just going to show you. We'll, we'll change the details. So little half boxes are very cute. So again, yeah. this is found in our, um, our bigger collection, the complete collection. Yeah. Mega bundle, sorry. Mega bundle, say. yeah. This is a cool one. I mean, you can have a lot of fun with these, but they serve a purpose because Within these, suddenly, it's what we're going to put jewellery, yep. stamps, the Chris can store your stamps. You can do a lot uh, within the bundle. 1099 is your price, 112, uh, 108, your item number there. Uh, next, so with regard to, you know, we were saying with the bigger uh, option, if we bought a few more of the uh, little drawers and the books, we can add to our bigger bundle? Yes, yeah, yeah definitely. These books are, are great. Yeah. <laughs> now, have a look, and very clever cut work because if I just show you with that grey board do you see how you've got the accordion spine which allows it to bend over and then obviously we can decorate it do you know what I would be doing here Di is creating uh, I know there's techniques create that faux leather look oh yes with your paper yes great with that. yeah wouldn't it look wonderful yeah, yeah. Uh, okay so 13.99 is your price if you want to go for the 12 grey board books 772970, your item number. Now, I know I've shown you a lot of different bundles, but we're going to be uh, super clear with each of the bundles. We're going to go through that with Di. Let's jump onto the website and have a look. You can shop ahead. Let's go to the chest pieces. Um, the chest pieces are a pick and mix, so this is how easy it is. Choosing any four. Are you going to go for the king and queen? 
Now we discussed there's a, a wedding, you know, Mr. and Mrs., wouldn't that be great? Or equally, look, different weddings out there. It could be Mr. and Mr., it could be Mrs. and Mrs. You've also got your bishop, your rook, your knight, and your pawn. But if you did want to go and create your own chessboard, you absolutely could do that as well. So for any chess lovers out there, uh, I think it's a must. Anyone who's enjoyed The Queen's Gambit, we keep mentioning it. Other shows, of course, are available. But what a great gift there. And it's so simple to put in your basket. Enough from me. We're going to start having a play with a lovely die. Uh, what are we going to be doing? Right, I want to go through the different bundles. This will be useful, yeah. Yeah, because I think it might be a bit confusing otherwise. Yeah. Okay. So... Um, if we go with the, the mega bundle, first okay. of all, okay, I've basically laid out all the elements that you would get in your mega bundle. So you would you would get this, you get mm -hmm. your, your base, and then these um, can slot in however you like. So okay. you'll be able to get two of the small ones above a large one, yeah. or if you wanted to put all the four small ones together, they'll go in um, two large ones fit above one above the other. So truly modular. Yes, definitely. Or you might decide you want those to go in that way, for instance, and then if you wanted to then, mm -hmm. you can fit three books in into those. Oh, nice. But in these ones, you can get all, all six, six books. Perfect. Okay. Um, so you've got lots of options as to how you, um, I'll leave that in there actually, mm -hmm. lots of options as to how you lay it out. Now, you may not want to fill up all the space yeah. so you might for instance um, because you can use this either portrait as mm -hmm. the samples are over there you can also use it landscape yeah. um, you might decide that you just want to have say for instance we'll pop that one in there like that you might decide not to have anything here mm -hmm. and you can just stack other things okay. so on there whatever you like, whatever you yeah. like. yeah you might find there's other things you want to put in there so you can leave that area free nice. now um, with the mega bundle so yep. we're getting the outside boxes the um the, the large sorry box you're getting the main outside yep. construct you're getting the inner boxes and yep. the half boxes we're yep. getting six of the books yeah do we get anything else yeah all of this so if i pop all these in okay um so you're getting you're getting eight of these half boxes yeah. four of them have got drawers mm -hmm. so if i pop those in there Lovely. then you get um four of the big squares yeah. two of them have got drawers Lovely. so and if I pop, pop that in there like that okay. and then you've got six books yeah. so they could they would go wherever you want really or you okay. could even have them lying the other way so in these areas mm -hmm. you could have your ink pads or well, whatever you want yeah. to put in there if it's something Handy. that's going to stick out a little bit further yeah. then you, you can do that um, and it obviously gives you the option to have some things with drawers right. Of course, if you, you could buy additional bits to create yeah. more drawers and things Brilliant. in there. That's up to you. Okay. Um, the other way you can use this is if you go away, you can put some straps on here because mm -hmm. you've got these slots. Yeah. And then you'd be able to just lift that up by your straps oh, that's and clever. just carry that around. And then when you get to wherever you're going, you can just pop it up again yeah. on its side like Love that. that. Um, another way you can, you can use it, I'll just take a couple out so I can... So if we were to use it in a... Um, uh, portrait fashion mm -hmm. you could for instance whoops, you could have a lovely pile of drawers up one side like this and then you might want to put some books on the top but then what you could do is you could get one with all your bits and bobs in there and pop that in the other way like that which is just detachable you can just oh, yeah. get that out as and when and if you wanted to you could add in a couple of drawers just glue them in up yeah. the top there so they don't they don't fall down so you you can essentially put them in any combination that you like so the way i'm seeing this is you really build it 
to to work for you as a crafter because we're all different so how yeah. are you going to use this is it going to be uh, for your brushes uh, for your tools are you going to use it for your inks are you just going to use it as a decorative piece yeah for your you can put ephemera in there you can put little die cuts you can do an awful lot yeah well what i've i've done in the one that i've made with all the pens in mm. i've actually kept a lot of my little gray board embellishments in there Never. and what you can do is you could you could actually put one of the embellish mm -hmm. embellishments on the handle so you know what's in the box that's so, clever yeah and this is just showing you uh, this is obviously portrait but this is one die has made uh, Lisa, sorry, Lisa made sorry, Lisa, that one. I apologise. Yeah. But uh, just showing you here, what a beautiful opportunity to play with the goodies in your stash. It can be any colour you like, so you can really coordinate with the space that is going to be featured. Does not need to be just in your craft room. If you want this in any room, it could be in a living room, it could be a kitchen, if you want to put little recipes. So how about having this as drawers for little recipes? in the kitchen i think that would be really nice or if you wanted to have it in a conservatory or if you want to have it in an office you can do or even by the door so you can put your keys in there those little yeah. bits and bobs have notes for people so little to-do lists and remember you know yeah in. Yeah. yeah so Doggy many bags, uses you know yeah. treats whatever it might be yeah definitely Love yeah it. 33.99 your price but it's different and that's what we like we like projects that ultimately you're going to enjoy making but you are going to use as well okay right so for the bundle that is just the mdf um outer and then four cubes you're essentially getting this so again you could glue them in wherever you like so you could mm -hmm. actually put them into the center if you wanted to Mm -hmm. and then you could still store things either side if they're glued in you can do them um, either way like mm. this or you might want to do it where it's it's like that for instance so you still got your eight compartments so you can you well, can do a that work of art really yeah it's just so many different options you might decide to have your cubes at each end and oh, yeah. store something else in the middle. Do you know what this would be really nice for? Um, if anyone likes their little models, if you know somebody in your life, little car models. Oh, or even, yes. Uh, kids' nursery or, or, yeah, you've got little figures. I mean, there's lots of little figures out there. Uh, Star Wars, Lego, one more, Harry Potter. Um, <laughs> But then imagine having that on a wall. We decorate it to suit that room. So it could yep. be in somebody's bedroom. Yeah. And then put the little figures inside and uh, display them. Yeah, definitely. I mean, so many. I mean, the, and the, yeah, the little soldiers that you yeah. can get and uh, the little train parts and things. There's nice. so many things, yeah. isn't there? Yeah. So, so, to, so just to get your, your base kit, that is what you would get. But you yeah, could then yeah. go on and add other bundles. Yeah. So there's another bundle, I think, which uh, I'm just checking my list here. So you could get one with eight, the one with eight small boxes. Mm -hmm. So you would then, um, if I take these out, you would then have the option to add eight of those in. Okay. Like I'll just bring that. up the option with the small boxes that's so on your screen, ten ninety nine your price. There so that's your eight small boxes. Yeah, Add see, that to your base kit. For inks. I yeah. think that'll be perfect storage. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So or you might decide you do want some drawers. Mm -hmm. So you can get um, your four large boxes and four large drawers. Yeah. So if we if we take those out, okay. you could get your base kit right and then you would get an additional four they haven't all got pans you've got the on. details on the screen there 10.99 is your price i'm thinking for the four large drawers that adding that to your option the uh the mega bundle that should give you enough and you can correct me if i'm wrong Di, but let me just see here that should be enough to create this oh you would need more books actually let me just show you so if we added the four more drawers, and then obviously the little books, because I know that you're getting yeah. six with the bundle, and here Fiona's added uh, another six books. So yeah. four more drawers and the, the book option, and we can grade this. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I would say so, cool. actually looking at that. So, oh, okay. glasses are falling down. So again, you've got your, um, just find another box. I thought I had, thought I had another 
Well, that's okay. Yeah, well, we, anyway. We get the idea. So you would, you would then add your four large yeah. boxes, uh -huh. um, but you would get your four drawers as well with that kit. So okay. you could end up making something like that, yeah. and you can put your boxes wherever you like. You can move them around, or of course you can have it the other way around. Perfect. Um, so that's if you were to add those. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a permutation for every budget. Yep. Also, it's not just budget. So, some of you at home might be like, oh, I, I specifically want a certain bundle because I know that's how I'm going to be using it and it will work for me. So we understand that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the whole point of doing the mega bundle is for people that are not really sure what they want to yeah. get, but they want to have a go. Okay. So it's all there ready yeah. for them. They don't need to think about it too much. Perfect. But then you might have other people that think, actually, no, I, I really specifically want that. Yeah. So then they can have a think yeah. about what, you know, what bundles they want to buy to, to make it up. Um, so, uh, as I said before, you can get your additional um, large boxes and large drawers, or you can buy your four small boxes and, and four drawers. Mm -hmm. So that would be your base kit, plus, um, plus your, your ones with your four drawers in, which yep. is, is this. And again, you can move them around wherever you like, okay. like that. So uh, another, yet yeah, another option, another yeah. option of it. Um, or you might decide that you might just want to buy lots of bundles of books. Yeah. And you can just add... Well, these little books are so good. And look, you're getting 12 here, so... Uh, and we will absolutely use those books. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and I yeah. love that you can create little books from those. Uh, 13.99 your price for 12 of the books. I've got to tell you, a quarter of the stock's gone for the books. Let me just grab one. Uh, I apologise for moving out of shot, guys. This is created by Fiona. Come on. So she's used her stamps and it all coordinates with the piece. That's the book, obviously being painted up and then just stamped on. But then you can add the signatures in there too. Now, is that hard to add the signatures in? No, because you can actually put um, a needle through that living hinge spine um, um, and that will hold it in really well. Just, I'd be all over these. And I can see why the individual option for the books have been so popular. because. Do you know how I'd see this? Each page is like a little ATC. Yeah. So I know it's not exactly the same size, but it's a small little piece. So how about this as a little techniques book uh, or a piece that you want to give as a gift, maybe a set of six to somebody? Yeah, that would be perfect. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. I, like, I really do like <laughs> those books. But personally, and I always kind of, when I do a show, I kind of think, what would I like to do? I'd be going for the mega bundle. And I would like to create. Now, I'll just show you the Mega Bundle. And this is one with the Mega Bundle, so we're clear on what we're getting. 30% of stock for the Mega Bundle. So that in itself, Mega Bundle, I'd be all over that. It looks great. You've got so much space. And that is a blank canvas, a work of art that you will use. So functionally, it works for storage. But equally, we can use our papers. Those you know those beautiful papers you never want to use? Use them, something like this, you'll see them every day. You'll get the most out of them. But also, you'll use the drawers, you'll use the little books. So that's a mega bundle. Now, if you want to take that mega bundle a step further, if you were to get the small books, which I know are uh, proven very popular, that's uh, details at the bottom of your screen, and uh, maybe the large drawers individually, you can then go on, fill the space, and create something like this that Fiona, I oh, just think this is breathtakingly good. Mm, if you is. do like the stamps featured here, stick around, because at one o'clock, Leslie and Chocolate Brock will be featuring the stamps. Equally, if you want to use the stencils on the show, same thing, to achieve a very similar look, obviously you're working from stencil form, you can achieve those kind of designs there. That, I think, is so good. <laughs> I really do. But you can imagine. You know, we were talking about, like, a wizarding school. Yeah. This is the kind of thing you would imagine yeah, in definitely. a wizarding school. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's Let just yeah, it's a stunning example. Yeah. Uh, I've got to tell you, this. speaking of the stencils, 60% of the stock has gone for our stencils, proving extremely popular. And I, look, there was no way these would not be popular. When you consider the designs you have at your fingertips and how beautiful is a collective from this burst of sunshine raiding out with the moon nestled in and the stars very clever design this beautiful motif so detailed you've got all your symbols in here uh, the shooting stars great background another really strong individual piece and then the phases of the moon as a collective 24.99 breathtakingly good uh, 465 893 item number
We've seen the different permutations. Shall we have a play? Yep. Let's do it. Um, okay. So um, what I'll do is I'll just show you what you can do if you decide not to have this. Okay. Okay. You might decide that you don't want the MDF mm -hmm. um, bundle. And in fact, what, what you can then do, I'll pop that under there, is you can build an enormous storage unit if you want to because you can just make these as wide yeah. or as tall as you like. And we can keep on adding to it, I suppose. Yes, well. you can. I mean, that brown sample down there that I've mm -hmm. done is, is not including the MDF um, box. So you have got... Um, so what I've done there is I've used two of the cubes. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's... Yeah, three of the cubes. Two of them have got drawers in. Yeah. Like this. Love that. And then I've popped a couple of the small ones on top. Mm -hmm. But then I've got a couple of these on their own and just turned them up the other way to give you your pen storage. Yeah. So, so that, but there's, you can do whatever you want. You could mm -hmm. double that up and have exactly the same on the back and pop it on a Lazy Susan. Oh, that's clever. Yeah, yeah so it yeah. just spins if you want to. Right. Um, or if you want to be really adventurous, you could buy a, do a, a combination of 24 of them and mm -hmm. do an advent calendar. And you can do them in any shape. So if you wanted, to, for instance, to do a tree shape, you could obviously do it as big as you like, but you could, you could get all these out into a tree shape yeah. and create... Um, an advent calendar. That's my... So it, it, the, just the, the options just go on and on and on. And the beauty is that we can go in any direction we like here. And it's amazing, we're talking to the team, so uh, as we're getting ready for the show, and asking ideas, and how would you decorate yours? And everyone had their own little idea. So Katie was saying she'd go quite vintage with it. So yeah. she's a vintage papers and vintage colour tones. Uh, Chris wants to go a bit more grungy. So Chris, our director, Katie, our producer. Molly, though, topped the board. Imagination. We're talking a lot about TV shows here, and we always have to say other shows are available, but she is a massive fan of Love Island. Oh, and okay. And she said what she would do is, because she gets the little stickers and cards, she'd be sticking the pictures of the hunks inside each <laughs> one of the boxes. I mean, Molly. But that's the, th the thing is, there is no right or wrong answer. Here. There isn't, no, if you not want at all. pictures of hunks in boxes, we can do that. Exactly. Yeah, go. yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah, you could even have them lying down, and then when you pull the drawer out, they, they stand oh. up. Molly's all over that idea. <laughs> so, wait, we could have a, a pop up hunk from Love Island. There you go. <laughs> Molly, Molly, you better start placing your order. I want to see it once you've made it. There you go. Uh, but look, that's the key is, and we're all having some fun this out, but anything we have in our stash, we can yep. use any yep. paints, yep. any stencils, any stamps, yep. any papers. We keep, I say this a lot in the craft store, especially when we have sort of grey board and MDF, but um, it works so well with papers. It does. We don't, a lot of the time we have beautiful papers, and I'm guilty of this, as all crafts are, you don't want to use them. No. The point is, when they are tucked away, however much we, we say we like to take them out and stroke them, but use them. Yes. Because I'd much rather have them out on display for everyone to enjoy. And this yeah. is a great opportunity. Definitely. And and you're not even actually using many of your papers no. because you only actually need to decorate the drawer fronts. Yeah. This is the thing. So Clever. all of these drawer fronts I've put papers on mm -hmm. um, and I've, I've just used up scraps. You know, I haven't even used up a whole sheet. Yeah. So, you know, I know what us crafters are like. We don't throw away the scraps. No, no, not um, at all. But you'll always find a use for them, I cool. think. And and that's exactly what I've done there. I just love the I love the idea of this and the mm. free free nature of it in the sense that we can go in any direction you like. So it's a modular system. You dictate the shape. You dictate the look, the style. Enjoy it. Have yeah. some fun with it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And they are great fun. And once they're all glued together, they are so solid. Yeah. Absolutely, really rock solid, which yeah. is brilliant. They're very easy to put together. Mm -hmm. I can show you how to uh, put together okay. a drawer. We'll do so, that. Yeah, I yeah. see it. Okay, I'll move all this out of the way. Okay. Lovely. So, the good thing about the drawers um, is mm -hmm. that the bases 
sit into. Yeah. So your your slots are raised up from the bottom. Oh, okay. Which means if you have anything that's a little bit more weighty, you don't run the risk of the bottom dropping out. That's that's actually a really good point. There's yeah. nothing more frustrating than if you do put something in and it starts to bow and yeah. Yeah. So because yeah. it's actually slotted into the sides as opposed to being glued up to the bottom, it makes yeah. it more sturdy. Perfect. So um, you just literally need uh, the one tip with the drawers, well, and the, the boxes as well, you're best to decorate them before you put them together. Yeah. Okay, because it makes it a little bit complicated to sort of do it. Would we avoid going over the little tabs that slot in because you don't want to, obviously, make they're, they're cut precisely, so you don't want to affect that? Yeah, I, I always say to people, don't try not to put too much paint. Certainly don't put any papers no. over the, the, the tabs. But what you can do is with a bit of sandpaper, sand you can just sand it back, yeah. and they, they will go in. Okay. It's, it's fine. Okay. Um, the other tip as well, if you're painting... Yeah. Um, let the paint dry completely. If the board is still a bit wet, yeah. you might exactly. find that, because it'll expand, you see, it's, okay. it's because it's a board product, it's the, moisture. the moisture will make it expand, which will mean that the tabs won't necessarily fit in quite so well. So once it dries, though, Once it dries, yeah. it shrinks back, ah, okay. and then they'll go in much more easily. That's logical. So would you suggest, any, any time where I have to put something to one side, to resist the temptation to go back to it. I tend to do it in the evening, yeah. put it to one side, and then you know the next day, then it's all dry. Well, definitely. I mean, I made loads of these, mm -hmm. and uh, I was doing them in sort of batches of six. So I was painting six lots of drawers. Yeah. By the time I'd done them all, the first lot were essentially oh, dry enough. Oh, dry quick. Okay. Yeah, because you're okay. only putting acrylic paint on. Yeah, okay. So, so you, as long as you give it enough time just to sort of dry right yeah. off. Go make a cup of tea. Yes, okay. exactly. Or a gin and tonic, whatever oh, you prefer. Nice. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, there is a wrong and right way to put these together. You'll see it straight away yeah. um, because it will protrude out of the sides. I always suggest to people that they just fiddle around putting it together before they glue it just so mm -hmm. they know which way round it's going to go. Yeah. Um, so obviously those two sides will go on there. That is the back of the drawer, which is mm -hmm. going to pop on there. I'll glue it in a minute, which will hold it all in place. And then the front goes on. So you know which way round your you're going. Perfect. So what we need to do now is we know that that's going to go into there. Mm -hmm. We talked about, you had such a good idea, and just to remind our new viewers, I think this was a great idea from yourself. If we wanted to create a contemporary advent calendar with our drawers, we could absolutely do that as well? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, there's... Uh, what, what I sort of was thinking about, I really wanted to make some, but it's just yeah, time, isn't it? Um, you see the, these wonderful big uh, ones which are all done in a, a rectangle and you put yeah. a scene in the middle. There's no reason why you can't do that with these. Of course not. You just glue them all together. And you know, because of the size of them, you're not going to get some piddly little piece of thin chocolate. You can actually craft something and put it yeah. in a, a real note inside each of the drawers. Yeah. And, and being the size and the sturdiness of them, you'd be able to use them year after year yeah. after year, without a doubt. Lovely. Yeah, I just think, I honestly think that a, um, a, an advent calendar made out of them would look stunning. Yeah. I really do. Well, if you are thinking about doing that, one group you're going to want to join is the Tando Creative Zone on Facebook. Free group. I know Di, uh, Di does lots of tutorials in there as well. So again, free uh, tutorials. So if you want to have a look at that, go onto Facebook. Well worth checking out. And if anyone does make an advent calendar, please share it in that yes. group. And share it with the craft store too, because we'd love to. We'd all love to see it. Yeah. No, absolutely. It's really lovely. We yeah. we have people posting in uh, many of our products in there and it's 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 really um, inspirational right. just seeing what they do yeah. um, and we we do all sorts of little things we've got a 12 houses of Christmas going on at the moment where mm. you can actually buy a little kit and then and then somebody shows you how to create that house well that's cool yeah that's so nice. we're, we're doing that every month yeah. um, and they're just lots of little things to do, but there, it's there anyway. I mean, you can you can watch them without having to buy the kit, of and you'll be sort of learning new techniques and and a little bit more about how our grey board works yeah. and stuff like it's that. A, it is a very good grey board. It is. Um, it's it's particularly 
strong um, mm -hmm. because it's it's very well compressed. Yeah. Um, we we sourced it. We we searched for a long time to find a grey board that we really liked. It's and closer to MDF, really. Than it, it. I mean, it is to be fair. I mean, you're never you're never going to get it quite as as strong yeah. as MDF, because MDF is a wood product, oh, whereas yeah. this is paper. a paper product. Yeah. However, because it's over two millimeters thick, if you fill these, they are incredibly sturdy yeah, when they they're put are. together, yeah. and you do have. Um, some properties which is really good because for instance as I said in the first show you can run the grey board through an embossing folder which you mm -hmm. can't do with MDF. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. That's really interesting actually. Yeah, yeah. and you can also um, tear and distress the edges yeah. and if you if you finish it off with um, a varnish, if uh -huh. you put a matte varnish or, or satin varnish on afterwards it re you really wouldn't know it was cardboard. Yeah. You really wouldn't know. Yeah. Um, so it's as easy as that to put the drawer together. Very, very, very simple. Um, the cube, uh, the outside of it, the box, is exactly the same principle. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll just glue together any decent PVA is absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, and it won't take long, that'll be dry. But the, the, the good thing about these is obviously you would have painted you'd have painted the outside mm. first which you can do very quickly because you don't need to spend a load of time no. on the inside you know your main focus is on on the front yeah. and then so all you've got is the front that you need to decorate and That's I've a got a lovely workspace too if you think oh, about it yes. it's not, sometimes we can feel daunted taking on a very big project but here that's a nice size to then go on and explore. Yeah, and, and the other thing I, I find really, what I really enjoyed doing was that because I decorated so many of them on the inside, mm. um, then I had a big pile of them and I played with them and everything else and then I thought, mm, okay, this is how I'm going to do it and then you can decide how you're going to do all the fronts and mm. how you're going to do around the outside if you're not using the MDF. Good keepsake. Yes. Drawers too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Nice keepsake drawers. And then to to just finish the the drawer, I've mm -hmm. literally just cut some pattern paper, oh. you know, and again, you just pop your glue on. Right. Sorry, he's he's decided. I'm thinking to... like storing baby's first teeth in there. Yeah, all sorts, all sorts. And and then you can obviously decorate to to suit the theme, oh. you know. So if it is a baby theme, yeah. I mean, to, to give to somebody in a, a baby shower yeah. or a wedding yeah. gift with different now, gifts inside. I'm getting teased for saying the baby's first tooth from <laughs> Katie, our producer. The woman <laughs> who wanted to encase her boyfriend's hair in resin <laughs> and I'm getting grief for a baby's first tooth. <laughs> we were doing a show, we are doing a show where we are uh, making resin jewellery. Yeah. And she asked our guest, could she put, because she took a lock of uh, boyfriend's hair. Yeah. While he was asleep, a bit creepy. And, um, <laughs> Put, she said, could she put it into the resin and then obviously immortalise it in the resin, which oh, apparently okay. you can. Oh, OK. But That's... I don't feel I should be getting grief for baby's first tooth there. No. no okay. <laughs> Sorry, I digress. We, get, we shifted away. Yeah. But look, isn't that lovely? Yes, and very, yeah. and very easy. This is the thing. It's very, very easy. Now, you can, of course, buy the um, little handles that... Fiona has oh, got. No, we've got those on the show. I don't know. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay. Um, but you can, but you, find, you can, you can, can buy them. yourself yeah. little handles I'll if pick you want up, to. What we're yeah. About. I. I'd be doing this. And actually, this is something you might already have in your stash because, though as crafters, anything like this, we do tend to sort of pick up and save for projects. Little add the little handles. It makes a huge difference. Yeah. They do look lovely. I think they they really do, yeah. And that's and something you can you've, easily source. You've got the bigger ones as well, which I've got on mm -hmm. the brown sample at the so end, the which are like, there, like yeah. the cup, like the cup ones. Oh, sorry, I know the ones. Yeah, yeah so yeah. you can even they'll fit on yeah. the on the drawers. Brilliant. Or if you haven't got that, you can mm -hmm. actually make them yourself. Yeah. Um, and th the way that I've done the ones on here, okay, is I've literally just cut up three little squares of grey board, that's right. all, like that, which um, we can glue together. Nice. I always find every time I work with you, Diane, it has been a long time since we last worked together, but you you always have fun with your crafting. You know, when you, this is what crafting is about. You enjoy it. Oh, I think I think you have to enjoy it, don't yeah. you? I, I have to be honest, it's the designing, the drawing up of the original pro project to the yeah. product is what I really really love doing yeah. when I go to get 
some paint out. I'm a, I struggle. Okay. I, yeah, I really do struggle. I mean, this is why I have to have wonderful people Sounds like good. Lisa and Fiona and Jan and, and yeah. all the rest of them creating for me because they, they just get everything out and start to create. And I sit there and think, what do I do now? You well, know. But look, we all feel like that sometimes. But that, I think, sums up crafting yeah. beautifully because everybody's going to approach this from a different angle. Yes, they're going to they use different colours, yeah. different stamps, stencils. Everyone, even if you give exactly the same products, does that everyone's going to make something different? Absolutely. And and I think what's nice about these types of things, because although you're getting a big project at the end of it, uh -huh. you don't feel too overwhelmed because each one is a small canvas yeah. so yeah. You, you kind of feel and the other good thing is, is especially mm -hmm. if you're using paint if you go wrong mm -hmm. you just paint over it that's it and you know if, if you stamp something in and you don't yeah. like it just put paint over it again and start again so, yeah. it, you know the board will take it um, and then if you really really hate it just put some paper over it but I mean good advice yeah so Molly, just think about your Love Island idea. If uh, those are available, but if any of the hunks there you 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 know don't like them anymore, just paint over them. Put a different hunk on. When they get dumped. When they get dumped off the island. There you go. <laughs> get dumped out of your craft room. Uh, do you mind if we have a bit of a recap? Absolutely. Right, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're going to do that. We're going to start with our stencils. You are getting a set of six, and ooh, they're busy. We are now approaching seventy percent of the stock. I have to take my hat off to Fiona. Um, you at home, and I, I kind of approach this, and I know for a fact, viewers at home, you'll, you'll feel exactly the same way. As crafters, you know instantly. It's that magic of crafting. You see a design, and you know if you want it. First time I saw these, I was like, yes, because they're different. They are beautifully designed, and I really have to compliment uh, Fiona for her actual designs. And when you think about what we have at our fingertips, all these different designs, Fiona's been really clever here. That wonderful burst of sunshine with the moon nestled inside, and then you get the stars. And just before we move on, I will just show you that used in situation. Look at that. So this is on one of our match uh, boxes, which you can find on the website. We featured it earlier on, but I just think absolutely stunning. Okay, so that's one design. But then as we go through, look at the intricacies that you're getting here. This is screaming for structure paste or modeling uh, stencil paste there. Then as we go through, we have our beautiful symbols. Now, Di, we were discussing this earlier on, and I was saying that we don't have to, you can use that as a background, but equally, if you just want to pick up individual symbols and add them to maybe create a border or have one symbol on a page you could, or into a mixed media piece, you absolutely could, and that's the joy of stenciling. Then as we work down, the shooting stars is perfect for backgrounds. So I'm thinking card making, scrapbooking, journaling, and it's another, that one will be very easy to extend. Yeah. So thinking yeah. if you do want to take on a larger piece and make a larger background, you could. Uh, another strong, strong um, piece here. So I love the, you feel like you could just turn it and you get the phases, another phases of the moon. I get the impression, Fiona, she's, she's quite spiritual or mm. with her, her design work here yeah. it's got an energy to it Definitely. and uh, yeah. very good energy uh, and then finally we've got the phases of the moon in there as well it's something that is different it's something that i would absolutely be wanting to work with and you know that collection there the amount just for those stencils in my mind the amount of different projects that i would do with those and look if i could think of a load of projects i can only imagine how many you're thinking at home 24.99 is your price 70 percent of the stock now has gone here we are busy uh four six five eight nine three item number uh, we're going to move on to our chess pieces pick and mix i love that you give me problems Di, because I, I love the stencils i love the chessboard i love the story i love it all um these chess pieces are great, and I did, if you were watching earlier on, and please, if you get the opportunity, if you go onto our website, the Craft Store uh, website, so it's just thecraftstore.com, or if you go to the app, our Craft Store app, you'll be able to rewind, just pick the date and the time, it was seven this morning, and you'll be able to revisit that show. What Di showcased, um, she demonstrated how she made this beautiful horse stunning. Um, you're clever with, I don't, I, I'm not going to say actually, you're going to have to watch a rewind, but 
Di gave a great tip how to create that mane. Really clever tip. So just for that alone, using the embossing, chunky embossing powder, but there was a, a little knack to creating the mane, so you have to watch. And then you've got this beautiful design with the stencil. And that's the thing with these stencils, Di. We're yeah. going to use them on everything. Yeah, yeah. definitely. But equally, and I just want to applaud the design team here. Now, we keep on mentioning papers. How good does that look? Get your papers down on there as we go through. So here's some beautiful Alice in Wonderland, uh, Wonderland theme papers. Wonderline? That's, that's a German. <laughs> uh, so there we go. <laughs> 9.99 is your price there. You are picking any four. Uh, I know that the uh, king and the queen were popular. Look, it doesn't matter. Either. The knight is the most popular, actually. Interesting. There we go. Everyone, everyone likes the knight. Uh, so there's your knight. And you've also got the castle in there as well, and the bishop, and the pawn. 9.99 your price, pick any four, 606, 426 your item number. Now we're going to go on to our mega bundle. Um, just so I don't confuse you, I'm going to pull this to one side for a moment and then we will get back to it. So the mega bundle, what you're seeing here, this is your mega bundle. So you get your outside body, the outside frame, you're going to get your boxes inside there, six of the little mini books. You get your boxes, so you're going to get two of the large and then you're going to get four of your smaller boxes. So that is the Mega Bundle, very popular. You're getting everything that you're seeing there, but here's the thing. If you were to add some more books, and we got these individually, and a couple more boxes, all of a sudden, you'd be able to make something like this. It's adaptable, it's modular. You can use as little or as much as you like. Make it work for you. This is an inspiration by Fiona, who has been busy uh, using her stamps, by the way, which will be featured at one o'clock with Leslie. And I know Di and Leslie are very good friends. That is stunning. Absolutely. I'm going to keep on saying it, Fiona, because uh, I am a, I'm a massive fan of Di's, and I'm a massive fan of just seeing your work, your stencils. These are beautiful stamps, and they work so well. With, I, would, I want to sound being un, like I'm unoriginal, but I'd want to create this right here. <laughs> I have... This is what I want in my craft room. And it's, it doesn't have to be in a craft room. This would look good in any in a bedroom. Mm. You can imagine that on a bureau or something. Yeah. It just looks so good. So I'm just trying to showcase the possibilities with uh, all of the inspirations there. Fiona, stunning. Absolutely stunning. OK, now I'm going to be quick here because I know we want to get back to a die. There are different permutations. So we've shown you the mega bundle. If you just wanted to go for the, the main frame of the mega bundle and four of the boxes, so you're not getting the drawers, you're getting the large boxes, that's on your screen right now. $14.99 is your price. Four nine, uh, nine four six five eight one. your item number there. Uh, then we have our small grey boxes in here too. So, with the small grey boxes, allowing you to make things like this. I mean, come on. With the books, the design team are phenomenal. Got to take my hat off to your design team. Right? They are absolutely <laughs> great. Ten ninety nine your price there, if you want to go for your small grey boxes. 998-244, your item number. If you want to go for the large boxes and starting to create something like this, and Di was demonstrating how with just going for the smaller and the large boxes, you've got so much free reign to build whatever you like. There is no construct. You're not working within a frame. You can carry on growing it. You can make it as big or large uh, or different shape. The thing is, you're not governed by a shape. So it's a modular system. Make it work for you. Eleven ninety nine is your price. You're going to get four large grey boxes with the drawers. 801-090, your item number there. Uh, then we have the small, uh, the half uh, boxes with drawers. So you can see here, another opportunity. I mean, what are you going to be popping in your drawers? You've got a lot of uh, scope there. It can be whatever you like. You govern that. Ten ninety nine is your price there. One one two one zero eight your item number. Uh, and then finally, we've got the books. So you're going to get twelve of the with the living hinge. The living hinge is just a thing of I just, every time I see it. <laughs> I'm mesmerized by it. 
thing of beauty. Uh, 1399 is your price there. 772972, your item number. Uh, Di, I've got three minutes. If there's anything you'd like to show technique, it doesn't have to, have thing, doesn't just, have to be a full I, demo. I, yeah, I can finish off doing this handle. So okay. um, I've glued the three little pieces together. Right. And then I've, you can pick any shape you want. I've gone for circles in this particular case. Mm -hmm. But you, you can use any uh, shape that you want to create your handle for the front. Yeah. Um, and then literally we just glue that onto a piece of paper. Lovely. Very simple. Nice. And then you can just, I had some, there they are, scissors. Okay. You can just literally just cut round the outside. If you've got something a little bit more complex, you might prefer to just run a knife round the outside yeah. of it if you're very careful. Do you ever sand the edges? Yeah. So once I've cut round oh, here, ahead, sorry. yeah, no, that's fine. Once I've cut round here, oh, is the glue still a bit wet? So mm. we're we're moving. Uh -huh. Probably best to let the glue. Oh, I know we're rushing you. Yeah, yes. no, that's all right. Yeah. Um, I just go round there again. Um, if you're not keen on on using a knife, it's it's certainly okay to use scissors. Yeah. And then we just get a piece of sandpaper oh. or a sanding block and you can just run that round the edge nice. so that just smooths off. It gives you a, pr I mean, once you've done that, it feels like you bought it that way. It gives you such a great finish. Yeah, and then you could, if you wanted to, with an ink pad, you could ink round the edge as well. Yeah. Ah, nice. Yeah, yeah. that would just give it kind of a, 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 a vignette yeah. or whatever. Um, and then we literally, you glue that onto your little block. <laughs> which we pop on there, I can pop that up that way, pop it in the middle, Lovely. and that is your handle. So now we can literally, best to, to really give it time to dry before you start yeah. moving it around until the glue's really set, uh -huh. but then we just pop that on the front of your drawer. Perfect. And that's how easy it is to make little handles if you if you don't want to go out and purchase them. So perfect. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, Di. I've really enjoyed this. The two thank hours you. with you. Do you, yeah. know, do you know when you're back next? Uh, no, we haven't got anything planned yet. But hopefully uh, very soon. Yeah. <laughs> and just to give you a shout out. Um, please take a look at Tando Creative Zone on Facebook. Free group to join, and there is so much inspiration there. And also, I know Di would love to see what you're getting up to. Definitely. Speaking of which. You are really enjoying this stencils. 80% of the stock now has gone here and I do not blame you because <laughs> the designs that you're getting, genuinely as a presenter, I'm excited about seeing these. And I can think about the possibilities of working with them and I can only imagine what you're gonna be doing. And it's been such a pleasure doing these shows. Di, thank you so much. Thank you. Hopefully we get to work with each other soon. Yes. In yes. years, okay. I mean, years <laughs> since we got to work with each other. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your company. Don't go anywhere. See you soon. We've got trouble together again. It's going to be our Leonie and Paola for Ranger One Day Special. Then Chocolate Baroque celebrating their 10th birthday. Great goodies there. And after that, crafty individuals magically. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. 
Back in the day, there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace. And so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia. And along the way, I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers. And that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start, and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. afternoon and now of course it's 12 o'clock and I hope you are having a lovely day now we are having a fabulous day here at the craft store because it's a day of inspiration in the form of stamping and inks and color and of course the one day special couldn't well it's just perfect for that day because it's about color it's about techniques it's about inks and of course all about Ranger and of course the amazing creative mind genius that is Tim Holtz and also the creative fabulous mind that is of our own Leon who will be doing the demonstrations. Hello, Hello, darling. How are you? Oh, fabulous. fabulous. I mean, it's one of them, isn't it? I range a fabulous company because they have so many um, different creatives with under their umbrella. But, oh, my gosh, when, when you do look at, you know, things like um, the stuff that Tim brings, it's absolutely phenomenal. And um, please make sure you do have a look at um, all his YouTube videos because the amount of inspiration and education there is phenomenal. And, yeah, distress inks, they've been, they've been huge, haven't they? Yeah, they are absolutely huge. And you can see how they all blend it together and absolutely work perfectly well together. It is an incredibly one day special. It is absolutely stunning, the textures, the colors, the, the techniques that you can achieve. Now, of course, the one day special features the latest color in the collection of Distress Oxides, which, of course, is prize uh, ribbon. I mean, I say Distress Oxides, but I mean, it, that's the one that you are getting. Or, of course, is the prize ribbon is the color, the brand new color across the ranges now not only you are getting the beautiful oxide that we were kind of saying that with leone i mean we were i was leaning more towards a cobalt blue but a true blue which is of course what leone was saying is also like i would say that that's a true blue with a tiny hint maybe of purple in there which means that of course you can make it a little bit cooler and perfect for the ocean and the skies and perfect for just beautiful galaxy backgrounds as well and talking about galaxy you need some black, some depth, some shadow. And that's what you're getting, of course, with the black suit. Now, the black suit and the cage flamingo are the traditional distress, you know, the inks, which are, of course, dye based. So it means that they have got a translucent nature. When, when you are mixing it up with the oxide, it's, of course, the possibilities are endless. Now, we are very busy for the one day special. Over half of the stock has gone. And this is some of the possibilities that you can create with this the blue is stunning the prize ribbon is absolutely stunning it has got depth it has got possibilities even when you dilute it with water the way that it breaks out is consistent with beauty and i love that then you are also getting the all-important uh, spritzer bottle, which allows you to kind of oxidize the blue in the, in the, of course, in the oxide, but also react because they are always water reactive, even the Kitsch Flamingo. You just refill it with water and water and water, and it's one of those items that you will have forever. And then also a little bit of a, of a in kind of in a sneaky, uh, kind of a sneaky intrusion in the one day special is those no cap mixative alcohol inks because 
this hour we are going to be talking about a lot of uh, kind of alcohol inks. Therefore, it's great that you have got one in here so you can incorporate it in your uh, kind of glossy surfaces. 936564 is your item number. 25 pounds and 15 pence is your price. You are saving nine pounds. And I haven't even started with the Kitsch Flamingo. It's such a gorgeous pink. It's a, it's a proper flamingo pink. It's that sort of lighter pink that, of course, gives you that luminosity in them. Now, we talked about alcohol inks, so or we mentioned them. We have them here. We, and you know what? Alcohol inks had been um, something that had been in the market before, you know, we alcohol markers and so on. But it was, again, Tim Holtz that thought, what about having them as inks? And how about creating incredible elements? That's what he, then he started developing those amazing colors in here. Now, here you are getting, of course, three beautiful warm colors. And it means that you can mix them and matching them, creating incredible effects. And the fact that you can use them on glossy surfaces to create always, they reactivate. They dry and then you can reactivate, create incredible, incredible effects in here. But you also are getting the mixatives. And let me show you the mixatives because the mixatives have that metallic matte finish in here. So if I kind of look, look at it, you can see the shimmer. Well, the, the luster, I would say it's a luster. And when you start mixing them up with your kind of alcohol inks, it adds that sparkle, less beautiful metallic sheen. Now, of course, the mixatives, you can use them with all sorts of colors. So this is one of the next colors that we are going to have a look in here. But you can see there how gorgeous they look. I love alcohol inks. It never gets boring. 956-642 is your item number. You're saving seven pounds, 19 pounds and 49 pence is your price. Now, we have one of these elements that when it came out, I was like, well, many of us, we were like, uh, what? So we are need to watch the demonstrations, which I know Leone is keen to show. Now, here you are getting the mixative in the silver. You're getting the wild plum and, of course, the stream. The mixative is, of course, that kind of metallic luster that I just shown in here. So you can see there. And it has got, so alcohol inks are translucent, water sol, uh, alcohol sol, uh, or solvent based inks that evaporate very quickly. The mixative has a little bit of a um, pigment inside it. So it has got like a more of a, how can I say, a opaque element. Yeah, I did mention it. But the most important thing about this uh, kit uh, is the, of course, the alcohol lift uh, elements in, in their uh, ink pad. And uh, Leone, I mean, I love these samples that has uh, Leone created. Look at that. So you create it all over the surface and then you lift it off. And then you can use the remnants that is in stamp to stamp a second stamp, like a print. So you have got the negative, which is the first one that you create, and then it lifts it off, and then you can transfer it as a stamp. So it's a twofer, as we call it in cricket. You get two for one. And then you have in here as well the colors. Look at the, this is some of the most beautiful colors I have ever seen. Look at the depth of the color, and then how they blend in together. Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? And all those, uh, those effects are able to achieve a with, of course, the alcohol inks. And I love the texture that it gives a little bit there. I mean, it's flat sur surf um, surface, but it does have a little bit of texture. 16 pounds and 98 pence is your price. Five pounds saving is what you are getting in this. 631210. And if you're wondering, well, I, of course, alcohol inks work on glossy surfaces. I mean, it works in non-glossy surfaces, but that kind of effect of kind of the, pe the, the kind of cell making one you need to have something that is glossy or non-porous rather than glossy non-porous that's the word, right word and of course you have here amazing white yuppa paper which is the synthetic um card or paper and in this case you are actually using you you are getting the actual card because it has got a little bit of thickness in there so it's perfect if you want to create something a little bit more sturdy including mini albums uh it's five by seven so it's perfect for your car making as well if you want it and you are getting the all essential alcohol blending solution now if just to mention the alcohol blending solutions a lot of people think, oh, you can use uh, isopropylene uh, alcohol 
as a blender. Well, here it is something that Lyonne has done. Look at the difference. The same droplet with isopropylene alcohol and, of course, with the blender. The difference is massive. This is why you need to use the um, alcohol blending solution for alcohol inks because the the way that it disperses, the way that it dilutes the loose the dye is so much more incredible with the alcohol blending. So this is why it's such a good bundle to go for. £14.98 is your price. You're saving £3.809. 538 is your item number. Now, uh, one of the most popular items uh, for the, from the One Day Special shows has been the, uh, the great amazing embossing glazes. Now, these are work very similarly to any traditional embossing powder. However, what it makes it different is that it has that translucentness, but it's still in keeping with the color, um, usually to keep the color natural or like true to, to, to the, its own nature, you have to make it opaque. But this is a formulation that means that light travels through and reverts back. So it has got a luminosity, but also it means that if you have got some different sort of colors underneath it, it will show it through. Again, if you are stamping or you have got a distressed background, you will be seeing a, be able to see it. You are getting, of course, a prize ribbon, which this is prize ribbon ink, then on top of the glaze, and look at the depth of that color. It becomes almost like a lapis lazuli uh, blue rather than a, or a cobalt, but a very rich cobalt. And then, of course, you are getting a dark egg blue, which again, you have got the softer over a white, and then the depth when you are using over an ink pad. So you have got much more play time with in terms of play or creativity possible creative possibilities in terms of the colors that you're going to achieve with this 11.98 is your price you're saving four pounds five nine five four nine five and trying to go as quickly as possible uh so we can get back to leona because she's she's demos I can see her with me. Anyway, then we have the Distress Oxide Spray. Now, this is limited stock, so if you want it, please make sure to check out your baskets. You are getting, of course, the brand new color, the prize ribbon in Distress Oxide Spray. You are also getting the antique linen, and then you are getting Victorian velvet and dried marigold. All beautiful four colors. Remember, the, even when they just spritz them, you can see them here. I'm going to show you some samples that onto, of course, onto white, stunning, and the water still will, will kind of create some even more effects in, on top of it. Look on top of black card. Look on, of course, on top of watercolor card. And then we have got the same uh, effects, of course, using the antique linen onto black card. This one, I think, is the Victorian velvet. And then the dry marigold. I mean, look at this, those colors. The way that they mix up, the way they kind of work together, the way that they blend, creating those amazing backgrounds. I mean, sometimes we just want to have a play, have beautiful backgrounds and ready for next time when we are going to die cut them, we are going to stamp on them, we are going to get other jelly prints or whatever is your choice of top layers. Right, £22.46 is your price. You're saving £8, which remember it is limited stock. That means that 90% of the stock has gone. If you want yours, do check out your baskets. 467523 is your item number. And then we have uh, another set of oxide sprays. And I love how Leone was explaining that, you know, there was a one once upon a time that she loved, uh, Leone, her favorite distress. And this is how we met in 2007, I think it was, that it was all about the vintage photo, the, you you know, the kind of, um, which ones was the other, uh, brush corduroy, the kind of browns. And now it's all about brighter, softer colors. And this is perfect for that. Spun sugar is the softest of the pinks, is the kind of the most pastel of them. And it, it's really gorgeous how it makes up. And then we have got, of course, cage flamingo. So that's a spun sugar. So you can see it's super soft. Then we are adding, of course, the Kitsch Flamingo, which works beautifully. I would say that spent sugar is a bit more, I would say more corally and that's how, you know, a little bit of kind of like almost well, like candy, flo candy, candy floss. And that kind of has that sort of softer. And with the pink Flamingo, it's oh, not pink Flamingo, Kitsch Flamingo is that pink that it has got a little bit almost like, you know, you know the toy that we talk about, it. you know that toy, yeah, it is. yeah, that kind of works. And then we have, of course, a, spe a speckled egg, which is also one of the latest colors that you have. 
and look at the yield mix. Over 80% of the stock has gone. This is a fabulous collection of three beautiful shades of pastel tones. You are saving £6, £17, and £91 is your price. 976-698 is your item number. And you know where you will find them? On the website, of course, thecraftstore.com. Alongside of many other options, including, of course, the misters, the inks in there as well. So have a perusal and, you know, put them into your baskets and check out those baskets. And then you can watch Leona's demonstrations, you know, knowing that you are getting, of course, uh, you, you have got your order put in and you can relax, of course. I have to say there is some stances as well and mini, mini distress as well, always very useful. And those mini mister bottles, very, very useful. They give you a soft mist, which is one of the best mists and also very uh, good if you want to use some of the reinkers and then add them into there and then dilute them with water. There's plenty to see on the website, but of course what we want to see right now is our Leone and using alcohol inks. So Thank you! Where do you start with alcohol inks? Right, um, there's so much you can do with alcohol inks. For starters, the car stock, uh, the materials you work with. So you want to work with something that's non-porous. If it's porous, it's just going to sink in. You're not going to get the movement. You're not going to get the colour. You're not going to get the vibrancy. So it has to be non-porous. Um, we are working on UPO. So we've got UPO on the screen. Of uh, We've got UPO on the... Um, on the show. So I'm working on UPO. I'm working on the, the one that we've got. I've also got a lighter UPO as well. Um, the one that I've got is that one from Frisk, which we've also had here um, at the craft store. So that's a lighter weight. Same, same. You know, um, it's a synthetic paper. Weird is UPO. I don't understand it. Basically plastic, but it works like um, it works like paper. You can do all sorts with it. You can die cut it. Do be careful if you heat setting on it. Um, the the, the thicker one will take a little bit more heat. The thinner one, oh, you have to be careful. It's plastic at the end of the day, so it will start to warp. Um, so that, I mean, it's brilliant on UPO because it really moves. I've also got coated cardstock. Looks exactly the same, but it isn't. Because at the end of the day, it is a cardstock. So it has got some um, porous nature to it. Um, but but you can still use your alcohol inks on it, although it will be slightly different. But you can use your alcohol inks. You can also use your uh, your vellums, which are gorgeous with alcohol inks actually. And then acetate. There is something in my hand. <laughs> um, the good old acetate. Acetate is fab with alcohol inks. Uh, but again, I mean, th there's all sorts of different um, you know like uh, metals. You can use it on your bra um, any of your metal embellishments. You know stuff like that. Have a look. Uh, glass, tiles. So if it's basically, if it's non-porous, stick your alcohol ink on it, see what it does. It's amazing. Like, uh, um, you know, your Christmas baubles, plastic Christmas baubles, gorgeous. Um, okay, and things like mirror card. You know, if you've got mirror card, especially if you've fallen out with it, like silver gold mirror card looks phenomenal oh, with yeah. alcohol ink on. Sometimes it's really difficult when you use um, alcohol inks on mirror card on telly, you can't see the colours. In real life, it's amazing. But it, it, on telly, it just loses it. But but trust me, trust me. Um, okay, let's crack I trust on. Trust you. Trust me. In Leone, we trust. <laughs> oh. Sometimes that's a worry, isn't it? Um, now, I'll be I'd, right. So the last time I was on air with alcohol inks, um, I was using this in a spritzer. You don't do that. And afterwards, <laughs> quite a few people going, "Oh, you shouldn't do that, Leona." The the reason was because this was in the same. Oh, it's over there again. It was in the same um, bundle as the spritzer bottle, which is in the one day uh -huh. special, which is back over there again. Um, however, so these were together. You don't use these. Don't don't put that in there because um, it does have its alcohol blending solution but alcohol inks um, have a resin in um, so they are um, basically the resin makes it sticky so if you spritz this and it gets in your eyes it's going to stick that's what resin does so you don't put that in your spritzer bottle I did that wrong don't put that 
However, um, your, and I don't know where the, they'll co cover that up, your alcohol, the, so the isopropanol, if I say it fast, it sounds okay, isopropanol, alcohol, um, that you can also use. It'll give you a different effect to the blender. Because obviously your blending solution's got resin in it, and it's really interesting, play with it, because you get different effects, but you can put that in the spritzer. That's fine. Um, so don't worry about that. That one you can put in the mister. I have put some in my mister. I've marked the mister, so I know which one has got the, um, the alcohol in it. And these are dead handy for that, uh, because obviously little misters, little bottles, so you're going to be using them again and again and again. Um, the applicator, now, the applicator does come with the felt. Um, you know the, uh, what's the, the kit that we've got, because we've got the blending solution with yeah. the, is it blending solution it and just you put paper? It hasn't got the applicator in there, has it? Right, okay. Um, so, yeah, so I'm using that. But anyway, the applicator, the applicator is just really handy because you won't get it all over your hands. <laughs> that isn't alcohol, that one is, but this isn't. Uh, you won't get it all over your hands and these are your little felt refills. Um, when Tim uses these, he says they're designed to go in the bin. I mean, look at mine. I've got all mine there because I'm, I'm a bit of a hoarder. But I'll show you how to do a background with those as well. So absolutely worth getting hold of this. You can use any felt. Don't use sponges. A sponge is just going to soak right in. You're not going to get the vibrancy. You're not going to get the colour. So don't use sponges. You'll, you'll waste a lot of ink if you use sponges. It's not economical. Felts. Use your felt. Um, obviously, when these run out, if you've got felt at home, you can cut them up, put them on your applicator. I do recommend the applicator just to save getting alcohol um, ink all over your fingers. Um, Okay, shall we get crafting? So yeah. the easiest one. Now I'm using um, a mixture of all the colours. I'm absolutely copying what Tim does. Um, so he, he puts his little old inks out. He takes the lids off the bottles, um, but puts the lids right next to the bottle. So it's quick and easy to, to get them. Do be careful because unlike Tim, I'm really, really clumsy. So I've <laughs> nearly knocked all these off for a few times. If you like me, maybe don't do that. But, you know, you, you, you know, do whatever fits comfortably with you. So I'm going to go, first of all, got my UPO paper. I've cut this down just because I'm making backgrounds and demonstrating. You don't need to. I'm doing the easiest thing first, going straight onto my UPO paper. Use the blue. Um, use the, the beautiful sunset orange. I find with um, alcohol inks, I've just stuck everything together and I love them all. I haven't found anything yet that I look and think, mm, that's awful. I've just put everything together and love it. Now at the minute you can see a little bit of movement but it's not going, it's not moving too much. If I get one of my uh, felts and start just dabbing it, then you can see the colours. Now, the UPO paper, it's kept the alcohol ink on the surface, which allows me to move it. If you had used, if I had used a proper cardstock, not a chance. This would not move. It'd have just sunk straight in. Because it's um, a non-porous surface, it moves. You've got that, that phenomenal blend, that beautiful movement. And you can see it'll carry on moving so these little bits will carry on moving they'll carry on blending if you want it to blend more that's when you can bring in your blending solution now your blending solution you can put it on your applicator you can put it straight on with the applicator you're a bit more in control because you know exactly where you're going I must admit I, I love this the cells that it creates it's ridiculously interesting. And it is, like our Paula said, it never gets boring. Alcohol inks never get boring. And the thing is, you can go back to them again and again. You know, you'll see a new technique and it'll be like, oh, I'm going to go for that. You know what I mean? They're, oh, they're a gift that keeps on giving. I've got some alcohol inks right from the beginning, you know, when it was just Ranger. And, and they're just phenomenal. I mean, they have a look at that. Sorry, they don't, they don't have an expiry date, do they? I don't think they do. I mean, I've got mine are old. Mine are the Adirondacks. Yeah. And mine are, mine are old, yeah, you know. Yeah, I think it was Adirondack or just Ranger, wasn't it? It was just Ranger, wasn't it, at well, first? Well, it, 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 I, I think it was Adirondack... I think it was. I can't remember. But I've got the, yeah, yeah before Tim did a, I think before Tim did a, a colour palette, I think. But I think they didn't have his team's name on it. But, but it was kind of his own name. Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah. yeah. But yeah, and I still use them. I'm being tight with my UPO, I'm cutting it down. So, 
that's just that's easy that is literally just blending let's take it a different step so uh, bring in another piece of u-point and if i now bring in the blue let's mix the blue with a little bit of a purple and start mixing this up and i've got a blue and purple um felt so okay and you'll get and look at that look at the color i mean the color is amazing you know the way they mix the way they they start blending is just phenomenal okay put another bit of pink on there now watch this can you see how it starts look at that it looks absolutely beautiful it breaks it up and just looks phenomenal so again you can keep moving it keep moving it you can go for white space I quite like the white space. I think it looks interesting. Rather than trying to mm -hmm. completely yeah. cover it, I think that looks really, really beautiful. But you might want to cover it. Now, if you put your blending directly on top, can you see what it does? So it starts to push those colours out, which does look super effective. Now, you can let it move on its own, let it do its thing, or you can get your little air blower. And this will allow us to blow those colours. And I'm just doing it nice and gentle, but look at that. I mean, this is just glorious. The colours are beautiful. The way they mix is really, really stunning. Have a look at that. Isn't that just stunning? And again, it's that blend. The blend is fabulous. And it gives you a completely different blend. When you look at that now, in comparison to that, completely different blends, mm, yeah. completely different looks, which is really interesting. Um, another tip, once you've, you know, when you've got your, your, um, your sponge, yeah. so on your felt, that's got loads of ink on it. If I, um, so this is the alcohol in my spritzer oh i spritzed onto that by accident <laughs> i'll do that in a minute and show you what it does so alcohol on there get your sponge and just squish squidge it in and i'm trying to squidge as much as i can i'm going to squidge it on here now because what it's doing is basically cleaning the ink out of my sponge i'm cleaning the ink out of my sponge and it's giving me a background so you know how i don't like to waste anything this is cleaning that felt. Obviously the felt, I might, you know, there might not be anything left of the felt, but if you've been in it anyway, you might as well get as much ink as you can out of that, because that looks absolutely beautiful. Now, um, I'll tidy this little bit up, yep. but then, can I just show you very, 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 very quickly? That's that, right? That's the alcohol, remember, not blending solution. This is your isopropanol alcohol in here. If I spritzed onto that, watch how it goes. Can you start to see it all, um, look, can you see it all starting to feather? It looks like watercolours now. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Do yeah. it look effective? I, I love that. And it's quite soft, actually, because there's only a very small amount of alcohol yeah. on there, because obviously that was just the leftovers. But I love that you can, as see, that's the leftover background. I love that you can create really good backgrounds just from the leftover yeah. ink on your felt. Could you do like a gingham, like to check? Yeah, of course you could. Oh, yeah, of course you could. Cool. Yeah, I, I love that because yeah. again, it's using your scraps. It, yeah. Right, um, I'll get tidied. Over you. Uh, I'll, I'll give it a reminder. Isn't, isn't Leonie amazing? You give her a few bits and then she creates all sorts of colored backgrounds, but also starts with good products, products that deliver amazing results that give you creativity they allow you to use whatever stamps you have or whatever maybe you want to use your gel um, gel uh, jelly print or gel prints or gel press oh i always forget the words any words i forget them they fly away or they sail away rather anyway we have got of course the prize a ribbon there that is the prize ink pad because that's the latest color the latest addition into this stress family i love well we all love tim he's one of the driving forces behind the craft industry that kind of creates amazing products but also the way that his ethos is and i used to work with um you know like with companies that have developed products for him a couple of them in fact 
his ethos is very, very clear. If there is not a need for a product, he will not bring it to market. And I know that for, from tools, dyes, and so much more. With colors, it's exactly the same. If there is no need for that particular color, he's not going to bring a variation of a color, unless it's a color that you cannot recreate with what it is already out there. And this is price ribbon. That beautiful cobalt, or I would say in the family of cobalt, but also true blue if you wanted to. Look at the intensity of that. It's, the, it's, it's kind of the bluest of the skies. You know that the sky when it's a summer day and then you feel the luminosity of the blue above you. That is that sort of blue. Look how, of course, you are getting the price ribbon in the Distress Oxide. Then you are getting two traditional Distress, which of course they are dye based. So they have got that ability to overlay and have that translucent nature. You are getting into black suit, which is a true black and then of course you are getting it uh, into Kitsch Flamingo and I love that Kitsch Flamingo works so well with the other two colors because of course that livers of course that amazing uh, glorious uh, pink but it, which is a true pink as well there then you are also getting the Distress Spritzer in here. So you have got the Mister in here. And then you have, it will come empty. This is just water, tap water will do. Uh, and of course, then you will have, you will have the Mixative in a snow crab, which of course is for alcohol inks. The way that you can bring in that glorious look at that, I need to show you this because that prize ribbon in onto craft card with the, um, the amazing oxidization, oxide, Oxidation. That's a, that's a word I cannot. Pr re well, there's so many of them. Oxide. Yeah. Oh, I can't say it either at the yeah. minute. <laughs> no, I can't. When it oxides. When it oxidizes. <laughs> no, that's yeah. uh, 936 uh, 564 is the item number for the one day special. Uh, do grab it if you want to play with colors and the latest of the distress of colors. Uh, you are saving nine pounds, twenty five pounds, and fifteen pence is your price. Now, alcohol angst is, of course, the start of this show in, in the ways of the, how Leon is using. And uh, we have got in here uh, the beautiful set of five, uh, uh, five alcohol inks, three of the colors and two of the mixatives. Now you are getting the rose gold in here. You can see that. And then you are getting the, what's I say this one? A kind of um, gunmetal, gunmetal. And then you are getting, of course, the three warm colors there. I love the way that it will work on to certain types of vellums as well. Look at this. It's a slightly different effect. And I remember this is alcohol inks is one of those crafts that I know with some friends of mine. Uh, they are not into crafts at all, but what we used to do sometimes in some evenings is like glass bottles that we have or, you know, just things, random things that are upcycled them by adding color to it. Now, Leona said it, there is no way of mixing colors that is wrong. And remember, even if you think, mm, I'm not quite happy with the finished result, you can always bring the alcohol blending solution and wipe it all off or add in more layers. Now, this is to show you the mixatives. The colors are from the next set. Uh, well, one of them is from the next. It's actually yellow from this set and the, the uh, teal from the next one. But look at the mixatives. Having that opacity, I'm going to show you again the, um, the acetate because that way you can see the translucentness of the colors and the opacity of the metallics. Lovely, lovely sets in here. And of course, you have got those beautiful colors, the yet orange, the red, and of course, that's warming yellow. 956-642 is your item number. Saving seven pounds, 19 pounds, and 49 pence is what you're paying. Then we have the, uh, again, we have got the a mixative, a silver, so it's a different one from the one in the other pair too. And then you have got the a gorgeous stream and wild plum in the alcohol inks, which they blend so beautifully. Oh, I love those ones. It's just like, it's like jewelry, but it is like, is it? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't remember, I don't know. But there is a kind of jewelry that it kind of cre creates those gorgeous. And look at that with the fixity. Very cool colors. But the star of this bundle is, of course, the alcohol uh, left um, pad. Because this is what you can create. You can, on top of alcohol inks, stamp on it with this ink, 
it will lift some of the ink and then create a second impression. So you have got a two for one in there as well. If you want to go for this bundle, 631210 is your item number. 16 pounds and 98 pounds is your price. You are saving five pounds. Now, for surfaces, Leona has been uh, singing the UPOL papers and kind of course the prices and it's incredible, isn't it? You have a synthetic paper that you can, they will have this non-porosity, but yet it's opaque that it behaves like a paper. This one is the thicker one, as 5 by 7 and of course not only you are getting uh, the um, 10 of the 5 by 7 but you also are getting the alcohol blending solution. And I love this sample in here because it showcases as well the difference. Why? Yes, you may have isopropyl uh, alcohol um, at home and you can use it, but of course the, for different effects, for the more dispersion of color, the blender is incredible. Right, this is one of those ones that I would add it if you don't have it. And this is also a consumable, so you may have had in the past. It's a perfect time to reorder because you have got a three pounds saving, 14 pounds and 98 pence. 809-538 is your item number. And then we have got embossing glazes in that price ribbon color, the brand latest colors of uh, Tim Holtz Distress Inks. Now, you are approaching 70% of the stock, and of course, you are getting the weathered wood as well. Both colors, I mean, they just work so well. I mean, I'm going to put these ones. I mean, this is some of the possibilities using uh, with these two colors, just like that. Doesn't it look good? The weather good, much softer, but of course underneath we have got more weather wood and the same with those beautiful uh, price ribbons. It's funny because Leon always makes fun now about how, and, and sh she should because I'm, I'm a little bit very pedanting when it comes to color, but ultimately like Leon says, it's like, well about color, you can name it what you want, but ultimately we all see it different way and our perception of colors can be a little bit different. What you will not be disappointed is about how beautiful and how creative you can be with these glazes because they behave like embossing powders in terms of how you apply it. But having that translucent nature means that the way that you overlay or lay them on top of each other, you will have a lot of different results. Uh, 595, 495 is your item number, saving four pounds, 11 pounds and 98 pence is your price. Now, the sprays, the Distress Oxide sprays. I, it's funny because when they came in, and I think that Leone was the same, we kind of thought, okay, we get the Distress Oxide as an ink pass, and we get that, how that works. But this is a spray, and then oxidizes, how that can be? I mean, it's just, it's just weird. And of course, it does happen because, you know, Tim is a genius and Ranger chemists are a genius and they work together to deliver those products that will have those possibilities. There's something about the Distress Oxide sprays that is soft, chalky, is, it makes it a little bit magical because it's like a stargazing, look at that. It's looking out to the galaxies in the night and the way that you can layer them on top of each other, I mean, it's just creating these opaque bursts of colors in there. Um, I love it. I, I think they, they, the way that they react with each other, the way that you can mix and match. And that's another thing that Tim, when you look at his, um, his, his educational aspect, and he always says it's very important um, that the colors not only they need to exist because of what they are, but also how they mix with each other to have beautiful blends. And that is something that works, that's very important to Tim. And I think for us crafters, no matter which bundle you're going to, but if you want the prize ribbon, uh, of course, this one is the one that you need to go for because you are also getting the gorgeous antique linen, the Victorian velvet, and dried marigold. Four, six, seven, five, two, three, but of course, very busy. Uh, you, of course, uh, it's limited stock, so it means that over 90% of the stock has already gone. Yeah, so maybe somebody's eating their lunch and the fork fell off. I don't know if you heard it. It was something like, um, it wasn't Leone. I have to say, Leone is, is actually hard work. Uh, now, of course, 976 uh, 698 is the item number for uh, the sponge sugar, the speckle, egg, and cage flamingo. Approaching limited stock, you're saying six pounds, 17 pounds, and 91 pounds is your price for this one. I love these soft colors. I love the way they blend with each other. I love the way that you can bring the softness of the blue 
if you mix blue and pink, sometimes it gets very cold, but because of the warmth of the speckled egg and as well as the sponge sugar, it's a very soft purple lilac in there that creates. It's just beautiful. 976-698 uh, is your item number. Six pounds of saving. Remember, approaching 90% of the stock, so approaching limited stock. Now, if you want yours, add it to your baskets, and of course, check out your baskets. Now, you will find it as well on the website, thecraftstore.com. You will find more savings, including the seven-day savers. Now, for instance, there is also the clear film that would work really well for because it's proper uh, polypropylene panels I said wow that is a fabulous set in there so make sure to check out your um, your um, the website not not your but well, check out your baskets as well on the website that would make sense Paula words uh, 999 of course clear films that's the one that I was talking that probably is good to add to your baskets and remember you will find them as a seven a day savers uh, on the website right Let's have another look, another demonstration, Leona. Yeah, it is. Now then, oh man, it, um, as I said, it never gets boring. Does alcohol um, inks? <laughs> Not just alcohol. That, that's, I should <laughs> well, finish I mean, a sentence yeah. off. I uh, mean, <laughs> so, drink responsibly. Yes, drink responsibly. Oh, not at all. Uh, <laughs> so, um, what I'm doing is just cleaning that off. Now, um, using the glass mat, it's funny, actually. Have you ever seen me clean a glass mat on cellar? Um, I have been watching, same. But because when your alcohol inks do go on here, if you pick them up onto your next project, then obviously you can mess up the project. Let me show you some of the stuff that I've been finishing <gasps> off. So that, that one, you can overstamp on your alcohol inks. You need an oil-based ink. Um, to overstamp on. I've been using Versafine because Versafine is oil based ink. Paula knows all about oil based ink. It will take a bit longer to dry because it's clear, um, but you can use your oil based inks. And then I've gone back over the top. Can you see how there's a sheen there? Yeah. That is with the mixatives. Oh. So the mixatives will give you a sheen. So you can stamp over this. If you couldn't stamp over it, it'd be like, well, you could die cut it, you know, let's face it. You could still just cut it up into little bits and make beautiful pieces of jewellery with. The next one, now have a look at these backgrounds. Look at these backgrounds because these are sensational. And this is alcohol ink. Okay, can you see that? Can you see that sheen? Which is phenomenal. And then look at this. Can you see that? Wow. Oh my gosh. That is fabulous. I'm going to show you how to create this because these are the kind of backgrounds that make our colleagues a little bit different. Um, obviously, I'm still using the UPO paper. Um, that's That so far is all I have been using, truth be known. Uh, shall I just cut this up? Did you need to say something, Paula? Oh, yes, well, I, I do. Uh, of course, we have got an update on the Distress Oxide spray. The sponge sugar is speckled egg and uh, cage flamingo. It's now limited stock, which means that 90% of the stock has already gone so if you want yours 976-698 is your item number may remember to check out your baskets otherwise you might miss out another very popular um, item is of course the other set of uh, is distress oxide which is set of four including price ribbon is in that bundle we are approaching single figures so if you want yours please make sure to check out your baskets remember it's already limited so uh, and it should, they should last another hour, but and I don't think they will. They will. So make sure to check out your baskets if you want to. And uh, right, back to you. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Right, so straight onto your glass mat, okay, um, with your alcohol. And this is the thing. There's so many different ways. There's so many techniques. Please experiment with your alcohol inks. Please don't be scared of them. Don't think, mm, you know, they look a bit scary. They move different to, to my inks. Please play with it. Now, I've put my three alcohol inks there. I'm then going to use, this is the Snowcat Mixative that's in your one day special. So, always, your mixatives always give them a shake because... Um, they're an alcohol liquid, but of course they've got the pigments in, so you need to shake these up. So make sure that lid is on. Um, I'm then going to, now look at that for white. <laughs> I know, right? How cool is that? So it does look like a constellation. It's amazing. Um, and then put your fantastic 
And this is an essential. Your blending solution, absolutely use your blending solution. It is an essential. Then you pour paper. So what I'm doing, I'm going to swipe the pour paper through the alcohol ink, okay? And it's important how you do this. Then lift it off. And then uh, you get that fabulous wow. colour. So let's do that again now because we've got the alcohol ink there. I'm going to add a little bit more blending solution. I'm going to go in the other way. And then I'm going to go in like this because I know where it's sort of nice and thick. Uh, and look at that. I've got a little bit of white space. Do it like that and boom. Look at that for a fabulous, fabulous background. Now, add those little edges. Can you see those little edges? Yeah. If they're, if they're too thick, if you get a piece of paper and just let them roll onto that piece of paper, I might have missed it because I think they're drying already. Alcohol ink dries in seconds, about seven seconds. You can always mix it, you can always lift it, but I love it. I love this. Um, so I've still got loads of ink on there. I'm not going to waste it, of course. So add a little bit more uh, blending. This right. time I'll add a bit of yellow. Now the white is really interesting because the white changes it. It gives it a really... Um, it softens it, it's white, so it softens it. It gives it a really beautiful effect. Your other mixatives, now they give you more of a metallic sheen and they are designed to mix into your alcohol ink. So it, they, they give you a soft sheen, unlike, um, unlike the alloy, there's no soft about that, that's in your face, it's fabulous. So I'm gonna do the same thing, just making sure I've got enough blending on there. And I'm only adding drops of blending solution. I'm not adding a lot of blending solution every time. Oh, I love that. Okay. It's funny actually, cause that's a little bit muddy, but actually I really like it. And I love um, the, um, the mixative in there, cause I can see that. I'll just do another little swoosh. So I've got it there. So I'll do another little swoosh through. Yeah. And then you get that fantastic effect, which okay. I absolutely adore. Pop that to one side. Again, there's ink left on there. So rather than waste that ink, I'm just going to take my UPO paper this time and just squidge it in. Okay. And then lift that off. And you can see that on the glass mat, you can see there's prints. So you're going to get a completely yeah. different print. Now, the beautiful thing about alcohol ink, and now clean this off. Um, and I'm using the hand gel to clean that off because your, your, your blending solution you could use to clean it off. The thing is, if you use blending solution, a, um, it's going to, well, it's, it costs you more than your hand gel. A lot of the hand gel, you get massive tubs and I'm not going to waste my blending solution on cleaning. Um, okay, so say that one, it's like meh, not really keen on those colours, looks a bit yucky. This is the beautiful thing about alcohol ink. I can just go over the top of this and change it. So you can absolutely rework it. Now, look, if I do this now, and then my gorgeous blending solution, but let's bring in some of the alloy. Because this alloy is so different from your mixatives. It is super, it, it's just got that incredible, um, oh, it, it's just incredibly strong. I mean, look at that silver. It is amazing. This looks professional. When, when you see, and there's a lot of professionals who use alcohol inks um, to create beautiful abstract art. I mean, it's massive. Um, and they have these amazing, strong, vibrant colours um, of metallic sheen in there. And it's like, how on earth have they done that? They can do it. You can do it with this. That oil or alloy will give you that incredible sheen. It gives you that incredible finish. And I'm just keeping moving. Eventually, um, it'll, it'll run out of steam and you won't be able to, to blend it out anymore. But hopefully, before I fall off the page, oh gosh, I love that. And I want to, I might bring a little bit more purple in. I love, I love the, that purple, how rich that's gone with the blue. And this is the thing, the colours merge together. You know, they give you such a beautiful effect when they merge together. It looks so, so phenomenal. A little bit of blending, because my blending will help those colours merge and move again. It's just the way, doesn't it mix beautifully? You know, when you have that, that blending and you start getting those colours to, to blend together, it just looks fabulous. I'm very, I'm very aware of time, but I don't know the time. 
10 minutes right i need to get onto the lift off don't I I? Love that. i'll do one more lift from the glass mat but using the alloy but i haven't finished this one i'm not happy with it yet but i'm i know i need to do that lift off pad but look at that alloy That's i mean sweet. it is absolutely amazing um can you see that yeah. I mean, I need to work on that because at the minute it's too much alloy. It's just in one segment, uh, but it is, that is phenomenal. Let me show you quickly. That's what I'm going to put to one side, work on in a bit. So I'm going to use the alloy again, but I am going to use it directly on my mat. I'm just going to do a really, really quick uh, pick up. I'm using the, the blue, the pink, and then that orange on this one. I'm using the alloy, so I'm going to give it a shake. Always give it a shake. Add it to there, like so. Add a little bit of my blending, like this, and then get my Upo. So doing the same thing. I like the whoosh. I think it looks fabulous. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> I mean, how good is that? Yes, yes, Can you see the alloy yeah. in that? It's ridiculous. It's so good. It is so good. Look at that alloy. Oh, it's ridiculous. It's This is super satisfying. Honestly, every time you do this, it'll be like, oh, my gosh, that's amazing. I mean, that that one is phenomenal. I don't know how... and But you can't recreate it. That's the only thing with this. You'll get a really, really good background, and then it'll be like, can't recreate it. Now, before I run out of time, I'm absolutely going to show you um, how to use that lift-off, because a lift-off is a really cool ink pad, and we haven't touched on that yet, so it's really important. So... What I'm going to do is get one of those backgrounds. So let's get one of those backgrounds that I've already created. Now, this hasn't got um, any of the mixative or the, um, or the alloy on. So your lift-off pad isn't designed. It's designed to lift ink off. It's also designed to lift ink from um, a non-porous surface. You're not going to get it lifting off a porous surface and it'll be trickier if you're trying to get it to lift a pigment so your alloys your um your mixatives of pigments it doesn't want to lift those off so that that's going to be a harder job so use a clean stamp i made a obviously i didn't look at my pad um i didn't at first you clean your stamp use stamp cleaner to clean your stamps get them nice and clean and then you will be able to get a better impression um i found as well because i forgot to clean my stamp rather than actually lift off i just inked more ink on it which was really annoying so you're giving a really good coating of the um the ink on there and then let's go I didn't put the ink pad lid back on, so I'm really hoping that hasn't affected it. So, obviously, it's stamping on there. Now, a stamping platform is really good because if it doesn't do anything first time round, you can always go back in in exactly the same place. Um, you can use it on clear stamps <clears throat> or your rubber stamp, so you have got that option. And then, so, you pull it off, which has worked pretty well, oh. actually. But then Ooh. take a soft piece of paper and you're dabbing it. Now, this is really, really important. Don't do that. If you do that, you're just going to smear your lift off all over your, your work. So you'll just ruin it. You're dabbing it. And what you want to do is keep shifting your paper and getting a clean bit of paper. Because otherwise... You're, you're not actually, you know, you're just putting the ink back in it rather than lifting it. There we go. So can you see that? I mean, it is really beautiful because you're giving a different effect. I mean, it looks, I just love that. I think that looks really, really effective. It just, and it looks a little bit, um, I don't know, it almost looks ghosty, doesn't it? Look at that. I, I think that is that. so, so pretty. And it just, with something like that, it's different again. But not only, isn't that cool? Really cool. So you can literally lift it off. But what you've done, because you've got ink now on that stamp, I'm going to get cardstock. So remember, this is coated cardstock. That has now got alcohol ink on there. So I can stamp. Um, it'll come off the stamp because it's got a coat of the lift-off. The lift-off is going to protect the stamp, but it'll also allow me to stamp the image 
onto my card and that's going to be permanent. I'll be able to work off that. It's not going to move because that is alcohol ink. The alcohol ink isn't going to ruin your stamp because it's protected with your lift off. Now that is an oil based pad. So it does mean that it'll give you that beautiful effect, which I absolutely adore. What you can then do, and I promise I will clean all my stamps after, probably what you can then do is work over the top of this and don't be scared to work over the top of it i can take um quick 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 leone please don't think right so i can take one of these beautiful stamps and i'm being quick now but and these are our tracy evans stamps uh, that we had on the other day obviously all and create i'm going to use my black i'm a little bit my black might not be juicy enough, but I'm going to try anyway, because this is quite a dark background. So, if I go on with my black, like so. And what I love with this, you've got that beautiful sort of ghost-like image in the background there. I mean, you could do multiple images. Um, you've got such a look, look, look. And now you've got that on the top, which oh, looks look absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. But then what you can do is if you take a little bit, and I'm just going to use the alcohol ink and spritz it on there. And then I'm just going to lift a little bit of my dis uh, my alcohol ink off. Can you see? Yeah. So what that's going to do, and I'm not going to put alcohol ink directly on my stamps because I don't want alcohol ink directly on my stamps, which is why you use the lift off. But you can do that, which means you can then stamp one of your sentiments on there so i've created a little bit of open space and then just stamp that on there i'm swishing around i didn't do that very well because i didn't balance my thing and i'm using a block that's way too big so i i were being really quick and that it doesn't help you does it because if you're being quick you always make a mess it never ever works properly so that's where you put your finger over it but i know we're running out of time aren't we and I haven't finished that because I want to put my ink on it and then build up that layer so I get something oh, like that. Um, I'm going to carry on playing. I know that Paola had to give a quick, blah, 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 a couple of reminders, uh, so I will pass back over to Paola while I carry on playing with well, alcohol inks. Thank you very much. Well, you know, I, I think it, it added that kind of offsetting the foliage stamp. I'll I get rid of it now, though. Anyway, <laughs> I'll do whatever you please, as you <laughs> always do. But, <laughs> but it, I look very nice. Uh, now, I need to give you an update. Of course, uh, well, actually, uh, the uh, spun sugar, is it? Uh, yeah, the spun sugar, and of course, the speckle egg, and the gorgeous cage flamingo, distressed oxides. Uh, now, they are single figures, so not only, li very, very limited stock. So if you want yours, you need to check out your baskets, your details on the screen. You remember, you have got a six pound saving in that bundle. Now, also single figures, very, very, very limited in stock is, of course, the set of four which includes, of course, the prize ribbon, uh, the latest color in the distressed family, co uh, color family. Of course, you are getting also antique linen, Victorian velvet, and dried marigold, as well as, of course, the prize ribbon. Uh, now, remember, single figures for that one as well. Now, if you want them, you need to check out your baskets. Now, we also have very busy for the alcohol range of the uh, ranger. Now, including the essentials. This is one of Kedra, no matter which one you are going for, or the bundle, I would add this because they are consumable. You have got in here double-sided alcohol ink, a white jupa. And this is one of the things, I know Lou Sims does this, that's one side, and then uses the other side, and then you choose whichever way is your, her, her favorite, and that's the one that she uses. Over uh, approaching approaching 60% of the stock has gone. You have got a three pound saving, and of course it comes with your alcohol blending solution. 809538 is your item number. Now, remember that there's two bundles with alcohol inks, one of them with the lift off ink pad, which is fabulous for different techniques, and of course you are getting two gorgeous colors in the form of wild plum and of course a stream as well as that mixative in silver. You're saving five pounds, 16 pounds and 98 pence is what you are paying. 631210 is your item number. 
And also, uh, then we have the set of three alcohol inks on the watermelon, sunset orange, and of course, sunshine yellow with the rose gold and the gunmetal negatives in there with a saving of seven pounds. Also, Alan, we have received your email. Uh, beautiful words. We'll try to show you next hour. Thank you so much, Leone. Thank See you at four hours in it. Uh, stay tuned and check out your baskets. Well, Chocolate Brock in uh, introducing, oh, something. Uh, and then, of course, Crafty Individuals, Magically Mystical, and then Make It Jo later on. I'll see you tomorrow at 8. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selective Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. The stamps are all hand-drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This. And we have so much more to bring you. Did you know you can continue watching the craft store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand, whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type the craftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. Now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite TV shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Well, hello everybody and a warm welcome. So we've got our second show with Leslie and Chocolate Brock and we are celebrating a huge milestone in Chocolate Brock history because it is their 10th birthday anniversary this year and we are celebrating in style with some exceptional stamps at incredible prices. Before we get into this, allow me to introduce you to lovely Leslie. Hello. Hello again. What a lovely hour earlier on. What an amazing hour. Yeah. I think I've just got my breath back. It just was totally took me off my feet. <laughs> we had, I think I'm talking up about six, maybe seven sellouts in that hour. Very, very busy and we're anticipating this hour is going to be just as busy. So here's the deal. Everything we have on the show to celebrate uh, Chocolate Brock's 10th birthday, it's going to either be £10. No, no, not on this one. Not on this one. No, 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 no the regular okay, prices on this one. Apologise. No. <laughs> but uh, we have got some great prices with regard to this brand new set. So we have a little look. Uh, we see we haven't got for the £10. Uh, we have a little look. Uh, you can save £8 here, but there are actually savings factored in within these. So uh, on the individuals, £3 each. Now, £6 has been carried across. I want to put this into context. You are getting a brand new release from the incredible Fiona Randall. We're going to be discussing Fiona in just a moment. These are A4 grey rubber mounted stamps for $39.98. And they're huge. 
They are huge. They're A4, but they're huge. Uh, when you consider the amount of stamps and detail that you are getting here, um, oh. <laughs> over 10% of the stock has already gone. That is how busy we are. And when you see the finished examples, and I think we need to see some of the finished examples. Now, as I'm holding these up, uh, Leslie, tell me a little bit about Fiona. Fiona, absolutely wonderful lady. She, as lovely inside as she is out. She's a very, very nice person. Friend, a personal friend as well of Di Oliver, who was yeah. on Tando this morning, and myself. And actually, uh, Fiona approached us uh, as Chocolate Baroque, mm. uh, the tail end of 2019. Okay. Saying she'd had some ideas from the stamps. She wanted to know if we would make them for her because she wanted us to make them. Yeah. She, want, she came to us. She well, wanted that's us a huge to do compliment. them. Which it was. So she sent me a couple of designs at the beginning, just after sort of in the middle of January 2020. Yeah. I said, they're beautiful. Yes. I said, they'll make fabulous you know, stamps. Let's go with it. And of course, six weeks later. Oh, wow. It we all... know what hit. Well, Fiona's yeah. a heart nurse, so you can imagine where her oh, well, she... time's been okay. for the last. So oh, she actually got back it. to us. We came back to it again at the beginning of about February of this year. Yeah. And this is today is the fruition of She did the wonderful stencils with Di, yeah. and then she's given us the privilege of making her stamps. Well, and it is a privilege. It's, you know what? It really is. The privilege just to be showing you these. We are now at 20% of the stock. I'm going to hold up the actual, and it's three minutes into the show. Let me just hold up the actual stamps because now the ones I'm going to show you are the unmounted. You are getting the mounted here. Uh, you have got the option to buy the unmounted individually, but this is the quality that you get with Chocolate Baroque. And look at the sp that moon is incredible. You've got the larger moon, the smaller moon. You've got these beautiful designs that's showing uh, the, the rotation of the moon around the sun in there. There is so, uh, of these stars in there as well. There is so much significance to the actual designs, a really nice energy to it. And I'll just show you there, you can see all the stamps. Actually, if I hold it that way, you'll be able to see. Those are the stamps. I mean, Aren't that they is just beautiful. amazing. Beautiful, and when beautiful. I said A4, I know A4 mm -hmm. is kind, kind of a considered purchase, but these yeah. wouldn't work sh smaller. Yeah. They need oh, to yeah. be. They're a dramatic design. They yeah. need to be a dramatic size. Well, and this, well literally just yeah, reflects. If you can do this on, on you know. Now have a look at that. Look at that. Absolutely breathtaking. And I know Fiona actually made this. So this was uh, our Mega Bundle storage with uh, Tando earlier on. Tando Creative and Die, but the stamps are exquisite. I've got to tell you, we are four minutes into the show, 30% of the stock has gone. Now we actually had a little conversation and this was, um, it was an important discussion because we were so busy earlier on, I'm just knocking things over, we were so busy earlier on that we anticipated we were going to be equally busy this hour. So uh, we asked the question, if this sells out, could we get hold of any more stock? To a degree, only a very small amount. And this is important. If this does sell out, we have got a very small amount that we'll be able to bring. But you're going to have to wait two weeks, so 14 days for that. Once that sells out, it's gone. And you've got to think how busy we were earlier on. And as a company, Chocolate Baroque, it's Leslie and David. David makes all the stamps. There's only physically how much he can do and the time it takes to uh, make one stamp set. And because we had, what, three, we brought um, certain stamps back earlier on, like three, uh, three times, yeah. we brought yes. it back. So Dave is going to be very, very busy, and he's going to be even more busy after this, because now we're at 40% well, of the stock. Well, we, we don't want people to be waiting yeah. nearly a month for their well, stamp. It's not fair. fair so we, we, we will not over-promise. Yeah. It's as simple as that. And you've seen the designs, the intricacies. Oh, this, this is a sacred. That is incredible. Now, all of these are designed to work on their own, but together. So each one of the insects that you've got, they say you've got a butterfly, yeah. you have got a dragonfly, and you've got a moth. Mm -hmm. And each one is designed to fit over wow. one of the geometrics. Ah, that is very clever designing. So full A4 that you're seeing Again, here. Yeah, huge stamps. They are massive. Yeah. Now, you've got to think. Uh, now, this is the unmounted. The details you have on your screen, mounted. So both sets are mounted. And when you consider two flexi payments of £20 for two A4 mounted stamp sets, grey rubber of chocolate Brock's quality, that is 
phenomenal, and that is why half the stock's gone already. We are busy at 928-902. Your item number is going to be equally as busy as earlier on. Okay, we're going to be quick here. Something else you've been shopping ahead is our limited edition kits. I'm not calling limited stock. I'm just saying that these were a limited run, a certain amount were made, and I would imagine because they're limited edition, if these go, pff, that's, that's it. it. It's gone. Yeah, that's that's it. Okay. Totally, totally gone with this. Mm. Well, a third of the stock already gone here. Uh, so we've got our bookmarks kit, yes. limited edition. Now, talk me through. Okay. What we're well, here. I thought a lot of these things would lend themselves to bookmarks. Just parts yeah. of the design would work wonderful as thin, slim bookmarks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the kit, you have got ten of our. Um, beautiful stamping card cut okay. already for you into proper bookmark size perfect then you've got Gems. 10 of our drawing cartridge okay then you've got five cards that you can actually mount the book the bookmark on if you wanted to to give right then you've got 10 designer pieces strips cut to bookmark size double-sided papers nice. which are my designs yeah then you've got, f uh, f I think it's five. Stunning designs. All of these, yeah. Leslie's designs. You've really got five work. clear bookmark covers. Okay. So if you want to protect your bookmarks and, and just to protect them. Yeah. And then you have got a selection of celestial charms and jump rings to mount on the bottom of your bookmark. Oh. I mean, they're lovely. Do you want to do? I'll pick up the bigger ones. Uh, yeah. just Again, to contents will vary, but yeah. they're all celestial. So there's stars, there's moons, there's a man in the moon, there's going to be some suns, there's a shooting star, there's all sorts of things. And the jump rings, you get more jump rings than you need Ooh. in case, because the small, you lose them. So yeah. there'll be more jump rings in the pack than you need. Lovely. And that's just some of the larger ones. Actually, there's a little star I didn't pick up either. But, um, I mean, when you consider you get how well this has been put together, the originality of your own artwork, so being able to play with Leslie's own artwork in the form here, her own uh, designs, you've got your little gems, you've got your charms, everything's pre-cut, 40% of the stock's gone, it is absolutely flying, and it is a limited edition. Once this sells out, that is it. Uh, something else we would like to share with you, another limited edition. Again, I've tried, like we were saying in the show this morning, yeah. I try to give something that is quite an inclusive, so they mm -hmm. work on their own, but it kind of carries the theme through for the day. It's okay. not just random pieces put on the counter. Yeah, yeah. So this is our Galaxy and Wings kit. Oh. So you get three MDF um, oh, tags, yeah. three MDF door hangers. Mm -hmm. Then you get ten buttons, and the answer for that is button moon. Oh, rubber button moon. So you We're get the button five in. large yeah. buttons and five, yeah. five small buttons. Show you here. Okay. Ben remembers button moon. I heard him <laughs> sneaking. Now go. all of that kit it will be standard, okay? But then the pink things below that will vary. You have got a set of washi stickers. All of them will be gold foiled, but you'll get a different one. Some might be a planet, some might be a moon and all the rest mm -hmm. of it. So you've got the washi, st the washi stickers. Yeah. And then you've got a selection of butterfly and moth postage stamps. Stunning. And you've also got, which are also will be in the kit, which I forgot to mention, are the napkins. We're seeing a collection of them You've got them to here. open up if you want to. There, well, these are again. They will. You'll all get. You'll. Everybody will get those. So celestial stars, butterflies, decoupage. Putting them onto your MDF will look phenomenal. Great kit. Twelve ninety nine is your price. It is a limited edition, and forty percent of the stock has gone already uh, for your wings. Uh, they're your uh, Galaxy and Wings. 971754, your item number. Now, we are going to just show you the stamp sets. Uh, two thirds of the oh, stock, God. and we haven't even played with them yet. Uh, we are about to do that just now. Uh, got to stress if you want to get these on immediate dispatch, and well, if you're going to go for these, and I know sometimes we like to watch the demonstrations absolutely fine. It looks like these are, there's a very good chance these are going to be selling out within the first half of the show. If they do sell out, then we're, we will be able to bring back a very small amount of stock on a 14-day extended delivery. You're going to have to wait two weeks. So my advice, if you want them on immediate dispatch, get them into your basket sooner rather than later because we're at 70% of the stock. Look at Leslie right now. That's <laughs> not expecting this. <laughs> no. All right, Leslie, should we start having a play? Yes. <laughs> okay, right. This thing you haven't seen is not on the counter. It's on a still. This is our thermal kit. Okay. And this is very interesting. Okay. Have you ever brought, is this new? Have you ever brought this before? No, nope, this oh, is brand okay. new. I've put this together. This is out of my head. This is from an accident that happened at work from my husband. Nice, okay. <laughs> so you're getting five sheets of thermal paper. Right. Okay. 
you are then getting a selection of thermal labels in a whole variety of sizes. Mm -hmm. So you've got a DL size, so I think that's 10.16 by about 25.4, uh, 2.54, I think, something like that, I can't yes. remember now. And when you say thermal papers and stickers, oh, I would become... imagine it implies heat, so what makes them special? What makes them special, I'll show you in a minute oh, okay. on the oh, demo. Fair enough. Okay. You've got the thin okay. ones, Yeah. you've got these wonderful postcard size ones, Right. and you have got the square 10.16 by 10.16 um, 10 10 square ones look. Right. And you're getting 30 sets of each labels. 30 sets of each? Yeah. Okay. So you've got 120 labels and five of the thermal. Oh, wow. All right. Okay. That's an awful lot. It is. But I would imagine this is something that we need to see really in action to, re uh, to appreciate why it is that special. It is. Okay, so this is one of the, this size, so this mm -hmm. is the postcard size. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this is going to be very difficult camera wise for the moment. So I'm going well, to take... We have got, we brought in our specialist for this hour, <laughs> Holly, because we knew we needed the very best. Uh, I've got to tell you, a third of the thermal kit has gone. Gosh. And unfortunately, once that sells out today, I will bring it back again. Just but not today. I can't at the moment. Okay. It's after today. So it's not a limited edition kit, it's just a yeah. case of suppliers again. It's proving very difficult for a lot of us. Yeah, fair enough. So I'm using the smaller moon. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And I'm using Whether the. Whether it's the small or the big. The, I love the moon design. Yes. Such a. The detail on yeah. it is just stunning. Phenomenal. Well, the detail on all the stamps is stunning. Do you think that's one of the reasons why Fiona was keen to come to you, is because she felt the Chocolate Brock as a company could do her designs justice? I think it was that. It's also the fact that she knows the ethos of the company. She knows how focused we are. She knows how much we like to encourage new, which yeah. we have encouraged quite a few new okay. designers, either for under our umbrella or under their own umbrella. Yeah. Kim Moody, we launched him. Uh -huh. uh, we launched a lady called Dawn last year. My own granddaughter designs stamps yeah, for us yeah. now, and she's got her own bit. So we like to encourage new yeah. talent. Nice. Uh, now, I've got to tell you, the thermal kit is just what? sold out. We didn't even get it's a chance <laughs> Hey, look, you've got to show us quickly. Come on, right, we've got to yeah, see sorry. it. Because okay, we're not so, going to sell it out without seeing it. Uh, just right. while we're doing that, we are using the moon from our stamp set, so we'll bring yeah. up the details for our brand new lease with our this stamp is the, set. This is the smaller moon, okay? okay. So all the, the, so the labels are just obviously torn off one label. Mm. Some are perforated and some you just need to cut between. Okay. But you're going to have such fun with these. Yeah. So, Again, because it's a sticky ink, I just want to make sure I've got all that detail because that yeah. moon is just fabulous. It's gorgeous. Okay, so mm -hmm. there we go. You're not unfortunately going to be able to see that. It's, you might see the... Yeah, you can okay. just about that. Yeah. So, I am using white embossing mm -hmm. powder. So let's do white on white and make it even more let's difficult. Oh, okay. Let's push. Well, we gave, we gave Holly a big build-up. <laughs> She's our elite. We bring her out when we know that we're going to have to be pushed just to the limit. Just bear with me. Some things just okay. caught that. Sit right. Okay. Stunning. So we've now got white on white. Right. <laughs> Which is, uh, as I say, oh, it's always difficult. Now, have you been paid to challenge Holly R, our director? No. Now, this is, you have to watch this because it's very quick. Right. Okay. Heat gun. We're looking. We're up close and personal. Just, again, don't go with the heat gun. If you don't have success with embossing, yeah. it's because you've gone in with a heat gun and just done that straight away. I'm you need to let up. it warm through. Yeah. Okay, ready? I'm ready, I'm watching. Oh, what? What? What is happening? It's alchemy. Leslie, are you kidding me? No. That is incredible. That's your moon in a night sky. <laughs> Do you know what? Everyone who bought this before we saw it is feeling very chuffy right now. They're very... Okay, now, actually, this is interesting because it was a technical sellout, which means a lot of you have it in your basket but haven't checked out. That's absolutely fine, but if you want to confirm your purchase, you do need to check out. If not, after seven minutes, it will jump out, and then I'll say some have bounced back, fastest fingers first. After seeing that demonstration, how can you not want to have a play? And you remember, you're getting 30 of each size. That's yeah. incredible. That is amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So, okay, so I'm covering, I'm using one of my circles out of our stencil. Yeah. I'm covering the moon up, look. Right. 
and I'm using a white Posca pen. Yeah. You've got to get more of this next time you come in. Yeah. A lot more. <laughs> I've got a lot to do with this. Yeah. So, come on. Oh, do you know? The live on air. It's like poor Jean said this morning. Things live on air don't want to work. There we yeah. go. It will now. Okay. Your little blobs, yeah. Nice. Don't go mad with it, but just okay. let it... Nice. That'll, that'll, come on. That'll, that'll do. I've got one I finished earlier, as they say. Yeah. So you let that dry, but then you see you've got your stars in the sky. Oh, that's nice. Leslie, I've just never seen anything react like that before. So can I go to the, the one that I did, obviously? Yeah, we'll have a little look at that. This was the, my original one, and I've smudged it, but never mind. But there you go, look. And you get a different one every time. Well, where did where do you smudge it? It's just there. How do you know? That looks like um, the Aurora Bora. Mm, yeah, it could be. Yeah, no, I so the best thing this purpose, is now, look, like you just peel it off. Uh-huh. Right? So it's a sticker. It's a sticker. And I'm going to try and get this central. Right. Can't guarantee it, but I'm going to try my best to get it as straight as I can. And that's pretty good. It's not bad, is it? Oh! Oh! <gasps> Why is this? Shooting star. That's my fault. I've just... Okay. Sorry about that, folks. Well, that's okay. Live TV. And then I? there's my card with a smudge in it. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's a shooting star. <laughs> okay. That and the really reason that's come out that colour, by the way, not other than that colour, yeah. I forgot to clean my stamp, which had had antique linen on it. Oh, that's all right. So, you see the difference. I love, I love both. I love both. And then... That moon is incredible, the detail. Isn't it? What are you doing there? Little sentiment? Yeah. Love that. Fly me to the moon. Now, while you're talking, I know the paper's sold out. Mm -hmm. So I can't do this demo, but I can show you if that's all right, because it does show the stamp. Yeah. Can Just before we do that, I need to give you an update on our brand new stamp collection. Oh, we are approaching limited stock. I did say it looked like we we're going to sell out before the first half of the show, and we are on track. If you want to get hold of this, you are saving not only £8, but you are getting a further £6 saving uh, across the board individually. So in total, £14 saving. Look at the stamps, the size, the drama, the attention to detail that Fiona's given you in the sense that all the butterflies and dragonflies are sized to work with those larger sigils, those larger images that you are getting. Then you've got the moon in there and the phases of the moon, how it all comes together. Uh, I know, Dee, if you did watch the uh, Tando creative show earlier on, had the uh, stencils, Dai, sorry, I said Dee, apologies, Dai. Uh, Dai, who um, show, had the stencils, they coordinate, so they're designed again by Fiona, and they coordinate perfectly with the stamp. So if you watched earlier on, if not, Dai was here, it was 7 and 11, so you can catch up on those uh, via the rewind option on our website, and of course the stamps are just phenomenal. Now, the thermal labels mm -hmm. go more of a grey colour, and you get this random, and the more you heat them, the darker go, but just allow it to go and le yeah. leave some areas white, it looks better. Yeah. Okay. The thermal paper goes soot black, yeah. So there's the thermal paper look. Right. You can see that, can't you? So that's the name thermal, of thermal paper. paper, it reacts to heat. Yeah. And that's what gets you the effect. Yeah. Okay. So that's the paper. Yeah. This is what I did with one of the designs. Ooh. <laughs> that is that's gold. breathtaking. Leslie, if you lift it up slightly more. My goodness, and do you know the center? That's, I would imagine, gold embossed? Yeah, it's all gold, it's that, all gold embossed. If you just hold that a bit straighter, that center looks like it has a gem inside. Yeah. The design is, br you've got to do that. If you've gone for the stamps, I'm in awe of that. So, my picture was. That's the, the mulberry paper. We've yep. got some more of this in, the, in this in this hour. We have got a different uh, mixed paper, paper bundle. Yeah. So, that's proper mulberry paper look. Uh -huh. Mount that with that, and then I did oh, another wow. moon, but I gold. I, I did wow. this one on one of the smaller labels uh -huh. and just cut it out, and I would have put that in the centre of there. Look. Look at that, Leslie. That is breathtakingly good. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, okay, we so knew it was going to happen. We are limited stock. That's your thermal kit. Thermal kit. Fortunately, that's gone. That is, <laughs> that is a distant memory. Uh, well, I hope next time I we see bring Leslie, it back. bring I'll it back and bring yeah. a lot of it because that's incredible stuff. I will. Stamp set, we are now limited stock. 10% of our stock remaining. The designs are phenomenal. 
absolutely phenomenal. And I will, I'm just going to tuck in and show you some of the designs and what you could be These making. These designs, the majority, I have to say, have been done by our design, chocolate box design team. Okay. Uh, Fiona's done a lot of self, actually, yeah. as well, and one or two of her ladies who did the stuff for dye this morning. But the majority of them and all the ones around the set, I mean, if you just see how stunning all this lot is behind Ooh. me, it's just fantastic. Well, <laughs> there is so much that you can do here, and the design team, you can see that, and wait till you see this next one. I think that's a bit of Upo paper. Look at that. Or it could be just acetate, actually. It might be just acetate. Or how about... Now, this is, be this is beautiful. Just showing how the stamps will work with other stamps in your collection. Come and on. And that's, that's, our, that's our, one of my paper designs in the background. Oh, is it just the paper designs? Yeah. Wow. That's gorgeous. Or how about here? I thought that was a stamp. That's stunning. <laughs> this reminds me of one of your stamps. Or what about something like this the detail on the moon is exquisite yeah and oh this is a good one actually to showcase that's just with a white emboss look at all of that detail that you are getting Open actually this up. one even Open oh, it up. okay wait one moment Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. look at that yeah all right, I can see why this is limited stock. $39.98 is your price. You've got two flexi payments. Brand new release from an incredible designer. I have to say, Fiona Randall is just breathtakingly good, and I can't wait to see what she brings in the future. Got to stress, this is going to sell out this hour. When it does, we only have a very small amount of stock we're going to be able to bring back, and that's going to be on a two-week extended. So if you want it on immediate dispatch, if you're going to go for it, now is the time. I know we have queues on our phone lines. So if you're quick, if you do it online, you'll be able to get it on immediate dispatch. I will tell you when it's technically sold out, but we are so close to calling a technical sellout. 928-902, your item number. Now we're going to talk about limited edition kits. Got two fantastic kits. Um, because it's limited edition, once these sell out, that's it. They're gone, and we are approaching 60% of our stock for the uh, bookmarker kits. So within these, you're getting the little plastic wallets. We're going to get five of the plastic wallets. We've got some beautiful designs here already cut for you. Now, these are Leslie's own designs. And they're the little-sided as well. There's, there's, there's... Oh, yeah, they are. So you've got a pale side one side and a vivid one the other. Now, this is special to be able to work with Leslie's own artwork. I mean, that in itself is Those were privilege. created using one of these. The roller which sold out earlier on. Yes. OK. Well, that's something else that hopefully <laughs> Leslie will bring back in the future. You're also getting your little gems in there as well. Uh, you're getting your cartridge paper. And we're also getting our other cardstock in there. Yes, so well. we're getting our stamping card, our yep. 300 GSM stamping card, mm -hmm. our drawing cartridge, which is the equivalent yep. to watercolour card. Yeah. And you're also getting then a, what I call A cards, yep. which are actually long, very long, thin, that stand like that, yeah. which actually are cut so that actually you can put the bookmark on it right. and give it as a, as a gift okay. kind of card. And you're getting your little charms in there as well, which are, I'll just... I'll, Hold those up and show you. So you can see, now you're going to get a number of these. So there's the moon. You're getting a star in there. I've got the little cards here. You need to look there, Janice. You see that? Yeah. Let me just pick those up. So you're going to get those charms along with the little hoops. So all of those. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not showing those off as best as I could. Uh, we are 60% of the stock, and I know, Leslie, just in front of you, you say you've got your... Yeah. What have you got there? Yeah, so this is what I call a little tent A-frame one. Yeah. So it, 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 it's very basic if you just wanted to. You can attach one of the papers to one of the bookmarks, mm -hmm. and then it sits on there like that, you see, so you can give it as a gift. Nice. Oh, lovely. Put one of your little charms at the bottom. Yeah. Or you can put that into one of the covers, because the covers, these fit the covers perfectly. They're designed to fit the covers. Ah, okay. And add a little charm in your bookmark cover. Now, how would you feel about we can stamp? I know we've got the uh, stamping card. Yes. Using the stamps, putting the creating your design, mixing it with your backgrounds as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Do you want to do that? Well, why not? We could do that. Let's do that. Right. It's not what I've planned, but I can, I can work off, my cuff, off the cuff. 
Just, uh, oh, I'll just quickly give a quick update. I'm getting told right, off. I'll do that give you, when you've done the update. Yeah, then. I'll give you a little update here. So we've got, uh, this is another limited edition bundle. 60% of the stock here. And again, you're getting so much. So we've got our MDF tags. So you've got the door hanger and your tags there. You're getting three uh, of each. So three hangers and three tags. You're also going to get your large buttons, your smaller buttons. Then we have, now these are washi stickers, little uh, washi sticker stamps that you're getting there, which are absolutely stunning. Love those. And you've also got your gold foiled, uh, in, it's, it's washi again with the, the uh, sort of moons and planets? Or is the it... moons and planets are all washi yeah. and the rest are postage stamps. Oh, apologies, so I was calling it washi. That's so okay. those are your postage stamps and then here, these are the washi. And uh, don't forget, you're also going to get these beautiful napkins as well. So they're celestial. There in the background, they work great with the stamps. You've got your butterflies in here. You've got the hummingbird, which is light, bright, airy. That is a bundle for $12.99 bargain absolute bargain uh, and it is a limited edition so if it sells out we're not bringing any more back on extended delivery uh, 971 754 your item number now we have a big update it's technically sold out so if it is in your basket please check out our brand new bundle designed by the incredible Fiona Randall has sold out uh, if you do uh, want to get it we are able to bring back a very small amount on extended delivery it will be uh, 14 days that's the 20th of August that it will that will go as well and I can categorically tell you there is only so much bless them uh, that David and Leslie can do so after that that is it because we had such a busy show earlier on and it literally is uh, Leslie and David are chocolate baroque. David makes all the stamps and I don't think he's going to sleep for the next 20 days. The point is what my husband also did is my husband's um, currently um, a vaccination volunteer oh. at the local pharmacy. Yeah. So he's, nice he's, he's, he's actually coordinating all that to get yeah. vaccines through. Okay. So he's actually told them that he's going to have to put that on hold yeah. to do this. Good man. Well, but that's what he's doing as a volunteer. He's a good guy. That's a great thing to do. Yeah, I'm very proud yeah, of him. Yeah, he should be. Okay, so we, we, this is, we've gone rogue, we weren't planning this, <laughs> no. but I just thought the stamps with your papers, what yeah. a great... I've chosen that lovely, i tell you what, no, shall we do the blue for the Celestial? Yeah, I think so, blue shall purple, blue? yeah. That one. Because yeah, some of you see them are plain, and then you turn them over, and some of them are multicolours. It's nice they're double-sided. Yeah. You've got, effectively, you can find the right side for... Whatever the you want right to do. Top, yeah. But we're going to do the blue, which I've just uh -huh. put back down, because I'm silly. There it is. Yeah. So you've got that lovely sage green on one side and you've yeah. got the blue on the other. Nice. So let's do the blue one then. I have versamarked yeah. my lovely, this is the large geometric stamp. Yeah. And I've got an idea actually for this. Something else, I just need to get out of the drawer if that's all right. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm like. And I'm going to just take part of the stamp. So let's just say we'll do that bit. Mm. Okay, so bear in mind that, and that's what I think these stamps, you don't have to use all of it. Mm. You know, bits of them look just as interesting. Turn that over, so then go, and go white embossing powder. Yes. Because I think the white on there will look delicious. Okay. Uh, find that there it is, I'm trying to see where it is. Look at that oh, on there. That you can just say see good. it, but obviously it'll it'll pop up yeah. when we tidy that away. And here we go. Right, so if you do have any questions for Leslie please, or you just want to yeah. wish Chocolate Brock happy 10th birthday, please email in studio at thecraftscore.com. We would love to hear from you. So, again, as I heat up, yeah. warming up. So... There we go. Nice. And to That's be able nice. to emboss these fine lines and get what you're getting yeah. is just... Well, it starts with a good design. Mm -hmm. And then what I do then do to turn it into stamp, and then when it comes back with the plate is what my then husband does it after that. Nice. There you oh, go. that Look. looks stunning. How's that? Yeah, that really does look great. It looks like... That looks like you've bought it. That's incredible. That is Isn't really incredible. 
Uh, bookmarks so kit. I have, uh, got... I have to say, a very, very busy. We're just going to give you an update. They are so they are limited edition, but now we're officially calling limited stock. And once they sell out, that is it. We're not bringing any more back on extended delivery. Ten ninety nine is your price. Four eight three three seven seven. That look, you'd mount on there. Look. Mm -hmm. Or I would actually then give it some strength because it is paper. Yeah. Right. Take one of ours because this is three thousand hundred GSM. Mount that onto there. Oh yeah. Look, you could put one of the. I haven't got my paper punch with, but you could punch in the bottom if you wanted to and add your jet, your um, mm -hmm. um, charms. Yeah. You could also put a gem in the centre of these if you wish to, or in the sky to make them oh, in the sky. I, I personally, this, you can never got, have enough bookmarks. No, I got. I did this for another demo, which was not going to happen now. Um, not the right colours, but these were made to go in the centre. So this is done in acetate, uh, our mm -hmm. polyester, we don't use acetate, look. Mm -hmm. And look at that. Oh, yeah. And you could actually have that flying uh, off the centre of there. Very Should pretty. I turn it round? Does that help? Does yeah, let's have a little look. Does that help at all? Yeah, you can see that. Stunning. Uh, now I've got to tell you, the bookmarks, the limited edition, have technically sold out. I'm sorry. Uh, it's the uh, well, it's the second sellout of the hour, and we cannot bring that back on extended delivery. So, uh, is it technical sellout means it's either sold or in your basket. Do make sure to check out. Uh, we have got our other limited edition, just going to put that on your screen. This is your Chocolate Baroque Galaxy and Wings playset. <laughs> Look at the pale lilac, which looks white, I'm afraid, on camera. Mm -hmm. OK. But you've got the bronze. Ooh. So, oh. just, you know, it goes on. You've got this wonderful stardust cream. Yeah. Look at that one. Uh, now, we are, why don't you just start looking at these, and they're already approaching half the stock. And um, the only thing that's different about them, we, do, we have again put them in, because I thought they'd be quite popular, and they work yeah. really well again because this can be construction weight. So you've got another variety of your thicker papers, yeah. the handmade ones. I mean, Look on. at that. No, you're getting in one pack and you are saving 10 pounds here. There's, this should be 22.75. Yeah, there's 30 sheets also of the Moonstone paper yeah. and 15 of the heavyweight paper. 12.75, absolute bargain. No wonder it's busy. This is for lying. Uh, 670289, your item number there. Now, we've got to talk about the stamps on extended delivery. Oh, <laughs> gosh. We've only just put them on extended delivery, and we are approaching 30% of the stock. We're... I feel, I feel for David. I do, too. He's going to be non-stop. I know. <laughs> We're just going to melt the pair of us, <laughs> but hey. it's, you know, hey... Good problems to have, I and know, I'm glad listen, that... This, I, I'm not ungrateful at all. I absolutely, I'm so totally, and for Fiona, on behalf of Fiona, this is amazing. Yeah. It's such a boost to her confidence that her first um, set of designs, yeah. her first release, and she's got more planned. Can't and, wait to uh, see what she brings. We've got plans to make them, so this partnership yeah. ain't going anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, she's got more beautiful designs to come in the future. Lovely. Um, thank you. On her behalf, it validates... Yeah. When you're a creator and a designer and, a, and an artist, you kind of need validation. I know that sounds awful, but mm. we, we need validation in life at times. Oh, cool. And uh, you put things out there, you're putting your heart out yeah. there as well as your designs. Yeah, yeah. And if, if people sort of turn away from it, it's like stamping on your heart. It's yeah. not, you know. So I'm really, really delighted And you prefer for her. if they stamp with your stamps. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> nice one. I see wow. what you did there. Okay. But you uh, understand what I'm yeah, saying. No, no, that sounds a bit sort of. No, I don't mean to sound all gushy and mushy, but do you know what? it does highlight how much all your designs mean to you mm. here? And there's such beautiful images. Everything that you bring has such poignancy and significance to you. Yeah. I have another design, but if you another yeah. another demo, well, but if you'd like to sort of, do you want to catch up and I'll just get myself sorted? Well, we will do that, and I will just show you some beautiful examples because I say there's so much, and your design team have. Ah, oh, these are good. Look at, look at that as a design. 
Now a third of the stock has gone here, but we can go from here to here. That's lovely. So actually building up that realism, taking the moon and creating different planets. So we've got Earth in there, all these different, we could be any planet. Or if you just wanted to focus on the beautiful dragonflies and the moss. Or how about keeping it monogrammatic? Chromatic. That's, that's lovely pattern building there. Like that. But if you like that, how about this? I mean, this is that moon. And this is why we all, say, everybody can relate to this because we've all stared at the sky, and especially there's certain very special evenings where you can look to the night sky and see the moon shining bright and pick up all that detail. I remember when I was a little boy, I got a telescope for a present. And, um, <laughs> but when I was a little boy, little telescope. But Jenny, I remember going out in the garden and the first time seeing the moon and getting up close and seeing all the detail, it blew me away. And that's the kind of feeling I'm getting with this stamp. Uh, let me just show you a few more. I mean, the, this is another clever thing because Fiona was really conscious of the fact that she wanted to ensure that the butterflies, the moths, the dragonflies were the same size to go over uh, the actual geometric shapes as well. But we can pattern build. So it's something that was expressed beautifully with the stencils this morning, Tando Creative. Uh, do have a look at those hours. It was um, 7 and 9 o'clock. We saw the sort of phases. Sorry, it was 7 and 11. I apologize. Uh, you were 9, Leslie. Yes. Um, <laughs> but it was going through the phases of the moon, and that's kind of reflected here as well. I've uh, got to tell you, 40%, I'm going to pop these down now, 40% of the stock of the extended delivery has gone for our fantastic bundle. Uh, just going to give you a couple more very quick updates, and then we're going to head back to Leslie. The bookmarks, two have jumped back, and I mean two. So fastest fingers first there, if you want to get hold of them. They sold out. We can't bring them back on extended delivery. If you missed out, two, literally two have jumped out. Uh, then we have the Galaxy and Wings collection. Busy for this. Twelve ninety nine your price. Uh, Seventy percent of the stock's gone here. Nine seven one seven five four. Uh, got to talk about the mixed paper pack as well. Mixed paper pack's been immensely busy, especially when Leslie went through and you start to see thirty sheets of mulberry papers, thirty sheets of that beautiful iridescent moon paper, pearlescent moon paper, and you're getting your handmade paper in there as well. We are two thirds of the stock, saving ten pounds. Twelve seventy five your price. Six seven zero two eight nine your item number. Leslie, what have you got for us? Right, I'm going to use the circle. Now, within the celestial set, mm -hmm. there are actually a square with the lovely moon faces of the moon across the top, and there is a circle. Ah, oh, okay. So it depends what you want to do. So yeah. I'm going to use the circle in this particular instance, okay. and I think it just the whole the whole thing is just. And I, I've, can I just mention these stencils, because they work so beautifully, with. Um, the stamps. Now you can see the stamps. You can appreciate the stencils that Fiona's designed, that Tando have so wonderfully created and and and, and made yeah. and cut. You've got all the phases of the moon there. You've got the stars and the shooting star. Imagine that using that on some of the background, my background papers to do mm. onto bookmarks. That you know, stunning. they're just absolutely. The stencils are great. Oh. Yeah, we're, I mean they were very very busy earlier, oh, and they play so understandably nicely. Understandably yeah. so. And they play very nicely with the stamps. But they do. Enormous amount from there. Yeah. Right. So I'm actually using a Versa Fine this time, a Versa okay. Fine Claire. And if you've got solid rubber like the the moons are, yeah. Or you know some things like this that got quite solid. Mm -hmm. Lightly drag your ink pad across Good to kind of get it sort of seasoned yeah. and then just lightly tap and you weren't sure you get it all covered. That's a very good tip Leslie. And then just the edge of your ink pad, yeah. turn the stamp. Don't try doing it all because you'll get it in the middle. You don't yeah, need yeah. it in the middle. Right. Okay. So just turn this. There you go. Right. Now if you look at that and all those tiny dots etc, <laughs> you know, it's just even I look sometimes at our stamps and think, God, yeah, that's good. <laughs> they're very, very good. Okay. And the same guarantee comes with this as it does with all our own stamps. Of course. Now, so. it's something that we were talking about earlier on, that stamping onto craft card mm -hmm. is so effective. It is. Yeah. It is. It's, and this, what I'm going to be doing, actually, in a minute, I'm going to be doing some shadow stamping. Mm -hmm. okay. So, of course, I've got shadows and moons and, you know, yeah. it kind of works. So, 
let's uh, but be careful not to press too far on the edge you might end up smudging it and i may have done while i was talking and not thinking okay but let's just see how we go No, I'll do me. <laughs> I haven't pressed on enough in the middle, as you can see. I've left ink on there, look. It can show that's my fault. That's okay. No, you that's know. nice. But that's the circle. Right, so what we're going to do now is we are going to take the moth yeah. from the sacred set. Mm -hmm. Put the moon back for the minute. Okay, now then, I'm going to stamp this with VersaFine, because VersaFine is actually, on craft card, is actually slightly paler black mm. than the Claire. Okay. Learning. I didn't know that. Yeah. You'll see in a minute. Okay. Can and if you can just, sorry, I'm doing it off camera. I do it there, look. Can you see all the pattern in that moth? Yeah. There. Oh, yeah. Yes, I'll let, uh, thank you so much. That, look at that. I mean, that's beautiful. But already, uh, Fiona's brought that to life. The amount of detail in there. So, uh -huh. I'm going to push it. I'm not going to do it in the centre. I'm going to do it slightly to one side. Mm -hmm. And for this effect, don't press on too hard. Obviously, you want the image. Yeah. But you don't want it quite as deep a black either as the the other one. Okay. So just make sure you've got all the edges and the little antennae. There you go, look. That's lovely. So that's him. Now I just make, need to make sure that that is actually dry before I do the next bit. It's a bit of blotting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I would normally blot. No, that's okay. No, but craft so. card's a bit funny because it actually, it, it soaks in ink mm -hmm. and then throws it back out again if yeah. it's not dry. Because it's, it's a different basis to making this, because yeah. this is recycled. Craft uh, card is like okay. a pulp. Yeah. So it absorbs it, but if it's not dry, it throws it back to the surface, yeah. so... And remember the tip that Leslie told you whenever you're uh, trying anything, warm up your heat gun? Yes. Ben, floor manager, gave a good analogy. He said, uh, using a heat gun should be like Ben playing squash. You always have to warm up first, and then you go in. <laughs> Do you know, sure, they didn't back. say that, Ben, but you know, I'll mm. stand up for you, honey. There you go. Do you know what we Fine have? Squash player, are, ben. <laughs> right, I'm just cleaning this off because obviously I'm going to be using Versamark now. Yeah. And then embossing. So try and get as much of the black off as possible. Right. Back to Versamark. Yeah. And Eri ink. And for those of you who have just joined us and don't know, Versamark is a stick, sticky clearing yeah. which you need for the emboss. The emboss. Oh, okay. It all makes sense now because by off-centering, that's our shadow. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, what I, I, I should have still picked a bigger block, I'm afraid. Sorry, no, I don't know if you can no, see. Don't, don't worry. You just do it so, I'm kind of eyeing where it started out yeah. and I'm moving it to the left and down a little, sorry, to, the, to your right. left but my right yeah. and down just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Lovely. So now that's a second. You can see now why you have to make sure the ink underneath is dry. Yeah. Okay. Back to the white powder. And this is another reason why you make to make sure that's dry because otherwise the powder will stick to the black. Yeah. And that's not what you want. It's a good flick there, Leslie. Practice makes perfect. Yeah. Lovely. And back with my heat gun. Ooh, I've yes. got one again I've finished because I've cut it out, etc. I won't have time I won't mm -hmm. be cutting this out on live. It's too fluffy. <laughs> There you go, look. And there you've got, there you've got your shadow. That's and lovely. So shall we swap it in for yeah, let's its swap friend? It in. There you go, look. I've cut one out, look. I've cut it out now. And is anybody with me? <laughs> okay. So, yes, I've cut this one out. 
round the circle. And if you if you actually over you know, well overcut or undercut, and you take off some of the edge, just take your ink pad and just go around the edge. So I've added a few spots again. So that's what it looks like now for the Oh step. yeah, that looks so good. So can you see the, the shadow now, Leslie? That looks incredible. And then I would mount that onto a piece of black card. Oh, that in itself, what a great tag. I know we're making it, we can mount it up and use yeah. it onto a card. But you could but make it a tag. I think tag would look incredible. I love the technique, though. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and that does is, that work for you? That works for me. <laughs> does that work for you at home? I, I hope, hope it does. Been, I, I, I have to say, I've only just touched the, 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 the tip yeah. of the iceberg with these. There is so wow. much to do. I mean, another thing you could do is you could yeah. do one of these wonderful stencils look. Nice. Any of these. Yeah. You've got a centre. Uh -huh. And have the rays. I had to put them there. See what I mean? Look, you can have the rays behind that look. Oh, that's nice. Just radiating out. Yeah. Now I've got to tell you that the extended delivery, that, half look. the stock has gone of our brand new stamp set. We're featuring them here. We're showing how well they work with the stencils. And just to remind you that you are actually saving fourteen pounds because there's an additional six pounds saving already factored into the price. These are full A4 grey rubber mounted stamps from Chocolate Baroque. Great saving on this, considering one set would normally retail around £26, am I right in saying? £26.99 for a, mount, a full mounted set. Yeah, and you're getting two for your first flexi of £20. Obviously, you're spreading out the cost, so £20 today, £20 in four weeks' time. Uh, the stamps are incredible, and you're seeing the inspirations. We're just littered with beautiful designs from the design team and I always say, and I was actually, um, I, said, I mentioned this to Dai as well, you can tell when a design team have really been inspired by a release because the, the amount of wealth of designs, do you mind if I show a few more? No, please do. Okay? There's a lovely box down there, that, that yeah. on the, that one? one, yes, matchbox. It's not just for cards, these. No. This, is, if you look at the cards inside that Dee's oh. done here, the cards inside yeah. of there, look at these. Those wow. are really what I call archival vintage that, cards. There's a set of three of them in there. That is breathtaking. Ooh. So that is, yeah, that is really good. Thank and you for saying that. We've got this yep. behind me, which is the planets. The little, it's like a mobile. So I'm just going to get me out of the way, look. Okay. We'll have a little look at that. That mobile. Oh, Isn't that's Isn't that gorgeous? Nice. That's stunning. You know, there's only half one done. You see the see there's a half. Yeah. Again, that half principle. Just hold that there. Yeah. You know. That's nice. Somebody has actually turned it into a Christmas tree somewhere. I can't remember. I don't can't see it, but somebody has actually made a Christmas tree out of one of them. That moon is beautiful with the background. That one there. there yes. You know. Yeah. There's just look at this one, all coloured in. This shows you how you can colour it. Just hold it there. Okay. So we're over half the stock. I've just got a couple of more examples I'll share with you because I know the design team worked so hard on this. So my question to you, could you imagine making a card like that? I mean, how regal does that look with the gold embossed? We showed you the bookmarks, nothing to stop you making your own. How cool is that with the phases of the moon coming through? Build up your designs, have some fun, make it unique to yourself. Now that is a seriously classy card. And I, I want to stress, and Leslie makes such a good point, these are not just for cards, but we're showing you the inspirations that the design team made. That's a beautifully elegant card. Really nice, elegant card. And then I'm going to open up this next one. This, this is gorgeous, is, isn't this it? This is stunning. Look, look at this. That's all with a glitter emboss. That background there. And then... Ba, 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 ba. Wow! <laughs> wow! That is incredible. So using the board, I mean, we are getting on this one stamp set, the sheer volume of designs that Fiona has afforded us. When you look at yeah. all the different elements, was there something else you wanted to show? Somebody's actually made tarot cards, I think, in there as well. Oh, I don't um, know where. The black and gold, so that if you can find black and gold running through here. I will have a look. Uh, well, I'll try and find them maybe when yeah. we'll try and give you yeah, yeah. Uh, a little more time. Yeah. We've got, Lisha, if there's anything you want to show technique-wise, we've got about four minutes. Okay, yeah? right, yes. Well, could I possibly have those um, um, napkins? napkins? Is there any, oh, these ones? Yes. Thank you. So, yes, can I just open these up briefly so you yeah. can see them in full glory? Look at these. They're yeah. just stunning. 
Okay, mm. look at these. Okay, nice. so you get all of these. Beautiful, beautiful. And I open them up, they're huge. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Okay. And this one, I look at the moon. The moon is all roses, look. Oh, and the hummingbird. Yeah, and you get again, this is all, these are all in heart quartz folded sizes, so you get four images, look. That's nice. And so this, I mean, you decoupage. get two of these, because I thought the celestial ones were yeah. just stunning. Majestic, yeah. You, know, you get celestial on one side, and you mm -hmm. get the stars on the other, look. That's nice. Leslie, time's beating us. We're not going to get to do another demonstration. Oh, I was going uh, to do that with it. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. okay. It's fine. My um, fault. We do have something. Now, I've got to apologise. We meant to do this in the first show, but we had so many sellouts, time got away from us, and we just ran out of time. But as we say, it is the 10th birthday anniversary for Chocolate Brock, but this isn't the only birthday oh, uh, that we have today. Because, and Leslie... I'm just you, about to walk out the studio you did, now. You start off by saying that last year you were embarrassed and you didn't want anything like this. Well, we've gone and done it to you again. Oh, now, God. we've got to thank oh. your other half, David, has done this for you. What? A, he's a keeper. He's bought you some flowers. Isn't that nice? Oh, sweetheart, thank so, you so there, much. Let me, I said let me, I didn't want to do this again. Let me hand those to you. Oh. oh. But then you've also got a little gift in there as well, oh, and, uh, and a card. So that's from David. There I you love go. you loads. <laughs> it's just... Happy oh. birthday. And what a lovely one. We feel honoured that you're spending your birthday with us. I've actually and that you're spent joining us too. three of my last four birthdays here. Yeah. Well, this is the but place to be on a birthday. Oh, thank you. No, well, thank David. David. Thank, thank David. you so much. They're just... He's a very good guy. And we look, we feel honoured that we can spend it with you. Thank genuinely, because you thank have got you, so many everybody. fans out there. Thank we you. think you're amazing. And keep on doing what you are doing. <laughs> and many more happy oh, birthdays for <laughs> Chocolate Brock and yourself here as well. Have you had a nice birthday? Uh, it's been different. Well, yeah. no, I should know, because I, I spent my birthday last year yeah. all this time. Um, and uh, we've been together a lot of years, David, now, 20, we were 25 years married last year, oh. but because of, of COVID, we couldn't even celebrate it with our family, yeah. so this is our 26th year, and uh, do you know, I think I might hang on to him now. I think he's a keeper. Yeah, I think I've got about him broken in now, so I think, Aww. sweetheart, I love you. To, I love you to the moon, moon and, back. and back. Thank you so much. Aww. He is a great Thank guy, you. and you're wonderful as well. Uh, and you're a big part of the Craftsor family, Leslie. So thank, thank you. you so much. But this is what it's all about, and we are, and we feel honoured that we could spend such a special day with you as well. And, and thank you, you Fiona, for all of this because yeah. this is beautiful. Yeah, it is. Uh, now, we are approaching 70% of the stock of the extended delivery. Uh, well done, everyone who's got a hold of this. You will not be disappointed. So I wouldn't do this again. Stance. Well, just words to the wise, if it's your birthday next year, there's a good chance you're going to be getting flowers live on air. <laughs> you want to avoid it? Don't come in on your birthday because you're going to be getting something. It's just the way it falls. Yeah. I, don't, I don't plan it. So we've, got to, we, we've got to make it special. I'm going to say it's nice. It shows those around you, because I know you don't want a fuss being made of you. No. But no, no, it's nice no. for those it's not around about me. you to it's show. It's about the company and this. It's not about me. They want to show how much they care about you as well. And thank David you. wanted to do thank that. Thank you very much. He's thank a you, very everybody. good guy, and you're awesome too. Thank uh, you. Leslie, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your company. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a special show. What a lovely uh, moment to finish on. So, we've got plenty more coming up here at the craft store. Don't go much. anywhere. Uh, we've got plenty more just around the corner. So we've got Crafty Individuals up next. After that, we've got one of the nicest guys in TV. It is Make It Joe. And then Leonie will be back with her Ranger One Day Special. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B. Silkworks shows. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. 
Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light shows. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands, such as 2J Stamps, press cut and the craft artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. I'm Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just a water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays, and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. Our pearl sprays and our pearly winks are loaded with mica, so they give you amazing results on your projects. Very good afternoon to you. Let's spend an hour with crafty individuals right now. Uh, it's a first for me, which is brilliant. And here is the wonderful Jean Hardy. And it's a first for me. With I you. know. <laughs> well, it only hurts the first time I've heard. Um, listen, um, we, we're near neighbours as well. Apparently we've just so, discovered. Yes, which is unusual because yeah, most people are from the south. From the bang. south, yeah. And we're both up north, aren't we? <laughs> you're just slightly further your yeah. north than me. Yeah, and they're wonderful, wonderful yarm. If you've ever been there, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, now you've brought some new stamps along today as well. You've had a very, very busy show already with our Paula earlier. And over half of the stock of this brand new stamp collection, which has been designed exquisitely by a lovely young lady called Dina Rangeley, uh, who is a London lass, I do believe. I believe she is. Yeah. And uh, the collection is called Magically Mystical. And do you know what? I absolutely love, and we were talking about this earlier, um, dragons and mythical creatures quite often in craft are made to look cutesy and cuddly and almost like they're from a cartoon or from a children's yes, book or yeah. something like this. I love the fact that these are, they're strong, they're definite, they're very cute, yes, they're very detailed, but they're also very versatile because you can have them very, very strong, kind of, you know, um, I don't know why I want to say like Dungeons and Dragons and those yes, kind of yeah. things. It can be very, very strong, but it can also be used for a wide variety of greetings as well. So it could go, it's, it's a design which can go, um, or they are designs that can go more masculine as well. They are, and uh, also they're gentle. Yes. They're not, they're not menacing. Somebody said they didn't like vicious dragon. No. And he's not a vicious, well, she's actually, she's a she. I've, I've christened her as a she. Okay. Because the one she in got the a name? is her baby, you see. Oh, uh, okay. No, we could do with some names, actually. Okay, right, well, listen, to... there you go. Challenge issued. So, we need a name for, so this is mum, isn't it? Yeah. So, it's just, so she's very kind of, she's very, gra she's definitely in charge, I have yeah. to say. She's very much in charge. Uh, here's a Dora. Lo lovely Dora sample. from the Netherlands. Oh, yeah. beautiful. Oh, I love Dora's stamp as well. Yeah, I love them. <laughs> really, really cool. So that's the mother. Well, yes, let's call that her the mother, shall we? And little baby. So we need names for those as well. So if you want to make any suggestions, by all means, drop in an email now to studio at thecraftstore.com. Here's a sample from uh, Helen Gil uh, Chilton. I beg your pardon. I love the sparkle going very on there. Very sparkly, isn't it? Yeah, very that, rainbow. That appeals. Yeah, that definitely appeals to the um, sparkly magpie in me. And look, a phone cover by Dina herself. Yeah, she's she's done one for each of our last three shows, oh, Dina. So, cool. But we didn't know she could draw so well until she suddenly did the phoenix for her son. And then I said, Dina, you can draw. You better draw some stamps definitely. now. Definitely. <laughs> 
definitely. Um, and they're all mounted as well, G. The, yes, and we just mount them for the for the craft store. Oh, awesome. We don't sell them mounted. It's just a, an extra bonus. Thank for, you very much. For and, people that buy. And here. we've got them um, exclusive this range, haven't days. we? Yeah. Uh, for 10 days. Should we have a look through the stamps? Um, because the designs are absolutely exquisite and they deserve their kind of time in the sun. Now, we've got a complete collection of all eight, which you can see. There is a pick and mix where you can buy any four at the bottom of the screen. I'll come to that in a moment. Uh, but with something like this, you, you will want all of them. The Wishing Willow. Well, now, isn't he sweet? So you stand before the Wishing Willow. I, I can see you having a good chat with the Wishing Willow as well. I Never mind about. I like a Wishing Willow in my back garden. Yeah, I I've would. I've got a Christmas tree, so maybe it'll have to be a, a wishing Christmas tree. Yeah. But I would like that Wishing Willow. I don't think the Willow's roots are very good for your houses, though, are they, if they I... get underneath? Well, do you know what? If it's a good chat and it's wise words, who cares? Do you know what I mean? You just pull up a chair next to the wishing willow and just have a good old chat, couldn't you? Uh, next one, then. What's this one called? This is, um, it's a phoenix. Rising, Rising phoenix. Ashes, yes. Now, I like that because you can see hope and inspiration and you can see... I'm, I'm escaping one and heading to another. You can almost feel the journey in that in, in that image, can't you? I love you that. Can, but he could almost be a dove as well. Yes, dove of peace. Yes. So yes. there's a few a few different things for him, really. I love it. And then we've got new beginnings. Now this is the uh, this is the baby. It is. We need a name for as and well. We don't, I don't actually know if he's male or female. I'm calling I wonder him a if, he, because he's got horns, so... I wonder, Dina, if you're watching as well, which I'm sure you will be, having a little look in on your own stamp collection on the telly, and that's a moment not to miss. Um, but if you had a name in mind, Dina, then drop, again, drop us an email um, through to uh, Katie in the gallery, um, because this is, this is the baby. Yes, it could be either way, couldn't it? Yep, yep. Love it. Very nice indeed. He's a sweetie. Next one uh, is Gentle Dragon, and I love, I love the whole wings going on here. I love that. And it is gentle, isn't it? He's got a very gentle, well, she, I keep calling him a heat this afternoon, I don't know why, but she's, she's got a very gentle face. I don't think she'd do anybody any great damage. No. No, I think... Not breathing fire at the no, moment. No, and I think you could have a chat with her as well, and I think she would listen intently. Yes, she might not answer she back, would. Yeah, yeah. but I think she would listen intently with big, wide blue eyes. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Katie, what did you say then, darling? Oh, she's most, one of the most popular in the pick and mix, so I'm not surprised. Let's go to the bottom uh, set. Oh, now I like this. Fairy Rose. Yes. Now, Fairy Rose with her back to us. Now, that's interesting and that's significant, actually, because quite often that kind of image would be facing you as opposed to facing away. And I quite like that because that's quite an inspirational looking forward kind well, of... Well, the other thing I see it as is uh, there's um, a lady that uh, we've heard from on a few occasions and she calls her grandchildren her grand fairies. So I see her as a grand fairy. Oh, actually, yeah. Because you see her from the back, so she could be anybody's yes. grand. Child, yes, it leaves it open to interpretation. I really like that. Uh, let's move on to the uh, next one, which is Medieval Manuscript. Only it's Dragon Speak now. Oh, OK, right. So it's not something that we could speak. No. Um, it's something that it's the langu language of yeah. the dragons. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. Absolutely not for us to question at all, is it? It's lovely. Uh, next one is the Venetian crackle. Always a great texture to have in your life, isn't it? Uh, for backgrounds, for foregrounds. Again, it's got a lot of strength to it as well. You can throw all your mediums at that and create something utterly different, can't you? Why it's called Venetian crackle is um, my business partner, Malcolm. We were in um, Venice and we took it low down. Yeah on this um, island called Murano. Oh, where they make all the glass. Yeah. yeah. And he was just getting it sorted out for a good in-focus photograph. And a bloke came past and said, what are you doing? <laughs> in fact, they went past and then they had to come back again and have another look because they didn't understand what was going on at yeah. all. But yeah. that's what resulted from oh, it. Oh, so. it's fabulous. <laughs> I love it. It's really, really nice. It's nice to know that there's a story in, and we know where that's come from. Uh, and the final one... It's called Inky Script. What's the story behind Inky Script? Inky Script is everybody loves the script stamp when you're a stamper. Yeah, absolutely. And then um, Inky Blots became terribly popular. 
and a rather nice actually it's a very very useful stamp for all of the little bits and pieces so. it's good as well that uh, i think uh the the younger generation which uh, populate this studio right now will never understand the joys of navigating a fountain pen and getting to <laughs> oh, know this it is true because yeah. that's what you end up with it is indeed um, yeah. it's wonderful now the collection of all eight of these brand new and exclusive and exclusively mounted rubber stamps all yours right now with a three pound saving there 48 pounds and 96 pence there are two pick and mix uh, options available for you become a freedom member by the way on this oh and it becomes a why not look because freedom membership 797 so if you're saving here because of course you've got that extra uh, 10 percent saving um so for 797 you would have your freedom membership and that would cover your pmp of course for this and all future orders for the next month which would be amazing uh, so it's one of those where it's well worth you becoming a freedom member uh, when ordering this amazing 843770 right savings we'll carry those over two oh from the pick and mixes yes there are two configurations of pick and mix there's one where you can buy any two and there's one where you can buy any four and we've taken the savings from both of those and we've put them into this large bundle so overall as a freedom member you are saving 15 pounds 90 ka-ching thank you very much we'll have a bit of that lovely 843770 do you want to have a look at the pick and mix shall we so any any four of the stamps that you've seen there any four 25 pounds and 98 pence basically saving a pound on each one uh, which is uh, again really really good so if you can draw your choice down to just four tough it's not an easy one uh, because you've got three oh, I don't know see no I can't even I, you know when you try and make sense of things and, you, and you're kind of like right now which Doesn't four <laughs> yeah no it's one of those where you kind of think well listen I'll leave it up to you because you can go for the four at 25 pounds and 98 pence we have another option as well where you can pick and mix any two and make a saving as well details at the bottom of the screen there so any two for 14.99 any four for 25.98 or of course the collection uh, for all eight uh, which is brilliant the bigger the bundle the bigger the saving it's as simple as that right shall we trot along to these gorgeous papers here because I want I want to get to them before they actually go because I am fascinated by these and I love them and I, I quizzed Jean madly about these because I think they are beautiful now stock wise before we even start uh, four fifths 80 percent have already gone so if you like what you see you're going to need to be fairly lively to get these in your basket and checked out 108 a5 papers for 13.99 now Jean I don't I know we haven't worked together before but quite often I need to have a word with people that run these companies <laughs> and say to themselves right hang on a second yeah. why 108 sheets for 13.99 it's too low <laughs> you can curate these into little sort of collections and they could be like 9.99 each for like I, I don't know for 20 papers or something like that this is amazing yeah. yes, and I love the good, process you were talking deal. about putting these together as well and creating them um, they are lovely and they go beautifully with the stamp they sets. work very well with these stamps yeah they in do particular and uh, some of them are sets we brought out a little while ago and then the brand new ones are the ones with numbers and things on them uh, most of them started off as um, textures we found on our travels such as skips and allotments and skips. bits of worn and weathered shabby chic fencing and all that sort of thing I and, uh, love it and it's uh, just been great fun but with the first few sets we are now nearly at the end of them and we're not going to reprint so this is probably with the earlier oh. ones your last chance ever of getting them okay it would be a um, a very very salient time then to inform you that we are approaching limited stock wow so that just jumped up from 80 to nearly 90 percent within what 60 seconds uh, so 13 pounds 99 you're getting 108 fabulous papers that you can see the breadth of the um, of the color palettes there as well I have to say if you've been watching the one-day special shows as well they do um, team up really really nicely with the colors that we've got on the one-day special and on the range of one-day special shows for the um, the oxides and the distress inks as well just saying 
Yeah, just well, I've, I've brought some myself, as, as, as funnily enough. Oh, and there's some of the and colours that... in their own anywhere, so yes, yeah. There you go, Perfect. you see? They are absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I can see a, a, a little bit of uh, kitsch flamingo, a little bit of uh, antique linen, and the blues, the new blue from the Ranger, the prize ribbon, going very, very nicely with that. £13.99. Anyway, listen, I'm going to move straight on because they're going to go in seconds, I would, uh, I would think. Now, our other limited edition bundle is here, and this is two-thirds of the stock sold out and gone. Um, uh, Jean had a, an earlier show with Paola, which was crazily busy, um, so that's why we are where we are right now. I love this. So this is a combination of some of the sweetest washi tapes I have ever 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 seen and i'm guessing it must have been the same for you gene as well oh, i mean love them. fine yeah. detail washies mm. i don't think i've ever seen that no i found i bought some a while ago and then i found them um to get to buy you know for the trade so they I are had to have them because they're so pretty they're the sweetest aren't they They've and they're foiled bits of gold on yeah and, uh, yes and there's a lot on each i'm not exactly remember how much on each but something like several meters anyway. they are so they go on forever. wonderful they really are Oh, okay. Eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence. Now, are we also get, are we getting some stamping card here as well? Twenty-five sheets of stamping card. Jean, gonna have to have words. <laughs> Eleven ninety-nine. I mean, no wonder. No wonder two thirds of the stock sold like out and gone. We to try and make them affordable because it is nice when you can. I mean, it's just a treat, isn't it? If yeah. You, if you're into crafting, no. it's nice to be able to treat yourself. Yes, it is. And. Actually, you know what? People that are based up north, we know the true value of money. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> we do, I we love do. it. I'm not knocking anyone that's, you know, south of North Yorkshire. <laughs> but we'll take that, won't we, Jean, we every single day? Absolutely. I need, I need to go back to the papers. I need to go back to the papers because... Adios, papers. Uh -huh. Not to return, Jean, either, no? Oh, well, thank you, folks. And, uh, yeah, you have got the last of some of them there, so you've done well. Fabulous. Because the price is too low. I love it. Well done, everyone. We all like a crafty bargain, don't we? And um, please, because you've got such a deal on those, are you on Facebook and everything? Yeah. Right. Yeah. What, what, what's the page name and everything? Um, crafty Individuals. Crafty Individuals. Right. The, the Facebook page. Okay. And we, there's a group as well, so people can join that and show us what they make with everything. Yes. Would you do me a favour? Seriously, because you've had such a deal there. If you make... With your, with your papers, with any of the stamps and the papers. Um, I know Dina and Jean and the whole team would love to see uh, what you've done with them. So please share if you can um, on uh, Facebook as well. 70% uh, of this bundle um, sold and got. I think they are the cutest washies as well, aren't you? You get six of them as well and they're all beautifully foiled. Um, do you know what size they are, Jean? Is it... I'm, I'm, is it two millimetre? I don't but know yeah, if it's two... Much. It's, I don't know if it's very, two millimetre. Thin, but I'll, I'll get... I'll see if I... Three millimetre. Actually, Thank you, Katie. They're three, yeah. are they? Yeah. Three mil and you get six of them. That's amazing. Uh, anyway, listen, I'm going to get carried away. And Jean's ready to do some demos. So, uh, let's cook the cackle, as we say up north. And let's go to the website. <laughs> let's go... Oh, yes, on the website, we've got an end of call for you as well, which is when you um, check out your basket, you'll be offered um, extra goodies at no extra postage. And on this one, we've got a mystery bundle. It's a mystery of three unmounted rubber stamps for £9. Well, they're uh, recently uh, retired stamps. Right, oh, I see. So we're doing them at a ultra, I mean, they, they would be worth about almost three times that. So um, it is a bit of a bargain that you would get there. And Gosh. you're getting something again that uh, won't be released again. I love the fact that you retire. Yeah, it's nice to retire. Yes, it is sometimes. good. It keeps them special as well, it doesn't does. it? Yeah, yeah. Fabulous. Right, OK, so you can grab those on what we call um, end of call when you check out your basket. Right, lovely. I can't wait to see everything that we've got lined up for the hour. So, uh, Jean, where are we going? Oh, you've got all your papers out and everything. I've got my papers out. Right. Yeah. yeah. Over to you. Ready to play. Okay, doc. Well, what I'm going to do is make a sort of a collage mishmash of a, a dragon card here. So, these are the newest papers that we've got, which have got dragon speak on them and things like that. <laughs> dragon speak. So, so prior to the show, I've picked a few bits out and I have, these are, they're about 170 GSM, but I wanted them a little bit more stable so I could lift them 
and make them a bit dimensional. Um, so what I've done is cut some of them out so you can see, just rather than waste your time watching me cut them out, I've cut that one out of that, for instance, mm -hmm. you know, pick bits out. Yeah. And I'm going to stamp onto that one because that's a particularly good paper to stamp onto because it's, but I love it even though you can stamp onto it because yeah. it's got a bit of colour and texture still going on in it. So and it what's your ink of choice to stamp on your papers? Um, I vary at the moment. Okay. I'm uh, doing... Tell me all of them then. Fine Claire. <laughs> yeah. Um, Which you'll find on, on Sukiniko, of course. Yes. The Nocturne I rather love. But I'm also having a stays on moment or two as oh, well, yeah. which is one of the older, made, made by the same company, but yeah, one of devil, the Yeah, devil you, like a summer love of stays yes, on. Yeah, so I'll probably use that on this one, I okay. think. So what I'm going to do is I've cut up various bits and mounted them on a bit of card, mm -hmm. just to make them a bit thicker, because yep. I want to put some sticky fixers behind them. And then I'm going to arrange them. So what I'm going to do first is go around the edges of them all with a little bit of the black a stamp pad here, which is just a little, again, t t whatever, however you pronounce that. Sukadiko. That's the one. It means oh, I didn't know. moon I didn't cat know. in ja Japanese. Oh, does it? You can shop by brand with Sukadiko, by the way. It's, it begins with a T. Okay. Um, and you'll find all the ink pads there, like stays on and Versify and etc. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, um, we've had full shows of that, so we, we, we looked it up, and it's moon, oh, well, that's very moon interesting. cat. I didn't know that. I've learnt that today. Go, every day's a school day, Jean. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's really interesting, actually. So I'm just going round with uh, one of their mini ones because they're really easy to run around the edge of something, yeah. these, rather than try and do it with the bigger ones. So that's just to, to pop? Just to make them pop a little yeah. bit. Yeah. yeah. So it only takes seconds, so I thought I'd just do it here. So listen, you know how nosy I am, and I'm never going to stop until they until they sack me and stop booking me. I'm going to carry on being nosy. Uh, so your crafty background, take me right back to the beginning. Right. Um, I've always been into crafting ever since I can ever remember. Was it always uh, card making or was it making stuff when you were... Oh, there was a, uh, a little the bit of era, The era when I, I did a lot of crocheting at one point. Okay. I mean, I've always drawn and um, I've always crafted alongside it. I yeah. loved art at school. Yeah. Um, and I did an art air level and later on I did a fine art degree. So that's how much I love art. Oh, wow. Um, but I also love craft. Yeah. So it's combining the two to me. Beautiful. Which makes it perfect, you see. Lovely. And um, crochet is, 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 and is a big thing again now, isn't it? it? That's why it made me think about it because I remember when I'd be about 15, crocheting myself probably, which would be absolutely horrific, really, <laughs> a pink and white nylon poncho. Oh, it's, it sounds beautiful. <laughs> I, I feel there'll, there'll be a Polaroid somewhere with evidence that we must see. I think there probably is, see. actually. I should have had a look through and see if I could find it. <laughs> but, uh, yes, it was probably absolutely gross, but I thought it was wonderful. The bee's knees, I'm the sure it was. Knees. Yeah, crushing was very in then. Yeah. So it all comes around again. Well, listen, to Tom Daly's sat by the edge of the pool crocheting at the moment, isn't he? Oh, so, yes, you know, he did, it's... didn't he? I, saw, I thought I heard something about that. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, well. Uh, yeah, he made a, made a pouch it, for his medal or something. Yeah. And Good. something for a. Was he made something for his dog as well? A jacket for his dog. No, oh, right. Okay. Oh, well, that's He's... a nice thing to do. Well, I might yeah. make a jacket for my dog then. Yeah. Why I have crocheted a blanket recently as well, so oh, yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed doing that. So this I'm going to now hopefully don't get my fingers too dirty because I haven't dried off the uh, edges. But I'm just going to pop that one on there. Mm -hmm. And then this one I'm going to stamp the dragon onto. Because I found with this one, if you um, cut out, if you want to do fussy cutting, which I do quite a lot of, uh -huh. It's good to cut, to fussy cut these, what would you call them? Um, Not the top ones that have got feathers on them. Yeah. But these bits here, the front. Oh. I don't know what you call tufts? them. Tufts? Tufts or something. Yeah. Let's yeah. call them tufts. Yes. So you can <laughs> cut round that bit and yeah. the wings and everything. And yeah. you can cut him out and uh, then mount him on top of one you've already stamped, you see. So what I'm going to do now is stamp him firstly onto this piece it'll all become clear later she says hopefully mm -hmm. but i better put him on a 
that's done first, Jean. That's the first thing to do. So we'll pop him on there. Put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> and ink him up. Oh, I was going to use stairs on. No, I'll go with this one because either of them work fine on this. So I'm just giving it a quick rub and then I'm tapping. Lots of lovely tapping. And you want to trim your stamps as down as nearer to the uh, design as you can because it makes stamping a lot easier. You don't get any shadows or anything like that then. So I've cut away lots of the extra rubber around the edges. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is try and get him about in the middle of this one here. And and stamp him. Now all I'm really wanting of this is his head because I'm going to cover him over with a fussy cut dragon. Ah, so, well, we've had some name suggestion, oh, uh, suggestions, Jean. Um, so <clears throat> Trudy has suggested Uh, one for four sets and one for two sets, all of which have savings. But the bigger bundle has taken the savings from the other pick and mixes um, and become a bigger saving for the entire collection. Just to point out on this one, if you're a Freedom member on this one is actually less than the price for the pick and mix of four of these. Now obviously yes you'll have the, the, the second payment to come but just working out the economics of it, um, you, 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 you know you've got all of those then, you don't have to sort of pick and choose, you've kind of got the luxury of all of them um, and they are amazing. Remember they come to us exclusively uh, mounted as well just for the crafts tour and these are an exclusive range as well to us for the, the best part of the next couple of weeks as well. So. Um, Grab them now while you can. They are exquisite designs. They really are. Uh, let's go back to Jean stamping then. Acetate there, so ah. she's made a really nice, uh, quite a, a deep design because you've got uh, yes. stenciling in the background. So how you clever! Have, you can have great fun with these stamps because they're so versatile. They lend themselves to lots of different colours and things. They are fabulous. Oh, and that's rather cute. So that's a little door, and then if you open the door... Oh, I was just thinking. I was, I was looking for... I was thinking, is, is, this, is this from this collection? It is. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> Helen Chilton, you are a genius to behold. I absolutely love that. It's great, isn't it? That is the sweetest thing. <laughs> I'm so glad I did pick it up because I looked at it and I thought, I can't see. Maybe this is from a different collection. Nope. I'm, I'm so glad I did now. Look at that. Amazing. 843770 is your item number if you want the full collection um, of eight. They are amazing. They really are. Um, it is a why not deal as well, uh, by the way. So if you're not a free member, just become one when you, when you get this item number and you, you're actually better off. Because then you won't be adding 3.95 postage to every order you make for the, for the next month, and you can decide whether to carry that on, whether to stop it, to pause it, or whatever. It's very, very simple. It's very, very easy. Um, it's great. It really is. Eight four three seven seven zero is the item number. Uh, we have had a set out on the show already. Remember of uh, the the papers, so they're gone. Looks like there might be another one coming. It's the one. It's the one with the washi, isn't it? Yeah, it's the bundle with the washi. We are approaching limited stock there. Now, remember, that is the lovely um, background stamp, which is called Uplifting Words. It's the stamping card, 25 sheets of the um, stamping card, and it's those six three millimeter full gold foiled um, washies, that, which is just the sweetest. They really are. Um, that's about to approach limited stock, I do believe. 742305 is the item number. Price is too low, just saying. Uh, 11.99. 
I, I, do you know what? Never mind being a presenter. I need to put myself in as a like a business <laughs> advisor to some of these companies who come here. We should like, all come and have a private consultation. I think first. so. Yeah, and I'll give you all sure a good shake. Right. I think first and say, <laughs> now come on. Right. Anyway, where were we, Jean? Sorry. So I'm going back to. My, so what I've done is, I've taken that dragon, and you can see all I've embossed is his top headdress. Yeah. Or his fronds, or his. Sorry, it's gone again. What was it? Uh, tufts. Tufts. Tufts, Jean, remember. <laughs> we to write it down. <laughs> yeah. So I've embossed those because yeah. that's the only bit that you're going to see of that bit. OK. So I'm going to now do him onto our stamping card, which is part of that bundle. Of that bundle that's, that's about to be a limited stock. Yep. Yeah. So we'll just uh, ink him up again. And this time I want the whole thing because it wants to be cus uh, fussy cut. Mm -hmm. Out. I quite like fussy cutting, I have to say, so I find it quite relaxing. Are we going to see you fussy cutting as I'm well? I'm probably not going to because okay. it might take a while. Okay. So just to save people being bored to. Well, bored I mean, to you, death you say that, Jean, but everyone does things in different <laughs> ways, and you know, I think we, I know. we, well, we get something it. from. For everyone. I love your jewellery, by the way. Oh, thank that was you. where I talk about jewellery on telly, and I was like, oh, that's a mi lovely mix of gemstones there. Is that yes, a bit of turquoise I've, there? I've, I think as I get older, I need more silver for some reason. That's all right. I don't There's nothing, know what, nothing what wrong the with that. It, but, so I don't uh, need to ask you your favourite colour then, do I? <laughs> I'm guessing it's turquoise or somewhere turquoise, near to that. Turquoise, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. With a touch of silver or, or yeah. even gold sometimes, but. All the jewellery is silver at the moment. See, that's why. That's in, I, now I get your choice of the dis distress oxide sprays and things that you've got around oh, you. Oh, yes, they're, uh, they're, they're very my colours. bluey yes. turquoisey, yeah. aren't they? With a bit of orange thrown in. I quite yeah. like a bit of orange yeah, thrown yeah, in. Yeah. yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, so there we have Mr. Dragon, or Mrs. Dragon, actually. I keep referring him as. as he's obviously. Yeah, what, what do we call her? Oh, yeah. Malachi. That's it. Oh, it's another email from Maureen. Doreen, sorry, very close. Delia, she's suggesting Delia the dragon. Delia, well, why not? Yes, why not? Hey, I wonder if it, the Delia could could um, supply as well, the, potentially, the instant, uh, you know, if we need to t toast some marshmallows, maybe Delia could give us a small, uh, a small flame to toast our marshmallows with, maybe. You never know. Gently, of course. There was a cook called Delia. There was. Was Smith. it Delia Smith on yeah. the TV and whatnot? Yeah. yeah. She's still with us, I so think. So maybe the dragon can cook as well. Yeah. So, uh, do, I, oh, well, if it producer out Kate, flames, producer it Katie, can. honestly, I forget, I forget this is like a crash here. Uh, <laughs> Delia, uh, Katie's never heard of Delia Smith. <laughs> Which planet are you living on, Katie? Have you never heard of one of the biggest personalities in television cooking there has ever been? Because she's also, does she own Norwich City as well as a football club? Is she? Which is a real chalk and cheese <laughs> thing, isn't it? Now that does surprise me. I know, yeah. She, she's <laughs> joint co owner, is she, of Norwich City? Is that right? I'm looking around the room, but Molly Floor Manager's just like, sorry, who, what, <laughs> who are where, you when? talking about? <laughs> oh, you, oh, you've heard of her, oh, that's good. My son had never heard of Rod Stewart. Really? How? Yeah. how he how... said, who's he? I thought, how can you not have and what, heard of what Rod age Stewart? is your, your son, if you don't mind me asking? He's, uh, well, he's 28 now, but that was a bit ago. And he's never heard of and Rod he's Stewart? He's never heard of Rod Stewart, no. It's funny, isn't it? You just sort of assume everybody's. I think it's knows quite fascinating. <laughs> is it his his current? What? Well, sorry, his wife. Sorry, I don't mean anything by that. But um, his wife is a special constable, isn't she, in London? Is she? Yes, yeah, she's a special police officer in oh, in right. London. Penny Lancaster. Oh, I didn't know she was a police officer. Yeah, yeah. Please, she's on Loose Women, and she's a personality oh. in her own right. But she's also a special constable. Oh, I knew he was married to Penny Lancaster, but yeah. actually I didn't know who she was particularly yeah. in herself, so that's interesting, yes. Rod Stewart. Mm. That's some voice, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Oh, he's not quite cooked there, I don't think. So it's particularly good to put a bit of this um, clear embossing powder on because you get a really strong image, as you can see, uh, to cut out and... Um, it makes the black much blacker and it yeah. means you can colour it without any problems at all. So I'm just literally going to start colouring it and I won't completely colour it because again that would probably take too long. And I'm going to assemble the card so that just, might be more interesting but I'll just do a bit of colour. 
Fabulous. Uh, I'll just remind everyone while we're watching you um, that uh, on the pick and mix of four, this stamp that we're that Jean's uh, colouring with at the moment um, is sold out in the pick and mix of four options. So now it's only available in the larger complete collection. All right. And also the set of two. Oh, it's all too complicated. <laughs> uh, but just to let you know, the pick and mix of four that's now gone. It's been a really popular choice. But of course the the, the um, the bigger bundle, which is a why not anyway, isn't it, um, is, is definitely the way to, uh, to go on this one. Because they are wonderful. And we're getting busier and busier as the hour goes on. I'm not going to say we're... I'm not going to say we're at the busiest point of the show, because whenever I hear that on telly, I'm like, you can't possibly know that. <laughs> Please don't say that to me, because you can't possibly know we're at the busiest part of the show. No. You don't have a crystal ball. <laughs> That's the the dragons kind... have though, so... Oh, that's true, yeah, yeah they do. So do they'll you think they have that, know. that third vision? Yes. The third eye, so that's to speak. Right, yes. They say we all have that one way or the other, don't they? Well, I think I mean, sometimes I, I, we do, don't we? I can't, I can't comment any further because I can't hold it in my hand as a fact, but I'd quite like to think that there was some... Truth in it. Yeah. Yes, yeah. You know, some people do say, oh, no, like... like Either the universe has sent a message or I just had a feeling and went with my gut. Yes. So I'm just giving him a little bit of colour and I'm doing his body in sort of turquoises, which we decided was my colour. Uh, so that's why I would be doing him in turquoises. He's nice in reds as well, actually. But um, me being rather fond of these colours, I'm just colouring him in like that. And then I'm giving his wings a little bit of a yellow tinge. So, so he's very easy to colour, is what I'm saying. Yeah, especially you when you've embossed. Any colours. Yes, especially when you've embossed. Yes, because your ink doesn't move at all. You could also drop it. your your drops in, couldn't you? If you've you got could. like sort of a, a pearly drops, or yeah. you know, or brushes. I'm going to yes. do brushes later on because they work very well with this. Yeah. I did a bit with alcohol inks this morning because they work very well with this as well. What time was the um, what time was the show this morning? Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Okay, so you can watch that on rewind uh, later. Obviously not now. Yeah. It'd yeah. Be rude to leave now, wouldn't it? Um, <laughs> but you can watch you can watch it later. <laughs> so this is him getting coloured in, and then uh, I would carry on with this, and then perhaps add a little bit of uh, white pen here and there. Um, you, uh, probably can't get you could get a bit of white in his eyes just to give him a little bit of a oh, glint. Oh, just a little glint. Yeah. Maybe just a touch, even as just as much as that. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can, there. yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Tiny, but it's there. And then you can sort of pick bits out on him as well, which looks rather nice in white. Yeah. So you can just play around, put a bit of metallic on him if you want to. And then hey presto, I have one that I've already cut out here. So he's ended up like that. Now, I've left his... <laughs> still got tufts. Uh, tufts, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to call them fronds now, but yeah. they're, they're kind of feathers, really, aren't they? Um, so I've left them out because he's easier to just cut that bit out. Yes. But then you layer him up on there, you see. Oh, and they reappear. And then they reappear. That is a genius workaround. So it means you don't have to try and fussy cut those out. I mean, you can just go around them and not get too worried about fussy cutting, but I do quite but like... But they are a lovely detail. I do like the detail. Yeah, them, so. you don't really want to miss it. No. I love the flame colours you've used on the um, on the tail there, the, the tail of the tail, yes. which again is feathery, isn't it's it? It's very feathery. I love it. Now, I'm just going to have a... W yep. While you construct, yep. I'll, I'll just have a whiz down the counter, if that's all right. Yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, well, I'll walk, actually. I won't whiz. Um, right, let's start with, then with the pick and mix of four. Now, this is any four, and it's so, so tough. I can't even help you and guide you. Um, unfortunately, Gentle Dragon is not... It's this one, isn't it? Yeah, that's not an option on the pick and mix of four, so I'll just turn that round. It's like play your cards right now, isn't it? Um, so I'll just turn that round. So there are the options. So there are seven options in the pick and mix where you choose any four for £25.98. and pence. Remember that £4 saving, we carry over to the entire bundle, which has all eight stamp sets in it as well, which is brilliant. Um... Oh, right, OK. 
Oh, sorry, I was just trying to work that out. Let's not make it too complicated, Katie. Um, so, yeah, so you've got a four pound saving here from the pick and mix of any four. So we carry that over to the full collection, but we also carry a saving over from the pick and mix any two options as well, don't we? Which is, uh, which is really, really good. Uh, okay, so should we go back to the uh, full bundle? Because of the gentle dragon uh, out of the equation in the pick and mix of any four, it's back into the equation when you have the complete collection there. So the eight pounds saving is carried forward. So there's an introductory saving there as well. So eight plus three is 11. And if you're a Freedom member, you save an extra 10%. So that works out overall to be 15 pounds and 90 pence. I get blinded by all these numbers sometimes. Basically, the bigger the deal that you take, the bigger the saving that you get. It's as simple as that. And if you want to become a Freedom member, uh, buying the complete collection, the savings pay for the Freedom membership in essence, which is really, really good. Um, also, your first flexi as a Freedom member <laughs> is more, less than choosing a four. Yeah, it is. So... I'm, I'm, I'm glad that's all clear. It's as clear you as mud. You lost me in the first sentence. I know, I know. <laughs> right, so what we're saying is, uh, if you're a Freedom member, your first flexible payment of two is less on day one than the cost of buying a pick and mix of just four individually. Right. So you get all eight for less than the price of four today, and obviously you have that, that second payment in a month's time. Good. Marvellous. I'm glad that's all clear. Uh, right. 70% of the stock has gone, by the way, on, on the complete collection. Uh, so, well done. Good. Marvellous. I've confused myself there, I think. Right. OK. So, this is not confusing at all. This is ridiculously simple. This is that wonderful, uplifting words, rubber stamp, 25 sheets... 24 sheets of your A5 stamping card, which is smooth white, plus the most glorious and gorgeous washi tapes, which are three millimetre gauge. I don't think I've ever seen three millimetre that are gold foiled. It's really, really cute. And you get the stack of six there. Let me show you. Let me show you. Sorry, Webster, I left that all um, blank then, didn't I? Nothing to look at. There you go. Bit like me. Fun to be with, nothing to look at. Uh, look at that. You get all six of those with the gold foiling detail, all different. They'll all be gold foiled. There might be a slight change in some of the colours, but they all work together really well. So yeah. there's, no, there's no worry about it. They're Beautiful. They're not going to be very different. They just might be slightly different. And the price, by the way, is stupidly low. I mean, that's just my personal opinion, not, not that of uh, Ho Chanda Global Limited. But 11 99 for that, no wonder. No wonder it's been so darn popular. And I love the words there as well. Very nice. Remember, the red rubber stamps that we have uh, from Crafty Individuals, they're mounted for us exclusively here at the craft store, formerly Hochanda. Uh, 11 99 Right, OK. Oh, they are limited stock now. Not surprised. Abs are you, really? I mean, you, for, for six washi tapes, I mean, you know easily... That's five, six, seven, you know, whatever price you like, isn't it, really? They vary so much in price tag, don't they? But that little stack could be five or six pounds on its own, couldn't it? Yeah. You listening, Jean? I am. Yes, it could be, definitely. Honestly, definitely. could be, should be. But, hey, listen, once it's gone, it's gone, so take advantage of it. Anyway, listen, let's get, let's get back to Jean, shall we? Find out what's going on. Where have we got to with your well, construction? Well, I'm just adding some sticky fixer things to the, to the pieces, um while you were doing your maths there. I know, I'm and, uh, sorry. <laughs> I feel like I've given everyone homework. <laughs> yes. It's just, it's all numbers, isn't it? <laughs> go, go home and work it all out. Yeah. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I'm now going to build it up a little bit. So I've got little dimensional things, or however you do your own dimensional things. Foam pads. Yeah, that's the one. Or you and can I'm use dimensional to... glue. Kalal do a nice well, 3D. Well, that's what I was going to say. You, oh. Some people prefer that to... I do to using this sort of stuff. Yeah, I use the Kalal 3D. Yes, yeah. I've never got away with it, but I think it's probably because I haven't used the right one. So I've always ended up using these well, instead. Well, I think if you're doing multiple layers very, very quickly, then sometimes the dimensional glue may not be for you because as you're building up the layers, you're squashing down the you dimension. Are. Yes, that's true, yeah. 
unless you start at the top. Yeah. Blimey, so... why have I never thought of that? <laughs> start at the top. I've been starting at the bottom, and you should start at the top, shouldn't you? Sorry, G. That's all right. You so carry I'm on. Starting at the top here, anyway. Yeah. And popping this on here, and it doesn't matter if I cover him up because uh, I have one that I cut out earlier, mm -hmm. like we said. So I'm just going to build up different squares. Actually, I'll put that one on first. So I'm just building up a sort of medley of layers because we like layers, don't we? We do. Lots of nice... Oh, and that, that's one I picked out of one of the papers because it's actually got dragon written on it. I've oh! I popped that in, so I thought we'll have that where we can see it yeah, yeah. on this. So I'm going to put that about there, I think. And then I need to do all of these before I stick him down so that uh, the whole thing works together. Jean, your um, your crafting. Um, do we? Uh, do you mainly um, card make? Are you mixed media? Do you journal? I just journal quite a lot. And funnily enough, I haven't journaled with these yet, but that's on my list to do next. I, yeah, I, I think it'll be great fun to journal. Yeah, with. I think these will be great fun. Yeah, but I've I've done that quite a lot on here, so I thought, oh, I'll just do a bit of card making for a bit of a change. You know the washi and, uh, uh, bundle with the stamping card, Jean. Yes. Gone. Gone. <laughs> Gone. Technically sold out. If you have that in your basket, please do check it out. Well, Remember... I was going to put it on here, but I won't bother now. <gasps> Jean, we've had an email from Dina. Oh, bless Dina her. Rangeley, who designed these <laughs> fabulous stamps. She says, hi, it's Dina here, uh, designer of the stamps for the Crafty Individual Stamps. In terms of names for Mummy Dragon, perhaps... And she didn't have a fixed idea in her mind, which I think is brilliant. Perhaps for money, Mummy Dragon, perhaps Aurora... Oh, Aurora, And yes. how about, oh, Dina, oh, I've got to hide behind this sheet now, because she's, she's, she's suggested, how about Derek for the baby, as he's Aww. making such a good job of presenting them. <laughs> uh, but very, very happy for viewers to name them, says Dina. <laughs> Dina, it's lovely, lovely to hear from you. Oh, bless her. I think he's far too pretty, the baby, to be a Derek, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this bundle, by the way, so this is the bundle for all eight sets. Now, 80% of that sold out and gone. We've only got 10 live minutes with this show, by the way, just so oh, you know. Gosh. So do check out your, um, your baskets yeah. now. Yeah, right. Well, I'm just uh, putting a bit of wet glue on the... Um, where's my bit of blue tack? If you put a bit of blue tack on these things, it stops it all drying out in the nozzle. So it's quite a handy thing to oh, do. Is that a squidge of what I'm did you say it was? Dropping. Uh, it's a bit of PVA type glue. Ah, uh, um, yeah. It's a that's crafty one, which who also come on here, I believe. Right. Um, but it's quite good. Uh, it's quite good glue. It is. So I've glued him up. Now what I have to do now, because all you're going to see of that one I did initially, is his tufts. Yes. There they are. Look, <laughs> tufting around. Beautiful. So now, all I need to do with the dragon that's fussy cut is yep. pop him in exactly the right place on the top so that um, you still see his tufts. But you can see... Actually, we should have asked uh, Dina, shouldn't we, what, what the, the names of those? Maybe, maybe she'll agree with us that tufts is fine. That works. Yeah, she might let us know in a few seconds if she gets yeah. the time. If you if you're still tuned in, um, Dina, get a quick email into Katie. Did you have any um, thoughts of the names of the what we're calling tufts, the the wafty the wafty feathery tufts? Yes. We've we've gone with. <laughs> let us know if you yes, had a name for them. Indeed, Tina's like, oh blimey. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I'm, I just enjoy the designing and the drawing. You want me to name everything now, for heaven's sake. <laughs> right, so, um, funnily enough, Leslie, who's just been on uh, Chocolate Baroque, yes. gave me some of these some time ago. Now, oh, they're, they're flat gems. Backs. Yes, but if you look at them, they've got, like, dragon scales. Oh, they have. Let me show you. Let me show you one up close and personal. Oh, they're like holographic. Yeah. Oh, so also, they could be like mermaid scales, yes, fish scales, or, scales. or snake skin, or dragon scales. Indeed, they're amazing. Can we buy those on Chocolate Baroque? Uh, she did have them for sale at one point, but I'm not sure if they're there now. We'll go and sh we'll go and have a little look in shop by brand on on Chocolate Baroque. I love the fact that you guys all talk about each other. I think it's amazing. <laughs> I do. No, seriously. 
because it can be very, very dog-eat-dog -dog in the business world. And actually, in this community, it's wonderful that everyone supports each other. And I love Leslie that. and I travel down together as well. So. Oh, do you? Yeah, we share, because Leslie's oh, is Leslie Darlington, up? you see. Oh, is she? Oh, so I'm down the road then. Yeah, so we... Oh, uh... we should get a shower between us, shouldn't we? I'm yeah. in Ripon. You're Absolutely. in Yarm. Leslie in Darlington. Well, that'd yeah. be fun, wouldn't it? We'd have to get somebody else to drive, though, <laughs> wouldn't we? So we can have a good old natter. <laughs> So I'm just popping these on here to finish it off, really. And then oh. I was going to put some thin washi tape on, but seeing as that isn't there anymore, perhaps I'd better not. Perhaps you... Uh, will you be able to get some in the future, do you think? Oh, probably, yes. It's just getting hold of some things. It takes a long time sometimes Yeah. to actually get hold of the products. So you have to plan ahead. That's why it was a limited edition, because they wouldn't come quick enough to... So that leads me to another nosy question then, as to um, when are you next coming to see us? I know, it's, don't worry, it's not the end of the show. I know we ask you that usually right at the dying seconds. Don't worry, you've got more than 20 seconds, yeah. it's fine. Um, but when are you coming back to see us again? Usually, well, it isn't just usually, it's always at the moment, is every other month. Okay. So, um, so Leslie's we'll on in... next month, but yeah. I'll be back with her the month after, October. October. Yeah. Fabulous. And the year's gone in a jiffy when you do I it know. like that. <laughs> I know. So any um, any gossip as to what you might be thinking about for October's collections then? Ooh, um, yes, I do know. Because <laughs> I'm terribly organised at the moment. OK. Any, any clues you'd like to release? Um, think to landscapes. Oh, I will. I will, and I'll keep an eye in, on your um, on your crafty individual's Facebook page between now and then, and see if any other gossip leaks out. Can I just show you the sample quickly? I've just I just it's spotted glorious, it, and I just thought it? it was the most beautiful. Again, the, uh, so this is by Sandra, and it is that is wonderful. Look at what she's done to the wings there. It's I know, adorable. So glittery, aren't they? They're gorgeous. And oh, so okay. Sweet. Oh, blimey! It's all go on this show, isn't it? <laughs> I've never worked so hard. <laughs> Um, this is approaching limited stock, by the way, the entire collection of eight. Oh, Quick, very, jump back in before, before there's any more updates, Thank G. you very much, everybody. Right, well, he is more or less finished, except for that word stamp that just went, didn't it? Yes, went with the washi bundle. Yes, I was going to put a little word on there, but I might just leave that for now. But that, that would work on here, just to add another dimension. Oh, Dina's just emailed back in. Oh, bless. Uh, she says, Tufts is fine, or it could be a, a mane. Yes, I, I guess oh. the dragon does have a mane, yes, I think that. I think I have heard that before. Mm, I don't know, though. Uh, because would, would this part be the mane? Because we're thinking about these lovely sort of... Because it also has... I don't know. <gasps> I don't know. It's wonderful. You can make your own story. <laughs> Fronds. I love it. Yeah, they're mythical. So you, they, it, it can, can all be, be whatever you want it to be. <laughs> yes. I love it. Sorry, and they would make a lovely book, I thought, for it to do with... In fact, Malcolm, a business partner, suggested that as well, that uh, you could make a, a book with your brand fairies, couldn't you? Of course you could. Incorporating yes, nice... all of these into a little story. Love... Yes, you could. Um, let me show you some more. Ah, oh, I'll show you a little Derek. As we've decided. <laughs> a little cheeky Derek emerging out of his shell. It's beautiful, that one. Dora's done that and she's used a pencil to shade him in a little bit more. So he looks like he's been hand-drawn now, doesn't he? Yeah, beautiful. And that's using the papers behind. So. Love it, love it, love it. I, I, I have to show you this again as well because this was actually a, a sample made up uh, by Dina Rangeley herself who designed the stamps. That is perfect. That's lovely, isn't it? You'd Beautiful. Have a very funky form. Yeah, you wouldn't you just? On the back. It would never be um, mistaken for anybody else's, would it? Nope. I love that. Wonderful. Another um, one from Helen Chilton. Then here Let me be dragons. It says. Let me show you some more. I don't know who said that, but somebody said, "Here be dragons." Here be dragons. Yes. I don't know why I've said that like a pirate. <laughs> that doesn't doesn't quite work, does it? Uh, right. Here's another Derek. The baby dra dragon. Oh, and look, on a, on a tag here um, by Sally Holmes, your yeah. design team are amazing. Do they post all their um, makes oh, on, yes. on your yeah, on um, Facebook? Group. Yeah, and on their own Facebook pages too. And so. this is the Wishing... The Wishing Willow. Wishing Willow. Oh! Oh, this is clever. 
Yes, it's got magic. Ling, Ling yes. Curtain there. It's got magic incorporated. That is very, very... I wouldn't even begin to wonder how the heck she's managed to incorporate... No, oh, no, that's pretty amazing, isn't that it? Into, isn't that amazing? I wouldn't like to try it either. Limited stock, limited stock, <laughs> limited stock on the complete bundle. I'm not surprised. Let me show you some more samples, because I, I just adore this. And please do check out. We literally have a minute and a half left on the show. And I've got to come back to what I think is my most favourite sample <laughs> that I didn't even think was anything to do with these collections and I hesitated to pick it up earlier but if I open the little door Isn't there she is so sweet. it is beautiful those little doors are very popular at the moment so that's a very on trend sort of thing to do I think yeah. and I, I wouldn't have thought of that either maybe that's a little collection that uh, the crafty individuals need to uh, to think about putting together. I don't know. Listen, not for me. My job is to just stand here and guide you through everything. So you're back with this, uh, Jean, in October. October. Begin the first Friday, I think it is. In October. Fabulous. And we're thinking landscapes. We're thinking landscapes. Are we thinking real landscapes or are we thinking mythical? Oof. Oof. Well, could be either, really. Could be anything. Any any papers on the way? Any? Uh, is there papers on that one? Yes, there is papers, actually, yeah. OK. Yeah. OK. All right. That's I'll another secret. I'll stop being nosy now. <laughs> Thank you. It's lovely to meet you. And you. Um, yeah. and, and I hope I'm here for the October yeah. uh, show. Uh, although the management might have seen it by then and I'll be... Uh, <laughs> kicked out on my ear. Who knows? Listen, do check out your basket. It's been ever so popular on the full collection. We've had a couple of sellouts on this show. This isn't far from selling out as well. Uh, so do check out your baskets and don't forget to follow Crafty Individuals on social media as well. Stay right where you are because there's some brilliant shows after this. Here he is, the dashingly handsome young man that is Make It Joe, here with Hayley after the break with some fabulous fabrics, lots of colour there, and then Leone and the One Day Special. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar, and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day, there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace. And so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia. And along the way, I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers. And that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start, and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. We aim to inspire you, to be educational, and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show, so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home.
Hello there and welcome back. We have got an hour of magic, material magic. And as you can see, we've got some incredible fabrics to share with you. Hobbies and sports of all sorts, all sorts of different styles with these ones. So whether you're into your football, whether you're into your cycling, whether you're into your horse riding, or kind of doing all those kind of dancey things that they do with horses. What they call it, dressage? Well, all of these fabulous pay, uh, fabrics that we've got here are going to depict those different hobbies. But if that wasn't enough choice for you with your pick and mix, we have got even more. Clues on the screen there, material magic. So we've got the magic man himself. Fabulous make it, Joe. How you doing? <laughs> magic man. I'm getting all these compliments. You I'm are. blushing now. I we think won't I'm be blushing. Able to get that head I won't through the be door. able to get through that doorway. <laughs> it's lovely to see you. And you too, my yeah, dear. And I'm super excited about these because obviously a brilliant. lot of people know me that sport is a massive part yes. of my life. Yeah. And to combine fabrics, craft and sport. What more could you want? Well, this is it. And the beauty is it's pick and mix. So you don't have to just choose one sport. You can choose three and pay just 9 99 for those three fat quarters. Shall I take you through some of the options? We have got everything. So whatever hobby you are into, if you're into, I believe this one is called golf. Little ball and a hole and flags. I think that's about my knowledge of golf. Unless there's a windmill at the end, I'm not interested. Yeah, like a bit of crazy golf. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> this is lovely. I love the colour, obviously depicting the green in the backdrop, but what a fabulous fabric. Yeah, like they're one. lovely. I have to say as well, it's the, the you can feel it, Hayley, oh, as well. Oh, it's beautiful It's quality. organic, 100% yes. cotton. Oh, that's so right. So it's super, super lovely. Uh, just so, such a pleasure to work with as well, whether it's for your mixed media, whether it's for your quilting. Absolutely love these. And just with this particular one, just to kind of show you, um, I'm holding that up. Now, you would imagine that you'd be able to see that fabric behind. It's quite a light fabric behind there, but you can see the quality of this. The light isn't shining through, so that gives you a lot of an idea with regards to how this fabric is. So this one, we've got a couple of different um, kind of golf themes, I believe. I think that one's golf as well. Um, so the, or is it hockey? No, it's golf. <laughs> it's called <laughs> hole in one. They're both very similar in my world. So those two together would naturally be a fabulous pick and mix. You could actually go for two of the same of one of those if you're wanting to, or add in another sporty fabric along those lines. Now, I know this one's going to be popular because I know there's so many people out there who um, attend uh, karate clubs. Maybe judo with this one? I don't know. I don't think you're kicking judo, do you, as much like that? But I don't know. It's a long time since I was involved in that. So there you go. You can see they're absolutely amazing. But I know the karate belt is one that is going to be a very much interest to people. So each one of these hobbies, we've kind of got two variations on the same thing. Yeah, there's a minimum of two on most of the designs, Hayley. And it's just nice that why we wanted to at Material Magic as well is throw in the spots so you can mix and match in those spots with each sport as well. I mean, it is lovely because obviously there is major sports events on at the moment. There and are, to have yeah. this variety, I, I just love them all. I really do. I love this one. Now, if you're off to France, you want to go on a tour. So that's this next fabric that you've got there, as you can see there. And then this one, I love this, because this is kind of how you see all the different bits and pieces, don't you? Your bike's in little parts when you're changing the, I don't know, the brakes and all those different things. So those two depicting, obviously, your cycling, if you're into your cycling. Then we start talking about football. And I love this, because you've almost got a positive and negative with these two. Very similar print of the football, but obviously you've got your white backdrop and your black backdrop with regards to these ones. But to add another couple into the mix as well you have got your what's this one black goal <laughs> with an exclamation mark i imagine um, and again you you kind of got your positive and negative that one's called white goal if you want in that particular one as well oh, very popular. as you can imagine those ones are very popular in my house oh i can if imagine it's not craft it is football <laughs> but this is brilliant because you've actually got six relating to football i can see you kind of a hankering towards yeah football. no i did yeah <laughs> I, I went and had a little play at material magic and thought well you know we've got to have some football fabrics but thinking about this if you've got six options that's two of your pick and mixes so you could go for all six of those for just 9.99 so there you go again you've got your goal your white goal there then we're moving over to this one here which again you've got lots of different elements with regards to football life of course you've got your white back, white backdrop there and your darker backdrop again so again all six of those perfect if you are into um, sports and football particularly then we start moving towards um, our horses so equestrian i believe we're looking at with the next one here oh this is fancy um and again you've got your white or you've got your tan backdrop with this one so you can see there are all sorts of different elements relating to not just equestrianism if that is a word i don't know I'm making it up now um, but all sorts kind of horse related really next two again these are working with your horses again you've got your white backdrop as you can see there and again your kind of a uh, taupe or brown uh, backdrop with these two so again these are fabulous 
list that you can see there, all relating. So we're up to four with regards to your horse interest. And then the last two, again, um, elements to do with your horses as well. So if you want to know those last two, similar style to how we saw with the football earlier on, with lots of different kind of elements relating to horse riding, then you've got your grey backdrop and you've got your white backdrop. But as I mentioned, these aren't your only fabrics within that pick and mix. We can jump onto the website to show you. There's absolutely loads to choose from. So, of course, you've got all your different sporty elements there, as you can see. But as you scroll down, you'll be able to see you can just add those into your basket as you go. But if you're wanting to go for something perhaps as a filler or something to extend, um, you've got the most incredible um, polka dot fabrics, as you can see there. I'll show you those a little bit later on. But they kind of are what they say on the label there. You've got positives and negatives for each one of those different colour groupings there. So, again, another way for you to get the most out of those fat quarters with your sports um, on there. Do like the ochre there. Very nice indeed. Yeah, it's my and we've got the random color, stable life at the end. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what happened there, but it's just the way it is. Now, we've got some pre-put-together bundles as well. Now, these are brilliant because I thought has gone into these with regards to kind of uh, colour tones that work together. And again, repeats of fabrics that are very similar. No, very much so. And it is, again, that 100% organic uh, fabric there, so that cotton. I just look, I think out of the three, it's got to be my favourite. It's the first one. It's the floral vintage. Beautiful. Stunning, isn't it? I mean, it's a timeless design. It yes. really is. Yeah. But to have all that range of colour in there. And if we were going to go for a pick and mix on the spots as well, to bring some of those spots in with it, mm -hmm. it really does work really good, well. Good point. Now, these naturally all work together because they've got very similar prints with regards to them. But, of course, you've got the connectivity of the print. But then you could be going down your colour groupings with regards to some of these as well. So this one is your floor. We've got three options for you with these. So if you're wanting your florals, those are they. Now, the next two, more of a natural tone with these. This one is called your natural mix. This one is perfect as kind of like a blender, I think. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, that natural tone running through, Hayley, I mean, it's... There's such a small detail in the design that if you're going to use it for journal covers yeah. and mixed media as well, but also for a quilt, yes. you know, for a little quilt there, it's great because they all blend in together and that lovely natural tone. Very much so. Um, and again, small repeats there. So if you are doing things like your English paper piecing, absolutely perfect because you'll see them. And then of course, you can use things to, um, like your bindings with those as well. Now, the next one, these actually work very well together. Those are your naturals, but these ones have got more of a grey look to them, grey tone to them. But in your naturals, you have have got a hint of grey featuring in some of those designs. So those two together really do work well. So if you can stretch to two of those sets, then I would certainly be adding the grey alongside the natural into my bundle. It's those hearts that you can see at the moment there. In the natural, we've got kind of the nod to the grey in those as well. So that's why they work um, so well together. But again, small repeats, very usable fabrics. And again, fat quarter sizes, so really good usable size pieces with those. 364921, you've got your three Three different options with regards to those, all on the same item number. So if you really can't choose and you want all three, then you can do it and there's no additional postage with those. 364921 if you want them. Now, the returning favourites. <laughs> and this is one we are always busy for the cotton drills. We've got the camouflage as well. These Especially at that price. Well, this is it. <laughs> the price on your screen. Now, this is extra wide, isn't it? It is it's extra gone. wide, yeah. I mean, you you really do champion it because you've, you've used it, you've seen it, Hayley. Yeah. And it is that, it's durability, yes. your cotton drill, it's a good thick weight backing, bags, cushions, Perfect. all sorts. So if we were going to use some of the lighter weight fat quarters and we wanted something a bit heavier on yes. the back, this is lovely. There's no shrinkage in it. Exactly, yeah. So we don't have to pre-wash it. So if we're making something that we, we would wash in the future, we don't have to do that. So Definitely. it's good to go. If this is a fabric that could speak, it would kind of go... <clears throat> it would, like wouldn't a it? Yeah, it's, solid, a, it's a very solid, solid fabric. <laughs> it is. Brilliant for clothing. So if you do want to use it, and at the moment, dungarees are everywhere. They are, You're yeah. You're seeing them everywhere yeah. where people are making these. And this is a brilliant fabric to use because, I of course... I didn't quite take to the dungaree look. It didn't <laughs> quite suit me. I'll knock you up a pair in the break, yeah. don't worry. <laughs> um, you're getting half metres with regards to these and you choose any two of them. So if you do decide to go for doubles up of these, I'm guessing we've got continuous runs. It will be. Always a continuous cut on there. Yeah. And like you were saying, Hayley, it's that 60-inch width. Yes, yeah. So it's a lot of fabric for your money. And Very with that £5 so. saving, it's phenomenal. It is. Now, of course, you've got your planes that we just looked at there, but you've also got your 
camouflage as options as well. And not just kind of your green camouflage that many of us will think of when you think of camouflage. You've got variations. I love the blue and the greys within these as yeah, well. Yeah, we've got a little bit of in our house because this is Lily's favourite from the drill. So uh, she did make a little bit of bunting in there just to give you an oh, idea. Oh, she did, yes, I saw that and I meant um, to bring that Just out. to give you an idea that we can mix and match with the camo and a plane. But Aww. it's such a lovely weight to it as well. So, it, Lily, it, thank you so much for this. It makes <laughs> our lives so much easier when she we've won't got be examples. Watching. She won't be watching Dad. She'll be doing something <laughs> way more interesting. She will be, yeah. She'll be drawing, <laughs> no doubt. Um, brilliant value for money. It teams up perfectly with the cotton drill as well. You can see on the flip side of these, that's where that's been used on the underside. But Show quite rightly said, if you're into your bag making, this is a fabulous one. Especially if you're wanting to do something like a plique on the outside of your bag. You need a good solid fabric that's going to be able to kind of give you that substance with a bag, but have that simplicity of style to show off your applique. It's on the website though, along with everything else. And Joe always brings us some of those most useful things that might not be the most glamorous, but they're the things that we need things like your hessian things like your um, your cotton canvas there pvc if you want in that for pockets in projects look at that 9.99 for two meters my goodness and if you are looking for practical things like protecting your tables heat resistant table protector as you can see and treat yourself to a pair of those scissors they are absolutely incredible so any of those goodies can go in your basket alongside your fabrics and also do have a little look at our seven day savers just in case you fancy popping a couple of those in as well they go up in price at the weekend so you haven't got that long to take advantage of them. So then, Joe, oh, I can see the football fabric. Yeah, well, it had to be, didn't it? In my <laughs> house, like I was saying, if it's fabrics and crafts and football, what more could I want? So <laughs> uh, I'm going to have a little play with a little bit of a mini make, really. It's a work in progress project. As a lot of people know that myself and Lily, we have a little play with projects at home. And now that we're allowed to do so safely, we can have sleepovers. We should start in making, bless her, this lovely little bag uh, to put pyjamas in. Oh. So what she's done here, she's used... Uh, she's a far better sewer than me. <laughs> she's brilliant. So she's you've got the, uh, the dotty her, there in the, in the blue, and you've got the football, because we are a bit of a blue football fan in our household. Um, and what she's done is made that little case, little envelope, but we want to finish it off. We want to jazz it up a little bit. So we're going to use some of the contrasting fabrics there and obviously some of the essentials. So what I've got here, I've got some of the Fuserweb. So I think everybody must have used Fuserweb well, by now. Well, yeah, it's, it's it is one of those a staple that, thing, isn't it? Yeah, I think my car's even full of Fuserweb, <laughs> just in case. Don't you know. forget, Show, we need to mention about your prize giveaway as well to, yes, to people placing an order here. during this hour. This lovely, I, I, I want to keep this one myself because I know it what's well in it. Well stuffed, if so you don't this mind is, saying. This is lovely. So there's two kilos parcel. There's five of these to give away, and I will do it live on Monday, do a draw. So if you make a purchase within the hour on Make It Joe on Facebook, you will get luckily enough you might get one of these oh they're always popular those bundles aren't they yeah Sorry. no i love those um, i just suddenly thought i forgot to mention it earlier <laughs> so i've got a piece of a4 card very simple bit of fuse web just going to draw around it to create an a4 sheet okay so like i said it is one of those essentials that i use a lot Combined with the calico is absolutely superb. And obviously the calico at the moment on the show for two meters for 9.99 is phenomenal. So I'm gonna draw around my card just to give me a template. This is where a lot of people uh, sort of message me and go, you're using your fabric scissors for future. It's okay, honestly, trust me. I'm I've, it used, I've obviously used okay, my scissors yeah. every day of the week for cutting thousands of pieces of fabrics and I've never had an issue with the fuser web. There we go. So I'm just cutting my A4 out. So really, really simple. So I'm creating an A4 printing sheet that we're going to use, but slightly different. We're going to try and combine it with our little half-made mini make that Lily made for her overnight pyjamas. So here we go. And it's lovely to see now that people are managing to do different things safely and, oh, and see yes. family. And I think, you know, if we can make a gift, and make something to take with us. I think it's great. And the fat quarters that we've got on today, Haley, I oh, just love them. I really do. There we go. So we've got our A4 fuser web. Bear in mind, if you haven't used the fuser web, you have got a paper side and you've got the glue side. So we mustn't use our iron on the glue side. It must be on the paper side itself. What I did earlier, I actually cut a piece of A4 dotty 
So the, the blue again, just that contrast that we've already used on our little uh, pouch there. And I've cut that into A4. So my iron should be nice and warm now. And, and the all nice I'm thing about do... the, your fuser web, it comes with instructions as well, It does indeed, it? yeah. yeah. I apologise if there's any spelling mistakes because it is my instructions. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can mean? see, actually, you can see now as well the table protector I use all the time, my little oh, mat. Okay, yes. So if you haven't got any uh, protection on your table, the table protector that is available is superb because oh, it just okay. stops those burns. Um, I get carried away and I do generally make a mess, so anything that helps is perfect. So I'm just going to line that in place with my fuser web, get some heat on it so it is all in line so we're creating a fabric and fuse web a4 printing sheet basically okay. so i'm just going to get some heat on there just going to turn it over just to make sure that it is all lined up because i want it all perfect there we go so we can again put the iron on the paper side not the glue side i've done it i sometimes get a bit rushed carried away in my little five minute makes and uh get the wrong side and put it down but I'm just making sure that there's enough heat on there that it has all stuck because we're going to use my printer in a minute okay there we go just on the top edge and if we've got any threads there loose on the salvage there we're just going to snip them off because we don't want those loose bits going through the printer itself so we're just going to snip those off there so we can there actually we print onto this fabric so yeah what I'm going to do is slightly different but we can print but I'm going to do something a little bit different to finish off this. So, well, okay. in effect, all I've got is no difference than a piece of paper right. I'm going to use, Hayley, to cool in my printer. I've got some lovely little letters that I've drawn in reverse. Can we see what it says? Can Ooh. we guess? Ah, play. <laughs> so that's going to go on the top of my printer just so that I've got those letters coming out. And we're going to use our fuser web and our fabric piece. Bearing in mind, you must realise which way your printer prints. So does it take and print from the top or the bottom? Oh, yes. I'm going to actually print onto the paper of the fuser web, not the fabric oh, itself. Because okay. right. I'm using it as a bit of a template. So we're just going to wake this up. And this is where my cross my fingers, toes. <laughs> and everything in between. Everything. Okay, so we're going to turn that on. I know my printer prints on the top of the paper. So it's going to pull it through, in theory. <laughs> there we go, there off we it go. goes. And it comes out. Wonderful. So, fabric's all in place, and on the back, we've got oh, our letters. Okay. okay. So, I'm going to get my scissors, going to get my lovely little uh, pyjama case, and pop that over like so. Put that there. I'm going to start cutting these out. The key with the fuser web, once it's bonded, it just gives you that stiffness to take through the actual printer. Okay. I've had a couple of messages le lately where people try to put just fabric or just their calico through. Oh, yes. So you must put your fuser web on there. It gives it the stiffness to go through, but it also gives you the ability then that when you finish, you'll see when I've cut the first letter out. Can I just mention can... as well, when we're talking about printers and you're talking about your fuser web, we're talking about inkjet printers. Laser printers work with heat and heat and fuser web, well, you can imagine what happens. They kind of get <laughs> stuck together. So just bear that in mind um, when you are working with your printer. If you've got an inkjet printer, fine. Um, if you've got a heat um, activated one, like your, your laser printers, then obviously it's a slightly different story with regards to those. So all I'm doing now is cutting the last bit of the P. I won't bore you to do the rest, but we'll show you the first one first. So I'm literally just snipping it out, and because you've got the paper backing on there, it doesn't make it a lot easier to okay. cut out as well. So I'm going to pop that to one side, and straight away there, you'll see my P. Love Perfect. It. In the dots. So we're going to turn that over, and we're going to pop this in the middle of our lovely football fabric so I'm going to peel the backing off. Wonderful. This is the fiddly bit if you've got a needle sometimes it helps but the key is then not only we've given it that rigidity big word to go through the printer we've also got the fuser web ready on the back so we're gonna literally Press we're just it gonna in judge place. that so we're, we're central well, what we can Lily do is, if you want to get the first letter in place, I can do a bit of a review of all yep. the um, fat quarters while you there put the other letters go. in place, if you want. Perfect, Hayley. Teamwork. <laughs> there we go. So, straight away, we've got the P 
already on there, so we're going to personalise it. Fabulous. If we wanted to put a name on there, obviously I'm putting play on, because what more could we want to do with football as well? Absolutely fabulous. Thank you, Joe. You're welcome. Now, of course, all the polka dot fabric that um, Joe has been working with is available as a positive and a negative. So, obviously, Joe is working with the white with the blue on there, but there is a blue and the white alternative. So, lots of those. And they're all part of the pick and mix, including the ones behind me. Now, these have been very popular items. I don't know which way to stand with regard to this. I'm going to stand over here. So, lots of popular um, designs with regard to these. So, um, yeah. I'll, I'll give you some updates with regards to some of them as we go, but because there's so many, I'm not going to go through every single one of those. So, golf. For golf, we've actually got two different fabrics for you to choose from with regards to these. So, you've got the one here, obviously, with your golfer. You've got your bucket of balls, I believe it's called. Um, and uh, this particular one's called Golf Life, whereas this one is called Hole in One. So, those are your two references with regards to your golf. Then we're moving on to karate, and that's exactly what we've got with the next one. Obviously, you've got the land of the, the rising sun there, so you've got the sun feature there and of course you've got um, your karate moves maybe judo i don't know i'm not quite sure where the difference comes in if you're watching and you know to it then email in studio at the craft store.com but then we've got the belts relating to karate featuring here as well which is a really nice one so if you've got anybody that maybe you're making a kit bag or something like that then those two absolutely perfect for karate and of course judo with regards to belts as well then we're taking a nod to cycling with tour de france and they've got your cycling life with this one as well so it's cycling life, very, very busy with regards to that one. And that's where you've got all the different elements. So you can see you've got your cycling gear there. You've got your little cycling shoes as well, which I didn't realise actually lock into the pedals as well. It's a lot of interesting yeah, facts. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, it's definitely. Perfect, isn't it? All yeah, the but... small little designs on it, absolutely love it. It's lovely, isn't it? I do like that one. Nice one to fussy cut as well if you're doing things like paper piecing as well. You could isolate certain areas. So those are the two relating to cycling. When we start looking at football, you've actually got six different fabrics featuring football. Um, positive and negative with regards to your footballs, as you can see here. So you can see, obviously, your black backdrop and your white backdrop, um, which, of course, are fabulous for the sport. Then we're moving on to players. So the players you've got on your fabric here it's almost like a chalk look with regards to the black and almost like a chalk design so this one is called um, black ghoul Go. Go. <laughs> and then white goal if you want in the white version of those again those two work brilliantly alongside each other and then we're looking towards um, football life with the next two again you've got your light backdrop with the white and the black there and again lots of different elements relating to um, football as you can see there so those are all, all six of them relating to football because it's a pick and mix you can choose three if you go in for two pick and mixes you could get all six of those which I think is a nice way of getting hold of them as well but we've got lots of um, horse riders and equestrians um, getting involved with this show. So, again, we've got six different options with regards to your horse riding equestrian themes. Um, the first two are kind of uh, the same fabric but different backdrops with regards to these. So the tan one, you're liking the look of that particular one, and that one rapidly approaching 20% of the stock has gone. So, again, I think this one was, what were we calling this one? Equestrian, was it? Um, oh, equestrian white or equestrian tan, depending on which you're wanting to go for. Then the next fabric, again, a similar sort of print, but this is dressage this time. And you can see that you've got your two with your light, and then you've got your darker backdrop with regards to that one as well. So again, if you're wanting those ones, that one is called equestrian. We're calling that one chocolate, I believe. So there you go, if you're wanting those. And then the last one that we've got is your um, uh, stable life. Stable life. So again, all of the paraphernalia, all the bits that you need if you've got a horse, I believe. So there you go. All of those different elements. Again, on that gorgeous kind of bluey grey backdrop, as you can see there. And then you've got your white backdrop as well. So again, because there's six different fabrics relating to horse riding, then uh, of course you could go for all of those with two of your pick and mixes. But if you're taken by those spots that Joe was working with, we've got all of those at the front here. Now these are brilliant because you've got positives and negatives with these. So each time you see one of these, if it's got a white backdrop then there will be a reverse version of this one so kicking things off with the gray so this one we've got the white with your gray spots but there will be a gray with white spots which is actually down the other end but it's it kind of you can get an idea of how they work some of them have been paired up on here so the next one that we've got is more of a natural tone so you can kind of get the idea with regards to that so you've got your white with your natural and then your natural with your white then as you go across we've got the blue that joe was working with beautiful soft blue so you've got your white with your blue and then your uh, blue with your white as you can see then we've got pink next so again you've got your white with your pink your pink with your white 
It sounds like a tongue twister, doesn't it, as I'm going through <laughs> You're these. You're doing well, Hayley. You're doing well. <laughs> and next we've got your white with your green and then your green with your white. Are we calling that green? Mint. Yes, Mint. I, think that's, I think that's closer to the truth on that one. Minty, very much so. My favourite is the next one, though. I love these strong mustard tones that we've got with the next one, but we're calling this one ochre. So with ochre, you've got your white with your ochre and then your ochre with your white. The beauty of these is these go together so, so well because you've got the same size of the spots, the same spacing of the spots, and, of course, the same colour tone. Then we've got your lilac. So you've got your white with your lilac on the top, and we will have the um, other way around, but there's that missing green. Gray. It obviously like to get nestled in between those two like the purple tones there. I don't know why it was over here, but it is. But to be honest, it does work well with them as well. So any of those that you wanted to go for, three of them for your $9.99, I think is phenomenal value for money. And there is so much choice. Website will show all of them. So do have a little look on there. Um, and of course, they are fat quarters. So when you're ordering in multiples, there will be pre-cut pieces with these. Do bear that in mind. So uh, yes, if you're going for two of them, please don't expect it to be a half metre. I don't think it, they're all pre-cut, no, aren't all they? Pre -cut. Quarters, yeah. They tend to be, so I assumed a little there. <laughs> but when we start talking about the cotton drills, this is a different story. Because with your cotton drills, you're going to be ordering two half metres. So if you do decide to go for two options of the same colourway, then it will come to you as a full metre, which of course can be a very usable piece of fabric. And you have got so much choice with these. There's loads. You've got your gorgeous um, kind of uh, fluorescent there. My goodness, do not adjust your set. It's bright, isn't it? it? But that's a good one if you're it looking good, at safety yeah. gear. Definitely for backpacks, yes, you know, if you're yeah. cycling, I think it's great. And it is very fluorescent. So. And even if you're doing things like armbands yeah, or, no, or tags to go on school bags yeah. and things like that, I think that's a really good one. So that one's called Flow Yellow. Then you've got your white, which well, is what it is, isn't it, with your white? Lovely grey there as well, like a steel grey. Nice and bright yellow, as you can see, with regards to the next one. Red tones being your next. And these are brilliant weight, and we were talking about these, and these are pre-washed, um, pre -washed, so you have yep. no worry about shrinkage. Exactly that. Orange there as well, as you can see. The most incredible cobalt blue. That is beautiful blue there. Really eye-catching. Works well alongside the navy, as you can see there. So maybe you're using those two together in a bag. Incidentally, these pieces are 60 inches wide, so perfect for things like your bags. But because of the width that you've got there, also brilliant for clothing as well. That gorgeous bit. I mean, could you imagine making some capri pants or something like that out of those? It'd be amazing. Um, green as well, bottle green. Bottle green was a school uniform colour for me. So Yeah, mm, no, definitely not that racing green. I am kind of falling back yeah. in love with green, though. It has been a few years since I was at school, so I think, <laughs> I think we're OK. Um, then a lovely kind of um, soft grey with this next one, which is a, a nice one. If you want an alternative to white, that's quite a nice one to go for. Lovely teal, though. Yeah, that's yeah, it's one of my favourites, that one. I like, do fabulous? like a bit of teal. And then you've got things like your... Um, this one's kind of like a, an earthy green that you've got there. You've got that kind of emerald green. And then you've got some of your earthy turns. And these earthy turns are perfect to work alongside things like your camouflages. I'm going to bring that in there. Can you see how they work really really well there including that gorgeous green that i just spoke of there so if you like the look of those then you're going to certainly want to have a little look at the camouflage and we've got three different options with regards to the camouflage that are also in that pick and mix so whichever you fancy you're going to choose two of those for just 12 pounds and 99 pence don't forget they are pre-shrunk they are 60 inches wide so no guesswork involved with these ones and you have just got so much value for money with your 12.99 getting you two half meters Brilliant. 414158. So, on the website, you're going to find all sorts of other fabulous bits and pieces as well, which Joe always brings to us. And I think, are we going back over to Joe now? We are indeed. We're going back over to me. We're coming back over to you. How did you get on with your other letters? So, play's done. Let me hold that up. Hey, there we go. There I hope is. Lily likes it. That looks fabulous. So a nice little play on there. Like I say, it's just combining. So if you wanted to go for a couple of the sports, and obviously we know sports are very popular yes, at the moment. Yeah. There's big events all around the world, and it, you can combine them with the spots as well. So you don't have Love to it. just have two sports. You can have a spot in there and really complement those. So I'm hoping I'll get some brownie points from my daughter with that one. Oh, so you might have to work crossed. hard. Or I know she, how there'll hard be some issue be. with it that it's not quite <laughs> right. <to> be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I'd have a little play with the the bundles so the vintage floral bundle but i've combined probably i think both of our favorite color in the spot oh, yes. is the ochre yes so i've got oh good the choice ochre here with a couple of the vintage bundles here nice. and you can see I, i'm not a quilter 
or a patchworker. But I've had a little play with these this morning. So what I'm going to do is going to have a little mini make with these and give you an idea. I've cut approximately eight to nine inch squares in the two ochres and two of the vintage florals with that oak almost running through there with a bl beautiful blue. Okay. So straight away, I mean, you'll probably, you'll know straight away, Hayley, that it's all about the ironing, isn't it? It is, but you know what? I'm not a big rule follower when it comes to anything. I think whatever way you want to do it, it makes you feel comfortable and it's about enjoying it. That's more of it for me. 100%. So you took you'll the words out of my mouth. Well, some people will say, oh, you've got to always press to the dark side, press to the dark. And I'm like, no, sometimes if you want to press those seams open, then yeah. that's fine. No, definitely. I mean, all I'm doing here is pressing those seams down just so that we can combine them together for this mini make that we're going to have a little go at. So do exactly the same with the second one. And we can see the sewing machine there is looming. I say looming very loosely because oh, if it you. works, it works. If it doesn't, who knows? Oh, so we're going to do fabulous. exactly the same with this one, just to make sure that it's a little bit flatter to put it through. I've got some little pins with me as well. Just going to open that up. And I just love to play. I love to play. Um, I say I won't take credit for a lot of the projects that I make because some of them are Lily's, some of them are my mum's, bless her. We just like to do it together. And it is all about having that fun. And like you say, Hayley, there's no rules. This you know, just it. enjoy it. Exactly. You've got to enjoy it. That's what it's all about. And I would much rather somebody break every single rule of sewing and have a fabulous couple of hours sewing um, than to be following every rule and then finding it quite meticulous and quite boring, to be honest, Definitely. sometimes if you're following Well, I was rules. sewing this morning and I think I woke my son up. So he was oh, like, what are you doing, Dad? I'm just playing. <laughs> just playing around. <laughs> He's, he's the non-sewer of the family. <laughs> <laughs> so all I've done is iron those flat, I've put them face to face, we're going to literally just whiz this through a straight little stitch all the way through to combine it to give us a mini little quilt and we'll, well show you what we're going to do. Well you're Joe, I'm going to show off those fabrics if that's yeah, okay. Yeah, no, definitely. These are absolutely beautiful. You're getting good sized pieces with these as well. So I'm going to open up the first one that Joe's working with. Um, you saw obviously he's cut a square with this one, but you've got good sized pieces with regards to these. So this one is your vintage floral bundle so you can see good pieces there and you're going to get that gorgeous blue that um, Joe is working with um, and again you cut each one of these to be honest is a very similar style of fabric so when I say similar style I mean with regards to the print so they all work well together but naturally the next one is going to work well because you've got such a high content of yellow in there so instantly you can see how the two work together then as we work our way around and um, down we've got a nod to kind of almost like a, um, a coral red it's a beautiful red I wish you could actually see this in the studio because it looks gorgeous but again look at those two together and if I fold that back that will kind of give you an idea of how it's going to look when you've quilted it together because you can see obviously that seam will come together there beautifully then as you work your way down again this one has almost got a neutral look to it with the greys but a beautiful one especially if you are going for that other pick and mix that we've been talking about with regards to things like those and the little ditzy prints but look at that isn't that beautiful I love that last one down at the bottom there absolutely gorgeous now these are fat quarters and this particular one is called your vintage floral so if you want in that one as an option then the details there on your screen since we're very quickly looking at these i'm going to mention the other two as well so you know the other options so you've got your natural and in your natural you've got things like your little hearts which have got a nod to the gray as well featuring in there so both this one works alongside the next one you could use these with your blenders because of the small repeat you could use them for things like your english paper piecing you could use them for binding as well um, and again they all work so well together now each of these fabrics that i'm showing you there is another version of this in the next bundle of more of a gray tone and more of a cool tone so quite often that tools are looking at warm tones but if you are wanting to go more to your grays then i'll show you a bundle which is pretty much identical in prints but different with regards to your color grouping so there you go that's your natural and then the next one that we've got for you is your gray mix and again very similar those two together if you're looking for a very kind of natural tone a very gentle look or maybe you're looking at doing a backdrop because when you're making a quilt you don't necessarily have to have a solid color on the back you could almost have it as a, a reversible quilt so these would be nice ones to use on the back of your quilt as much as using them on the front to maybe space out those other fabrics you've got um, this one is your gray mix so your gray mix your natural mix and your vintage floral all of your three options on the item number on the screen there so three six four nine two one 
just 19 pounds and 99 pence absolutely amazing and of course if you're liking your neutral tones of course things like those polka dots we were looking at earlier on would be absolutely brilliant to go for as well because with those they would work alongside now with this pick and mix you've got not only those polka dots but all of these fabulous sporty fabrics behind me as well and you are living your equestrian section shall we say with regards to these so whether you're into your golf whether you're into your karate whether you're into your football or your horse riding or equestrian sports then all of these are proven to be popular you can see there you've got your karate belts or potentially your judo belts with those cycling being another very very popular hobby cycling life that gray one that you can see there next to the footballs that's proven to be a very very popular option and then when we start getting into the football section we've actually got six different fabrics there so you could quite easily go in for two of your pick and mixes and take each one of those as options then we start moving into our equestrian section <laughs> that sounds like a department store don't I so with your equestrians you've got some fabulous fabrics two fabrics that are very very similar which will come to in just a few moments there we go they are indeed there one with your white backdrop one with your more of a tan backdrop those ones are called equestrians and uh, the next one that we've got is your dressage now the third of the stock has gone incidentally of that tan option that you can see there the equestrian option you can see there you've got those very prancy horses very prancy um, and with those you've got your white backdrop or your chocolate backdrop again very popular and then stable life again you've got two options with these that kind of gray blue backdrop and then of course your bright white all six of those fabulous and again if you want to go for all six go for two of those pick and mixes and you can choose each one of them for 9.99 for each set of three brilliant value for money how are you getting on over there I, joe I, well i didn't have any choice words the sewing machine actually did work so fabulous. we're all good uh, like i said not being a quilter or a patchwork uh, I'm, I'm just enjoying it. And it is lovely to combine those fabrics together. You can see straight away with the ochre, oh, with that, that lovely brilliant. vintage floral there. So that gives me my little panel to work on and you'll see what we're gonna create. So I'm gonna pop that to one side. I've got the stunning calico, so the 100% calico, which is available today for two meters at 9.99. That is phenomenal value I mean, for money. You, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, if I could throw two meters about our distance <laughs> away, so it is lovely, and it's such a lovely weight to it as well. It's such a natural tone, whether we're printing, embroidering, you know, stitching, backing. I'm going to use it as a backer for my little project here. So I've got a little old frame here. And I've got my calico and I'm just going to draw around it so we've got exactly the right size for my little frame. Wonderful. Now, uh, incidentally, the calico on your screen there, you're again looking at a huge width of fabric, 160 centimetres wide. It's pretty much the width, the, the, the widest you can get with fabric. 63 inches, as you can see there. Two metres you are getting for 9.99. That is phenomenal. To be able to get it at like five or a metre is incredible. But even when you're looking at that 160 wide, it is one of those prices amazing, that's kind of hard it? to believe, really. So do stock up on that one. That's one where I would certainly say keep a note of that item number because it's one that you will revisit and if you've never tried this out before because of course when you're buying fabric it's a bit tricky to do it when you're doing it through um, the tv because you can't feel it like we do like to feel fabrics but you know what for 9.99 that's what i call worth a punt price it's worth giving it <laughs> a like go it, um, uh, because you use so. it you'll use it in all sorts of different projects but for a tenner it's worth the risk i think yeah no definitely i mean it's one of those that if you're mocking up something like you said Haley, it really mm -hmm. does help it does, you know, get through those point. mistakes. Yeah, trialing something you out. Know, yeah, trialing something out, just doing those linings and different things with it. So I've got my square. So I'm going to pop that to one side there. I'm never without scissors, but I'm also never without my staple gun. So what we're going to do, we're going to get our beautiful little patchwork squares That's there. That's cute. I like that. And we're going to make a little frame here, a little gift for somebody. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just keep it nice and central. And we've got plenty of fabric. I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep it central or offset it. Oh, okay. I'm not That's sure. I'll, I'll try. I'll try and do it central. <laughs> <laughs> I'll attempt. So we're going to pop the bottom up first, and we're literally just going to keep that nice and straight at the bottom. I'm only going to put three staples in first, like so, and bring that there. Then we turn it round. We can start to see if I've got it reasonably central i think so so we'll turn it back round and we can start to pull it a little bit tighter now so one in the middle the reason why i'm only putting three in in case there was any mistake or we wanted to adjust it a little bit at least there's not too many staples to take out there we go and that side as well pull that in there and then we're going to go to the sides 
And as we come to the sides, we're just going to make a little parcel, a little tuck in. Oh, like we Christmas wrapping? Yeah, you know, a little wrapping on a parcel. There's no right or wrong way. Again, like we were saying earlier, Hayley, it really is about what you feel comfortable in having a go at. So I'm going to pop that one in there, one in the middle, so three on that side. Then when we come to the final side, and this is where we can pull it nice and tight. I'm, I think I haven't got it central, but do you know what? I'm not, I'm not too bothered. <laughs> I'm going to pop that corner in there. Lined up is so out of date. Yeah, so last year. very much so. And just enjoy it. Exactly. And pop that in there. So we've got a calico. I've also got an extra little bit of wood here. I've okay. always got bits and pieces flying around. So I'm going to show you how we're going to, what we're going to finish that with. So this just gives us that element of finish. So we're going to pop this in the corners. It's a fabulous notice board or something like yeah, that. Yeah, no, definitely. It? And I think that's the key that we can use it for so many different ideas. Just that patchwork with a difference, you know, doesn't always have to be just on on you your bed. You can see the quality of that calico again. You can't see through it. This is a, one of the signs of a good quality fabric is when you can see. No, see 100%. It, you, it's solid. It's got yeah. that opaque look to it as well. Now you're getting two meters here with regards to it. It's a lovely soft calico as well. So if you were working on a budget and you wanted to actually use this on your back of your quilt then I wouldn't I wouldn't say to you oh you know you can't use that on the back of your quilt it is a lovely soft finish you might want to wash it first because quite often with the process um, the manufacturing process sometimes fabrics can be I call them a bit starchy it's probably not the official phrase it's an unfinished <laughs> um, fabric I think they sometimes trademark say. That one. Um, but it is one of those ones that if you do want to wash it first then you can do and then it'll give it more of that kind of pliable feel to it but the calico that we've got here you can see that it's a very fluid feel to it it's not kind of a star archy kind of itchy almost like a um oh i don't know what the phrase is but you'll know if you're a sewer you'll know what i'm yeah, talking no, definitely. about definitely i know that, exactly what you that mean that calico that almost stands up by itself yeah it's a lot <laughs> you know lighter I mean? than that it's a soft yeah. calico so that you can use it in a lot more sort of makes what i've done here i've got the calico again and i've cut a strip the same width as my piece of wood okay i'm going to cut a piece here about three three inches okay, right. and what we're going to do is going to staple that to the top of my board my one, little two, bit of extra there. wood okay pop one at the top there and we'll do exactly the same with the bottom one it's slightly longer okay and you'll see i'm a massive fan that you know if you're creating your interior at home and you haven't always got the tools or you don't want to put a mark on your wall if we mm -hmm. want those beautiful pictures on our windowsills or our shelves why not do this at home so i'm going to take the small end of the calico okay i'm going to pop it in the center of my board and i'm going to staple that on there put two staples and one in the middle and I'm going to fold that over oh, and we're going to okay. do exactly the same at the bottom okay try and keep it simple central to your picture turn that round okay right and then one in the middle and then instantly what we've got is Look our little picture that. frame with our lovely little quilts not in the center fabulous, fabulous. <laughs> but a nice little make very simple using things that we have around the house but using that idea and concept of patchworking yeah. which you know sometimes it's scary isn't it and it people is, think yeah. about it but just enjoy the fabric have a little play and combine in those spots with that. I love that idea. Joe, thank you. I think it's got to go to mum, has not it? Oh, that's it. I think What's it has. I always hey, forget mum's name. What's mum's name? Sandy. Sandy, that's it. Sandy. She's, oh. she put, she's put up with me for many years, so well, she does she well. Deserves, she deserves a picture frame <laughs> for that, doesn't she? That's that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there you go. If you can see just how useful that calico is. Now, I'm going to take you through what I would call your essentials. These are things that you really do need to consider, whether you're an experienced sewer, whether you're just getting started, because the thing is, having the right tools are key. And these scissors are amazing. Now, straight away, you can see they mean business, don't they? When you look at a pair of scissors like that, you know. Obviously, you've got the signage on there. Um, Joe's more than happy to put his name on these which shows that the quality and the confidence that he's got with regards to these is key now they're 10 inch scissors they've got a lovely kind of rubberized handle to them which makes them very very comfortable to, for you to work with um, and I've worked with these scissors they are brilliant you've got a good size cutting edge there as well and they are sharp right to the very tip which I know sounds like a staff thing to say but if you are a sewer or paper crafter to be honest you will have come across scissors I am sure where they're not sharp to the tip 
and you'll find that those finer tips you kind of get like almost like a break um, in your cut line so with these they are um, right the way to the tip there you can um, tighten them up if you're wanting to as time goes on but brilliant and they come boxed as well so if you are thinking about buying them as a gift for somebody they're nice and easy for you to wrap as well so if you're wanting your scissors the details are there on your screen as you can see they're 19.99 um, at 792.753 now something that Joe brings to us regularly and they are your essentials these are the things that kind of you don't always see they're behind the scenes but they can make a difference with regards to your final project so we've also um, already seen the fuser web um, in action so this is where I was mentioned about you do get your instructions with regards to that to be honest once you've used it you won't refer to the instructions again it's just the first time that you use it just about getting your iron right and getting that um, that result but to be honest once you've done it you won't need to go back to these again you've also got your um, calico bundle as well with regards to this one so again if you're working on smaller projects then you don't necessarily need to go for the full um, 60 inch width then this is a nice way and again it's another nice way for you to kind of get like a craft bundle if you're into your fabric journals and things like that then brilliant and I know our lovely Leone was here with a tie-dye show not long ago this would be fabulous for you to work with with your mixed media so if you wanted to paint onto your fabrics do some um, embroidery do some hand stitching it do some machine embroidery even on this one you could do quite easily and it's a nice size if you're wanting to do things like um, book covers so if you're looking at something like an A5 book then that is going to be a perfect size for you to do your wrap around maybe as your lining of your book cover so 11.99 very affordable for both of those love the fact that they're on little rolls as well so um 812514 if you fancy getting hold of those but if you're wanting larger pieces, then we have got the ability for you to get hold of them in larger pieces. So obviously we were talking about the two meter pieces earlier on, but if you don't want to go down two meter route, then you can go for your one meter. 100% um, cotton with regards to this one. Brilliant quality again, Joe. Yeah, no, definitely. So it is that different sort of weight to it. So that 12 ounce weight is nice heavy weight. Like I did actually with the picture frame, if you wanted yeah. to have a go at painting, Good point. The, the, uh, the actual canvas itself is superb, it really is. And it's got is. a lovely smooth feel to it. So if you are using it potentially for stamping on, as I know lots of um, you mixed media artists out there will do, um, it's good to have that smooth finish so you don't get the break in that stamped image. So perfect if you're wanting to use it in that um, environment. Again, six inches wide, so really good size with regards to that one. And at $12.99, a very affordable bundle. But if you're wanting to add texture and interest to a project, then Hessian is a brilliant one to use. It's also one that you will use potentially in upholstery if you're wanting to. And I know Joe regularly uses this one on the back of canvases um, when he's doing things like notice boards and things like that. Um, it's something that's very, very usable. Two metres, again, 54 inches wide, good width, and again, 9.99. And it's a nice one as well. If you just want to use little pieces of it, you can do. And, of course, all those strings and those offcuts, don't throw those away because they are incredibly <laughs> useful, um, especially for if you're wanting to stitch on buttons or do ties on things like um, art journals and things and it's a really good um, kind of weight with regards to that as well so 596904 if you fancy in those but the next one that we've got for you is the calico is a larger but oh is it the same bundle this one is this two meters or the one this is a two meters so with regards to this one again 999 now it is slightly different with regards to the previous calico that we were looking I at wasn't it i think you've got them mixed up Hayley. oh is there it that way go. around that's it Right, fair enough I then. I can just see from over the other side of the room. <laughs> <laughs> so this one's got more of a fluid feel to it. Yeah. The original so the, one... the canvas is that heavier weight. Well, this is why I was, I was wondering, because the first one that we showed you, this has got more of a canvasy feel to it. Can you see when I'm saying about that it kind of stands up and it's got that more starchy look to it? So this is where you've got the fluidity of the two metres. So this is the fluidity of your two metres. So if you're wanting it to go on the back of a quilt, that's the one that you're wanting, which I'll tell you about in a few moments. But the 12 ounce is the sturdier. This is the one that is more of a canvas quality so um, more of maybe your tote bag quality if you're wanting to work with that one and you can see there you have got more of a grained um, feel with that particular one as well so that's 12.99 for you one meter so you can see with regards to that you're, you're paying more because of the the kind of sturdiness but then of course you have got your two meters as we touched on if you're wanting your two meters as that softer calico which is more of I would say this one is more of a sewing calico where the other one is more of a maybe a mixed media style
Um, 095876 if you're wanting to get hold of your two metres there. Brilliant quality. Now, I was here on Saturday, had a very busy show. Thank you to everybody that um, joined us for that one with the hobby bags. Um, and uh, the hobby bags involve having PVC in the pockets. So these, if you did manage to join us for those shows and you need your PVC, did mention that we had got it on the website and this is how you can get hold of two metres for 9.99. Brilliant quality, very stitchable in all sorts of different environments. And again, it's one of those ones. Keep a note of the item number so as you know where you can get more of that when you need it. 990-853. And of course, Joe has been working with his heat resistant mat and he's done that using the table protector. And this is brilliant. If you're wanting to get hold of this, wonderful for you to use in those kind of um, applications but also practical if you've got a table at home you're making coasters anything where you want to stop the heat getting through to the surface then this is the one for you 11.99 got about eight minutes left joe what wow. have you got planned for I'm us i'm just listening to all your little ideas and things <laughs> there and i've thrown something together to use some of that as well using some of the hessian using uh, so lovely the stable oh stable life, life yeah that equestrian range absolutely love this the reason why i love these fabrics is because for me uh, mixed media and using different projects you only need a small little piece to create something quite special so we're going to have a quick little mini make you combining some of those there i've got some of the spot in the natural as well so that lovely little spot there i've got a piece of fuse web so what I've done, I've cut my piece of fuser web to A5 size. I'm going to pop that on there and we're going to iron that straight onto the spots nice and quickly. And then just literally snip that out. Again, don't be frightened to use your iron a little bit more, a little bit less. Get used to your own iron settings as well. So I'm just going to snip that out. The key what I find with these beautiful fat quarters from the lovely Material Magic guys is that that weight, that organic 100% cotton... You know, it's such a beautiful weight to use. Um, Haley, being a bigger sewer than me, obviously is uh, can see the difference in the weights of the cottons as well. So it is lovely. So I've literally just cut this out into approximately A5 size. I've got a lovely piece of cardboard here. I have to say, I, I did find this on a shelf over there, Haley. So don't <laughs> tell anybody. <laughs> so when we've got a gap in the show later on, yeah, we know who to blame. It. We know so it's my fault. What, what happened to me card? I put it down here. <laughs> Out the way. <laughs> so I'm just going to peel the backing off. This is the uh, the pressure moment where you need some fingernails or a pin, he says. There we go. Just about there. Just rub that off. This is where I'm concentrating. There we go. Got so you've it. got fuser web on the back of that. Yeah, so I've got fuser web on the back. This is a prime example that if you start to pull it off and you see that it hasn't quite stuck, okay. then all we do is pop it back down again and we can apply a little bit more heat. So and in not all fairness, ruin it. it's the edges that we yeah, often miss, isn't it? Definitely. So just make sure that we get that heat all the way round. On both sides is fine. It also gets rid of all the creases on your fabric without ironing Good it point. previously. So which is nice. So I'm going to take that off. I'm going to use some of that lovely stable life, which I think is proving to be quite popular as well. It is, it <laughs> is. You like um, liking it, the equestrian one with the tan backdrop as well. That's proving to be there a popular one. There we go. He's well. got it. So we'll take that off. What you should be left with is a crispy piece of paper. Mm -hmm. So we've got our card that we've folded over. We're going to pop that on there just to give us a bit of a backdrop. Just get that edge down. OK, I'm going to iron that on there. And then I'm going to get my lovely hessian, that natural hessian. Just pull that up there because we don't want a crease in it. That natural hessian, which, again, like we were saying there, Haley, it just gives you a different texture, a different feel. It does. OK. Right, so, so we've got some hessian, which I've also put fuse web on the back. Okay. So that's unusual because it is so open, you think, yes. oh, it's not going to work. But it works exactly the same. We literally pop that out and you'll have the glue on the hessian. Crispy piece of paper. And we're going to pop that on there. Give kind a bit of, of an edge to it. Kind of stability to the um, hessian as well. Yeah, no, I, lo I love that natural feel as well. And mm. I think, like you said, with that season not that far away, the big Christmas. Oh, yes. Why not? And it, the key with the fuse web and the hessian, we can leave the fuse web a little bit shy to the end so we can pull a little bit of e the edging off just to give that decorative look to oh, our like card. a little frame. Nice. Yeah, I love that. I think it just gives that extra feel to it. OK, so that's our centre of our card. I want to get some of the lovely dressage here. I only need... A small piece of that because it's got all the detail in there. 
Okay, and I've got some of these actually on the Make It Joe page. There is actually some of these available, these little frames. So oh, I've always okay, got these right. little frames here. So we're going to do something different with them and use them to create something special. And combining fabrics, if you're a little bit nervous about sewing, mm -hmm. then why not have a go? Use your fuser web, use your calico, and we combine them together. So I'm going to cut another little piece of fuser web off here, like so. And it's just about layering up. So all those, if we were doing a front of a journal, if we were doing a little collage, a gift, a tag, it's the same process. So I'm just going to make sure that my size is all right. That's going to go in the middle there. There we go. So we're going to iron that on the back of my stable life. Again, I've used such a small piece just to give that detail to the mini make. There we go. Plenty of heat on that. I'm going to peel that off. Like so. Wonderful. And then we'll pop that in the middle. Those lovely tones. That's fabulous. But you see, this could be used in some of the offcuts from the present that you've made. 100%. So yeah, the 100%. gift that you've created using these fabrics, obviously brilliant, but then use the offcuts, save those, and make a card to match. And why not put a little frame on there just to frame that stable life with that little frame. Oh, and then that's instantly cute. we've got something a little bit different, a little bit unique. A little gift card. Love it. Joe, thank you so much. And don't forget, if you're ordering anything during this hour, you will go into Joe's prize draw, which he'll be drawing on Monday. And you could be winning one of those fabulous parcels um, from Joe on his Facebook page. So make sure you tune into there and that to find out if you are fortunate enough <laughs> to be one of those five. So, uh, yeah, fabulous, Joe. Thank you very much. We've only got a couple of minutes left during this show. So let me just give you um, some information with regards to the calico. You've been loving it. Now, this is the calico where you've got the larger bundle um, or larger piece should I say it's two meters and it's 160 wide 63 centimeters sorry 63 inches if you want your imperial it's a lovely soft calico um, so this is something that if you're thinking about backing for your quilt I would certainly use this one um, as I always say with fabrics make sure that you're washing them unless you know it's pre-washed so on this occasion give it a wash um, then obviously press it and you can use it for the backing of your fabric perfect if you're wanting to do your is it twirls when you're doing your, your kind of practice piece as well if you're wanting to but a lovely quality calico, so certainly do try that one out. And at $9.99, like I said, it's worth giving it a go. You can't go far wrong with prices like that. 095876. But the star of the hour has been our pick and mix. You have been loving these. And I love it that we've got so many different sporty hobbies covered within the range that we've got. If you have just joined us, we've got an amazing pick and mix. The details are on your screen, as you can see there. You're going to choose any three fabrics. Now, we've got all sorts of different hobbies covered. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see all of them. We've got your golf covered. We've got things like your karate, your judo, cycling, football, horse riding, all those equestrian activities. Whether you're into your dressage or your show jumping, you have got a perfect fabric there. And we've got some fabulous polka dot fabrics that are featuring within this same pick and mix. There's a lot of different choices there. So the best place for you to shop really is on the website with regards to those because there's lots and lots of choice, as you can see here. And they are incredible quality fabrics because it's material magic, we would expect so. Joe, when are we due to see you back again? I'm back next week. Oh, you really? I know, Are you yeah. bringing your friends? It's like buses, isn't it? <laughs> you don't see, and then all of a sudden they all come at once. And apparently, yes, he is out of isolation. Is he? Yes, yeah, so weatherman Joe apparently is coming to see us Brilliant. as well. So we will Look see. Look forward to it. So keep your eye on the schedule. And in your baskets, check your baskets out, and I will see you a little bit later on. Bye for now. But don't go anywhere. It's four o'clock, so we're coming up to your last opportunity to have a live look at the Ranger One Day Special. It's an amazing one. Dream is happy hour after that, followed by a brand new One Day Special. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home.
What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, it is final call uh, for the one. Oh, I'm very tuneful today, actually. Get you. Oh, right, you sounded bit... like Tarzan. I, I did a bit, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. yeah. He does that sort of yodely thing, doesn't he? Uh, oh, in the jungle. Do. Yeah. You all right, Chick? I'm all right. I mean, too many coffees. I'm yodeling. Yeah. It's, 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 I'm just going to warn you right now, it's going to be one of those hours. <laughs> just saying. I mean, if it's not bizarre enough, <laughs> there's going to be an extra little caffeine <laughs> twist to this show as well for the final call. The final hurrah, <laughs> shall we call it, um, on the fabulous Ranger One Day Special. And of course, the prize, we're all running through the ribbon for the prize ribbon, the brand new blue from uh, the Distress Inks. And you have been absolutely loving it. In fact, I am surprised to see the last time I did did this show uh, was eight o'clock last night, I think, um, <laughs> and I am surprised that we are still with stock at four o'clock the day after. I'm going to be honest with you, uh, because it has been mega, mega popular. Of course, whenever there's a new kid on the block, uh, whenever there's another ink to the uh, Tim Holtz collection, uh, people go crazy for it, and you just want it. And this slots in really, really nicely with the blues that are already in the uh, Distress Oxide collections. So this is prize ribbon in a wonderful bundle in the one day special with black soot and what are you calling it today, the pink one, <laughs> Leone? Um, a kitsch pink. Did I say it? Flamingo. You forgot the flamingo. Oh, I forgot the flamingo. You've I got... was so concentrating on the on the kitsch. The, that that yeah. darn kitsch. Yeah, because I been... forgot the flamingo. Most of the last twenty four hours, it's been quiche. Uh, yeah, but it's been a quiche flamingo. So now it's kitsch pink. It's actually called <laughs> kitsch flamingo. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, it's in the bundle, so you don't need to worry about that at all. So it's in the bundle. So you get your three ink pads there. <laughs> uh, of course, you've got your um, distress ink in the kitsch flamingo and your. Uh, Black soot. <laughs> you may be unsure now. <laughs> and now we've got the oxide, the brand new uh, prize ribbon blue there as well. You do get the mister, which Miss Leone has been using over quite a lot over the last days. You can see. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's fine. You fill it yourself. The water's <laughs> free, uh, or, or it's less than like a penny a glass, isn't it? Most well, water companies around the UK. That's where you live, I think. Yeah, it depends. Yeah. It's a postcode lottery. I mean, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> And, and you also get your um, your uh, mixative as well, uh, which, of course, Leone has gone through many, many times in the last 24 hours. Now, that bundle, where are we, our Charlotte, right now with the stock on this one? Oh, she's working it out as we speak right now. Over 70% of the stock sold out and gone. You are making a £9 saving on this bundle as well. £25.15. And, and that blue is absolutely gorgeous. We've been talking, we've been debating widely over the last 24 hours. We had quite an in-depth 
conversation with our Miss P earlier, didn't we? Oh, I can tell you. About well, the blue. I left the room, didn't I? I know. I was, I was glad I asked and Leone walked out. Uh, but, I had uh, heard it. I our Paula, who is the mistress of colour definition, uh, is going with a, co a cobalt uh, shade for this blue, uh, where we've all gone true blue and... Uh, ribbon, ribbon blue apparently is a thing. <laughs> ribbon blue is a thing. Absolutely, she that, that that's too. a thing. There's a little element of denim in there, <laughs> I think, as well. A little bit of a fountain pen ink kind of vibe to it. It depends as well on the papers that you're using with, uh, you're using it with, and what you're mixing it with as well. Uh, you're going to love it. Nine three six five six four is your item number for today's one day special. Then I say today's. It's not got long left in it actually. You've got two hours to grab the deal, and this is the last live hour for the one day special as well. Now, something else that you've got to have side by side, well, not got to have, but, well, listen, when you've seen it, you'll know you've got to have it, really, um, is these fantastic embossing glazes, because, again, we have got the brand new prize ribbon colour here, and we've also got the, which one is this one? Weathered wood, of course, it's weathered wood. We've been talking so much about weathered wood in the last 24 hours as well. It's absolutely wonderful. Now, this is just the most delightful finish. So, when you use the, uh, the glaze on its own in the particular colour, then that's the effect you get. If you use it with the, um, the ink pad and the embossing glaze together, this is what you get which is the most amazing and that that's what we were judging the color shade on yesterday wasn't it the, yeah the mix yeah of, that's beautiful yeah, isn't it? it is it's Absolutely just stunning. It's, it's awesome isn't it it's, it's the blue you want blue to be isn't it and you also get the weathered wood again so i'll show you the uh, so you go directly onto the card with the glaze itself and that's what you get um, that wonderful glazed finish you use it with the weathered wood ink pad and look that changes tone again and changes its appearance so so beautifully now if you use the weathered wood as a base and then put the prize Oh yes, different imp. That's right. Yes, weathered wood glaze Sorry, on the top. I'm not No, it's all right. I'm trying to remember. That's all. <laughs> so no, not that one. Uh, it, twisted citron. Oh, is it twisted so, citron? If you get the one that you just picked up, this the other one, one. That's the twisted citron. That's citr tw twisted citron. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you then put the weathered wood, that's the one that you've got in your other. Yeah, um, this one. That yeah, actually that is so that's your base. new one. Yes. So that's your um, prize ribbon. Yeah. On the twisted citron, and then on the other side is your weathered wood on top of it. It is. So where you that's it. Right. Yeah. That one there. So that's yes, using the, that's the one. weathered wood glaze above twisted citron. Exactly. Wow. And you can see the difference. When you look at the weathered wood just on white cardstock, yeah. um, and of course the, the prize ribbon just on white cardstock, you mm. can see the difference. Yes. You know, so you you create your own colours. It's absolutely fabulous. They are yeah. brilliant. It's a, a really nice, and it's because it's translucent. So, it, yeah, it gives you so many gorgeous, gorgeous effects. They are such fun. I'm going to put those back in the order, so I remember that later as well. Uh, um, either way, 70% of the stock of those glazes um, have sold and gone. They've been ever so popular. I think when people have been um, getting the one-day special, they've kind of been tagging that along with it. In fact, actually, people have been tagging along all of the bundles, because I think we've lost a bundle, haven't we? This, the, um, the sprays, mm. didn't we? Um, sold out which had the uh, prize ribbon in it as well we have still got stock of this bundle of the distress oxide ink pads as well now I'm quite surprised to see this still available I'm going to be honest with you um, this is a brilliant brilliant bundle let me tell you I was looking through and we have very very few of the oxide um, ink pads actually available full stop at the moment so this bundle is your aged mahogany your twisted citron which is such a lovely lovely color now Name, isn't it really you've got your mm -hmm. worn lipstick which is so true when you see worn lipstick just just yeah <laughs> when it's also it's just brilliant isn't it we we all know that person don't we <laughs> we all know that person where it's creeping around the edges it's a little bit darker around the edges than it is in the middle we all know that person uh, and you've got your weathered wood as well which is such a popular color uh, right now we've been using it so so much in the last 24 hours as well so you get all four of those in the bundle there for you uh, at 25 pounds and 96 pence and here they are just literally uh, stamped out and left to do their thing spritzed and then you've got that wonderful 
oxidation effect that you get with these fabulous inks as well. And look at, I mean, just the amazing textures that you get with them. They are brilliant. All four of those, £25.96, 721394 is your item number. Everything is phenomenally popular uh, here on the show today. It's brilliant. Uh, yeah. Um, £25.96, but I'm just going to shrink just a little bit. It's my, it's my quiff, that's what it is, Hugh, isn't it? That's better. No, it's all right, it's fine. It's fine. Listen, I, I have to stand it up because the fringe is going further north. What can I do? Twenty-five ninety-six. let's go to the website because there's lots more on the website as well. Where you go to check out at the end of call, when you check out, some extra goodies that you can add on with no extra P&P &P as well. Um, so you've got lots there. You've got your Ranger alloys. There's where the alloys are. They're on end of call. So you've actually got... Leone's been searching for them for ages. She had them. And she wondered where they were. They weren't in the bundles. Uh, so there they are. So you can yeah. get your sterling. Uh, and you can also uh, you can get the alcohol inks uh, as well, which is brilliant. You can get your Wink of Stella clear glitter brush. Your Zucchini Eco Versa fine small pad. There's all sorts of dilutions are on there as well. Um, and so much more. Oh, so nice. I know. No extra P&P to get those, which is really, really good. Love that. And you can get your um, smooth card and, well, there's a little bit of everything in there, isn't there? Anyway, so that's what's on the website for you, uh, which is brilliant. It's lovely. Now, with the Ranger items, you'll have to be sooner rather than later because they are so, so popular, uh, especially if you're a Freedom member because, of course, you're not factoring any postage into that. Uh, and there are some really, really lovely deals to be had here. So, one day special details are here and the lovely Leone is here. Hello. Hello. Um, right. Um, I'm, I've decided I'll do this in a minute. I'm actually going to do a project, but I'm going to do it in a minute. First of all, I know I've mainly been doing techniques because um, I enjoy doing techniques. And I think because distress is one of those things that allows you to do so many different techniques, it'd be rude not to, you know. Um, it, it's nice to, to do finished cards, but um, but my, my thing is backgrounds. I mean, look at this. Look how many backgrounds over the last 24 hours. Oh, it's so exciting. Um, so, and look, 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 beautiful. Um, anyway, I know, right? How many backgrounds? Um, can I say, I mean, I have been through a lot of um, pink frog card. <laughs> Quite frankly, it keeps going down and down, does that pile? Okay, so what I'm going to do is gel plate. Now, the gel plate, you can, of course, use your alcohol inks on the gel plate. You can also use your distress inks on the gel plate. So I thought I'm going to have a little go with the distress inks um, just to show you some of the things you can do with it. Um, I'm using my super smooth card just because I can. So, what I'm doing, first of all, let's bring on a little bit of prize ribbon at this side. And then let's use a cheeky bit of our weathered wood at this side. So literally just direct to, uh, direct to the, um, the gel plate. Now, as ever, I'm using my gel plate. So what I am going to do is get my, um, my journal and I'll use... Oh, I've got another one there. Sorry, I'm faffing. Let me just get, uh, now that one day special three quarters of the stock has gone. If you do want that, you absolutely know what to do. Let me just get my, um, another art journal. So at the side of me, I'm having another art journal. I'm being ready um, because I know that I'm going to have a dirty brayer. I want to clean the brayer. I know that ink is not going to dry. This is a distress ink. Because it's water reactive, I can keep that on for ages and still go back to it. It's not like... Um, other inks <laughs> you know it's going to keep wet it's going to keep um reactive so i know i can faff about as much as i want not a problem i'm going to go in with my brayer first and i'm going to brayer the brand new blue into the center and then just spin it round before i do i'm going to clean that off to clean that off i'm going to take my water spritzer just water spritz onto your paper now Look at this. If I don't spritz onto my paper, I get that, okay? If I spritz onto my paper, 
Let me just open my pad out. Water reactive. So obviously, if you spritz on there, because you're wetting your paper, um, it means it's, it's going to wash this out. But it also means, I mean, look at all that ink you'd have wasted. You've got a well cool background within seconds. And that, that, yeah, it'll go again with that. Because um, again, look at that, spritz onto your paper pad. I've spritzed onto the paper because then, if I spritzed onto my brayer, I'd have to keep going round and round. Whereas that, and now look at that. I love doing this because you would waste that ink. That's a cool background. I've got two really cool backgrounds. And this is why I love having an art journal next to me. Because I can keep going into the art journal and keep cleaning the, that, that uh, brayer onto those pages and it does it's just a beautiful way of holding those pages i also know coming back to my gel print uh, my gel plane again nothing's dry on this it's absolutely fine to work with so if i just took a print off this so if i just took a print as it were um I'm not going to, because I want it wet. So, water reactive. It's a distress oxide. I'm spritzing on it. I've, I'm, you can see I'm quite a distance away from it. If I went in too close, I'd just get big puddles. I don't want big puddles. I want uh, a bit of movement. Go in with your cardstock, and this is going to be my first print. So, if I just took a print from my gel plate, I get that. And I'm, I love that i just think that's absolutely beautiful it's water reactive so if i move this i can still get it to do stuff so even if can you see it moving again and i just adore this you might i don't know if you'll be able to but it's just these little there's just little dots um, um just formulating i can't pick it up to show you but there's just little dots formulating which meant if I dried it like so. If I dry it, you might be able to see those little dots forming. And I love it because it's so simple but so ridiculously effective. That's just one print off my, my gel plate. Now, you might think um, you might want the colours to blend more. You can do that. You know, it's all about playing around with it. So, I've done one print off that gel plate. So, I'm going to really wet it now let's really wet it let's get those colors really shifting and moving and changing like so this would be a point where you could um it'd be brilliant if the spritzers aren't um sold out i'd add the spritz in there they'd look really cool in there and you could always add reinkers in there um reinkers remember are really strong if you add reinker in there that green is super super strong so if i'm adding that in you do need to be a little bit careful with that because it's such a rich ink it, you don't want it to dominate, um, which it, it can absolutely do with those colours. I'm just taking my, my palette knife and just swishing those colours around. Be a bit careful because I'm very aware I could be creating brown, as I tend to do now and again, because I'm terrible. I just go for it, you see, and I don't really care what colour I get. So sometimes it is a bit brown, but that's OK. Now, this is really, really wet because I've added loads and loads of water. So pop that on. Let's see what I get. Look at that. And that is just such a beautiful blend. So you can see the green from the reinker. Now, this puddle here, if you don't want that puddle, just get a piece of your kitchen roll, which I've hidden from myself right next to me. Um, get a piece of kitchen roll and just allow that to soak off. And that will just drag that little puddle off because that's the puddle we don't want that but how pretty is that and that green is so strong that's a tiny tiny drip of your reinker and yet it is it is rich loads more color on there that's my super smooth this is watercolor cardstock go in with my watercolor cardstock take a second print and let's again see what we're going to get. What's colour? You've got that texture. Um, you've got that movement again. Now, with this, where we've got the drips this time, if, again, with this, you can keep it reacting. You can keep it moving. So, wrong spritzer. So, if I use my spritzer, and that, the, now that is the new blue. 
prize ribbon right there at the bottom. Beautiful, beautiful blue. But look, I can keep this moving, which means if I want to, and I, I love, I, you know me, I like my drips, but I can really allow that moving to, to move down the page. I do love a drip. There we go. And I do adore that. I adore that that sort of movement of ink. I think it looks so effective. I'm going to leave that for now, let it dry on its own, see what it does. And I do enjoy leaving them to dry on their own because I find it interesting. I like, um, I just like that experimentation, seeing what happens. I could take another print off this. I'm not going to because it is really wet now. It's really mixed. So I'm just going to lift the excess ink off. Okay, now that is a really dirty gel plate. It doesn't matter. You know, it, it's still going to give me my prints. Eventually, I will clean it off with it paints. Um, but at the minute, for what we're doing, it's absolutely fine. I'll just get my cloth. Now I've taken most of that moisture off. I actually love a dirty gel plate because when you put um, your white paint on a summer and do a print, it looks so interesting. So I, I do love a good dirty gel plate. Um, so next, if I get this time, I'm going to get my... Um, let's have a little bit of warm lipstick. Now... The, the Distress Oxides will act very different to your, um, your normal Distress. Because your normal Distress, mind you, it is a dirty gel plate, so. But when you go on with your normal Distress, because it is just an ink, you can see it separate already. In fact, if I just took a print of this, let me show you. And can you see how it separates? So that's, that's your dye. So your dye ink will give you these like, kind of um, drops, if you will, of ink. Whereas your Distress Oxide, so if I just put a layer of Distress Oxide and take a print, that's solid. Can you see the difference? Because Oxide has the pigment in, it gives you more opacity, it gives you more of a solid print. Whereas the normal Distress will obviously, as they will on um, one of your clear stamps, they start separating. So you get that, that variation. So do consider that when you're working on your gel plate, the different kind of effects that you're going to get. But you can still use both. I mean, your, your, um, your normal... Um, your normal distress work absolutely beautiful on it anyway, so so just keep playing. Right, let's mix up colours. Let's be brave, shall we? It might be great, it might be awful, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. It's cardstock and we're just playing. Right, get it to move a little bit, like so. And then what I'm going to do first is just take the stencil. Remember, we have got the stencil on the show. And what I'm going to do is bob that on there. I'm going to just lift off excess. And actually, I did this the wrong way around. What I was going to do, I've done it really the wrong way around. Um, what I was going to do is put the stencil on and then spritz it. But I've got a bit carried away with my water, so this print might be absolutely awful. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what it does. If it's awful, we'll pretend it doesn't happen. Okay, and then let's do a lift. Let's see what we get. I'm not spritzing any more onto it because I've already spritzed because I've got ahead of myself. Fingers crossed, folks. Oh, yeah, I don't like that. Mucky that. Mucky. Because it's too mucky, we're going to spritz on that and start again. Me, mucky. So we're not bothered about that. We'll pretend that one didn't exist. But... Let me just, and I am going to spritz and actually take off the excess because, I'll tell you what I'm going to use, my, um, a bit of rice paper to take off the excess because it means I'm cleaning it off, but I don't waste that ink. We like our rice paper for that, don't we? There we go. So stick a bit of rice paper on. You can always print onto your rice paper as well. So do remember your, your rice paper is there for you, you to print on if you wish. OK, I'm going to go on my prize ribbon. I'm not going to be as... Um, there. I'm not going to put too many colours on it because otherwise it will look a little bit too... It'll be a bit too much. OK, a little bit of blue, a little bit of pink. Let's get those blended a little bit. Going in, be a bit quicker now, just because of time. Like so. Move this up here. This is it when I end up with absolutely tons and tons and tons of pages of backgrounds. 
because I've cleaned my brayer 500 times. But it's really nice because it just looks really lovely. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so that's, um, that's that. And then move that there. Let's move that pink in. I haven't quite cleaned my brayer enough because I'm... But I kind of like that. Let's see what happens. Okay, spritz that again. Clean the brayer off. Okay. <laughs> I love it because you end up with loads of really good pictures. <laughs> and they do look quite fabulous. Okay, this is what I was meant to do. Put your little stencil on and then spritz. Spritz, spritz gently through the stencil. Now we're just getting a little bit carried away. Lift off the excess like we do. Lift. And that's a cool print. That's your excess. Move the stencil. And I'm actually going to twist it. Pop it there. Spritz and then lift again. And I'll lift on that side because I'll just use the other side of it because I might like this side better. Okay, lift. Now, um, obviously the stencil's got a lot of colour on it. I don't need to worry about that. It's distress oxide, it's going nowhere. Your, your stencil's got a lot of colour. So, again, because it is distress oxide, um, it means running out of water it means that that's better um you have thankfully got the misters as well as the other ones um it means that i might be able to get a print from the stencil so if i just spritz my card again spritz one side of the card spritz the other sandwich your stencil and then go over the top and then let's have a little see if we've got a lift. Beautiful, nice print, cleaning your stencil. And then lovely print, cleaning the stencil. And the thing is, if I pop that back in place, like so, dry it off slightly. I mean, you could go in with your, um, your spritzers. Uh, obviously, we can't because they've sold out. But you could go in with your spritzers. I'm going to go in with my beautiful Twisted Citrum because I love this colour. And just taking your Twisted Citrum and going through your stencil. I'm just being quick because I really like this technique. I mean, it's one of those that that's so simple but so effective. Um, I thought all our sprays had sold out. No, love. Your, your actual colours, your actual distress colours, they've all gone. I need new water in that because my water's run out. Could someone actually put... Could the, the water's run out. Sorry, my love, if I leave. Thank you. Because, um, thank you, thank you. So, there we go. Let's do that. So... I like, um, that's the one in the one day special, but I like using that. It's a really good mister bottle. Just get in this, go over the top like so. So we're lifting some of that ink off. Then when we lift the stencil, you've got that really effective. It's so easy, but it's so, so ridiculously effective. Such a beautiful, beautiful effect. Absolutely sensational. So obviously there are... are prints or just leftover prints get my gel plate back again so we've got the gel plate back now i'll take a print of this one now that one pretty dry on there so it's it's obviously reactive with water so all i need to do i'm going to spritz on my card i'm not spritzing on here because i don't want this to move i don't want to lose the the print that i've got so it's actually on the card that i'm going to spritz on if I wanted to, again, if I had my actual um, Distress sprays, you could always do a spray of that over there just to add you a different colour to it. So you could always add a different colour to the mix. You've got so many choices with that. Just popping that over now and, oh, I've put too much water on. <laughs> do you know what? Look, 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 too much water. Let me try again. Do you know, it's funny actually because when I were doing this, when I were um, doing my prints, you know when you do your prints when you're playing, they're all perfect. 
that I'm going to show you my perfect ones. I love live telly, but I can't find them now in my pile of prints. Live telly is one of those because you do all these prints that are absolutely gorgeous and then you come on and do it live and they all go wrong. And it's like, oh, that's annoying because it were, per yeah, but it were really, really perfect in my other one. And I can't find it now, which is proper annoying. Um, oh, wait a minute. No, it's here. See, there was that one. Look at that, how gorgeous that one is. Look at that one. Look at that one. See, see, I had loads of really, really, really nice prints. And um, the ones I've done live, I might like that. Proper annoying. <laughs> That's what you can get. <sighs> yeah, give me a minute, Teresa. I'm going to play in coffee. That'll be it. That'll that, be it, that. That'll be it. That'll be it, that. That'll be it. Derek. I think I think I better step in for a moment. Step in. I think this step is in, need, needs a moment to uh, regroup, I think the word is. <laughs> <laughs> OK. One day special is now approaching 80% of the stock sold out and gone. Um, no surprise there. Every time you see, and, and listen, if you've missed any of the shows, do check in back over the last uh, 24 hours. This is the last live show for the one-day special today, of course, because, oh, and you've nicked Miss Spritzer again, haven't you? Haven't you done it again? I mean, every every well, I've done time. Where mine is, every so I have to single think time. It and then. You do get back. the spritzer Can as I well, so you get the mister, um, and you get those uh, three ink pads included in your one-day special, uh, of course, as well. So you've got the two distress inks, the kitsch flamingo <laughs> and the Just black soot, plus the brand-new run-through-the-finishing-line prize ribbon. Um, plus, of course, you get your pearl mixative as well, which is your um, alcohol, which is really, really good. Love, 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 love. Not surprised that 80% of the stock has sold out and gone, uh, because look at what leone has been doing with them as well over the last 24 hours. <clears throat> massively, massively busy. Um, no surprise. Remember, this is your last live chance uh, to get everything that we've got on the show today as well. 936564. Price is good until 6 o'clock or when the so stock, sock, stock goes. <laughs> Socks go. The sock stock. <laughs> it's all in a big sock right now, the stock. Uh, and when that's sold out, whichever comes first, <laughs> stock gone, out of the sock, or six o'clock, whichever one of those comes first, uh, that will be it. <laughs> Right, OK, <laughs> let's move on, shall we? It's probably a good chance. Embossing glaze now. Again, the brand new prize ribbon colour um, is one of your two embossing glazes. You also have the weathered wood. I, do you know I can't keep the name of that one in my head? <laughs> You know, I'm because like you say that. the word wood and you think of a different colour straight away, but the weather, that is a perfect description as well, as they always are with the Tim Holtz colours. <laughs> They're always the perfect name. Now, the embossing glaze um, is just brilliant. So, if you go in straight with the colour of the glaze, that's the effect you get. So it's a slightly, um, it's a slightly mottled um, kind of effect, isn't it? It's a slightly lighter shade of the blue. So it's slightly more of a denim in the new prize ribbon, isn't it? Um, and it's wonderful, but it does give you that excellent, excellent glaze. But use it with the ink pads. Oh, I tell you what, look at that. Now that has made a dramatic difference. So use the weathered wood ink pad as the base and then use the di distress embossing glaze in the corresponding colour and look at the effect you get. It is absolutely spot on. Use a different base colour, so use the prize ribbon as a base and the weathered wood. No, this is, oh I always forget this one. No, it is, is it? No, I don't think this is. This is the prize ribbon and the weathered wood glaze I think, isn't it? Let's have a look. Is Hold it that, on. that one? This one? This one? This one, that one. That is over Twisted Citroen. Ah, right, that is, yes, it is. Sorry, it does say on the back as well. Sorry, Charlotte. Sorry. <laughs> so that's Twisted Citroen as the base and prize ribbon glaze, yeah, isn't that's it? That's the one. it. Blimey, last time. Uh, and this is Twisted the. Twisted Citroen with weathered wood. That's it, absolutely. And here is Twisted Citroen. On its own, just to show the variation. On its own, just so that you can see. There you go. Nailed and you, it. You know when you explained that, that to me earlier? Smooth. It went in and it went straight through, <laughs> as you know. Anyway, these are amazing. Um, stock on these. Where are we with stock on these, Charlotte? Because they were already really, really busy, weren't they? Sorry, darling. 
and I, and I love them. Let's have a look at the, let's see if we can see the texture. Oh, now look, look at that gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at that, covers, counter's covered in it now as well. <laughs> no, but we'll have to emboss the counter. <laughs> Three quarters of the stock of that sold out and gone. It is beautiful, beautiful. Look at the mess <laughs> that I've made there. It's, it's made that pack shot look atmospheric, though, hasn't it? Let's face it. Beautiful. OK, right, I'll leave that trail of destruction behind me and move on uh, to the bundle we have of the Distress Oxide inks, ink pads. We have very, very few in stock across the board of the Distress Oxide ink pads. This is a good opportunity to pick up a bundle of four right now. P -p 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 pick up a bundle. <laughs> um, so you have on this one, you've got the aged mahogany and look at this. Look at that one, it's been spritzed straight onto card and spritz and look at that lovely water reaction. Then we've got our friend Twisted Citroen. I love that lovely sort of runoff effect. It's just adorable. Then we've got, oh, Oh, Sal Sally hasn't replaced it in a while. Oh. It's, it is worn lipstick. Oh, sure, she, sure. Needs a, she needs What's a... What's Sally been doing? Yeah, um, well, you know, it's been a long day. <laughs> and then you've got the weathered wood, of course, as well, which is wonderful. And I love this. It's almost like blue cheese veining that comes out when you spritz it, isn't it? I just... It's adorable. Uh, can I show you some successful backgrounds? <laughs> <laughs> I like the ones on television. <laughs> just like the ones Leone creates live on the show. Look, look, look. They're beautiful, aren't they? Uh, and these are just using various combinations um, of those lovely inks in that selection as well. But look at the effects that you get. They are beautiful. Love, 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 love. Right, we must continue. So £25.96 is your price tag then for those four there for you. 721 394 is your item number. Let's move on to the alcohol inks. Now, these have been... A, I, I, had a, a, a quick, I had a quick university lesson from my <laughs> esteemed tutor. So this is all about being able to ink onto non-porous surfaces, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the effects that you get from the mixatives, oh my word, it's blooming gorgeous. Can I just show you something right now? So this is the inks onto acetate. Now put those onto a lighter background. A Adorable, transform all of your acetates just beautifully. And with these, you actually get the metallics and you get three of the colours as well. So you get those three gorgeous colours there, which are called Sunshine Yellow and Sunset Orange ooh, and Watermelon. And in the metallics, you get the... Is it gunmetal, isn't it? And Rose Gold, which is just beautiful and delicious. And look at the effects. If you're going on to things like Yupo paper... <gasps> mm, mm, this is how you create your own background papers. It's amazing. It's lovely. And remember, you can get also the alloys um, on the end of call as mm. well. So things like your sterling, you can get on the end of call. Oh, my word. You can create this. You can do that. And it's literally, and I asked the only earlier, like, OK, is that literally just dripping the oil in and just letting it do its thing? And it's like, yeah, absolutely. So if you want to have a good old play, I think that would be brilliant, wouldn't it? 956642. And it's under 20 quid for the whole lot, which I think is really, really good. £19.49. So that is a saving there of £7. I mean, I'll just look at the end price. So you're under 20 quid. I'd be like, yes. Lovely. Uh, right, OK. Now, this is really, really good as well because we've got different ink colours, but we've also got this magic ink pad, um, which, um, which actually lifts the ink back up. So if you're um, stamping the ink and making a background and you want to uh, get that ink back out again, like a, bit, a little bit like the faux bleaching effect, but you don't want to, obviously, you can't put your regular ink pads into it, use this ink pad on your stamp, and it means you're not putting bleach onto your stamps as well. Use this ink pad onto your stamps, and that's the, the, the effect you get. So, so almost, you could say, like, before and then after stamping with the alcohol lift ink. It's brilliant. And you get different inks here as well, don't you? Because you get the mixed of silver, which is different to the alloys, which you'll find at the end of call. And you also get the stream, which looks like to be a very, very deep, rich blue. I have to tell you, I think I watched Leone make this one. And it, it reminds me of, do you remember those kind of like disco-y um, lamps you used to have that used to turn around, they have oil in them and they yeah. would change all the way around. Yeah, like what are they called? Up. La no, not lava no. lamps. It's like, it was like a disco light back before your day, oh, Ben, as well. Yeah, I know what you mean. The light would shine through this sort of, like, disc yeah, with oils God. in it, and as it would go round, it's a bit difficult, it would all change and move. 
Yeah, it was yeah. kind of like, I want to do that. Mm. It was a bit like that, wasn't it? A little bit. I'm not, ask, a little not bit. asking you after all that coffee. <laughs> and you also have the wild plum in that collection as well. Um, so you get the three inks and you've got the alcohol lift ink pad as well. Uh, for £16.98, so a nice big saving on that as well. 631210. We can't have a show like this with all these gorgeous ba non-porous backgrounds without showing you some UPO paper. So that's what we're going to do right now. Now, this UPO paper um, is is incredible. Of course it is. It wouldn't be on the show otherwise, would it? Um, plus, you've also got the alcohol blending solution as well. And what your blending solution will do is give you the ability on non-porous surfaces like this to be able to, uh, to blend those beautiful alcohol inks very, very easily um, indeed. And you were talking about a different kind of alcohol that you could use yeah, as well. Yeah, so, um, alcohol, so blending solution, mm, start from the beginning, alcohol inks contain resin. Yeah. So um, the blending solution is basically alcohol ink without any colour. So it also contains a resin. Um, and that's why when you see that on, on uh, what you're holding there, yeah. the blending solution makes the ink disperse. Ah. It, it just allows yeah. it to travel. Yes. You can use um, your isopropanol um, alcohol, yeah. which is basically 99.9% .9 alcohol. Mm -hmm. um, that will that will um, affect your um, alcohol links because obviously it's alcohol. Yeah. So it will um, it'll move them. You can take colour out with it, uh -huh. uh, but it won't move them the same as your blending. Okay. But it allows you to do different techniques. So your blending solution, you can't put in a spritzer bottle, which I got wrong the last time I ran my alcohol links. Uh, you okay. can't put in a spritzer bottle, but your isopropanol alcohol, you can, uh, which allows okay. you to do different effects. Yeah. So, but the, I would definitely, if you're going for alcohol links, you definitely need the blending solution. It makes all the difference. Fabulous. And I guess that, that does that help you to make an array of new colours as well? It moves it. Yeah, it moves the inks and it, it almost um, allows the inks to stay open. Yeah. So because they dry like in eight seconds, um, but if you add the blending solution, it allows you to keep moving the inks. Ah, OK, right, OK. So it just keeps that lovely uh, fluidity yes. a, a little bit longer. Because, of course, yes, an alcohol base, once the alcohol evaporates, that's it. You're done. Game over. Yeah, 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 dry. I get it. I get, so you're getting more of the spritz kind of oxidey kind of you know, effect for longer by them being alcohol yeah. and using the blending solution. Yeah. And to also just keep blending it. solution, it can lighten the colours okay. because it is basically it is um, it's it, it is lightening it yeah. as well. So the more a uh, uh, blending solution you put on, the lighter you'll get. Yeah. Um, and also with your blending solution, if you're using one of your your little tools, so you're moving the the ink around. Yeah. The blending solution will allow the ink to uh, to move around beautifully as well. And that's on the um, if you shop by brand, you'll find that as well. I think it's called an um, air diffuser, isn't it? I'm I think. not sure I if think... it is there. But oh, I, do, I, I, think I, it, I looked it? on Ranger by Brand Ooh. earlier, and I think it is there because I, I did oh, see. Oh yeah, it. you want one of them? Yeah, once you've the seen fab. it, you never you never forget it. Exactly. Um, but very very useful indeed uh, to use with these uh, with these. It's got quite a big pump on it. It has, which is all important. What's it called, Charlotte? Again, air diffuser, is it? Alcohol um, air blower wasn't far out. Not wrong. There you go. Yeah. It says what it does, doesn't it? Plus pretty, alcohol. Pretty much. Uh, one of many. 809-538 is your item number there. 1498. Yeah, let's show it on the website. That'd be good, because then you don't have to look at either me <laughs> or thee. Uh, that would be good. <laughs> let's go to the website. Here it is. In a bigger picture. Hooray! Yay! We love it. <laughs> Do you know what? Endless fun with that. <laughs> Endless fun. Honestly. The kids, the kids mm. are going to love it at Christmas. Good to go around to the back of the neck. <laughs> Make sure there's nothing in it, obviously. And you could probably actually put it in water, soak water up and then squirt yeah. water. Yeah, summer squirter. Loads of fun. Lovely. <laughs> right, OK, I think I'm going to exit stage left, left and I'm going to leave the rest of the hour 16 minutes. Ooh. Be good, please, be good. I can do that. Over to me. Oh, OK, yours. so what I've got, I've got a dirty gel plate, OK? Let's clean it. So I decided I put alcohol inks on my gel plate. So I'm only going to pop a, a couple of colours. I'm not going to get too carried away with this. Um, so I'm going to go in with my beautiful sunshine yellow. Remember, it is a dirty plate, so I don't know what I'm going to get. As you, it's a dirty plate. As you probably guess, I don't mind that at all. In fact, I find it 
quite amusing. Um, <laughs> it's like, oh, what are we going to get? Who knows? Um, it just tickles me. So I'm going to put the sunshine yellow. I'm going to put the stream because the stream is absolutely my favourite colour. I'm also going to put the um, sunset orange. So a few colours on there. As you can see, they're not really moving, those colours. So I'm just going to take my brayer and brayer over gently because I don't want to mix them up too much because I do want a little bit of variation in colour. I'm going to attempt not to create mud. Um, I'm then going to take... Well, I'm not because I've got to put all my gloss card away. I was going to put it on gloss card because... Because, because it's alcohol ink. Now... I'm going to find my gloss card because it's the same thing as ever. I put our tidying up, you see, and then I can leg it out the studio as soon as I finish. But I, oh, I hate it when I tidy up after myself. It's really, really annoying. I have never find things when I've tidied, ever. I've got acetate, so you won't be able to see what I'm doing, but it's OK. So I'm going to stick my acetate on my glass mat. OK, there is acetate on there. Um, on the... Where's my spritzer gone with my alcohol in it? Oh, I've tidied that up as well. OK, I'll put blending... Oh, I'll put blending solution on. So I'm putting blending solution on that acetate. I, I'm going to tell you now, I don't know if this is going to work. I'm hoping it does because, oh, yeah, there you go. So cleaning my brayer off with that blending solution. At the minute, you can't see that, but I will show you. And obviously getting rid of that, I would then clean this. I'd go and clean my brayer because otherwise I don't want it to be sticky. You see, I'd, um, so I would give that a clean. But just have a look at the colour. Look, what a gorgeous background on the acetate. Isn't that beautiful? Cleaning your brayer. I love that. That's ace. Absolutely gorgeous. That was worth doing. So, on here. Now, um, your alcohol dries really quite quickly. This little bit there is still a little bit wet, but that will dry in a few seconds' time. Um, I'm going to use white paint, so just my white acrylic paint over the top of this. Um, that does need to dry, but I am going to be impatient. So I'm going to pop a little bit of white paint. I'm trying not to use too much because I've got a terrible habit of overloading this um, and using too much on there which is really annoying. So, going on with my, my white paint and then just blending this over the top. Now, as I said, I don't know what I've got on here. There could be, there's all sorts of colours going on. So, we hope that it will be a good background. Who knows? It might be beautiful. Again, cleaning my brayer off. Absolutely love that. Creating more backgrounds, more backgrounds, more backgrounds. So, on your paint, you take your cardstock, I'm still using Super Smooth, and then work that in into my um, my gel palette. And the, hopefully what I want is, I want the ink now to stick and everything else to stick to that white card, uh, white paint. So I'm really squidging it down. I'm using cardstock. If I were using paper, I wouldn't be able to put this pressure on because it would absolutely dry and stick to the gel plate. I mean, you can see there's a pretty good stick there now. Now look at that. Clean gel plate. In fact, look, look, my card's ripping a bit there. So I'm pulling it up from the other way. Boom. There we go. And now look at that print. That's a deep, dark, fabulous, grungy print. Oh, now I love that. That's the way to clean your gel plate. Because now that side of my gel plate, apart from that little bit of paper, is clean. That is a mixture of my paints. Oh, my gosh, look, that looks like rust. That's beautiful. But then all the distress, all the alcohol inks. That's alcohol inks now on a regular piece of card, which I adore. I'm going to take this one. And this is the one that I've been cleaning my brayer on. And then clean this off as well. I mean, again, please look up using alcohol inks on gel plates because there's tons of ideas. And honestly, it's one of them. This is another thing, again, that you, you can do with so many different ideas. There's so many different things you can do. Now, that hasn't picked it all up, so I would be able to get another print afterwards. But I love that. Again, super grungy. I mean, it's super grungy. I'll try again. I doubt I'll get this one. But let's try again just because. Doof, doof, doof. 
and let's see no nothing much from that but i really like that I, I like that because i do like that sort of um variant there and i love the super grunginess um oh, yeah i love it and the alcohol link on your your gel plate it looks so different considering how it looks you know on your um like that for instance that's the same product. It just looks entirely different because of the way you're using it. And obviously because you're mixing it with your paint. I'll bob that to one side because I want to crack on. Now, what I wanted to do was, this is, when I was, um, when I was doing the spritzers earlier on, this was a page that had that was like the your leftover. So this is leftover from your spritzer. And I thought I'd love to do two little um two little toppers if you will inside it because you've created your own frame i could stamp directly in here which would look beautiful but i'm thinking i'll pop it you know i'll work on these separately and put them in here that's my plan where i go and how far i get um who knows but that's my little plan so i'm gonna bob that down and get my um heat resistant craft mat first of all and let's first do some embossing so get some um paper oh where's my paper oh, just use card oh there it is got my paper okay so i'm gonna take one of my stamps now um love these and um, these are art inspiration stamps and these are the um the collection the ink and earth collection by emily absolutely love this collection just ridiculously beautiful um the first one i'm gonna do is the actual sentiments i'm gonna emboss this because i want it really rich so to emboss it i'm going to use the actual um oh let's use stamp platform just to make sure i get it proper sorry faffy faff 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 okay so pop in my stamp platform and it's just to make sure i get the ink proper so once it's central like so and i'm going to use my brand new ink because it's the start of the show so i've got my beautiful prize ribbon i'm going to just ink that up now, I'd really like this because that's quite a nice, the, the sentiment is quite nice and solid. So it means I'll really see the colour there. Let's have a little look, see? So you've got that beautiful, beautiful colour. Now, I'm going to do this again because I want to emboss on this. So I want this super rich. I'm not going to put too much ink because I don't want to lose the detail. Oh man, it's such a gorgeous stamp. You forget, don't you? You know, because so we use so many stamps. Well, I do because obviously my job. And you forget sometimes just how beautiful a stamp is. And you see it again, it's like, wow, that is, that is so nice. And in that colour, that's divine. So I'm going to go over with the matching um, embossing powder. Thank you, Charlotte. Uh, with the matching embossing powder, because this will make it intense. This will make that blue so, so rich. And I, honestly, I, this is just beautiful i adore the fact that with these powders you can change colors you can get so many different effects remember it is an embossing powder so it means you can use it on loads of different things you know you could be using it on um loads of different types of cardstock you might be using it on your metal embellishments you know there's tons you can do on it so please do have a play with your powders and then let's heat emboss now i'm doing this before anything else before i do my any of my backgrounds because i know then if i went on and started doing all my backgrounds i'd have to make sure everything would dry before i put my heat emboss uh, before i put my powder on and knowing me the chances are i'd do my background put my powder on and end up embossing absolutely everything and i didn't want to do that oh i can't get on with doing it front back i have to see what i'm doing it is it is nicer front back you know because it's smoother and it is but i can't get on with it so do what do what's better because i need to see where otherwise it just annoys me there i haven't the patience that's the problem Boom. gosh have we only got five minutes 
See, you think you've loads of time and then before you know it, you've five minutes. Okay, I'm only going to get one side done, aren't I? So always, always let it cool down before you, you try and, you know, wipe over the top of it. Always let it cool down. The amount of times I've um, had hot um, embossing powder and then stuck my finger in it. It's rubbish. Ruins everything. Okay, let's start creating lovely backgrounds. So on this, um, I'm going to create... Um, a lovely little old background. So bringing my mat in. Now, this is one of the small ink pads, the antique linen. I love the antique linen. I think this is really a, a beautiful, beautiful colour. I'm going to pop, and this is the set with the stencil. Yeah, it's lovely. I'm going to pop a bit of that with the vintage photo as well, because that's in there. And I'm also, I am going to use a little bit of the prize ribbon in this because I just think all those colours together will look really, really nice. And then spritz on. So I'm going to get that really gorgeous um, colour. Now, do I want to go in straight away and pull up the full thing on that one? No, because I know it might be quite intense and I don't want an intense one. I want a lighter one. So if I lift it, oh, that's beautiful though. Hmm. Now I wish I had done it on there. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I can still do it because that is lovely. That is absolutely lovely. Oh, I do love doing this because you get such good backgrounds. I'm going to go in on it anyway and see what we're going to get. So let's have a see. I might just missed again over there like so and just bob that in and it's okay because even if it's not strong enough you can still go in you can still pick it up again oh look at that how gorgeous just gorgeous gorgeous let me just bob that in and pick up a few more colors stunning and then like so stunning we love it um, that's that one perfect this one let's pick up the excess like so. It's funny, isn't it? Because literally every time you do a pickup, it's like, oh, that'd look nice on there as well. <laughs> and But you can stamp over. Obviously, these you put to one side, you can stamp over them. And the light ones are beautiful. You know, I'm terrible when I'm doing distress. I do do so many heavy, dark backgrounds when actually you can create some really soft, beautiful backgrounds. They don't always have to be intense and, you know overpowering now i'm going to uh, just dry that off and no time is now really not on my side so i'm actually going to lift a bit of that color because this color i do want lighter around there so i'm going to lift a bit of that off the rest of it i'll dry like so and then because of time I will lift it. I know going over with your kitchen roll, um, it actually does lift colour off. Whereas if I know, um, like Tim, for instance, he will use um, a rag like, you know, I've got my little old rags to lift the colour because it doesn't lift it out as much. It more like lifts colour off, if you will. Um, but I wanted to lift colour off because I'm going to take this one now, popping this here. What time have I got now? Two, two minutes? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> that was said with proper feeling, weren't yeah, it? Yeah, you've done it to end. You were genuine as well. I weren't even blagging it. It's been a good day, isn't it? So I've had a lovely day. It, the thing is, I'm playing with just products I love. I am very lucky, though. I do play with a lot of products I love. But I love, I love these. I can, I'm... It's, it's just nice, isn't it? I've got a right nice job, me. <laughs> right they are nice. like the gold standard, aren't they? Eh? Oh. They are like the gold oh, standard, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, I mean, Tim Holtz is, is just... Uh, our, um, our Miss P said earlier, he's a genius, and he is. He's so clever. And the stuff he comes up with, and it's so cool watching him. You know, it's like, oh, man, yeah, you can do that, you can do that. It's super infectious. And every time you see the products, it's like, wow. I mean, I love that. That in the blue round it, I just think looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I've only got a minute. All I will do now with this is you need to finish it. So you take your um, your um, little old ink pad and with your ink pad, you actually now start blending around. I want some white space with this. I don't want to take away all the white space. I like the white space. Uh, but 
blend your oh, blend your ink round, spritz over the top of it, stick it in your book, Bob's your uncle, and um, make sure you check out your baskets. Don't miss out on this one because it is absolutely gorgeous. Isn't it awesome, isn't it? Isn't it Be awesome. here now. So, so right for right here, right now. Um, when are you back, Mrs? I had no idea. No, that was a, that was the I, wrong question to ask you, really, I wasn't it? I know I'm back Wednesday, but I don't know if I'm presenting Monday. Probably, prob I don't really know. Uh, Sometime find out, next week. Find out at a channel near here sometime soon. <laughs> uh, check out your baskets and stay right where you are. All righty, next up we've got a happy hour, first of two in the next few hours as well. Ooh. One with the Dreamies after the break with Hayley, then a brand new one day special with All and Create, and then another woolly happy hour. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands, such as 2J Stamps, press cut and the craft artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B. Silkworks shows. Welcome back to a happy hour and we love a happy hour don't we because we know we've got loads of choice and we've got some fabulous prices and the key thing with this one is it's a dreamy's happy hour so you know it's going to be value for money as well now we'll just mention we've got loads of things to share with you so the website's probably a good place for you to start to have a little browse because you'll see all sorts of things things that we will regularly see within the shows things that you've purchased before things that you've left five star reviews for so by all means do jump ahead and have a little look now it's a happy hour but we've got some additional Additional little bits and pieces which are new today so I'll tell you about those when we get to them but the first kind of chunk of things that I'm going to be sharing with you are, pro are prices that are just for this hour and this hour only things like those beautiful paper pads coming up in a little while so we've got all sorts we've got dies we've got some fabulous MDF pieces some wonderful stamps as well so sit back and relax I say sit back and relax you're not really relaxing because you're already placing your orders and I suppose in a happy hour fair play to you 
you don't want to kick back and relax right at the top you want to get involved so let me show you some of the things that we are sharing with you so details on your screen already there these are some fabulous oh oh it's a bundle oh hold on oh no <laughs> It's always a little bit nerve-wracking when you get a producer go, ooh, in your ear, and it's like, ooh, just as I'm about to say something, I'm not too sure if I've got the right thing, but I have got the right thing to say. So let's kick off with these sentiment ties. Now, the deal on your screen there, you're getting 15 of these fabulous ties coming to you for just £16.99. Now, they're called edges, as you can see. So, of course, they're on a little edge, as you can see here. So they're going to cut into the edge of your project, the edge of your card, the edge of your top, or wherever you choose to place these. These. Maybe that you even put them on a fold. It's entirely up to you. And you can see here you've got some fabulous sentiments. So we're going to play Read the Sentiment Backwards. So you can see there just to say, make a wish, happy birthday, thinking of you, I love you. What else? What, best wishes, F um, friend, um, with my, oh, what's that say at the bottom? With my, oh, with sympathy. With sympathy, I do apologise. Oh, we've got a couple upside down. New baby. I love you too. Oh, that's one of the ones on there. Oh, I do apologise. Thinking, um, thinking of you with love. Congratulations. These are very useful sentiments, aren't they? On your wedding day, they're for you as well. Some really nice ones, isn't it? Just to say, just to say, whatever, isn't it? Any occasion you like, so they are all on there. You can put them all together. I don't think good riddance is on there, but thank you for that information there. Um, but you can see there, £16.99. pence. You've got £3 saving with these, but this is just for this hour and this hour only. 15 dies, phenomenal value for money, as I'm sure you'll agree, and very usable too. So 548255 if you fancy getting hold of those. So that is our first item. Now, very useful. These are incredibly useful as well because they're giving you your sentiments um, and you are already liking these ones. Now, these might be things that you've seen previously, um, things that you've not come across before, but the beauty of this one is a set of two and it's interchangeable circle um, templates, not templates, stamps. You've got a die with this one as well. So you can see the die there is going to cut out the area for you to actually place your sentiment. And you can see there you've kind of got the long arm of your die, which is going to allow you, to, I'm guessing, to actually poke it into things as well. But look at all of these interchangeable dies. Mum, dad, friend, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, they're all featuring there. Um, should we turn it around this way? Let's go 50-50 chance. Got it the right way around. There you go. So the idea being with these, you can see, so to the best blank ever and that's where you'd put friend girlfriend boyfriend so on um or you could put anything else if you've got another stamp that would fit in that gap there then you could do sending a smile um you are lovely all of these being different things that you can put within the circle die um, and the circle die is perfectly sized for you to actually work with these so you can see at the end there you've got your die so oh, where am i it's over here almost looks like a magnifying glass actually um, and you've kind of got your two parts as you can see there so they are connected as a die but that's only so as it's kind of it's manufactured that way you can separate them up if you wanted to i probably wouldn't because you know what will happen when you separate them you'll lose one of them um, and you can see there you've got your circle with a little stick attached to it and then you've got your circle just as it is so you can layer these up if you're wanting to um, and use them in a whole host of different ways so already this has been a popular item, so much so that over 10% of the stock has gone. So if you fancy getting hold of yours, then the details are there on your screen. At 595520, just £11.99. That is a brilliant set if you're just getting started with your crafting as well, because you've got all the different sentiments in there that you could possibly need. All in one place. What a brilliant deal. Now, talking about brilliant deals, this next one is a phenomenal deal because you are going to get all of these. Now, these are brilliant because you are getting stamps and you are getting dies. Now, they work together or they will work independently if you want them to, but you can see, especially with this first one, which I think is a peony, beautiful flower. You've got a big die with this one. So this is going to cut out your flower, but it's going to cut it out in multiple levels. So if you want, you could stamp out your die, or stamp out your image, should I say, then bring the die in, cut it as an outline edge using the largest of the dies, stamp it again, and then cut out your finer detail, meaning that you can actually layer these up and get an awful amount of depth with regards to these designs. They're absolutely beautiful. And the beauty is you're actually getting a whole set of four. So 
that one there being your first one as you can see now i've not got a finished sample that i can share with you on that particular one but i have got a finished sample for the next one which gives you an idea of the concept so on this one again you can see how it's stamped up but with the dies on this one um i think it might be a few is it a fuchsia i don't know whether this one's a fuchsia this one's definitely a fuchsia that's the fuchsia is the fuchsia the next one I think the future is further along. The future is further along. I think it's this one. It might be a gladiola. I'm not very good with my flowers. I'm not going to lie. I know a rose and I know a pansy. And I think I know, um, what was the last one that we said? A petunia, was it? Not a petunia. I can't remember now. Peony. That was the one. It began with a P. <laughs> this one's another example of that one. This is nice because it's kind of cut away a little aperture, as you can see there. So that's pretty as well. Gladiolas are the very tall flowers, aren't they? Hmm. Brittany, have we got one? Have we got one featuring in this set? Is it on the list? Oh, we'll find it. We'll find it in a minute, don't worry. Then the next one that you've got, where you've got, it's probably on the packaging somewhere. This one I think is lavender, this one here, because you've kind of got your sprigs. And this one I've got a few finished samples to share with you. So again, you've got your different elements as you can feature, uh, see featuring with these. So you've got your dye content, you've got your stamp there, you've got your multi-layers with these. And again, this particular one you're going to be able to layer up. And I love this one, it's very kind of a simple um, card, because you kind of got the crispness of the white there and a little kind of hint of colour. And the beauty is because you can layer it up, you can get lots of depth with the wild season play around with them absolutely beautiful as you can see with regards to this one so if you fancy getting hold of this one then the details are on your screen it's in the bundle but it doesn't stop there because you've got more within this bundle so the next one is definitely your future isn't it this one is a beautiful big die with this one as well so this is one of those cards I showed you a few moments ago. Again, it's a case that you can cut an aperture, you can put your glitter card behind this one if you're wanting to. Might be that you're wanting to stamp and die cut, or just stamp it by itself. Add your colour with your watercolour pencils, your alcohol markers, whatever colour medium you like working with. That's the beauty of dies and stamps, they work so well together. And it means that you don't actually have to sit and cut it out because you wouldn't necessarily cut out all that fine detail. Look at that using just one of those dies the inner detail obviously you've got your outer die so if you wanted to detach that and actually have it as a topper you could do um gives you the ability to have a lot of different possibilities that's what we like with a die set but it doesn't stop there you've got your hydrangea next and this is where you've got that big ball of flowers and these are so pretty now the stamp's made up of lots of little tiny flowers as you would find with a hydrangea but then you've got your die now your die is going to cut out the outer edge so it's going to cut out some of those little landlocked areas as you can see in between the blossoms but it's also going to cut out the layer on top so you've got again possibilities lots of choice with these giving you lots and lots of different results one of my favorites though is this one where you're cutting the outside with your papers that have got your pretty patterns on there and then you're coming in with a solid paper that's going over the top lovely combination as I'm sure you'll agree. This particular one is done in a similar sort of way, but this time the stamp has been brought in to actually add the detail on the leaf, as you can see there. Very, very effective. And again, similarly to that one, and this particular one, this pale pink one, beautiful again there, as you can see there with that stamped image on the leaf there, but then all that detail with the florals. They are all beautiful and they've got a huge £30 saving. Yeah, what a brilliant saving. For this hour though, in this hour only, it's a happy hour deal, which means you have to take advantage before we get to five o'clock. Now you've got two flexi buys on this one of £22.48, which means you only have to make that first payment along with your post and packing today and these will all be sent on their way to you. Now 273137 will be the item number to get them on their way to you. And while you've got your flexi order open, it means you can add anything else in there so maybe those interchangeable circles which lots of you are adding in they're only 11.99 but 40 percent of the stock of these ones have gone so if you are wanting to get hold of this i'll bring them in and show you just so as you can see they are absolutely brilliant these are the ones where you've got all those different sentiments so if you have just joined us you can get hold of these for just 11.99 rather than 14.99 being the usual price you've got 36 stamps there and you've got your die there which is going to allow you to cut them out just as a circle or you could cut 
cut both of these out and kind of mat and layer them to give you even more depth and dimension. I love this one. It's kind of got, got a stalk on it, so you could actually pop it in maybe like a little pl um, potted plant or something like that if you wanted to. 595-520, but be quick. With 40% of the stock having gone so early on in the show, that potentially might not be there by the ten, um, time we get to the end of the show. So then I told you about that wonderful bundle, but I've got more to share with you. Now, regularly, when we see Carol and Hayley here, they will um, give a reference to other die sets that they've got where you've kind of got a base that you'll be a, a, a creator should I say a card creator that you've got and that's what you've got so these are your base dies that you've got to create your card shapes but it's not just about the die for the shape that you've got you've got additional dies in here as well um, and you are getting some phenomenal prices here. You've got 71 dies in total, and I'll open up a couple of the packets in a moment, so as you can see. Um, but they're giving you concept um, cards, and you can see with many of these, you've got 19 dies, 17 dies, lots and lots of dies within there. Now, it's a brilliant saving because you're saving £72, unless unless you're a freedom member because you are then saving even more you're saving 82 pounds a further 10 pounds just simply by being a freedom member now you all probably already know that it doesn't cost you 10 pounds to become a freedom member it only costs you seven pounds and 96 pence which means you could become a freedom member and take advantage of this deal straight away it's what we call a why not deal why not become a freedom member and take advantage of that discount and of course you won't have any post and packing to add now of course it's a considerable amount we appreciate that and you might want to spread the cost which you can do again spread the cost over two payments 44 pounds and 98 pence makes it a very affordable way for you to get 71 dies wow delivered to your door now each one of these when they come to you they're in a pack and obviously you've got your fabulous photograph on the front there giving you an idea of what you're going to be creating you've also got your instructions on the back and i know um, the dream is a brilliant at giving you lots of kind of videos and tuition via social media and things like that so you can see all your instructions in there but when you open it up this is where you will see that you have got loads and loads of different dies so with regards to these you've got your outermost die which obviously is going to give you a base but then you've got your inner sections giving you florals giving you those wonderful interchangeable dies to to give you some incredible results so that lacy layer that you've got on top there is being cut out but it doesn't have to be if you don't want to it's all about choice and that one's making your diamond easel card so you've got all of those in there we'll have another look at one of the others in a little while maybe but in this one you have got your um, diamond easel you've got your spinner card there as you can see and um, this particular one oh I can't see what that one's called oh your tricorn um, card very very fancy and this one is your trifold pop-up so we do see these reference many many times and they do create some incredible kind of mantelpiece pleasers I think our Alex calls us so this is a beautiful one as you can see here absolutely beautiful and all of these layers being cut out with the dies that are included within that set 940835 if you fancy getting hold of those please do so but that price on your screen there is only for this hour and this hour only so that 82 pounds saving if you're a freedom member will disappear when we get to five o'clock so you really do not want to miss out on that now something else the dreamers do and they do it so well is mdf mdf bases and we are getting loads within the next bundle it's very much a christmas themed but saying that it's only the trees really which could be deemed as just for christmas and to be honest trees there all year round aren't they so with this one you're going to get every single element that we're featuring here so you're going to get your 10 baubles which are brilliant because yeah Christmas time there might be baubles but you can see there they're nice little kind of round frames or whatever you want them to, to be to be honest good size pieces those ones there you're going to get 10 of those now your trees that we've got us uh, further along here these trees come in a little stand you're going to get four of those and they're a really good size but again decorate them like Christmas trees and yeah they're for Christmas but decorate them like spring trees or autumn trees then yeah totally different term, period of time and then finally you've got your gnomes now your gnomes again you're going to be able to pop these out let me just move that tree to the side so as you can see what you've got in here so in here you've got your gnomes you've got all your different elements relating to building up that layer so you've got your base layer of the body then you've got your layer where you've got the hat the face and the beard and then of course you've got all the features and the ability to put them into a little stand as well so there you go you can be able to create all of those now i'm going to pop that tree back in place there she says confidently i thought i was gonna to have to shout timber for a moment then um but look at the baubles these are brilliant obviously utilizing some of the other things that the dream is bring to us and i'm sure if you check out the brand section you'll find some of those elements there but what a lovely base to start with 
And again, using pretty papers, using dyes that they bring to us, bringing some fabulous stamps as well. So it's a perfect opportunity for you to get your bases to create your Christmas themed projects potentially. So 718009, you are getting 19 elements in there. And that's not layers, that's not kind of splitting up the layers of the gnomes. Those are projects, if you're looking at individual product, um, projects, 19 of them for just £24.97, so incredibly affordable. 718009 if you're wanting to get hold of those. But of course, when you've got your bases, you need some pretty papers. And again, this is a brilliant way to get hold of them. It's a happy hour deal, and it means that you can choose these, and you've got different options with regards to these beautiful butterflies, such pretty papers. And some lovely combinations as well. Now this one, you can see you kind of got that minty green. All a flutter, this one's called. Very, very pretty. Um, and um, absolutely beautiful as well. So shall I take these ones and show you? They're very beautifully placed. <laughs> Could have gone one or two ways really, that couldn't it? Getting them back is going to be the tricky bit. These are beautiful absolutely gorgeous of course you can see the butterflies featuring within here so naturally you're going to expose them. oh they gorgeous colors now you're getting repeats of these so it looks like you're getting several repeats I suppose six oh I don't know how many repeats you're getting of those but obviously they're all very similar oh these are pretty look at those beautiful colors what on the back of those what have we got on the back of these ones let's have a look oh ooh, they're pretty like there so you kind of got your blue tones on one side and then your purple tones on the other we've got another one there what's oh that's like a sky that one and then on the flip side of that one oh very nice these are lovely aren't they and then you've got your polka dot papers feature in here so i'm probably not separating them up in the best of ways which way around was that one there that way <laughs> Um, and again, beautiful, fabulous quality papers, I have to say. Now, in each of these packs, you're going to get 48 pages there. So, yeah, no, huge combination there. Um, and that's just one of those. So you're actually getting 96 of those papers in total within that bundle there. Two lots of 48. You can see they're double-sided there. Really good weight with your 120 GSM. Oh, I've gone into a bit of a sweat now. step away I thank you I thank you have a look at these now I don't know if these have been created using those papers I think they have actually but they look familiar but it gives you an idea we've got other papers to share with you as well or oh, is that the next one in that case let me give you the details for this particular one and I'll show you those in a few moments oh it's already gone <laughs> somebody's in a rush to get off tonight aren't they She'll be in the car in the car park with the engine running before I even get to tell you what's going on later. It's just rude if you ask me. Um, nine three six. What, what's that the number for? The next one. Okay. So if you want the one that I've just showed you, that's at the bottom of the screen. But this is the one that we're looking at now. So this is where you've got your periwinkle parade and your blossoming blues, and that is where I showed you that finished sample just a few moments ago. Shall I show you properly now? rather than just wafting it under your nose. Have a quick look at this. And it shows you that those papers can be die-cut. Look at that. Beautiful lacy butterfly feature there, but also featuring on your MDF base there. Absolutely gorgeous. And of course, many of them do team up with the stamps that we saw a few moments ago. So obviously taking inspiration from the paper pad to add your colour to your stamped image, it brings everything together beautifully. So this one, you've got your blossoming blues in there and your periwinkle parade very pretty designs i don't know if we've got anything else featuring from those ones or should we have a flick through should we have a quick look should we go periwinkle or blue which should we look yes. at we're going to go blue that's because it's at the front and less likely for me to knock it over isn't it molly i know <laughs> <laughs> now here on the front cover front covers are always useful as well because it kind of gives you a little insight to what's going to be inside that paper pad but don't throw that away because that's a very useful piece to have as well and then you've got things like your stripy papers featuring in here those gorgeous repetitive blooms there with your polka dots absolutely beautiful again lots of your florals feature in there is that oh that's nice because you kind of got a top and tail of that one so you could put sentiment in the middle maybe slice it through the middle use it on two projects but you are getting loads within here so again all on that gorgeous blue theme and all absolutely beautiful coming to you from dreamies and those are your blossoming blues that come alongside your periwinkle parade just 14 pounds and 98 pence again you're getting 96 of those papers double-sided absolutely 
absolutely amazing value for money. Perfect opportunity for you to stock up on these. So if you have invested in them previously and you're getting a bit low on your supplies or you just don't want to be without them, then the details are there on your screen. 930 491. And again, add that in alongside any of your flexi order items. You can spread the cost of those as well. Makes it a very affordable way of getting hold of them. I think it only works out something like an extra 750. Now this is a nice one if you like your, dark, um, your deeper tones. So this one we've got your autumn haze and your floral harvest. So with these ones, again, deeper tones with these, as you can see from the covers. I love that kind of wood effect that you're getting within this one. A little bit of those polka dots coming through again. And with some of these, you might recognize some of the prints on here because we will potentially have seen them in previous um, pads, but obviously different colorways with these. Now it comes alongside your floral harvest. And in your floral harvest, again, you're getting those deeper, richer tones. Absolutely beautiful. So if you're into your rich purples, your chocolate box purples, then this is the perfect one for you, isn't it? Let's have a little look, see what we've got in this one. So again, good size pages, eight by eight, again, double-sided again, so lots of choice. Plenty of repeats of those, and again, some really pretty papers. So if I flip those over, you've got solid areas, as you can see. Um, and the beauty of these, because they're uncoated, you can actually change the colour of these as well if you wanted to. So bring your ink pads in, add your stamped images, emboss them with your heat um, embossing powders and things like that. All these are pretty, aren't they? But you can imagine those actually used on something like those baubles that we saw. I mean, the baubles don't necessarily just mean Christmas, do they? I mean, you can be making a lovely kind of floral embellishment. Oh, nice stripey one there. We'll gloss over that one because our screens don't always work well. What we've got the flip side there. Ooh, very nice. Like these, like these a lot. So, cool. oh, I've lost the, the cover sheet now. It's in amongst there somewhere. Oh, there it is. There it is. So if you're wanting your floral harvest, it's teamed up with your autumn haze. And again, phenomenal value. £14.98. Different item number. But again, pop it into your basket. Spread the cost if you so choose. You've got your flexi order open. Why don't you? So 599 680. Good to have your company during this hour. About ooh, a little over halfway through all the items that we're bringing you during this happy hour. But you can see you've only got 37 minutes left to take advantage of these. Now, this is a lovely set of stamps. Something a little bit different and nice to use as an alternative to um, maybe a verse. Maybe you like adding. My mum always loves a card that's got a proper verse in it. So she'll always look out for a card that has got so more than just happy birthday in there or thinking of you. So here you can see the ingredients for a happy birthday. Recipe of a happy birthday. So you need a handful of family. Um, not too much, though. Don't want too many family members there, do we? Um, four helpings of birthday cake. Oh, OK. I like the idea of that one. One large cup of cards. Oh, that'd be nice, isn't it? A pinch of presents on the side and a shower of appreciation. What a fabulous stamp. And you've actually got three others in addition to that one there. And they're really nice sizes with this. Oh, the recipe of love. Handful of honesty with three helpings of laughter, two teaspoons, two teaspoons of adoration, a pinch of romance, dusted with understanding and a lifetime of happiness. If only it was as simple as that, eh? You making notes over there? The recipe's wrong. <laughs> Um, 025952, you fancy getting hold of those. Um, absolutely adorable, really pretty little stamps there as well. They're good sizes, these as well. So um, with regards to the actual image, I don't think they're far off the size of the image, to be fair, with those when you're stamping them out. So obviously clear stamps so you can see exactly where you're laying those down. And I just think they're a really nice idea. All of those, $9.99, very affordable. You could have those on the front. Oh, we're going to over, oh, we're in a reading mood. We're going to look at the others. Recipes of, recipe of a crafter. Okay, so this is what you need. You need a shelf of glitter and powders. Just the one. <laughs> Four drawers of special card. Oh, we've all got plenty of that, haven't we? With a tub of offcuts to the side. Five binders also. Yeah, you might as well stick a one in front of that. Of dies and stamps. And three jars of butterflies, brads and bows. With 10-inch square to work in. That, yeah, that, that kind of gets smaller and smaller, doesn't it, when you start working? And I love this one. The recipe of friendship. Three teaspoons of laughter. A warm glass of fun. Two teaspoons of trust with one cup of understanding and a handful of encouragement sprinkled with a million memories. I think that one's my favourite. I like that one. 
that's kind of cute, isn't it? But brilliant, I mean, $9.99. You will be using those over and over again. And as I say, it's something a little different, isn't it? You could be even putting those into little frames. It doesn't just have to go into your cards. 025952. Again, they've looked fabulous on the baubles. Can I just have a little look? Let me just... Oh, sorry. Oh, I've knocked one over. Hold on. Bear with. Bear with. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Oh, I went very brummy then. I'm coming back. Don't worry. I'm coming back. <laughs> Look at that. They fit on there nicely, don't they? So if you wanted to actually do one of those, decorate them and actually have that as your sentiment on there, I think that's a lovely idea. Don't forget, we've got those MDF pieces as well for you as well. They're at the bottom of the screen, so you can add those back in together, did not you? There you go. Anyway, I'll leave those stamps with you. But, oh, positivity. We like a bit of positivity, don't we? Little positivity can go a long way. Now, with this one, you've got 12 stamps. And again, bargain price, less than a tenner, $9.99. And again, sometimes it's the words that make a difference, isn't it, with a project? And these are lovely. One day at a time. Oh, that was a song, wasn't it? Oh, where's Marcus? He'd know that. One day at a time. I don't know whether it's in it. Was it a Eurovision song or something like that? Anyway, we digress. Um, you matter to me, nobody else can be. Ah, oh, you've got this. You can't control everything, just let it be. There's another song for you. Um, sometimes you forget how truly amazing you are, and so this is your reminder. Oh, that's nice. And I like that one, positivity. Make yourself a priority. Yes. We don't do that often enough, do we? Have a look at this. Again, brilliant sizes to go on your projects. Fabulous if you're into your art journals and your feel-good journals as well. Every day may not be good, but there's something good in every day. That is a really good phrase. Always see the, right, uh, the brighter side, isn't it? That's a, that isn't one of the stamps, incidentally. That's just me saying stuff. That's a nice one. You're doing your best and that is always enough. Isn't that lovely? And again, it's the main focal point on that um, card there. But it might be that you're just wanting a little accent there. And there you go. One day at time. And I love that. It's like a little hand scripted. Isn't that beautiful? Um, again, brilliant price. Less than a tenner. 12 stamps. 457551. Five, really good value. Very usable. Both of those sets of stamps. Um, the next set's very usable as well. And these are full of bunnies. I love these. You've got three options with these. So you've got different options all under the same item number. So whichever of these you go for, you're just going to be paying $9.99. So this is using the artwork. Lovely Hayley comes up with some amazing pieces of artwork. And one of her favourites is drawing little bunnies. So this one is Bunny Lovely. And with this one, you can see there you've got your Bunning Lovely. Beautiful. Hopping by to say hi. Dear friend, just to say, and that adorable stamp there. And the way that you've got those lines around the edge of your little bunny rabbit, very, very clever, because it kind of gives you the fluffiness when you stamp these out. And again, they're really good sizes. Now, with regards to that one, um, I think I've got, oh, no, I haven't got that one here. It's here. There you go. There you go. So good sizes again. Beautiful. Absolutely adorable. So there you go. That is that first option. But then we've got two other options for you. So let's have a little look at this one here. I'm here if you need me. And this one is hop your own way. So you can see you've got your fabulous little brain. Oh, look at those eyes. Adorable. Absolutely adorable. With love, with love. That's that in a funny way. We love. Doesn't everybody say love like that? No. Maybe not. This is a nice one. You could decoupage this one up. And the eyes, the eyes are actually solid in the stamp there. So when you do actually um, stamp them up, they will come out as solid black. They do look a bit demonic. I'm not going to lie when you look at them like that. But yeah, there you go. Cute. Um, and I like the little uh, flower that you've got there. You could be very clever with that one, though, because you could actually use that and use maybe a stamp from your um, collection. It doesn't have to be a little bunny rabbit under there. You could mask off certain areas and use that in loads of ways. The last one that you've got is your little sleeping bunny. Aww. See, I asked this question in another show, and everybody just, it was just like tumbleweed. Did, when you were at nursery school, did you play sleeping bunnies? Yeah. See, sleeping, lions. sleeping bunnies. 
I think it was just the way that, you know, when the teachers were back from lunch and they needed a little bit of quiet time, you all had to lie down and they'd sing a little song, sleeping. I can't remember how it went. And I can't sing it, obviously, because of copyright issues. Not that you would recognise it if I did sing it, but there we go. Um, and then all of a sudden you jumped up and hopped around at the end. Oh, we've got Marcus hopping in the studio, got Leone wanting to hop. Oh, it's all going on. <laughs> That's an interesting hop, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Seven, nine. Mind you, saying that, if we all lay down for a sleep here, we probably wouldn't get back up again, to be fair. 794 684 is your fancy getting hold of any of those. All three of them there as choices for just 9 99 And incidentally, if you want to go back in for any more of them, there's no additional post and packing because they're on the same item numbers. Now... This is, is this a new item that we've got here? Now, this is one of the brand new items. So everything that we've been speaking about up until this point have been happy hour items. Actually, is this one a happy hour as well, even though it's a newbie? <gasps> oh, that doesn't happen very often, does it? So, right, with regards to these, we've got a couple of different uh, lanterns that we're going to be sharing with you. So this particular lantern that we're going to share with you at the moment, it's kind of got that circular look to it. Now, this one, this one, is this a happy hour or is this... this Ah, oh, so this is your regular price, but it's new today, and that's why you've got such a, a brilliant deal with this one. So for £9.99, you're going to be able to create your three-dimensional lantern. Now, lanterns are always popular when we see them in MDF. Always popular around Christmas time, but to be honest, when you look at the way that these florals have been brought into this one, you can see why they would be so popular. Now, they do come with full instructions. And they're easy to put together. Our Molly's put one of these together during the, um, the break, I think, now. And you just rotate that around there. Isn't that gorgeous? You could imagine florals going in there. Maybe you've got a die of um, a silhouette of people, maybe a, a wedding couple featuring in there. Um, it could be the, well, anything that you want to put in there, actually. It doesn't have to be a stamped image. It could be something that you created. Absolutely beautiful. Love it. Um, so uh, this particular one, you've got all your elements, as you can see here. So they're all MDF laser cut. So you're going to pop them out. You're going to follow your instructions, glue it all together. Um, and uh, there you go. You've got a fabulous effect. Isn't that lovely? And I love the one down the front as well there, as you can see. And it's up to you. You can paint these, leave them as a natural MDF look if you wanted to. Either way, they look fabulous. And for 9 99 a very good value for money, 025121 brand new today now these are very nice like these and these have actually got a little opening door on these so with regards to these now i'm going to be careful because this one isn't actually glued together so you're going to get two of these and they have got a door now i'm going to be careful because this one isn't actually glued together but you have got a door that will open and close as you can see and again you're going to get two oh actually no you didn't get two in the last set did you You only got the one with this one you're going to get two 11 pounds and 99 pets and again it gives you the opportunity for you to create something absolutely gorgeous. Now, again, they've got a little opening door. Which is the opening door on this one? I'm not sure. Oh, there you go. It's kind of, it's a, a jar, I think they call it. I don't know. It's a little bit open and a little bit closed. I'm not going to try and open it any further because it might be glued in place. But you could put a little candle in there if you wanted to. But you can see there. Oh, it does open a bit. There you go. does open. Fabulous. Now, this one's obviously, it's got open apertures within your window, but there's nothing stopping you putting a little bit of um, acetate in there, maybe if you wanted to do a little kind of stained glass look. Um, the cooler tones of the grey is nice, because we've actually got like a little, lamp, little light in there. So, obviously, you could put a little um, kind of LED light in there if you wanted to. And it does come with like a little hanger at the top, so once it's all glued together, you could actually string them together and do almost like lanterns on a string. Beautiful. £11.98, so very, very affordable. 458080. Um, now, that design is beautiful, but we've actually got a large version of it as well. And it's huge. This is a sort that would look beautiful. Maybe just down by your fireplace um, at Christmas time, maybe. Now, you are going to get one of these. It's a big size piece, but look at that, £9.99. And again, you've got all the elements. Again, you're going to have the ability to open that door again. I'm going to do it very gently because it might not be glued together. It's not. I've just had confirmation it's not, so I've stepped away. But can I just ooh, move it to the side because, oh, look, I've got a little gnome in a cage. Well, he's not, he's in a lantern. Oh, look at his happy little face. Now, don't forget these gnomes. We've actually got these gnomes available to you. Um, in the MDF bundle that came with the baubles and everything as well. Could be a Christmas tree that you're putting in there. Actually, do the Christmas trees fit in? 
So with regards to these, don't forget the gnomes that you're looking at there, they're part of that MDF bundle. I'm just going to bring in one of the Christmas trees, actually, because I've got a feeling they might fit in there quite nicely as well. I think they would. You might have to do it at a slight angle because of the, the stretch of the, uh, the branches. I can't think what that word, what's the word when the, the canopy of a tree? I don't know. It's that kind of broadness of it. Because, yeah, I think it's, it might have to be that you do it at a slight angle. I don't know. You could try it and see. It might go in there. You could almost poke out the little bits if you wanted to. Anyway, we digress. Nine ninety nine. If you want, you can get one of these. And the details are on your screen. Six zero four seven five eight. If you want to order multiples of them, then you can do. And the beauty is, same item number, just one post and packing. You don't have to worry about that. Now, of course, during this hour, we've had some items that are on flexi order, um, and also it means you can add other bits and pieces in. Or your order might be coming to sixty pounds of more. In fact, I'm not going to tell you about this. It might be Leonie, might be Catherine, who knows? What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. It certainly does. And on a show like this, it gives you the perfect opportunity to go and take advantage of those savings. Now, you can see the clock behind me there. You've only got just over 22 minutes to take advantage of these savings. Of course, you can shop online, but lots of you are placing your orders on the phone, which kind of results in a queue situation. But let me show you what you've got on the website, because if you wanted to shop online, it means you could get out of those phone queues and get your orders um, placed that way. And this sort of gives you the perfect opportunity for you to check out some of those reviews as well. Um, um, you can see everything that we've got on offer. Some of those things that we've not spoken of, you can actually get hold of in multiples and add extra ones in there if you choose to. But the beauty is, it is all there for you to peruse. But of course, many of those items are happy hour deals. So do be aware that those prices, if you're looking at, um, looking at them after five o'clock this afternoon, they will not be the prices that I have been referring to. You have to be quick with these. It's happy hour and that's what it's all about. Now, obviously, I've shown you a few finished samples as we've gone along. But I know many of you will be watching as fans of Dreamies and you'll have some of these items in your stash already. May well have even crafted with them and have photographs that you can show off using some of these. So I'd love to see your makes, your dreamy makes, if you have any of them. You can send us pictures in. We've got about uh, 15 minutes or so. I think that's about right, isn't it? Is that right? 16. What's a minute between friends? Um, but of course, the beauty is you can email them in. So studio at thecraftstore.com if you fancy sending those in. But let's go back to the beginning. If you've just joined us, we've got some fabulous deals for you. During this hour, the prices are going to go up when we get to five o'clock. And this is a lovely set of sentiments. Now, these are um, called sentiment edges. So they're going to sit on the edge of your project, potentially. So when you're making a mat and layer, you can have them so they kind of add a little detail to the edge. Sentiments, loads of them, all sorts of different opportunities, congratulations, with love, happy birthday, um, birthday wishes, all of those featuring on there. And of course, the beauty is with the dies, as long as you look after them, they will last and last and last. Now, £16.99 is your price on these ones. In 20 and a half minutes, so they will go up by £3. And I don't know about you, but I like to take advantage of those at the lowest prices I can. That's why a happy out is such a good deal. 548255 if you fancy those. Now, the next item, this has been a popular one. You've been liking this one. Now, pop this one on its side just so as you can see these. Have I done it the right way around this time? I have indeed. Yay! Now, 70% of the stock has gone of these. My goodness. And I don't blame you. 
It is such a brilliant set. Now you've got obviously your circle stamps. Now your circle stamps have got lots of different sentiments in there. Some of them like hugs and kisses, sending a smile, complete as they are. But then you'll notice some of the others have got little gaps in the middle like thank you or it might be um, you are the best and things like that. Well you've got the different stamps there that will sit neatly between those lines which means you can turn these into pretty unique styles of stamps. So it could be um, I love you, it might be husband that you put in there, boyfriend, mum, dad, whatever you choose. Hugs and kisses you can see with love there um, so there's lots of different choices with regards to these and I think you'll find that some of those where it says on your birthday and you did it they may well be separate to the actual stamps as well so it gives you a whole host of different kind of ways of playing with these then you've got your die now your die is going to help you when it comes to cutting these out because it's going to allow you to cut out that circle which is pretty tricky to do if you're trying to do it with scissors but there are two different dies here so one that's going to cut out your circle and one that's going to cut out a circle with almost like a stalk attached to it which might be something that you're going to pop into a little present or pop into it's almost like a little pin isn't it pop it into a present um, pop it into a potted plant something like that but brilliant value for money um, so 11.99 going to get all of those 36 stamps and your two dies in there but rapidly approaching 80 percent of the stock has gone if you are new to crafting then this is going to be an incredibly useful set to have in your stash put it upside down there we go so if you're wanting those please be quick don't forget that the price is going to go up but at this stage it's more about the stock because the stock once it's gone that's it it won't be a case of, oh, yeah, we've got more of those and it's going to be on extended delivery. And even so, if that was the case, you wouldn't be paying that price when we get to five o'clock anyway, because it's going to go up. And we like getting things at the lowest price possible. So add that one into your basket. Um, rapidly approaching limited stock with that one. It's only an extra six pounds if you've got that flexi order open, don't forget. So it's one of those ones, if you've already got some other goodies in there, it's worth adding that one in for that. So I'll keep you posted with that one, but potentially we are going to lose that one before the end of the hour. So next set this is one of the sets that we've got that i was talking about and i think this one um have we got this one on flexi order this particular one we have so if you were adding this one in then any of those two um stamps well, either the stamp set or the die set i just shared with you you could add in and spread the cost over two payments as well now this is a series of floral stamps and floral dies and the beauty is you can use the stamps just by themselves if you wanted to they'd look amazing um, or you can stamp them up and die cut them with the outside edge because that die will allow you to do so or it might be that you're wanting to take the inner detail and actually add that to your project or your card so they kind of work in loads of different ways they're interchangeable that's the key thing so for example on this particular one you've got your circle that has been cut and the die has been cut out to make that almost like aperture that you've got there showing through that pretty background paper but then the die has been used again alongside the outline to create your gorgeous flowers but then if you wanted to you could have stamped that as well it's all about choice and it's all about kind of changing them up and that's what you've got with this set now you've got a set of five here and you've got a lot within here so you've got your peony which is your large blooms large flowers always pretty you've got your gladioli within this one as well then the next one that we've got um, alongside your gladioli is your lavender and you've got three sprigs of lavender which are beautiful fuchsias fuchsias are one of my favorites in the garden you get so many different color combinations of those don't you lots of pinks and lots of beautiful purples and then the hydrangeas obviously you tend to get kind of your pinks and blues with those but when we're in the craft world you could have any color you like two flexi buys of 22 pounds and 48 pence we'll get these to you the first one going alongside your post and packing today so 273137 now need to give you a little bit of news with regards to the last item it is now officially limited in stock now if it's in your basket good news that means you kind of reserved yours it's not yours yet it's not yours until you check your basket out so if you leave it there for 10 minutes or so then it will fall back into our stock um, allocation which means that other people can come along and pick it up so you could potentially miss out on it so if you like it and you've popped it in your basket and that's why you've popped it in your basket because you like it check your baskets out because I would hate for anybody to miss out on something that they've got the heart set on but I'll keep you updated with those, but for the time being, they are limited in stock. Now, these are fabulous dies. These are your card maker dies. Now, touched on the first one just a few moments ago, but just to reference these, what you've got is a set of um, four dies, and the dies will allow you to create your card bases, but also to add your finer detail. So the die that you've got there will create things like your easel card, but then it will create your pockets, your elements to go on top, your embellishments. The things to enhance these designs, and you've got 71 dies in total, 
at all. Now you can see you've got a huge saving on these. You're saving £72 at least with these. Now I say at least because if you're a Freedom member, you're actually saving an extra tenner. So it's worth becoming a Freedom member to take advantage of these. Now these are brilliant. They come in a little folder. And you've got full instructions on the back there, so you don't have to worry. If you've not caught one of the shows, then uh, it's explained to you exactly what you need to do. And, of course, Dream is always doing Facebook Lives. I think Carol does one pretty much every evening. So um, I'm sure she takes requests. So if you wanted her to show you how to work with these, I'm sure she'd be able to show you. But here you've got not only your worker dies, which are going to give you a base of your card, but additional embellishments and sentiments. They maximise the area that you've got within those dies to make sure you really are getting the most out of your money with regards to these and then you create some absolutely beautiful designs the next one i wouldn't even know where to get started with your score lines on this one because it comes together and you've got very kind of it comes together and it folds flat like so so that's very clever first of all because that would fit in a box wouldn't it but when you actually open it up look at that design so much depth of that one. Um, really pretty, very clever the way they come together. And the dies do all the hard work for you. And that's the thing. When you've got a good set of dies, then you can just add your embellishments as you so choose. Two flexi buys, £44.98. And that's if you're a Freedom member. And these, again, they're going to be useful as your basis, but also those additional elements. We always see Hayley um, and, uh, Hay and Carol working with those additional bits, the additional florals, the additional kind of tags and, and little bits and pieces. So very useful set. Um, 940-835 if you're wanting to get hold of those. Oh, we've had a technical seller. I wonder if we can guess what it might be. So Circle Dies, um, so they have gone. So thank you to everybody that took advantage and thank you for checking your baskets out. You're not going to be disappointed. Very useful set. If you've got it in your basket, that means you need to check it out now. And if any of those do come back into our stock, I will let you know. But for the time being, it has sold out. 595520 if you want to keep a note of the item number. Don't know if we'll ever see them back again, but yeah, you've got the number to check every so often, haven't you? Now, your MDF bundle. Now, it's not the only MDF bundle that we've got on the show. Don't forget, we've got those wonderful lanterns, which you could add in alongside. And the lanterns do work really well with these. So you've got your baubles to start with. Now, your baubles can be used obviously for Christmas themes if you're wanting to but they're kind of like little hanging plaques I'd like to call them as well because they don't have to um, be Christmas themed they could be whatever theme you like now you're going to get 10 of those really good sizes with regards to those and again you could team them up with other things that um, obviously the girls bring to us because they've got loads of different MDF embellishments and things that you could use to enhance them or it might be that you just want to take some of your pretty papers and turn them into little Christmas tags as you can see beautiful so you're gonna get 10 of those in there you're also going to get 10 of your gnomes in 10 of your chris and uh, sorry not 10 of your gnomes five of your gnomes and four of your trees so your gnomes are kind of like two parts let me just move that out of the way just so as you can see so you've kind of got your outside edge of your gnome and then you've got your finer detail on the front there and then you've got things to enhance so you've got um, things like his nose and the little stand so he can sit sit up nice and, nice and straight and then you've got your trees, so it might be that you're building up a scene because they could sit with the trees if you wanted to. And the trees come in little stands as well, so perfect to have them standing up to decorate maybe your mantelpiece come Christmas time. But again, trees are for all year round, aren't they? Just like your gnomes and your baubles. £24.97, 718009. And as we mentioned before, with the lanterns, the, um, the gnomes sit in there beautifully so that's a nice one to add in if you have gone for those um, fabulous lanterns now what else can i tempt you with so the papers we've got um three different sets of papers for you so it depends on your color theme that you're into this one's a really pretty one because you've kind of got your minty greens with your lovely kind of lilac tones in this one and this one is called um fluttering butterflies because you've got lots of butterfly references within these you've got two sets of your eight by eight and you're getting 48 sheets in each one one of those it gives you 96 double-sided um, sheets within there so there's a lot within that content there as you can see um, 14 pounds and 98 pence absolutely brilliant value for money so 106746 if you're wanting those now and the other colors that you've got with these you've got your blues your blossoming blues and your periwinkle parade beautiful designs again 14 pounds and 99 pence the cover sheet says it all doesn't it shows you those gorgeous polka dots in there those lovely kind of mottled backdrops perfect for stamping on if you're wanting them 
So 930491 if you're wanting those. Again, £14.98. But deeper tones in the next bundle, if you're into those richer colours, then this is the one for you. You've got nods to yellows and blues and greens and all sorts featuring in here, but very much more an autumnal feel. Autumn haze and floral harvest, just £14.98. And again, 98 papers in each one of those pads, giving you an overall um, quantity of 96. 96 papers for 14.98 and the double sided brilliant five six six four eight and four try again five six 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 eight zero there's no fours in there at all just making them up making the numbers up as i go now this is a nice set this is a cute set you've got your little recipes your recipes for love your recipes for birthdays your recipe for a crafter and a recipe for friendship absolutely adorable now, Molly, which one would I send Molly? Oh. I would sell her, and what do you mean, uh-oh? <laughs> the recipe of friendship, oh. I think. Because she's, she's full of, she's not just three teaspoons of laughter. She got mixed up. You know when you do a recipe and you get mixed up between your teaspoons and your tablespoons? That's our Molly. You ask for three teaspoons of laughter, but you get three tablespoons. Oh, a whole jar. She just doesn't know when to stop. So that's a nice one there. Recipe of the Craft. I love that one because the Recipe of Crafters, I mean, this is kind of a jokey one, really, because it's referring to like four drawers of special card. I mean, that's not going to happen, is it? It's more like four roomfuls of special card. Five binders. Well, I can think of 15 before I even start counting. So there's loads of uh, kind of content within these and they're just lovely little phrases and I think you will love these. And they're just a nice little uh, way of adding a sentiment or a verse to a project, whether it's on the outside or the inside of your card. I think it's a really nice idea. 9 99 incredibly affordable. It's one of those why not go for it prices. You might not necessarily straight away think of a project for them, but why not get them at 9 99 Brilliant value. This is a nice set as well. So this one has got all sorts of words of positivity. And with the positivity, it could be attitude that you're giving positivity towards. It might be somebody's um, kind of uh, how they're feeling about themselves. You matter to me. What a lovely little phrase. You've got this. Be kind to yourself. Sometimes we forget about these things, don't we? And sometimes this is one that I could send to everybody here, that sometimes they forget how truly amazing they are. So that's the thing with these. Life is too short to let negative people, and I don't know what the rest of it was, change you. Yeah. Just don't let them in. Just don't let them in. Make yourself a priority. Love it. So, again, absolutely brilliant value for money. Um, and, again, they're just really nice designs with these ones. So, yeah, if you wanted to get hold of these, 999 457 551. Now, don't forget these prices that we're speaking of here are happy hour prices. You haven't got a huge amount of time left now to get hold of these ones, to be honest. That time is surprising how quickly it goes. You've only got a little over seven minutes now. So, yeah, we start off and we say 60 minutes. You think, oh, that's ages. I'll wait till the end. But the thing is, we have sellouts like we have done. And also, it might be you thinking, right, I know, I'll wait till the break. I've got my list. I've got my hand at three minutes between the shows. But then what if the phone goes? What if the doorbell goes? And then it's kind of like 10 past five. It's too late to get hold of these prices. So make sure you're getting hold of them now. Now, this is a lovely set because here you've got options. And they're all bunny related. The Adorabuns. Absolutely gorgeous artwork here from Hayley. Um, and you can see some really nice sentiments that relate to your little bunny rabbits as well. So it's a really nice idea to go for these. Now, she loves drawing the bunny rabbits. And you can see you've got sleepy bunnies. You've got bunnies that are kind of having a little look in the countryside. You've got some of them shading from the sun, or maybe the rain even. It could be like a little daisy umbrella, this one, couldn't it? A nice little phrase. Now, this one is called Hop Your Own Way. And you've got those gorgeous, adorable eyes there looking up at you. And that fluffiness, I think it's very clever the way that Haley's captured the fluffiness of the fur with those little lines around the edge. Very, very clever. Makes it nice and easy for you to get those results with these ones. You've got Hop Your Own Way with this particular one. You've also got your Sleepy Bunny, which is just to the side of Hop Your Own Way. He's out for the count, that one, isn't he? He's had more than his fill of carrots, that one. Sleeping it off as you do. And happy belated birth, that's a good one, because it's kind of like you snoozed and you forgot. The snuggle is real. Aw, cute. 
beautiful. Um, so yeah, all three of those choices, just nine ninety nine, whichever you go for, but the same item, but you might want to dip in and get multiples of those, especially if you're in tube bunnies. Or maybe it's a case of um, you're fundraising for animal charities. Those would be really cute ones to go for. Talking of fundraising, then sometimes projects are nice to make and sell. And this is a lovely one. This is a new one um, and uh, it's a brilliant price because it's just 9 99 Now you're going to get all your elements as you can see here. Don't worry, it does come with full instructions. So when it comes to putting it together, there's no guesswork involved. Everything is explained on there, including um, a little photograph there to make sure that you are going in the right direction. Some nice little ideas. And many of these things that you'll see referenced here, you can actually get hold of on our website as well. And then, of course, you're going to create one of your fabulous um, lanterns. Well, I say lanterns. They could almost be like a little display piece, couldn't they? Lanterns, you tend to think of putting a, ca a candle in there. But they don't have to be. It could be that you're putting like a little floral um, embellishment in there or a little display. It could be a little Christmas tree that you're popping in there. And you've got open sides with these as well. So if you do want to have your elements that are kind of tumbling out, then they can do. 999 is going to get you any one of those. Well, again, get you one of those, should I say. 025121 if you're wanting those. 999. We're down to the last minute and a half of the hour, which means that you're only going to have four and a half minutes. There you go, the clock is there. Still got queues on the phone, so the website is the way to go now. Often it happens, we get phone queues, and the problem being is you've caught up in a phone queue at the end of a happy hour, it could potentially miss out on some of these fab fabulous prizes. So this particular one is where you're going to get a set of two, and you're going to get two of your lanterns with the door that will actually open up as well. Again, this one hasn't been glued together. So you can see there you've got your open windows, which you could be putting a little bit of acetate in there, maybe a little bit of faux snow. Um, 11.98, really nice size, and again, perfect if you're wanting to put a little lan a lantern in there as well. So 458.080. But if you want to go large, then this one is the one to go with. Exactly, it's the same kind of style, so they work well alongside it. And it's somewhere you need to keep your gnomes. There you go, you can tuck them away in there, you know that they'll be there when you come back. 9 99 um, again, go for them in multiples if you want to. Just repeat to that same item number. Now, you've got a little over three minutes to take advantage of the savings. We're going to be heading into a break. This is when the phone lines will get even busier so make sure if you can shop online you do so take advantage of those prices um, and make sure you do come back and join us after the break because it's coming up to six o'clock so we'll be launching a brand new one day special and you're if you're into your bargains you will not want to miss this one so details on your screen for those lanterns check out your baskets and i'll see you a little bit later on Oh, you don't want to miss this one. All and Create One Day Special. It looks amazing from where I'm standing. Loads of fun. Then we've got a wonderful wool happy hour. Bargains galore. And then I'm back with the One Day Special at eight. Hi, I'm Donna, and this is my brother Simon, and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just a water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays, and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. Our pearl sprays and our pearly winks are loaded with mica, so they give you amazing results on your projects. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly, and I'm really excited to be working with you guys here at the craft store. We've been here since the very beginning and hopefully we'll continue to bring you lots of new and exciting soft craft projects. We've got everything from things like our Fabazine, which contains 12 different projects that you can do either in one go or split them up separately. Um, and that's a journey through all types of different soft crafting. And then we've got things that are really specific like our Stitchery, which is a journey through all kinds of embroidery as well. So make sure you join me and Craft Yourself Silly here at the craft store. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away 
or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Catherine and I'm the guest presenter for Zuri Designs. Zuri Designs are based in America and they bring to us their exceptional quality silicon moulds. If you watch the Zuri shows, I will share with you lots of hints and tips. I will show you how to use different mediums, ranging from your clays and your resins through to things like even your hot glue. So make sure you don't miss the Zuri shows. Oh, knock, knock, knock. There's a peekaboo popping his head round the door to say good evening and welcome to a one-day special from the mighty All and Create, the incredible brand new work of their amazing designer, Janet Klein. And we have got one epic one-day special for you. Uh, get ready, get shopping ahead. Good evening. It is lovely to have your company. We are again very, very honoured because the one day special is going to be another Janet Fest. Janet Klein, the work of the stamps and the amazing Janet Pring here with us live in the studio. Good evening. Good evening. How the devil are you? I'm very excited to be here again. I know. <laughs> incredible, it's very, isn't it? It's, 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 this is a lovely, lovely collection. I'm very excited to isn't be it? here. Isn't it? It's really, really, because it's so varied isn't yeah. it but it's quintessentially Janet Klein so very it's Janet great Klein, fun yeah. it's very whimsy it's just brilliant you can add obviously to the Janet Klein stamps that you've got already Absolutely. and this just it, it it's like a new member of the family isn't it? It is so it's, it's always exciting when Janet brings out new stamps because um, it it means the stamps you've already got can work again so you can you can look back and you can think, oh, I can do that with that and this with that. And yeah. you can just mix and match them all. And this is a really, really fun collection. I've had such a lot of fun with these stamps. They're, they're really nice. It is really brilliant. Nice. And we get a free French lesson along the way <laughs> with this set of stamps as well, which we'll get to in a wee while. It is just brilliant. Um, I have to tell you straight away what pops up at me and pops out at me so significantly significantly in this collection um, is the collection of stamps called Peekaboo because Peekaboo will allow you to bring characters out from the most bizarre of places yeah. which I love so all of those great big uh, flowers and other elements you can just have characters just peeking up and popping up wherever you like there's one from Debbie Martin there and boo there's some more Whoa, say again? Of the one day special? Really? Hang on a minute, we're only two minutes in. Um, okay, approaching 10% of the one day special has already sold up and gone. Oh. Right, okay, um, and you know it's all and create, so you know it's an, an, oh, an all consuming stock level that has to be in place for an all and create um, launch as well. We all know. Uh, what what the numbers are, Janet? Mum, yeah. gosh, that's <laughs> we've not even started <laughs> no, yet. That's really exciting. Oh, you're going to love them. You are going to. Yeah, love them. you you absolutely will. I mean, they are they are stunning. Let's make our way through the stamp set, shall we? They're brilliant stamps, amazing quality, deep etching, so all of the detail leaps out you. Where do you want to start? Let's start with a free French lesson, shall we? <laughs> Let's start with trois fleurs, which is three flowers. In lovely French. Yep. That's right, I've been looking it all up. <laughs> all fine. Uh, these are brilliant because, you know, they're not just flowers. No. They're all the create flowers, of course. And I love the scale of these. It is 10% um, of the stock now allocated on the one day special. Um, you've also got sentiments on here as well. So you have Gardener and you also have Find Me in the Garden as well. This would be perfect for me because that's most, when I'm not here or in another studio somewhere, that's where you'll find me. Find me in the garden. That walk round for an hour first thing in the morning. Yeah. I have to say, I don't have any flowers that look quite yeah. so... Quirky. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whimsical. Whimsical. Do you know this yeah. one? Um, I'm trying to... Where is that sample that you're looking at, Marcus? I'm trying to work out. To my right, over here. No, the other Oh, way. my right. Sorry. I, I'll just... Yeah, keep going. Stop. <laughs> there. Right, so this, this flower here, uh, that they, the top of that, it reminds me of teeth. It's brilliant. 
you could colour that up okay. so it looked like a, a, a false teeth flower. I just love it. I love Janet Klein's work. I think it's just yeah. brilliant. Um, over 10% of the stock sold out and gone. And that's, and that's just one of the... Um, how many stamps is it in total, R. Kirsty? So it's six sets. And how, how many... 41 stamps in total. Next, we have... There she is. Oh, no, I think I was the right way around the first time. Yes, it's that way around, actually. Oh, no, it's not that way around at all. It's this way around. And this is the one that is called... This is Butterfly House. Yeah. I love the fact that you've got the left and the right wing as yeah. well, because, of so course, you can add that to everything else, can't I you? I love this. I love this set. And she's beautiful. She's a pretty little girl. And the wings, obviously, you can use with her or with, with any other little girl or any other thing you want to put wings on. But also, the little house there is a fabulous thing. I've used that a lot. It's, it's just... It must be the shape of it. It's a really nice shape to use. Yeah, it's like in, a tower, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's a really nice shape. It's, uh, that's a lovely set. And again, it's so much fun. So much fun, these stamps. It's beautiful. And you've got her wings unfolded and be the change yeah. um, as the sentiments on that one. Uh, so that's that one. Let's go. Yeah, here's the one. This is the one that everyone wants to, to get hold of. Now, this goes every which way round, actually, yeah. so we might have to do... Oh, OK, on its own, technically, uh, sold out on its oh, own. Wow. <laughs> now, you've got very, very interesting um, sentiments on this one, because you've got peekaboo, but you've also got cuckoo. Now, so I've that's French to... as well. No, it, that is, yeah, that's French for, like, hi, hello. They kind of go cuckoo. Oh, cuckoo. cuckoo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, OK, so not like when we say cuckoo, when we no. mean... Uh... No, no. Oh, OK, <laughs> right. Um, and you've got one, two, three, four... Four peekaboos, and I love them. I think they're brilliant, and these you can put are, them. These are just lovely. I love yeah. these. They, they're just, you, you have a look through all your stamps. You will find loads and loads of stamps that you can have these little characters peeking out yeah. from. They are just amazing. And obviously the design team have had a lot of fun with them as well and used them in, in some different ways, and they're just fabulous, absolutely. I love that little boy. He's my favourite. Um, approaching... Um, 20% yeah. approaching of the entire one-day special stock allocated. Um, we've only seen halfway, <laughs> and they're the smaller stamp sets. Small but mighty. Small My but mighty. word. Fantastic. Yeah, right. Really good. Should we have a little look at the boys now? Here come the boys. Oh, no, that's not the song, is it? Anyway, <laughs> uh, so you've got... Uh, I'll turn it round so you can see the majority. There you go. You've got the glasses there as well, which is exactly the, the, the right scale for all of them. Plus, you've got the sentiments in there as well. So you've got happy birthday, grandson, sweetheart and son. And I love the fact that reminds me of me at about the age of mm, six or seven, I think. Yeah. You, know, you know when it, all the boys have that traditional cut? Yeah. <laughs> where pudding they put basin a, thing. Pudding, pudding <laughs> basin over the head and just cut around it. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit like that, isn't it? it? Is. It's a bit trendier, I yeah. have to say. This boy has a bit of a trendier bowl yeah. cut. One of the modern versions. Mm. That's actually coming back in, actually, isn't it? The, the very high bowl cut. You know where they Is have it, it cut oh, really yeah. high, but oh. it's straight line. And it looks, they look a bit like um, Action Man. <laughs> right. It's all a bit strange, isn't it? Um, other characters are available, I should probably say, shouldn't I, at this point. Uh, that is brilliant. That's part of your one-day special. We've not even talked about the savings, the price or anything. I'm just going to indulge in the stamps, to be honest. All the facts and figures are there, and I'll bring that to you um, in, in full detail uh, in a while. In the meantime, let's go to market, shall we? This is this again is brilliant. You could use that, couldn't you, with that with that house in yeah. the uh, in the other um, in the butterfly yeah. um, stamp set. You they could they use all that. do work together, and also yeah. the the house the shops in here are absolutely fantastic. Um, I, I love them, and you've got the flower, the market, the shoe shop, and the, the coffee shop, um, and they're fantastic. You so you just make a lovely little high street with those. But the trees, mm. <laughs> I cannot tell you how often I've used the trees in all my other stuff. The, the trees are fabulous yeah. as well. So don't overlook them. They're, they're just really, really important part of the stamp set. Yeah. And they're just like this one, I think we're just about to see from um, 
uh, Heather. And she's used, incorporated the trees in there as well with the shops. And it just makes a lovely, lovely scene. It's fan They are fabulous. And, and there's two trees as well. So yeah. you've got a taller one and you've got a slightly, yeah. slightly shorter one that's yeah. a bit bushier. Uh, right, OK. St sorry to keep having to come back to the stop. Between every stamp set, I have to update <laughs> you. It's like, whoa, what's going on here? Um, OK. We're now approaching a quarter of the entire one-day special stock allocated. And another stamp set to show you. <laughs> My word. And this is called Please Enter. Uh, Marcus nearly called it Please Eater earlier. <laughs> he couldn't quite see. Couldn't quite see. Um, Right, so these are the doors. So these are the doors. So to you, reveal your peekaboos yeah, so as you well. So you can reveal your peekaboos yeah. behind them as well. So, um, but also, you know, for lots of other re uses oh, yeah. as well. But you've also got your kind of little frame there as well. Um, and what's really nice is the girls have done, like, you've got the doctor's office there and welcome and the yeah. number on there. And the pantry. Um, the pantry, yeah. And so you can you can make a little scene. We had a... Uh, healthcare, healthcare heroes in one of the previous sets. Yeah. And just the doctor's office, somebody's done, there is a sample in there with a couple maybe with the doctor behind it. Yeah. So yeah. just fabulous. So um, re again, fantastically useful. I'd also love to back to back this as yeah. well and it's make full circle. circles with yeah. that. And maybe maybe you could make that um, the centre of your shaker element and you yeah. could have a bit of peekaboo going on you in could, there as well, yeah, couldn't you? you, could, you could. Um, just brilliant. Um, that is the, uh, the sixth. Um, stamp set to complete the one day special here. Um, it's brilliant. Right, okay, now let's talk about price because actually we better do that before before we haven't got it to talk about. Um, okay, right, so entire collection there has a £10 saving there for you. It comes in under £50, which is uh, awesome, um, which is really, really good. So that makes it very, very easy to make the decision because it's very, very affordable. If you're a Freedom member, of course, you save more. So you're saving $14.99 um, on that, bringing the price down to $44.95, uh, which is even better. If you're not a Freedom member so far, it is definitely, definitely worth becoming one. You know it is, uh, because it makes so much sense, because there's lots of other things on the show that you will want as well. Uh, and we, we're not going to be able to go into the details of all of those, I just know, because that would take the entire hour, let me tell you. But we also have a flexi freedom as well. So you can break down your um, price tag down into two. And it definitely makes that a why not deal. So if you're not a freedom member, £22.48 today, including your PMP. And of course, if you're a freedom member, then that's PMP for the rest of the month, all sorted as well for you. Um, can I show you a couple more samples? Is that all right? Sorry, just because this is such a, an adorable um, collection as well. This is the one that Janet was talking about. Uh, before with the uh, with the doctor's office on it. It's so, so sweet. It's really, really lovely. Um, and again, more of, of Janet's fabulous um, characters. Here's some of the boys as well, by the way. So that one was by, forgive me, Heather. Lovely Heather. Hey, weird. It's usually when I do an All The Create show, the first samples <laughs> I pick up are yours, Janet. Um, here's another one of uh, Heather's there as well. Happy birthday, sweetheart. So a bit, definitely a bit of stenciling going on in the background there. Oh, yeah, definitely. Some of the new I stencils, recognise that yeah. numbers stencil, yeah. I think. Do yes, I? do, yes. Yes, I'm absolutely. Sure. Uh, let's show you some more boys from Philippa there. Oh, I like that. Yeah, so yeah. stamping them out in sort of like a like a, a, a grey there, is it? Yeah, that's really nice. I like the, the one in the middle that's, that's kind of standing it out. It pops it's out, doesn't it? Yeah. And the hat comes from the Time Warp stamp, which is uh, in a previous collection as well. So... Uh, I love the way you can oh, mix and sorry. match. And she's used the glasses there as well. Yeah, so, yeah. she's just added them there on the yeah. top. Let me, let me show you this for an envelope as well. I mean, who's to say that you, you, you know, absolutely jazz up your envelopes and make them as much of a feature absolutely. as you do your card. Oh, gosh, right, updates. Here they come again. <laughs> We're approaching 30% of the entire collection allocated within the first 13 minutes of the first show of what should last us 24 hours. Um, mm, the way it's going, yeah, you know. Uh, so get your baskets checked out as quickly as you possibly can. How delicious is this? I love Philippa that. As well. I love Philippa. It. So she's used the, the butterfly house there. And just that, that, that lovely house everywhere, yeah. just with the wings and everything. Yeah, and, and you the spot it in all these the different places. Yeah, yeah you put, put, put the wings onto the house. Yeah, yeah I love that. Really love nice. Love it. Yeah. Very, very nice. Um, 
Listen, I'm, I'm going to just, just so that you've got time to check out and so we don't jam our phone lines and the website and everything else, I'm going to take you to the website now so you can shop ahead uh, with us. Remember, you can do this on the app as well and on the website. The individuals um, from the One Day Special, some of them have completely and utterly already sold out and gone. Um, some of the, the only way of getting some of them is obviously uh, via the, the main collection in the One Day Special. There are other bundles that are in the show as well today that are amazing value for money as well. Some returning favourites. You've got lots and lots of individuals. What I would say to you is shop sooner rather than later if you're going to go for the individuals um, because they will sell out very, very quickly. But we have some amazing bundles as well, plus stencils and, and all sorts. You know all and create. It is kind of like a creative playground and you can just go in there and get a wonderful basket of goodies together. But do get your one day special checked out as quickly as you possibly can. Yeah, I could carry on scrolling through what's on the show for the rest of the hour, quite <laughs> frankly. Uh, but it is an amazing, amazing world it is. Right, OK. Now, Janet, you said that these arrived with you a few days ago uh, and you thought you were going to be in a, an almighty rush and everything else. But what you discovered was these stamps kind of gave you the direction to go in, didn't oh, they? I, I've had the stamps a while, actually, but the, 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 the inspiration for using them comes as you use them. They are and the peekaboo ones, especially, because they look a little bit weird just seeing the stamp on its, on own. its, it's own. Like, yeah. It's just like, what do you do with that? But once you see it in use and once you've seen all the samples and you can see how fabulous they look, they're um, and the shops as well and the doors and the flowers and everything, it's just, they're just, it's just an amazing set. I had so much fun using them. They are just adorable. I mean, really, really adorable. I mean, can I just show you this sample as well? And I promise then we'll, we'll get on and we'll do some demos. But, but, but look at this. If yeah. you, you can see, look, the, the, the peekaboo is right there at the top as well. You keep moving the camera, Marcus, but the peekaboo is there at the top. Look, I, look, look, it's right there at the top. <laughs> and I think that's oh. absolutely fabulous that you get that little, just that little peek of the peekaboo there out of the top of the card as well. And then yeah. look, from behind the mirror, there he is, cheeky what's it. And then by the door, there's another one. You can hide them everywhere, yeah. which I think is absolutely brilliant. I love this sample, by the way. Philippa, absolute genius. Uh, another stock update coming. Over 30% of the entire day stock sold out and gone. Right, OK, time for me to zip it, you to go shopping, and Janet, <laughs> you to get playing. Me to get played. That's the exciting part for me, anyway. Mm. <laughs> Maybe not for you, but for me, this is exciting. So, um, so I thought we'd start just by using the, the well, a, a bit of a lot of the stamps, really, but just obviously featuring on the shops, but the trees and that. There's, there's flowers and the little boy as well. So we've got a nice little mixture going on in there. So I just need to start off just by using one of the stencils. So this is um, Bug Hotel by Abs, and I'm just going to do a, um, a quick background for this. So. Uh, I'm just using some blue ink. I just want the circles mainly for this one in the sky. That's a recent stencil as well, isn't it? This is, yeah, it was the Weekend was Wow. The weekend yeah, Wow, was Weekend it? Wow yeah, with yeah. abs, yeah. Yeah. Was that only a week ago or just over a week ago? I know. <laughs> Time just flies, doesn't it? It's, it's literally like you were here like yeah. five minutes ago. Oh, I, I probably was. <laughs> <laughs> I have a camper van now in the car park. <laughs> Good plan. <laughs> Good plan. So I'm just going to pop that on there. And I, haven't, I normally have one I prepared earlier and I haven't today, so let's hope this one works. <laughs> of course it will. Of course it will. So we just need that to sink in. Let's pop that up while I'm there. And that's fantastic. I just need a nice pale background, so I'm just going to block that because I don't want that quite as dark as that. Fab. So that's nice. That's lovely. It's random lovely bits combo, of stuff. That, <laughs> random bits of stuff in there. But I'm just going to let that dry while I while I do my stamping out. Well, I'm just going to show you then very very quickly just a picture that we've got then of the bundle where that stencil is in. Just very very quickly. I don't want to bombard you with too many pieces of information, but um, you've got the Bricks and Bug Hotel, which are a combo by Abs. There, you've got the lined cross in that, the lined plus, the scripted cross, and the scripted plus as well. It all makes sense when you have a look at it on the website. They've got these weird and wonderful names and I love them. They're brilliant. Um, so that is available on the website if you want to grab it there as well. 
Right, don't forget the acrylic blocks are on the show that Janet's using yeah. as well. We've got A, A5, A6, A7, haven't yeah. we? And A4, of course, we'll, you'll find if you shop by brand. But you're using mainly the A's. I'm going to be using mainly the A7s and the A6s yeah. just for the size of the stamps yes. that we've got. Yeah. So obviously, if, you, if you've only got Janet Klein stamps from All and Create, the A4 block probably isn't for you. It's, they're huge. Um, yeah. Obviously, if you've got all the other stamps, you want that as well. Um, but for Janet's, the A7 and the A's, you do need both the A7s and the A6s because there are some, some bigger stamps as well. Yeah. Um, and sometimes you like to, to stamp out more than one at a time as well. Just for me, it's a bit quicker to do that. So I'm just stamping out my little shops here. Okie dokie. And um, what, just so, while we're watching, yep. you carry on, Janet, just while we're watching you do that, um, I have to tell you another stock update <laughs> as well. I'm so sorry. That's we'll good. get this show started in a minute. <laughs> um, but we're approaching 40% of the entire one-day special stock sold out and gone. So congratulations if you have it secured in your basket right now. You're going to have to be quick if you want to be along for the ride on this one day special because 40% within what, 19, less than 20 minutes, um, kind of, yeah, kind of tells you how busy we are. Oh. So shops, Janet. Shops. So I'm just stamping out all my little shops. Let's quickly do these. So we've got the coffee shop and the market and, oh, I've got, I haven't, it's the trouble with putting my block, I don't always leave myself enough room. Then we've got the flower shop here. And just, I don't know, I'll maybe show you the packaging, but the detail in this flower shop is amazing. Well, uh, let me... You've got, I'll, yeah, I'll... just, you can see the individual little flowers in, in vases. Um, they are uh, amazing to, to yes, see. Actually, yeah, the, it's amazing detail. You can, I'll get, I'll get, uh, it's the one at the bottom, I think, Marcus, the flower one. Here we are. Look, yeah, there's everything in there, isn't there? But you can see, and when you start, it's when you start to colour in as well. So when you've got them home and you start to colour in, you can see all the fantastic little detail that there is in those. Yeah. They are, just, Janet's put so much into these. They are fantastic. It's great that you can get that level of detail into yeah. a stamp, isn't it? And the, the good quality stamps, so the, the detail stamps out as well. So once you stamp them, you, you don't lose the detail. It all stays there. Look at, see, look at that coloured art. Doesn't that look adorable? Looks really lovely, doesn't it? Yeah, the open sign in the um, in in the window. Curse, producer Kirsty was just saying. Yeah, it's just nice to see in yeah. the shop window. Yeah, yeah, you've got the open sign, something. and then the market's got the sale sign on as well. So yeah. you've got all the. They are the detail in them is is fabulous. Janet's put a lot of a lot of thought into these and uh, made some um, fantastic set. And then I just need my little boy, my little peekaboo boy, <laughs> my favourite. <laughs> It's amazing how quickly you get a favourite in a stamp set, sort of almost straight away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's him, that's my favourite. So he's there, he's just peeking out. Obviously I have got all these cut out, I will show you in a minute all the, the cut out, but I just think it's nice to see the, the stamped out images as well. Mm -hmm. And then last but not least, I need a sun. And um, I've used the flower, so in the um, trois fleurs, trois -fleurs. we've got, um, got this lovely flower here and um, I've used that, just cut the top of that off as the sun. So don't oh. just think of them as flowers, you can you, you think of them in all sorts of other ways as well. <laughs> I will stamp the whole thing out, but I really obviously only want the top. I love the way up, I'll, I'll show you a little bit later um, after this demo, but there's, um, there's a lovely um, journal page that Debbie Martin has created using the peekaboos as well, which yeah, looks amazing. Planner, I'll show yeah, you a little bit later. Yeah, yeah. It's fabulous. It's so, a good way um, of doing it, of jazzing up a, you know, what can be sometimes, you yeah. know, monotonous things that you're putting into your diary or your calendar or whatever. It just jazzes them up a bit, doesn't it? So I have cut everything out um, and I've cut, of. Uh, coloured them all in this time so I was very good doing my colouring so I've got some trees and I've got my son and I didn't actually I lied I haven't actually cut him out so I have yeah. coloured and cut all of those out um, and then really it, this is the fun part so I've got my background now and this is the bit I enjoy so having cut them out I could stamp them straight onto here but I can't fiddle <laughs> so what okay. I wanted to do was was just have a little play with the layout, how I wanted it to be laid out, how do I want it to go. I want one a little bit further back than the other so I can oh, kind of yeah. figure yeah, out. And when you've, it, when you've it, got yeah. them cut out, you can, you can yeah. mess around and, and play with them and just decide. So I decided I wanted like a little gap and I've got my flower shop there. 
in the market there and then you can pop the trees in. And once you start popping the trees in as well, that, that kind of changes the whole look of it yeah. for me. That made it look like a, a proper little scene. So you can start to do that and just do that. And then I've just got my sun up here as well. So that, just pop everything down a little you bit. You just want to live there, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> and then I've got my little guy who's here, who's not yet coloured in. Um, and I will show you, I'm going to, I will do a bit more to this, but I'm just going to tell you a little story about this, this little chap. Yeah. Um, no names mentioned, and it's quite difficult, but you may be able to figure out who I'm talking about. But this little guy here, he's just thinking, I've, um, I've had a busy morning at work designing stencils, <laughs> and I'm just wondering, he's just wondering, I'm going to just bring you my finished sample in. He's just wondering... Um, if he can nip out and buy a pair of shoes during the lunch hour, because he's oh. wondering if anybody will notice. And then he's going to pop into the coffee shop on the way back for a cup of hot chocolate. And <sighs> then he'll, he'll nip into the market and just buy some bracelets, because he's, he's a bit short of bracelets at the minute. You never have enough bracelets. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then he's going to pop into the flower shop, because he likes to support all his high street shops. So he's going to pop into the flower shop and buy six bunches of flowers before he nips back to the office. Uh, so. One of which, of course, is coming your way, Janet. <laughs> Hopefully. I think he'll probably be writing a writing a letter, and <laughs> I must just speak to one of my team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. About her attitude. <laughs> I, I think we might know who you're alluding to, possibly. I don't know. But it's quite funny because I um I uh, I um I did that card with, exactly with that in mind. Yeah. And um and um. Abs had asked me to. Um, he said, "Oh, could you just send me pictures of your your your, um, your demos?" Yeah. And I obviously sent them all across. Yeah. And he he came back at me and he said, "Is this me? <laughs> <laughs> Is this me deciding whether I want to go to the shoe shop first or the or the or the flower shop?" <laughs> yeah. I said, "Yep." <laughs> so it's really fun. So you can have fun with these. You can make them who you want them to be. You can colour them as you want them to be coloured. You can you can make them into people that you know um, and have fun with them. And you can use as many or as few as you want to. Absolutely, I mean, that's, yeah. That's yeah. You don't, obviously, you don't have to use them all. Um, and they're nice as well for, um, just, I was going to say for sort of new house cards, but that's, that's more the, the doors and things. You could use those for like new home cards. Yeah. Um, be nice for those. Yes, I'm, just, I'm, I'm surprised how many people are on that journey right now. Yeah. Aren't you? I'd, I would have thought, well, actually, do you know what, like, no, not now. Not now. Just let me just have a bit of, you know, peace. But there's a lot of people moving and yeah. relocating in new houses and, and whatever, it's, which is wonderful. Apparently, it's a good time oh, to do it. Stick that lamps down because he's not. So there, I'm going to pop my trees in. And again, you don't have to put them sort of up. You can you can move them down a little bit and just chop the end off if it's a bit high up. Do you know what would work really really nicely on those trees as well? I don't know if you saw um, earlier on that we had the the um, Ranger one day special earlier, and Leonie was showing the embossing glazes. Oh yes, yeah, the Tim Holtz good. ones, yeah. um, and the effect that they give on top of the ink. So use the actual ink first, yeah. and then the same colour embossing glaze, or even a different one, and the effect you get. Oh my word! So I'm just going to pop those there, and then just to to ground everything, I'm just going to use a little bit of washi tape. So we've got, I think the washi tapes are on the show as well. Oh, have we? So, um, I mean, you'll have, yeah. to be, you'll have to go and have a little perusal. There are several bundles um, available of the washies um, on the website, and they are super, super cool, actually. Um, how about this one, for instance? Part one and two. Uh, this is the, the May washi tape, yeah, and this is brilliant. This is all, with those great big words from abs. I mean, you know that there is not a dull moment in any one of those. Uh, Fifteen, did you say, Kirsty, there were in that? Yeah. So there's not a dull moment in any of those. And on the text ones, on abs text ones, there's a repeat every... It's 37.2 centimetres. See, I, I, I knew you'd remember that. <laughs> I knew you'd remember that, Janet. They are beautiful, yeah. they really are. So is this, this one is from that bundle as well, isn't it? The one with the green... This would be the, the greens, green, yeah, but you have the green, green bundlings, yeah. So I've just added some washi tapes there for um, just to, to ground everything mm. a bit. 
<laughs> I, <would have> <laughs> I love it. Again, it's wildly bonkers, and that's what we love about All and Create, is that you can just go completely in any direction you want to. No rules. And then just a finishing touch, which I'll quickly just do, because um, then we can get yes, another couple what? of demos I've got in. Yes, because guess More updates. Again, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So I've just on this is um, part of the um, the bundle that was in that was the weekend wow bundle and it's just the li the lined the sorry the scripted uh, pluses and it's yeah. just got little dots in the corner so all I'm doing is just going round the edge just with some dots just to to line that all up so I'll just I've done that but I will just bring in my finished sample now and just show you what, um, what it looks like this. once it's all finished. Yeah, I love it. I love it. And you can create, and, and every time you do it, you'll create something new. That is the brilliant thing about this. You've got the right ingredients, you've got the fun stamps there, you've got your colour creations, and you can go absolutely in any direction you want to with this collection. Right, OK. It's time now to make sure that you check out your one day special because you might be thinking, oh, well, it's OK because I'll watch the 8 o'clock show later and I'll watch some more in the morning and everything else. But the stock is flying out of the room. I do mean flying. And we're talking about a big number. We know how we need to stop for an All and Create One Day special. Uh, we've learned over the years. Um, and actually, still sometimes we underestimate. You catch us completely off guard sometimes. It happens quite often here. This is the brand new release from Janet Klein. Uh, you've got six incredible stamp sets, all of which are of course, work together, an amazing array of characters, great sentiments in all of them. I think for me, though, this set that you're just coming to right now is the standout one of this collection. Uh, it's wrong to have favourites, but Peekaboo is just such fun and you can put it into so many different contexts. And it brings out that kind of cheeky side in your crafting as well, because as Janet said earlier, you can relate that to someone. There will be that someone in your life um, that you can relate these to as well. And, and actually, Peekaboo just makes a, a lovely little addition. Sometimes it's, it's you look at a card and you think, yeah, it's fun. I love it. I love it. I love it. But I haven't quite finished it yet. There's just something. And that, a little Peekaboo character might just be that thing, to be honest with you. The shops are adorable. You've got the windows and the frames as well, which are just absolutely brilliant. You've got the boys there. And look at what it can create as well. Building up with the stencils, with the stamps, with everything else that you probably already have from All and Create. Maybe other Janet Klein stamps as well. So this is adding, this is bringing that new chapter to that story as well. Take them into your journaling your card making, your multimedia. I mean, those wild flowers, which I yeah. just adore. I mean, your multimedia projects are just going to come to life uh, with those. And there's, there's strings that link everything together just beautifully as well. Right, we are looking here at 40% of the one-day special stock already sold out and gone. If you have this in your basket right now, um, I'm so sorry, but it, it's a good fair way that we, we do things as well, is that when you have a basket filling up, obviously there's a little clock there that starts ticking down, at the, and when that clock expires, uh, the things leap back out of your basket again. Um, so it's always good. Get what you want. Be aware of the timer. Don't be rushed by it. But stock-wise, it is moving. People are moving themselves to the checkout and checking out. So 40% of that stock has sold out and gone. Can I just pick out just one or two more samples? Because they are, I mean, there are so many here and I want, I want you to see them uh, as well. So this is one by, um, by Joe Elliott. And again, it's bringing in the shops and the trees together and grounding them so, so beautifully. Oh, and I promised to show you that kind of organiser and planner page that um, Debbie Martin created as well. It's quite a big one, actually. Um, but you can see, um, it's kind of like, well, it's a, it's a journal, it's a calendar, it's a reminder page. But look at that with the peekaboos just, yeah. just nipping their way in. It's funny because <clears throat> I haven't got a planner or anything. And I, when I saw them, I thought, because Leone does all the planners, doesn't yes. she? She loves her planners. Yes, and I just thought Leone would have so much fun with oh. those in a, in a planner. Yeah. And, and I was so happy Debbie did that sample because it, it, it just looks wonderful like yeah. that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, they're brilliant. 
they've been lovely as well for um, for you know happy planners and things like that and other other kind of journals they would be great in Miss P's boundless journal as yeah. well our Paola yeah. Um, uh, yeah so many ideas it's bonkers isn't it can I show you some other things that are on the show if that's okay um, so you've got 49.94 as your price tag there remember you have got flexi freedom on your one day special as well it does make it a why not so if you become a freedom member um, from buying the one day special it is absolutely well worth it we do say that a lot but you but you when it is worth it absolutely worth it we tell you it's always worth it anyway because for less than two lots of PMP you've got your whole month's postage all sorted in a freedom membership for just seven pounds and 97 um, a month and it's not we're not tying you in for years and years forever it's not like a mortgage you can pause it you can stop it at any time you like um, over 40 percent of the the one day special sold out got it's brilliant and, and i love the fact that it comes in under 50 pounds as well because we we sometimes can have a run of quite costly one day specials one after another after another after another um and it's quite nice that this it's a very very affordable price tag again adds to your collection beautifully right let's move next to um a fabulous bundle that we have we have bought to you uh previously um, here at the craft store but again the amazing work of, uh, of Janet Klein this is another bit of a it's a bit of an irresistible bundle yeah. isn't it this one Janet yeah. so this is this is our Alice and Dorothy um, so and and two fantastic borders as well um, so that's um, Alice um, and the Queen in in that stamp so that's fabulous but again we when I, I launched these I don't know <laughs> some time ago yeah <laughs> um, and they don't just have to be Alice. She could be any little girl, and you've got a beautiful little Toto the dog there. Yeah. You could use them outside of that situation. It doesn't have to be the book or the film. It can be used for anything. And then Musk of the Scarecrow is my favourite. I love him. Um, and then you've got the lion as well, so absolutely fantastic. And then you've got the rabbit, which is amazing. And the sheep, I always like the, the, the things I like best in those are the this way and the wrong way signs. I think yeah. they're fabulous. You yeah. use them for almost anything. Um, so again, beautiful sets. And then you've got um, Tweedledee and Tweedledum, just fabulous. Oh. And if you've got twin boys or, or whatever in the family, or even twin girls. Yeah. Or um, your other half and his or brother. Or your other half and his brother. Yeah. yeah. And then that's what it usually is, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> and then I have to say, I think the samples here, uh, John Lockwood, I think, coloured them in. Um, he did a show colouring or something. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but he, he coloured in some of them and left them as samples for us. So, oh, awesome. Um, so thank you very much. They look fabulous. Well, which shows that they're, they're yeah. incredibly well loved and respected as well. Um, they are brilliant. They're really, really creative. And these borders, I mean, oh, I they are the border. wild, yeah, The aren't borders they? are absolutely amazing. I don't know how I forgot the borders. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so these are fabulous. And because... <clears throat> they're obviously designed by Janet and so you've got your greetings there but the the little arches um, she's she's a lot of her stamps have those on a lot of the stamps have those little arches and so these borders obviously a much bigger size um, and so they are just fantastic for that they just will will mix and match with absolutely all of your Janet Klein designs um, I use them such a lot um, they're, and, they're so joyous. They're so happy as well, aren't they? They've got amazing design prowess to them. And, and again, because you use the acrylic blocks, take elements of them, take yeah, parts yeah. of them, make masks with them. You yeah. know, there's so much you can do with them. They're absolutely brilliant. Can I show you some samples with them on? Because they are, uh, again, it's wonderful. Because kind of the characters speak for themselves, really. The, the Alice and the, um, uh, and the, the, the Wizard uh, of Oz kind of characters, they kind of, um, they kind of speak for themselves. But these borders, I mean... Look. Yeah, and I hadn't noticed before, but I th is that Philippa, I think? But she's got one little girl, yes. but she's got the other one diving. So you just see her feet sticking up out on the other side. Oh, so she's yeah. diving into the... So this is her yes. in the waves. Down here. <laughs> yeah. I hadn't noticed that yeah. either. Yeah, no, brilliant. she's mentioned that, so she's Look diving. at that for yeah. colour. My word, that's, that's beautiful. Yeah. And because the, the little circles in there, they can be used for flowers so they're, or suns or anything, really. So... Fantastic, really versatile sets. And look at that. Yeah. I mean, okay. just the border top and bottom, are, it's adorable, isn't it? Just really, really lovely. Um, that's really, really busy on the website right now, and you checking that out in a big way, that bundle, actually. It has done brilliant, brilliant saving. Of course, of course all and create always do. Uh, 304058 is your item number. Look at that freedom price there. 69.22 and that's nine stamp sets in there which is really really cool um okay
And one more bundle I want to show you, uh, which is on the show which is the May release, uh, Janet Klein's May release. Uh, you, might, you may remember this, pardon the pun. Um, <laughs> it's beautiful. I remember the, uh, the washing line and the, and, the cat, and the cat. That one's called Wash and Dry, isn't it? Uh, it's a lovely, lovely stamp set. There's loads going on here as well. How many stamp sets is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is it, is it ten? Oh, it's, blimey, there's loads here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve stamp sets. Yeah, probably. Crikey. Eighty-two stamps in total. Oh, I love that bird. Yeah. Yes, I remember that bird. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Now, you, th you look at every single one of the characters here and all of the scenes and you think now of all the stencils that you probably have, all the background stamps that you have from Ball and Create as well, just think of bringing those worlds together, and the washies, of course, yeah. which you'll find on the show too. Um, and if you haven't seen this collection, oh, there they are, Nana and Papa. Oh, I'll look like that one day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm but also, to if you've got the, the heads, so, I mean, I think... Some of the heads you can you can intersperse the heads that we've got the boys' heads in the show as well. So yeah. if you've got there's a barbecue guy doing a barbecue, so but you could change the head on yes. that if you wanted to as well. To, so and then you've got the the healthcare professionals as well. So these this is a lovely set. So I I think I've launched all of these as one day specials, all these bundles, um, and they've all been just fabulous to yeah. use. And now when you look at those, you're thinking, oh, who can I have? What can I have that peeking out? Yes. <laughs> Who can be peeking out yeah, from behind definitely. there? definitely. <laughs> from behind a flower yeah. or behind the fence or wherever it might be. Yeah, absolutely. Um, really, really busy. 717-220 is your item number there. That's got flexes as well. And it's under £100. And it's 12 stamp sets, so 82 stamps um, in total. Everyone a winner. Right, Janet. Back to back you to now. Me. Back to okay. the one-day special, so is back it? to the one-day special, yeah. So we're kind of concentrating on the one-day special. So I thought I'd use um, the, the pretty little girl with the butterfly house. Um, so I've done a, a little card with her, um, just with the, with the butterfly house. And I love these houses. We're just mingled in with the trees as well. So I'm going to start just by um, doing my background. So I'm just going to stamp... Oh, usually a bit more ready than this. <laughs> mm. I'm being a bit too relaxed today, I think find my little blocks. So I've got my A7 blocks again. So again, fantastic with the Janet Klein ones. They and just they come in sets of two as well. Three, possibly. The seven, oh, the A7s. Three, yeah, sorry, three. you get three yeah. of the A7, don't you? It's the, uh, is it the A6? The A6 is coming in twos. Yeah. Twos, yes. Yeah. I'm surprised I remember all of that, to <laughs> be honest, Janet. Good. I've slept since then. <laughs> <laughs> so the I'm A7s just are fairly recent as well, aren't the they? The A7s are quite new, yeah, yeah. and I think, that, again, because of the, um, because they're obviously with uh, Janet's designs, they're very, obviously very popular. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this, this bit covering up the middle part here, so I'm not too worried about stamping in the middle and how it looks in the middle. I'm kind of more, more concentrating on how it's going to look um, uh, around, okay. around the edge. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So this is a uh, picked raspberry, I think, if anybody... People like to know, so I'm just going to stamp. I just thought it'd be nice to do a slightly because we tend to do a lot of um, heavy borders, heavy backgrounds, and things. So yeah. I thought it'd be quite nice just to do something a little bit lighter. And also that the flowers can be used; they can be used in lots of ways. So you can use them as backgrounds. Say so this one's quite useful as a sun. I quite like this one as the sun. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? It's just right for that. So I'm just going to pop that back and see, because I quite like, I'm going to do that about there so it's kind of half coming out. Yep. Oh, these samples are amazing. I have to say the design team for All and Create, they honestly... It is so it nice. It blows my mind yeah, whenever I see it. It's really nice to see the, the samples. And I love coming to the studio and seeing them because yeah. um, we, we show... I've seen pictures of them before I come. Yes. But it's not the same. When yeah. you see them in the studio, they are just amazing. Because you... Really clever. You, um, everyone on the design team, they, they, they post... They post the samples, do they? Yeah, we all yeah. post on... There's an All and Create Fanatics group, so yeah. we, all, we all post on there. Um, so if ever you... you 
bought the stamps and you think, oh, what, 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 you know, what, I need some inspiration, I need to know how I, how I can use them, have a look on the All and Create Fanatics page, there'll be loads of inspiration on there. If you've got any questions, we're quite, we're nice, we, we answer questions. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and post your own projects. I mean, the nice thing or the best thing about the All and Create Fanatics group is that, that the, um, people, the customers actually post their own projects, which is fabulous. And we have some very, very talented people. Um, Oh. <laughs> ink the right side ah, of the block, Janet. <laughs> you're inking the block there. I was inking the back of the block and not the actual flower. But, yeah. mm. Don't do that. <clears throat> I kept thinking that block's not balancing properly. What's the matter <laughs> with it? So there we are. Um, and then I'm going to just... Um, oop, just pick that up. I'll leave that one till the end. So I'm just going to pop this in here. So that's just going to go around there. And probably I'll do it now. I'll add a little bit of green. It's quite a pale green, but I just just because I'm using green in the the focal image, so I just wanted to add a little touch of green. Ah, uh, okay. Just to. And what was the green? Which one yeah, are you using? This is called mode lawn. Mode lawn. Yes, it's like that perfect. Uh, you know when you when you when you have mown the lawn and there's little <laughs> clumps of it that the mower doesn't quite pick up and yeah. you go wet. Uh, it's that kind of colour, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> actually, it's my favourite. This is my favourite colour green. Yeah, it's a lovely colour, actually, isn't it? So that's that's going to go there. So it's just got my nice little border around there. Um, and then I'm going to stamp out my images. So I'm going to use the butterfly house, lovely little girl here. Fantastic. I love this one. So I'm going to use the little house. Let me just wipe that because that's got ink all over it. I'm going to use the little house and the little girl. Oh gosh, Janet, you should hear what's going on in the background. <laughs> oh, you don't want you don't you don't want oh. talk back in your ears today. I'll oh, tell I you see. that. <laughs> Definitely not. It's going crazy. The phone line's going oh, wow. left, right, and centre. Brilliant. Well, I'm really happy. I'm not, I mean, I think people will absolutely love them. You will have so, so much fun with these when you get them home. And, and thank you to everybody that's buying them as well. I know it means a lot to, um, to Abs and it will mean a lot to Janet as well. So, uh, yeah. It's my little house. And her wings. And it's nice, obviously, you get a, a right and a left wing, which is good. Just put that out as well. And put them on there. Um, it, this might be a salient time. No, you yeah. carry on, Janet, by all means. But this might be a salient time to tell you that um, individually, because some people are looking at the individuals from the one-day special as well. Three of the six have sold out. Wow! And guess which ones? <laughs> it's Butterfly House. Uh, it is Trois Fleurs, and it is, I think, Peekaboo might individually have gone as well. Of course, you can get them all in the, in, uh, the big collection, um, and you can see the latest if you log on um, to the website as well. But next time we, uh, we run down the counter, I'll, uh, I'll keep you up to date with what's happening there, but they are going very, very quickly. So I just want a quick background, so I'm going to use the, um, this is the script, no, large. I've got a little thing now, large is lined and small is scripted. Ah, OK, right. <laughs> so this is the large, so this is the lined <laughs> pluses. Oh, get there in the end. So I just want to add a little touch of something just in the background, just for this. So this is uh, picked raspberry, I just stamped the picked raspberry. And then I've cut out my images. And I'm just going to pop these, I'm just going to go. And I, I started, actually, with this one, I started by laying out, because I, I, I like to start by laying things out. And I actually started just by laying out the little girl and, and the, the houses to yeah. see how I wanted them to go. Yeah. Uh, and then her wing's going to go there and there. And then it's nice just to nestled a few little trees in amongst there as well. Oh, Janet, guess there. what's happened. Oh, now what's happened. That's approaching half of wow. the stock. 
of the one day special um, has sold out and gone. Um, I've just heard another update because there are lots of conversations going on in the background, frantic conversations <laughs> going on in the background, quite frankly. That, um, and it's, it's well, I'd, I'd like to say that good news has come out of that. Um, but yeah, it's not looking so good, actually, because we were hoping, given the speed of the show and everything, to just make a call to the to the office and say, OK, we, we, we need some more. And and we asked for some more, and the cry came back. Ah, no, you've you, you've got it all. So once it's gone, oh, it's wow. gone, and we're approaching half of the entire one day special stock sold out. This is the first live hour. We have yeah, we've got another four four shows here. live hours. Yeah. Mm. You say yes, Janet, but mm. <laughs> it might oh. not be with these stamps. But hey. <laughs> They might be a distant memory by tomorrow. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, anyway, listen, um, Fiddy Boots, check out your baskets right now. Just while it's on your mind, it is brilliant. It's under £50, whether you are or aren't a Freedom member. Um, of course, your saving is bigger if you are a Freedom member. If you're not, it's a why not, so it's worth becoming one if you're buying it. Um, I will go through, as well, the individuals that have sold out. In fact, to be honest with you, we're getting to the stage where more of the individuals have than haven't. Right. Um, so really, the, the entire collection um, is the way to So I'm not saying that for any loaded reason. I'm just getting the facts and figures in my head and calls are happening backwards and forwards and discussions are happening, um, which is not easy at this time of the night and uh, places in the world where everyone is and <laughs> all of that kind of stuff. Um, but we're doing everything that we can. But keep those orders coming in um, and check out sooner rather than later. How is your composition coming on? Yeah, so I've... I've, I've just about finished that one now so this is I just added um, the uh, the little girl so I just and then I did I like to I'll just quickly do that in the background as well so in we've got the words here from the the little the, in the girl and you've got um, be the change and her wings unfolded and I just like to add a little bit of script into my background so I'm just gonna of course <laughs> there's always got to be a word or, or a number there or something does. yep Otherwise, it's not an all and create background, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> so I'm just going to pop in a few of those just around <gasps> her wings unfolded. Oh, I just found another. I'm just like a magpie when it comes to samples, honestly. <laughs> just one, found, with, found one with a little uh, mirror card in it, with a mirror frame, with a peekaboo in it. I'll show you in a minute. It's brilliant. They're all brilliant, honestly. We could they have a are, whole hour of just looking yeah, through the samples, yeah, couldn't we? Yeah, we absolutely could. They are fantastic samples. So I'm just going to add a few of those in around it just it just gives it a little bit of extra put one there and then so we have to have five so we'll put one up the top somewhere as well there we go and then i just as I say brush some ink over there so that's just going to go there i will put a black edge around it and then we've got just the little house is going to go there the trees you can create a little um, a, a little terraced row of, you could, of doors, yeah. can't you, for this as well? I've just found another sample from Kelly, and I'll show you that in a second as well. <laughs> and then, um, oh, I love this. So we've also got just be the change. So I've just stamped that out and cut that out as well. I'll just show you on my finished sample now. <clears> so um, and then I've just so I've gone round with a black pen there. I've gone round with the black pen round the main one, um, and then be the change, which I've added there. And then I've just got my little girl in there. And I've got some uh, glossy accents on her wings. Does that show? And she's ready to well. fly. Yeah. So she's ready to go. So that's that lovely. That reminds me of Italy, that scene. Is that, yeah, there's something about like it. Tall pointed just, yeah. houses going uh, up into yeah. the hills and, and whatever. And I didn't really colour, obviously I coloured everything else, but I only just really shaded those around the edges. I quite liked to leave those as they, as they were. That's so, so yeah. cool. Yeah. Do you know, I'd be over the moon if I received that as a card, wouldn't you? absolutely over the moon um, it is phenomenal uh, right we are so 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 busy let me tell I cannot tell you how busy we are uh, there are lots and lots of um, conversations as I say going on in the background as to okay we're less than the first hour in and uh, right what we're we gonna do anyway listen we're not gonna worry about that in this hour <laughs> I mean I'd, I, I I do I, and Haley should be fine at eight o'clock as well. We should be absolutely fine with that. And uh, 
Janet's absolutely happy to play for as long as, as she needs to with yep. this as well, which is brilliant. Um, so if we need to fill, I think is the broadcasting way of saying uh, we need to make up the time. Uh, not a problem whatsoever. Janet can play away. Uh, this is by uh, Kelly there. There's that lovely row um, of the houses, which is brilliant with the door frames um, in there. And look, 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 look at this. Look, it's got actually the real piece of mirror card there as well within the frame with the peekaboo as well on a lovely um, tag as well. It's so, so cool. I love it. Right, here's another one. And this is using Trois Fleur, which is one of the stamp sets in the One Day Special. And the peekaboo. Now, where's the peekaboo? Ah, look, she's just appearing from behind a flower there. Uh, you've got the Quattro... Fiori stencil in this as well. The alphanumeric is in there. Uh, there's a bit of sunrise. There's a bit of everything in there, isn't there? Um, here is one from um, Philippa, which is getting beautiful. Got those lovely, lovely um, flowers in them. Beautiful. Love, 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 love. Uh, here, here, again. Now, actually, what Joe has managed to do here, Janet, is to... She's cut them out and obviously coloured and used all the different elements and decorated beautifully. Things like is that glossy accents yeah. on the eyes there and everything else. But she's lifted the whole thing up on faux pads, yeah. but she's then sculpted it back down. Yeah. So it's almost, That's you know, lovely. just giving it a bit of a uh, bit of 3D. Look at him. Look, uh, look. So this, this is on another character. So this is a character from another stamp set, yeah. which was a little girl originally reading a book. Ah, I was wondering because um, yeah. I, I recognised him. Yeah. So that, but, that's, there was a oh, girl see, reading the book, and, so and that's what you can do, over, you see. Yeah. It's brilliant. And they can have a magical party in the night in some kind of night garden there. They look <laughs> like they're on some kind of mad sort of um, yeah. you know, something One that goes along a track. Things or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's brilliant. Um, it's so so cool. I could I could go on and on and on and on and on and on and on um, because there's just so much to enjoy. And look at all the different atmospheres you can create yeah. as well. That's 